But here's the problem. Y'all say men are dangerous. Y'all say men need to protect you. Okay, cool. Which one but is how, it? But how come when, I'm, when your significant other says, I don't want you to go to the club dressed up sexy late at night, intoxicated around the so-called dangerous people who you've called dangerous, who are intoxicated and are looking for cheeks, oh, now you call the men insecure. And I'm like, that's exactly why women don't get protection these days. Why the fuck am I going to protect somebody who won't listen to what I tell them? So what is, so your response to that would be like, y'all need to find something else to do for fun? Yes. What, what, first of all, if you have a significant other, you shouldn't be out at the club if you're a girl, period. If you, yeah, you want to act single, be single. Y'all live. Nah, I can kind of understand what Bob's saying. If you want to act, yo, if you want to, you know what the clubs are. It's a bunch of dudes trying to trying to fuck bitches. No, nah, my dudes I do think... not go out to the club for any other reason. If you want to be there as a girl, you know what it is. That is a single girl's area. Uh, if you want to act single, be single. They can't have fun though, bro. Like what, bro? Okay, but Jack. Say you, I, you know what's gonna be there. What the fun yeah, is? But no Jack, Jack, you, Jack, how many fun no things? Those are the ones that walk away though. How many fun things can you do in life that don't involve the club? Yeah, but you 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 let that temptation in still though. You humor exactly. At the end of the when, day, when, when you go to the club, the temptation's always there. Man, just there's going gonna to be guys temptation. hitting on you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah but going anyway. Nah, that ain't... nah, uh, no. But here's also the thing. I know we agree with about, you, Bob, but not on that one. They're talking yeah, about oh, men are dangerous. Okay, well, if men are dangerous. Why are you at the club at two a.m. drinking? Um, Dress okay. sexy so as when fuck they, when, when, when dudes point, are going to hit on you. They're not uh, thinking about it. I need to go straight to the Patreon questions. Um, Thank you. Jack, Thank you. Jack, <laughs> can you can you be the? I need a backup recorder, oh, right? No. And you you got OBS. I know you got OBS. I actually don't have OBS on my computer. Oh, right you now. don't use OBS. I just have to do that. Back I use OBS, days. but not on this computer. I'm pretty sure it's nothing's gonna happen again. But I do need a backup recorder. One of y'all hit. Yeah. If y'all got I Nvidia experience and Shadow Play, just hit record or something. Somebody. Do you have an idea of what's making it do that? Oh, let me see. BG, uh, do you have an idea of what's making it mess can up? I use our dad, can I dash and record desktop audio? Let me see. Yeah, uh, I should be able to. Hey, I think it's time to change the outro music because he did. He definitely mentions Blandrew. He's not part of the, <laughs> not part of the show anymore. Uh, They they got to do that over. I don't want to rewrite it. Playback. Well, I can actually do, record with both NVIDIA Experience and, um, and OBS and just my boy BG, that's a snicker that you can't break. I'll I'll just do both. I can do both. <laughs> Let me see. I, I could do both. Hold on. See, I don't think cat. it's recording y'all audio. It's just recording my audio when I do this. You gotta record desktop, right? Or yeah, no? you gotta record desktop and your mic. But uh that's yeah, I'm I'm, I'm turning on mine. Hold on. Let me let me turn on mine to make sure. Yep, it's recording. Uh, okay. Last week's episode was fire too, bro. That was so sad. Uh, Did you know on. what he was doing? Uh, yeah, I think he was trying to silence the man. Bond, is that what I he was, was doing, pissed? Bro? I was pissed myself. I guess oh, you wow. didn't want to hear people uh, get mad on the comments. Hmm. All right, no, now I'm doing a double recording. Okay, so all right, um, let me ask. Okay, so first comment or question: Afro All Might. Now, a few weeks ago, but man, what? How do you just start a comment like that? He said, "Now a few weeks ago." But man, if y'all let Bond go on a 57 minute, oh, 57 no. minute lecture on women, I'm going to cancel my membership. No, at, one po- at one point, Mocha acted like she wasn't there. This nigga was going on too long. But my question is, Jack, you had to steal $5 from a podcast member. Who catching the Jiggy merch experience? I think this was the comment. Wasn't this uh, question last yeah. week? Yeah, he just reacted. Oh, we redoing it. We doing, oh, he redoing yeah, it. No, he, oh, he, he, he resent it. Uh, it? Yeah. Well, yeah, because they got corrupted. Um, yeah. I think I would rob. Oh, we yeah, talked about yeah, it last week, but I think I would rob. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, yeah, whose background is that? Yeah, who that? That's smooth. It just sound cute. Oh, never mind. Smooth. What's going on, brother? Uh, <laughs> speaking of smooth, yeah, I think I would rob smooth because I feel like smooth would just mark it off as a loss, and he wouldn't call the police. And uh, yeah, I know Bond definitely calling the cops as soon as, as soon as I get there. Like he see a black person, he's like you know, I, you know. Yeah, I, I'm Robert Smooth, dog. Bond's waiting to catch your body, though. He gonna make that a quick encounter. 
Yeah, there might be a quick encounter with Bond. He's gonna call the cops. It's a whole bunch I of I cannot on. Bond calling the cops and hoping this is a quick <laughs> encounter. Yeah, I got like BG on the house. I'm gonna call the cops, you know? I'm calling Actually, the cops. You're gonna get shot. Actually, that, <laughs> actually that, shooting, that shooting that did happen to me, the dude did a, got a triple kill quick encounter and then called the cops. Hey, Jack, fire, Jack fire, you, try rob, uh, you try to rob you try to rob Black, but he'll call the cops. Tango down. He already got <laughs> 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 you know what it means. Come on. Kill confirm. Tango down. <laughs> Killing spree. Yeah. Yeah, like it's so stupid. The people like in the town are so upset. I'm like, I'm I'm reading the story. Apparently the dude was like five six, 140 pounds, ex-military. The dudes were whooping his ass, stomping his head off the curb. They concussed him. They bust ruptured his his eardrum. He made his way back to the car. They were still whooping his ass. He reached into his car. Grabbed the pistol. He said, I have a weapon. They still kept beating his ass. So he just said, fuck it. As, as he should. Bond didn't even do it all. He should have clapped him. Bond would, uh, and, and Bond would clap all people. three of them. Yeah. He killed all three of them? No, one got wounded, but he killed two of them. Bond would tie you up to his love seat and be like, no, they used to call me Halo, right? As he's like reloading his gun. <laughs> uh, I think there's another question from last week. Uh, J-Dab, question... For all, how much do you pay for a haircut and how often? I just had my barber raise the price to $65 from $35 for a haircut and beard. He's using he's using the higher rent he is paying at the location he just moved to and wanting to cater to high higher clientele as the reason for the price bump. It is not corrupted. They didn't hear that. They didn't hear that audio. It's not that I don't have the money to pay, but it definitely feels like a ripoff, especially seeing after seeing him uh, getting all the latest gear and Apple products, which he likes to flaunt in your face. Just uh, just for context, this is near Boston, Massachusetts. Maybe Blaze will be on After Dark and can share his thoughts. F these barbers. Uh, I, pay, I pay 30. I, I went from paying 20 to COVID-19 and went up to 35. And now it's up to about 45. If you want designs in here. Yeah, he done went and up, my barber went up twice in the past two years, bro. Yeah, it used, they, they, used to be twenty bucks. Okay, y'all yeah. know what it is. I got some commentary after you done take. They said they said. Well, I'll tell you what. The barbers that I talked to said I, I I put a post on Facebook and asked everybody else what they paying, and like some barbers chimed in and I called some. They said one, it was COVID, so that was the original excuse. Well, man, we risking our lives cutting your hair in COVID, so like we gotta go up in price. We risking our lives. Then after that, Your they pain? was like, oh, inflation, inflation went up. We gotta spend more money to you know to pay rent and all that, so we gotta make more money too. And then like everybody was confirming like that's the reason why they're they're paying like sixty plus tips to their barber. And he was like, yeah, it's inflation, man. You got to. Uh, uh, see, they're the nah 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 nah. Kind of sound like the PC when barber, when when call barbers call rent a chair. I'm assuming they get like some sort of lease. Like whether you own they do. own the building you or you rent the building, you you're locked in for a week or whatever. So they're they're only locked in for that chair price for a week. Well, you got to pay it every, you you gotta gotta pay pay it every week, show. though. Yeah, every yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, month. Yeah, you, you pay it, but the thing well, is, might be you, 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 pay, you pay it every week, but at the end of the day, I'm assuming they have an agreement of how much monthly or weekly that chair is. So it yeah. doesn't change. So they got to wait until next year before it changes. Well, oh, but yeah. the owner of the barbershop could say, you know, the, the rent going up or y'all church rent going up. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what yeah, I had that. There's my mom said that too. But, but the, rent, the rent can't go up like this sporadically like that. You know? I mean, it, yes, it can. Yes, it can. Of the actual shop? Yeah. Jay got, Jay got, Jay got. If I'm telling you this is my building, I got a chair over there that I'll let you use for this much money, you paying however much I tell you. No, I'm yeah. talking about who who owns the actual building. And my my um my barber, he just got his own shop recently during like COVID time. He actually owns his shop now. So yeah, I'll say this, bro. There's a movement going around. Uh, y'all remember back in 2014 when the uh when the Afro natural hair movement when all the girls did the big chop and they all like stop wearing weed for yeah. I remember that. That's what's going on with barbers right now. The barber I go to. He is a part of this cohort called No Broke Barbers Club. Um, there is a movement of they're literally getting together and saying raise the price, right? Because they understand that they're a necessity in the black. I community. mean, they dictate the market. Yeah. The thing is, the thing is, we went from twelve dollars a cut to forty five for a taper, and okay. then if you want, like, hold up, forty for a line, thirty five for a line, forty five for a fade. 64 fade in the beard like these they are price gouging at this point because 
they know that we're not about to go to smart clips or wear smart cuts. It's getting yeah, smart ridiculous. cuts where they cut people that ain't got oh, hairlines. Or super bro. I yeah. mean, we don't have a yeah, we don't have our choice at this point. It's, it's getting ridiculous. On top of that, I think what they're trying to do is this these people to get their barber licenses, they trying to make that seem this is the reason why I should charge this much. But they're gonna realize there's a reason why your booking's always open it from eight AM to seven PM. Ain't nobody trying to spend seventy dollars for a haircut when they're gonna be back in another two or three weeks. Like, luckily for me, I'm growing my hair out, so I don't have to get my haircut all the time. But back in the day, bro, spending fifty every two weeks just for a line and a fade, nigga. Come on, bro. Yeah, my barber get mad. He get mad at me. He be like, "Hey, yo, man, you got you coming back two weeks, right?" I'm like, "Man, I don't know, man. You might see me four months." <laughs> like, like somebody went every five months. months. So yeah, I don't go that often like I used to. I was in here looking homeless. I'm not spending. Yeah, the um. So I said this last time. But I there's like two barbers that I was like thinking about rotating. So I, I went most recently, like, was it Friday? I went to the my re, the regular guy, right? For like it was like thirty dollars. The but that joint pissed me off, bro, because it's it's you you know the typical black barbershop bullshit that be going on sometimes, bro. It got nope. me so mad. There was a there was the dude you you know the dude the 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 nigga in in the barbershop that always thinks he's like the super intellectual and he starts preaching. About everything and like thinking he putting everybody That's on. Yeah, like you were gaming. No, yeah. no, <laughs> no. Um, no. I actually know what I'm talking about, and I don't well, just you know, I don't just stand up randomly and start telling people telling people shit that ain't asked. Like he yeah, was like, you he, he just doing handstand and talking like yes, but go on. He, he just randomly. Let me tell you about these banks, right? Let me tell you how the how the banks keep the black man down, right? This is what how is it works. Thing? I'm like, bro, come. It's and it's it's like nine thirty in the morning, not even ten yet. I'm like, bro, can you wait till twelve to do this, dog? Like we, I'm not trying to hear this right now. And then the 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 head barber, bro. This he takes a smoke break like maybe My every fifteen minutes, that. bro. So he taking a smoke break every 15 minutes. This nigga preaching about banks and, and, and how it holds the black community down. And like, and then the dude he preaching to acting like he's like, his mind is being blown. He's like, yo, you right. And then, so they all having a conversation. And t- so, and, and so it's taken him like 50 minutes to, to cut somebody where it should only take 25 max because you taking smoke breaks, y'all having a conversation. See, if I go to the other spot, even though the other spot takes is the other spot is like eighty dollars for a beard and a, I ain't gonna go through all that. So that's why I be like, yo, I I don't know I what's worth question. it. I don't know what's worth it. I have a question. Yeah. Why thing, are you, you letting a nigga cut your hair that doesn't believe in banking? No, it's another no, guy. That, that was that wasn't the barber. That was that was the nigga that like the super intellectual that just sits in all barber shops and you, then you starts couldn't preaching. You go to my barber, bro. I told this story before, bro. One time, my barber, this nigga watched two episodes of Man vs. Food, and then he, he started, he finally started cutting my hair, and then this motherfucker start, um, playing Fight Night. I'm like, fam! But even though the barber does, you ever gonna finish this new haircut? Bro, He's like, no, man, he didn't wait, but I'm like, yo, is your cut at least free or something like that? Cause no, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, bro, I got a ride bro. waiting on me, What's fam. Worth, like, what the bro. fuck? What's worse, what's worse is when you know your barber has aspirations and passions to do something else. My barber has a food truck now. Mid-cut, this nigga will go out there and make somebody a fish sandwich and then come back and finish your hair, bro. Like, I what? can't make it. Yo, that's like the video is still military. No, no, no. His wife, like, his wife run the truck, but he'll have to go out there sometimes to do something. Bro. I'm just my- sitting there staring at everybody else like, nigga, can I just go home? I've been here oh, 4 p.m. Yeah, my barber did the same thing. Sometimes I walked out on my barber, bro. He, got, he was upset. I was like, man, look, I was in a hurry. You sat there. First thing you said when I walked in was like, I, "You said I was gonna be next as soon as I come in." You like, "Hey man, I got like I got this little kid in front of you. Uh, can you mind if I cut him first? I'm like, "All right, bet." Oh, then after oh, that yeah. happened, then after that oh, happened, no. another little kid pulled up. You like, "Oh man, I I, I forgot I had them too, dog. Like, I, I I gotta cut them real quick, man. Like I had them scheduled they, for you." And I'm like, "What?" Day? Yo, Tick, I've always it's, felt like this. Barbers need a day just for kid haircuts. I hate nothing more than watching a man come in there and then all six mm-hmm. of his sons yep. come after him. Yes. And I gotta wait till all of y'all get y'all hair, bro. Well, you're the last heads and they begin like bald phase. But they, the they annoying part long. is they always crying. They half the yeah, time, yeah, them, yeah, half the time, he's telling them, "Be still, shut up, stop crying, be still." Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God then, dang. Then after he, he finished cutting them, he was like, "Hey, yo, you mind if I go outside take a smoke break real quick, man? Oh, I just got smoke." That smoke break, like, what? <laughs> 
Hey, I'm, I'm gonna hey. keep it. I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all. Yo. No one bro. knows your hair left, better. Bro. Look, no one knows your hair better than you. Invest in some clippers and cut your own hair if it's getting that expensive. I got him, yo, but I don't trust myself right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 off, and right. I'm yeah. heterosexual. I can't do that. <laughs> Like I, I feel like I mess. With, I don't really work with any females like that, so I don't really need to do that. But I also don't wear hats, so if I, have to I ain't gonna be able to do the line. Up. I probably could cut my hair. I ain't gonna be able to do the line. Up yeah, I can't sure. do the line up at all, bro. I got a yeah. homie that do cuts, so I might just shave it down and have him line it up. That's what I was yeah, watching. I've been doing it since 2015. I've been cutting my own hair. Like I, I you the weapon get... wheel of barber? Not that hard, really. Yeah, like you know, you know, you. <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I shave it now, man. Fuck that. So you in the fast lane? I remember oh, no, one you, time. You giving yourself a baldy? Yeah, man. I, 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 I got my dad's jeans. Paul. Oh man. I remember Bond one time. Uh, I remember one time. Was like, bald. I remember one time. Oh, I cursed my mom. I was, she got the ball, I was in the. I was in this barber shop, bro, and like it was nowhere near closing. And these niggas talked so long, and it was and like had this dude in the seat so long, like closing game. And dude was like, yo, my bad, bro. I got you early. Like, he was like, we open this time. I'm going to be here first thing in the oh, morning. And I, and I had somewhere hell, to go. Bro. I had somewhere to go the next day. Like, that's why I needed the cut, bef- you know, that, that you know, the day before. I went, th- bro, I went there as soon as he said open, bro. Them niggas was not there, bro. Like, and I waited for <laughs> like, I waited for like maybe half an hour, bro. Them niggas did not the show up. Day- Next oh, day, no, when the good. Last of Us crab walked in there and killed that nigga in the back, you know what happened? Came and killed him. <laughs> one time, one time I went to this barber shop. I was like, I didn't have a set barber because I, I was looking for a new one, and uh, I was trying to go to my sister's graduation from college. But I went into this barber shop that had like two barbers, right? They didn't have a single fucking customer. I sat down. This nigga told me, "I'm gonna let you know right now, it's gonna be three or three and a half hours before we cut your hair." I'm like, "Nigga, nobody's Whoa. here. Like, <laughs> what are y'all about to do?" Like, they was about to make a movie in there, bro. Man, I walked out that mall. I'm like, "All right, bro." Hold on, he said, <laughs> we said we on our lunch break. It's gonna be a minute before we get. Bro, they weren't even doing that. They was chilling, in, bro. I'm like, fam, are you serious? Like, was that um, was that the graduation we went to? No, nigga, I didn't uh, even go to that. Gra- I went to another barber. That nigga fucked me up, bro. I, I didn't thought even you were gonna to say he fucked you. Oh my bro, god! I didn't what? even go to the yo, graduation. Yo, 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 what's up with you? I was like, fam, do you see my hair? I'm not going nowhere. Where your mind at? Black, <laughs> black people, man. You I, I really them, but... can't stand black people complaining about barbers. You're too old not to have a good barber. Man, I don't like move. Either. You move sometimes. I don't, I don't that's the thing. Bad. I don't feel bad for y'all when you Fun. move. Yeah, that's sometimes. the thing. My barber got displaced because of a tornado. I My original know. barber started deciding he wanted to be an extra in movies, so like he didn't pretty Fire. much stop doing the, being a barber and doesn't care about it. Hey, used to be a barber, brother. I, I was like, to... your barber was black beard. Wire too? Your barber was black beard. Moving on. So my <laughs> other barber that I'm seeing that I that I go to now. He was cool at first, charging twenty dollars. All of a sudden, my man, he keep talking about all the struggles he got in life and everything. And it didn't sound bad, but I don't know if he's just telling me all this. But he's talking about all these struggles. He trying to make these moves and all that, but he just going up in price because of you know the the shopping or he just got to pay his bills. So he just like yo, I'm I got I got charged forty five though. You willing to pay? You paying two hundred for some Jordans, but you can't pay forty five for a haircut? Come on, oh, man. You, want them niggas? you know what, yeah. bro? You know what's crazy? Yeah, he, he I just. There. I just thought of something, too. Who, well, who was the one that made a comment saying that was the bar was the Patreon comment saying the barber said they trying to get higher clientele? I think what's going on is that these black wants barbers to get rid of the niggas. That's what I'm saying. I think these black no, barbers. To get no, 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 no. Huh? I think what's going on is there's you see there's more white people getting going to black barbers to get fades and lined up and stuff like that. That's true. When they say in higher clientele, they trying to reach the white market and make them pay. They was going to supercuts, get spending sixty, seventy for a little trim by them women. So of course they about to, of course they about to charge these white dudes sixty, seventy just for a, a haircut and a beard or whatever. I think that's what he. So it's gentrified haircuts is what you're saying. It is, bro, because in barbershops, what you see mainly, you be seeing niggas with hair like me, except they white. I do, yeah. My, I got a homie that's a barber. He do cut a lot of white people hair. He like, cut a lot get, of yeah, they get, yeah, yeah. They get them new, yeah. And this the thing when you go to them salons, bro. My my sister could go get her hair done. Uh, y'all y'all girls, they can go get their hair done. You don't see what they did different with it, but that haircut was one hundred and fifty dollars because they shampooed and conditioned it and trimmed the trim the uh the edges at the bottom. Like they've been getting gift for a long time anyway. Uh, okay. Next question. Uh, where's E Rock? That's his job. Um, <laughs> D- Darius Darius Davis. How do y'all feel about Juice World? Did you listen to any of his music before he passed away in t- twenty nineteen? 
He was personally my favorite rapper because he was an absolute god at freestyling with a good flow. Every song on his album Death Race, a Death Race for Love, was freestyled, and he even freestyled over over several beats for an hour straight. Even gave Eminem his compliments and said he had potential. Oh, even Eminem gave him his compliments and said he had potential. That's he how told Eminem he got potential. <laughs> yeah, I thought I read it wrong. Eminem oh, gave Eminem, his. Pre- Eminem yeah. said. That he oh, that he did good with the freestyles, basically. Yeah, and how good of a rapper he was. Honestly, I've I've listened to like one Juice World song ever. I just I don't know. I just never, his, never listened his, to his him for freestyles. Some reason. He go off like a whole hour, like no no bullshit. You know, you know my problem with Juice World, man. He was clearly very talented. I just his his support system wasn't there for him, bro. They clearly saw this man had a, a drug problem, and they just let him do it. Like it was crazy. And every uh-huh. Juice World song, it was just about it's about him just. Doing drugs and shit, and no one yeah. and no one checked up on him, and it was like he he was just he was giving signs that he was just doing a bunch of drugs, and no one was like okay, he needed help. He needed good? help, bro. He needed help. Yeah. And nobody reached out to him and gave him help. I I yeah. I had that man life ended. His yeah. music wasn't for me, but uh, I can appreciate what he did for the people. Yeah, I didn't know know about him until he died. And you I know, just, him, like, him and Dolph was was cousins. Good. I didn't know that. Him and Young Dolph. Who? Him and Young Dolph cousins. Do you know? Did you? Oh, do y'all listen to that nigga yeah. Jaleel with exclamation part? No. It's that buff nigga that? that's jumping off and doing backflip of speakers at the shows. He's like, whoa! Oh, I, I, seen him. Him. I, like, I seen the video of him. I seen the video of him. I think we're talking that about the game. It is like a positive <laughs> juice world. He be his his bars be like, How much do you lift? Yeah, drink water. Like he be like, <laughs> juice world, but he's like the he's like the Will Smith of hype niggas. It's crazy. That's cool. Different. Whoa, get it right, drink water. Yeah. Yeah, I won't listen to like, like Mario Judah. Yeah, no, really. I love Mario, Mario Judah. Where the heck is Mario? You remember he got called taking back shots on that video? Whoa, what? what? That, was, that wasn't him. That was not him. Oh, oh they man. said it was a fat nigga getting fucked up the ass. They said it was Mario Judah. How you know about him? You you sat there long enough. Yeah, watch to, him. To, to like I know Mario Judah. That nigga said him sat there. That's not Mario. Oh, oh, that ain't him. I No, Wonton was in the video. That's what he tried to tell you. I said, nigga, that was me. You gonna take my credit, nigga? Hold yeah, because if you watch that. the video, it's clearly it's clearly a woman, bro. Right? You said if hair, you dude. watch it, you watch it. Hey, come on, one time. Yo, you confirmed bro, that. I saw the clip. Like everybody else saw the clip. I saw the clip too. I'm not. I didn't see the clip. I saw a screen. I, I saw a screen. Know, grab. There was a clip on Twitter, Jack. I saw the clip. I saw the clip. Wonton, you saw that and he went enhance and then you zoomed in. Because I'm gonna get to the bottom of this one way or another. Back to the point, though. Juice World, he's actually a really good artist. He was. He had. He was probably one of the best. At like Even making hooks, I think him, Don Tolliver, like Ooh. when it comes to like making hooks, them two was it. Like they were really yeah. good at that shit. Nigga, Don Juice World got some fire songs with Young Thug. He got some good music. I he 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 has a lot of fans, but he also gets a lot of hate, and I don't understand it. But he has good music. Who best out of him? Uh, X X X X Tentacion or uh, Juice World? I rather I rather listen to X X Tentacion. Yeah, that's a fact. The only thing that I, I don't never know. I never really liked X. I don't know why. Me Same. neither. Oh, I was he got annoying. He you got know, annoying you- at the end of his career. You know what else I don't like about Juice World? He got he you know he was signed to um Bibby, Lil Bibby out of yeah, Chicago. Yeah, talk about it. And he um it. he he really in uh he inserted himself into like a lot of street beef that he had no parts of. I didn't like that shit. Yeah, he's from the he's from the suburbs outside of Chicago, but he was going to war with GDs in Chicago. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like bro, you you not in that life, bro. Come Chicago, on, yeah. What do you mean going to war? He was like fighting people. No, he was. No, he, he was. was, he was, he was slamming like, rappers down. Though. Like, yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't a part of what they was he dealing was with. Like, they he just. Was issues. Like, yeah. He was slamming down rakes. Like, he was. He was disrespecting Lakeside and dealing with. Like, he was basically taking inheriting beef that. Yeah. No had with, that was corny. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was stupid. Like, are you, um, are you GD? Don't worry about that. One of one of one of uh. One of G Herbo's biggest rivals was named Pasto. Dude ended up getting killed, and you know this nigga, um, Juice were like, "Oh yeah, I'm smoking on Pasto," and I was like, "Man, get shit in that ass!" I like, you don't even know what the, what went into that situation. Bro. Well, it's funny. Uh, Playboy Cardi was a uh, dissing dead people as well. Did they at least have interactions with him to where? It, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Playboy so trash. I mean, you know, you know, nowadays I I'm having people do me. I cannot stand Playboy Cardi, but at least now, people nowadays, know, like, if I give him the blood, money. Though. Nowadays, if I get yeah, you, money, I can't get stand. Killed, I killed you basically. Who got broke? I got broke. Yo, she's yo, she sounds she raps like Tony talks. 
Who you talking mm. about? Ice Spice. That shit is so annoying. Oh, you, you, ain't fuck, you ain't fuck with the bikini bottom? Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, raps like, like a Scooby Doo Oh my I don't, god! If it ain't lit, I'd rather I'm not go. Yeah, 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 I don't. I don't like her. I. I uh, she yeah. sounds like she got three tongues. This, Hold on, one second. I need. I need. That sounds fire, though. Have you watched the video? Have you watched the video? Tongues, eh? Sign me. I don't think she's. I don't think she's. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bond. Hey, Bond. She, she, she ain't gonna last, man. I mean, you don't think she's those... attractive? You don't think she's nah, attractive? No, she uh, doesn't. She, she's attractive, she, but she, 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 she got no career, though. She's confused. What, like, okay, how do I explain it? She looks weird because she's like a black woman without black woman features. It would be like a white woman with like black. It's, she does have black woman I, features. I think uh, no, uh, her, hair hair is just, her, her hair is just weird. I think, it's uh, uh, I, I think Glorilla is going to have a way longer career than her. I think she's going to face, she's going to, you know, fizzle out the has a long career. Either. No, Glorilla is going to have a long like, career. I think I so. Think so. Of course, fine. Uh, yeah. Nah, y'all sleep. Listen, because I don't she, listen. There's a there's she a she lot of music. There's uh, a lot yeah. of yeah. There's a lot of female rappers coming out lately, and I haven't been hating on any of them really. But the Ice Spice, I don't think I don't I don't like her. Well, yeah, well, she ain't well, got it. Here, here here's my take. Gl- Glorilla's gonna Glorilla last. Is, I'm telling you, Glor- Glorilla will, well, will last. To, to 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 me, a lot of these female rappers, at least some of the new ones, they sound like dudes. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like, like women, 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 like, women, 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 it was, I don't know, to me it was different than how it is today. Why? Because it's they had some different. letter that, See, that's, but that's the old man thing, bro. I'm telling you, that's the old man know. effect. Uh, like, like, it's like, different. It's like, literally the same. Like, those few more rappers actually had, like, bars. These is the more. No, like, they, no, some, no, no, somebody, bro, they, like, and I'm the dude who's very Cardi picky. Cardi B make good music. I don't fuck with They, they, they can rap. Like, Light have bars. Glorilla can, yeah, can rap. Um, Car- Cardi B can definitely rap. Nikki can rap. Glorilla Cardi looks Cardi like fine. Well, really well, yeah, like I mean, so gonna be here for yeah, Nick, Nikki's like the bar, I guess you would say, like, you know, her, like the standard these days. You know what but, I mean? Like, they got to reach to that. that standard. Who else is garbage? I'll, t- I'll tell you, I think the City Girls are absolute garbage. Nah, them hoes trash. They are garbage, bro. Not only are they garbage, they are garbage ass hoes. Like, they can, oh, yes. like, mm-hmm. one of them, I, I don't know which one is Body which. One, one of them. She's fucking trash. One of them raps like they're reading off of a piece of paper, like literally. Oh, don't don't you, he's talking about, about Miss Miami because she's the one that's not really the best rapper. You yeah. say like, you JT. mean Young Miami? Did you just say Miss Miami? Did yeah, whatever her name. Both is. of them are garbage, yeah, but one is Miami. like <laughs> one is like dumpster fire garbage. JT, JT's better. Than her. Yeah, JT's definitely the real rapper. Of the group. Hold on, hold on. So y'all, y'all wouldn't tune y'all when he say it's your Miami and I can't even get my sad. They're good. so y'all bad. I've never heard one of their songs. They're so bad. Like, um. Even though I, I feel like uh, what's his name, like Meg has no like substance, she can still rap though. I'm yeah, she just got I'm no substance. I forgot all about her. Yeah, she just got no yeah, substance. Put some respect on these female artists, man. Megan no, she, she can rap, Megan but she got no substance. The, she the female. She rap. She, she she she's not like she, she, she got the crap. female. Yeah, she is the baby in female form. She got the same flow on every. She, she has not song. changed her her type since 2018. She's been the same, person. and she's slick. Right? I mean, her influence was Juicy J, but that double time, like, I told her how to rap actually, and her joint be flopping hard, bro. Because yeah, like, here should be going double, double aluminum. Because the thing is, the, like, she makes she makes music for for women to just twerk to. That's the but like dudes are not going to listen to your joint. Like the, that's the only thing. Yeah, N- Nikki makes music like. Like bro, there's there's songs I could put on, I could play some Nikki songs, and I'm like, yo, this joint you hard. You playing I'm Anaconda, not... BG? You was playing Anaconda? Yeah, no, BG. You, you, that's that's the first thing that came to your mind. Wasn't Anaconda? Wasn't check it out? Um, check it out. You like super out. bass? What you? What you playing? Super, super bass? bass. There, there's no, there's no like Meg the Stallion song I can think of. I'm like, yeah, Nikki, I, Nikki's I want to listen to that. Fired on. There's no Meg the Stallion song I would ever consider turning on. Do y'all listen to them? Who? I know of her rap city, city, but I don't listen to her frequently. Do y'all, listen to, rapsody, do y'all listen to any female rappers the, that don't rap, speak the thing, about the, the, the thing about Rhapsody is, bro, she's she's like all she's like the polar 
she's like too far on the opposite spectrum of the of the rest of these. Why? Because she's she she a rapidity rap. She a rapidity rap nigga. She, yeah, she bro. She's she uh, pretty good. Oh Enchanted my god. Girl on the Gucci. Oh, Enchanted, Enchanted is fire. Yeah, yeah, fire. I like yeah. Enchanted. I like Enchanted. Fire. She got that whisper. She got the whisper. Only fans too. Rhapsody is like is, is like yeah, yeah she does. Is yeah, Rhapsody is, is is like Nas under bad production. So you so you don't like Rhapsody's. Nigga, I gotta post something. I just posted one time. What the fuck is wrong with you? You didn't put. I, I posted something different. Read it. Oh, something different. That, nigga, no one gets the fuck about Kim Kardashian. Um. But anyway, we, next question. I just be she wondering if her, niggas yeah. think. I be wondering if women, uh, not women, if dudes think women uh, rappers are corny in general. Because I never really do. Most men, most men comedians look, are corny in general, but not women. Don't don't. They had the same jokes. Most I don't. Mean, don't, I, 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 I don't it's just like um. I guess. <laughs> I can't relate to what they're saying. You know what I mean? Most men look at <laughs> women rappers and comedians like <laughs> female wrestlers. Well, they just bra and panties match? No, they they just, just, they're not they're not You're big not draws to the men. Like, like like the only one that was like new that came out a couple of years ago was a uh, young MA. I don't know what happened to her, but she right. actually can rap. Like she started she got OnlyFans too. Well, yeah, she does. Yeah, uh, who has OnlyFans? Come on, bro. Yeah. Nah, she she directs like female porn or thing. Oh yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she, she, did. Did. she found her call and she found. I don't, her know, I don't know if she's still doing it. I know she did it like a few times, but yeah, she and, dropped yeah, that album, a bunch. She dropped an album called Her Story, and it was cool. But it's just like it. The thing with uh, female rappers, unfortunately, not speaking for myself, but I think a lot of niggas just view them as gimmicks, like. There's Rock one the thing that separates you from everyone else. Nicki Minaj's Rock, gimmick. Free. Ni- Nicki Fire. Minaj's gimmick was the Barbie, the uh, the the pop star rapper. You know, the high yellow highlighter, highlighter pink, but mm-hmm. you know, aggressive. But I'm still a girly girl. Yeah. It unfortunately only men can really come in a rap game wearing a dirty T-shirt and some and some you busted up Nikes and get a following. But a woman, she has to have a a, a, a stick. She has to have a stick. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but be sexy. That's the a lot of Nicki sexy. shit was written by another dude too. So, are you talking about Safari? No, Stack Bundles wrote half her shit. Oh, Stacks? Yeah, really? Stack yep, Stack Bundles wrote like a lot of Nicki Minaj's first early songs. Yep. How do you know that? Well, 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 well but afterwards, then because he passed. Well, that's why you're right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Did he write the monster verse? Well, no, we like the reason why they found her, like, um, how she got like signed and shit when she was making music in New York. Stack Bundles wrote like all her songs, like every single so fucking Stack, one. So Stack Bundles said, "Pink wig, thick arrow, give yeah, a whip." Well, yeah, he yeah. He's talking about before she got signed. I'm well, just saying, I'm just, but I'm just saying, no that, different than the song right here for Beyonce. I'm just saying that means nothing to me if her one of her best verses of all time. Well, know, some, no, some of her not, best first hits were written by Stack Bundles. He just died. So he never nigga, got she got rich off of it. She got known off a of mixtape. Cool, but it's all about what you did when you oh, got no, it. Yeah, the mixtape. There's becoming... a bunch of niggas that that got popping, but after they got the acclaim, they didn't do nothing with it. I e Mims, shout out Mims. Oh, music, the second person I heard bring that man up <laughs> music too. Is my right. Yeah, music is my savior. I'm about to say music saved my life. Oh, wait, wait, what was it again? I can't believe he named himself <laughs> he after saw, that saw, acronym. He he was, but he wrote a lot of people's shit. Yeah, like, that was crazy. All right, next question. John John the Don, have y'all ever experienced a paranormal event? Yes. Yes. Yep. Can y'all talk about it? Are y'all scared? No, y'all, they sound that scared with that. Do. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go Chicken first. Um, I, it wasn't paranormal, but I have a. Uh, I, I used to have what you call it. Um, uh, dreams. The dreams were. Uh, God damn. What is it called? When you're awake, but you're asleep. Um, oh, sleep paralysis. Yeah, sleep, sleep paralysis. I've, yeah. I've had, uh, I hate you. I've, I've had sleep paralysis like what, maybe five, <laughs> five, six times in my life. And um, what, see, scary. most of the time, it's not shit mo- scary as hell, man. <laughs> see, most of the times when I had it, it wasn't scary, right? It was one time I had it, and it was the most terrifying thing of my life, right? So I'm laying there, and they said, you know, when you're, you when you, why are you so gay? Uh, I'm laying there, V <laughs> shape. I'm in bed, and sometimes they say, you know, with, with sleep sleep paralysis comes hallucinations. So I'm laying there, right? And my, I had like, I, I had a pillow to the to the left of me. I'm looking, I'm sleep. Well, you know, that's how sleep paralysis works. I'm looking left, and the pillow literally starts to form like a face. Lie to you, and it looks like, it looks like a demon, damn near. It look like hard eight. <laughs> Hey, 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 PG, is it before or after you took the edible? 
No, this, no, that's no, that I wasn't on. I wasn't on edible. When I when I had sleep paralysis, you it looked like a shadow monster or demon or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. And it, sleep is good. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> it was sleep literally. Is good. It was literally like in the in the pillow, and it was like a yeah a shadow or a demon, and that's the first time. Like, because most of the time, most of the time when I've had sleep paralysis, it's it's nothing but it's nothing but like I'm sleep, but I can't move, and I can, but everything around me, but everything around me is as is normal. Like I can actually see around me. I'm like okay, haunted by a sleep demon. It look like hard ages or And I'm a and I'm a and I just and I usually I don't panic or nothing. I'm like, all right, I know what's happened. I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna just wait. Wait this out. I'm like, all right, bro. bro. What were you wearing, BJ? You was next to your wife and said, because oh, you heard. Pussy. This is before I was married. <laughs> this is before I was married. Can't wait till I go to E3. This was like uh, this, this was like 2000. Off your forehead. This was like maybe 2000. Wait, you move. This is like this is like 2015, I think. Oh yeah, this, yeah, it's probably like 20, 2015. Hey yo, we gotta make this skit, bro. We gotta make a skit of BG just in steel in bed, and we hear hard they quips all over around his head. Yo, speaking of skits and people in bed, <laughs> hear that ether beat when he laying in bed. <laughs> speaking of skits of people in bed, do you remember that skit I made on Infinite Retro on bed when he was doing cocaine? What? I can't say that I do good. No, is that in a relevant file? So we used to call this bald-headed white dude. He's been on Weapon Wheel before. He just says the wildest shit. So I started calling him, instead of Infinite Retro, I started calling him Infinite Cocaine. So mm. then he did something worse. He changed his name from Infinite Retro to Bald at Games. I remember that. So oh, you're going to change oh. this up. From, I'd rather be known as Infinite Cocaine than Bald at, than bald at Anything. What was that dude that y'all had on here a week or two ago that was yeah, talking about um, that graphics card? And he kept saying, hey, let me tell you. Are you wondering what that's good? <laughs> Man, listen. Yeah. What Who was that guy? Sir. No, that was his, what was his name? It was, like, really suspect. Are you, are you talking about Dick Miss Prime or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all ready for the next question? In, instead yeah. of y'all done making up y'all own events? I want y'all to know I, I ignored y'all that whole time. Fight, you, mean, you, you having an ether beat playing in your head during <laughs> sleep around? Because I don't know, y'all, it's just real <laughs> weird and random. Y'all just bringing up that med. <laughs> you, like, ain't what? you ain't want no pot seven, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, J. Thomas. How do y'all deal with situations where your homies are cool with you, but you don't, but you don't f with? And P.S. B.G. should probably read the two or three questions with the most likes from last week's corrupted after dark. How do you deal with situations where your homies are cool question. with people? Oh, oh, how do you deal with uh, situations where your homies are? Cool with people that you don't f with, so you don't like uh, you don't like uh, them with your homies. Great question. Great question. Great question. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in, um, inherited beef. So I don't, I just, if, if you have a problem with somebody and I'm cool with them, I don't, I don't, that, that don't got nothing to do with me. I don't believe in you, that, you know, type of stuff. Like, you know that, what? That, I, uh, I just let it be known, you know, the dude you kick it with, I don't fuck with him, but I don't really too much bring, say nothing else about it. We be having it in the discord. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it's a problem if people, got something to do with them. That's it. I don't think it's a problem if people are neutral, but. Sometimes people pick sides. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, if, you, if you start picking sides, it's gonna be an issue. That's why. Well, speaking from the lying. phone right now. Because uh, there was definitely some MVP deadly Messiah inherited beef. No, mm. not at all. I just, if you know, if you don't like somebody, and you know, like I'm just, that's just. I also think it depends what the person has done. Like, you know, it's different. There's levels to this. Now, say, if, if you did something to where, like, say if I'm cool with somebody and our mutual friend go up and slap Wonton's mom, what I look like hanging out with that nigga still? Like, it depends on that. On the I'm, group. Right. I'm, I'm just not going to tell group. somebody else, oh, you can't, like, be cool with that person. I don't like them. Like, no, I'm just yeah, going to tell you I ain't cool with them. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not going to tell them that, but, like, if I, if, if, if this person, if this said person did some really fucked up shit and I see they still, like, Hang around them. I'm just yeah. Look at I'm gonna look at you. Then... I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna look at you different. I'm right. like, here's a lesson for you. 
I but think that's, that's, that's like gray school what, what, shit. You can't be okay. his friend. You my friend. That's that's we should, like. What we about get, uh, what, we should get red what about legitimate fucking... inherited beef? Like with your dad, like Kratos. Nah, like if you got a girl and she had inherited beef, you don't want her around her. You don't want her around prior beef. Literally. I mean, yeah. what? Literally inherited beef. Oh, like um. That's a guy trip question. Hey man, next question, man. Like no, that's a serious. That's a, yo, <laughs> can you give, it, can you give like, us the scenario? Because this must be something real that you're referring to. Hey, man, I, hey, hey, happened at work. Dude wanted to do business <laughs> with somebody, but he used to date the person. He used to date the person's now wife. You can't do business with that person. Oh, oh okay. See, that gives more context. What do you mean? That's inherited no. beef. What do you mean? Like, like work related shit? Yeah. W- okay. Would you? You're married, right? Would you want to do business with a dude that was fucking your wife before you? Not well, really, but if it's work exactly. related, I have, I have, I have no choice. You know, you know who does that though, uh, Bond? The Rock oh. does that. He, his ex-wife and his ex-wife's current husband are all business partners now. I know that is kind of crazy. reason, I don't care. Is he bigger than me? That's, so that's also one of the things that once you get into the elite, elite of any type of uh, industry, you probably just go run into the same people over and over again. That's true. That's different if your girl work at a bank and then, you know, the mechanic down the street end up, you know, that's different. But, you know, I don't have to deal with uh, any issues like that because I have a very small circle. So. Small dick, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is your throat big, Jack? I don't know. Mm, what wow. Are you, what are you, hey, yo. Hey, Jack, tell me how your face feels. What? What? Praise Jigga. Yeah, you know it. Oh, yeah, we haven't done that comment yet, Jigga, so I'm excited. Uh, Matthew Fletcher. Why does BG object to people playing on normal difficulty? Normal difficulty is much more much more fun than playing on the hardest difficulty, which is no fun at all. You don't got to play on the hardest, but you can't play I on know, normal. I normally play from the play second down, unless I really want yeah. to get into the game. Because normal, I don't know what year what like year this actually happened but but easy became normal uh at a certain point in gaming where easy was actually you know easy normal was like you know literally middle of the road but over i, w- I want to say the at least the beginning of the of last gen normal was literally became what easy used to be so now you have to compensate so you have to go to at least hard because after hard there's usually sometimes two difficulties above above and I, that's an, that's another thing i'm be real some of these some of these games be going too crazy with the amount of difficulties like i think wolfenstein had like six difficulties maybe i'm wrong with that but, but like y'all gotta tone it down there's no hey, reason hey, to have PG. six difficulties pg have you played doom eternal on nightmare i haven't played doom eternal at all oh man i'm missing oh. out doc as you shouldn't let me see. Let me look up to you. Like, if you got more than six difficulties, bro, you're doing way too much. Uh, okay, Doom Eternal had like this seems like five. I mean, we already saw God of War Ragnarok had five. Yeah. Oh my god. See how BG did there. So five. So five is the limit because Sony does that or what? No, five, bro. Ooh. What? What could? Because you can make the case for easy. Normal, hard, very very hard, and like something that's like damn near, I guess, impossible. But like, like even that's pushing it. You know what I'm saying? There should only be four difficulties in a game: easy, normal, hard, and like masochist. Because here's the thing: five should be one below easy. That's called journalist mode. (sighs) Because (laughs) that's the thing: five difficulties only exist literally only exists because they made um because they made normal easy they made normal so easy so now to really get to a hard difficulty you had to make five but you know they got easy or are you just normal? better than normal? Do you one thing i don't like about the the difficult gate thing is like unlocking a harder difficulty while beating the game once i think they yeah, I think that's all at once because what are you even protecting like call oh, call of duty right. is still doing that they still lock the difficulty you had to beat the game what are you protecting <laughs> like well, they do that so I guess you'll replay it. It's I dumb. don't know why they give a fuck, but. All right. Uh, next question. 
Jason Quaid. Praise Jigga. Yeah. Um, hey, hey, y'all. I had a dream last night. I was in the KKK instead of karate. Okay. Well, I don't know why you. I don't know why you're in either. But sure. Uh, oh, there man. were there were no black people in my dream. Just good barbecue and angry Mexicans. Where is this going? I have wow. I have no desire to be in the clan, but I I enjoyed my dream. Am I a bad person? I'm so confused by this. Where where did, where did the barbecue and angry Mexicans come from? Like what? Yeah, the. Me, should I read this over? I don't know. Just real quick, BG, has anyone uh like submitted questions this week talking about like Elon taking over Twitter? I don't think so. Not from what I've seen. Do, do, how, do you think that's going to be positive or negative for us in particular? I don't think I it's going to be. I think it's negative all around. To be honest with you. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going to be that because he he tweeted that uh, as far as like how they moderate content, nothing is currently changing, and I don't think like it, it's not. It's not going to be like. Listen, it, most of the stuff you can't say now. You're not going to be able to say it. Like you're not going to be able to drop f bombs. That's not going to change without getting PG, suspended. PG. PG. You're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to like probably. The use of the wish N-word death has on people. increased by 500 percent on Twitter since he's taken over. Fire. Fire. But that, Fire. but that doesn't, but that doesn't mean people aren't getting banned for it. Uh, I doubt it, bro. But, but, I mean, bro, I, but, I don't but, think but that the thing is like okay, over, like, people, like the majority of the the stuff they had in place is most likely all still doing what it was doing before he got there. That's he ain't saying. been there long enough to change uh, exactly formula that of actual Twitter. Right. He's only been there for like two days. Hired people, so I mean, I mean how, how long you got to be to do that? Right. Did you guys see? I what mean, he, he said can literally the... do that the moment he steps in the building. Like, he said he didn't even have a meeting. Did you guys see what they said about the verification thing? No, uh, what is it? Or I just he read it. Really said read check the... marks. What yeah, is it? he said he gave him a deadline of November 7th. That's like... For what? I'm not doing that. I deleted Twitter. I'm not going to be honest. One out of time. So, What's going on? So, Byron, what it is, they have, um, they have a subscription. It's called Twitter Blue. It's like $5 a month. Yeah. Apparently, they want to change it to $10 a month, and you got to pay for... Um, you have to pay to be verified. Twenty dollars a month subscription. I mean, if you're already uh, verified and you're making that much, that's not a big deal. Right. This whole thing is no, he wants no, to I, I revamp the verification of, system and he wants to get rid of like bots and shit on Twitter. Yeah, I think I they're getting rid of the the verification system. Well, like I mean, they're replacing that with blue. You know what? You know what they might be doing? Uh, there's this new social media that's been out for maybe a year now called Vero. For um. It's in beta, and I've been using it for photography. They're essentially blending all forms of social media aspect into one app. Like if I press the if I press the ad button, mm-hmm. I can create a post that either has to do with photos, a link, music, movie, TVs, books, place, games, apps. It's literally a, it's almost like they're trying to combine Facebook, Twitter, Instagram into one. And the way their verification process goes is. I was going to get verified because it's such a new social media. I was like, oh, let me be one of the first few people verified. Oh, man. You have to send in. What was that? Your. Yeah, was that? Stick. No, stick. That was you me. Have to, you have to send in not only your name and your business or whatever. I was going to do it until they, like, asked me for, my, like, my driver's license number. I think they asked for my social. Like, they was oh, asking wow. for some stuff where once it, I was like, uh, yeah, oh, I'm not doing that. Too Let much. me go find right. it while y'all talking. I'm going to go find that email. Y'all ain't asked this, y'all answered this man's question. What are <laughs> we talking a, about? He said, uh, I I okay, it. so this guy's question was, no, all, it was all over the place. He said, I, he had a dream. He was in the KKK instead of karate. There were no black people in my dream. Just good barbecue and angry Mexicans. I have no desire to be in the clan. <laughs> But I enjoyed my dream. Am I a bad person, bro? Yes, I don't know. You enough. might be, but, but I'm gonna be playing to get free barbecue. So well, listen, well, I'm, well, I'm gonna be real. Well. The fact that you, it was good barbecue, and you said you enjoyed your dream. I can understand. Good barbecue can right. make a lot of bad things good. Sorry. So I'm, I'm not knocking Sorry. you. Okay. I think <laughs> when it when it comes to me and the whole Twitter thing, like I do feel like. Things have been weird for a while, like, you know, Jack and, and BG and Kids Move, they'll get, like, suspended or completely thrown. I mean, Black Bond's lost his account once over, like, light stuff that people attack them Come first. On, and, man. They're just, and, and they're just uh, responding to them. But you, you have literally, like, porn going on on Twitter, and they don't get attacked whatsoever. Like, they don't get took down. 
Like it, it just part of me feels yeah. like that doesn't make well, sense, and I don't. I'm kind of mad. It. Ain't, ain't nobody offended that. by nipples. Right. No, it's not Ooh, that. It's just how how, how is like like BG or Bong going to get banned off of Twitter just for pretty much responding to someone trying to talk so, uh, t- sideways to them? But some chick getting her back blown out, that nothing happens to her. You know I what did, I'm saying? I did report no, some no, of them. Some, some of them, some of them be hosted by bisexual dudes and you don't know and they don't say it. And they're like, you be seeing the dude, you be seeing a big booty, you like, that, that, that girl fat. And all of a sudden you see the meat. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's your algorithms? My bigger that issue with the porn <laughs> thing is like, <laughs> you, could, boom, boom. you could type in something extremely innocent and docile, and porn will come up. Yeah. Like you could, you yeah. could literally be, uh, I don't know, um, like, that's, that's that's right there. like you could, you I could like be looking part. up, you could look up, be looking up God of War, and some porn will come up. I like that. <laughs> this thing. I think it actually ran the way it was supposed to. And after that, it was like, well, probably the first two times we went on the school, it running like a school. Oh, so, the tick, yeah. so, the tick, real, real I, muted. He, I think he think he muted. Yo, so, yeah, so I guess Twitter's going to be uh, monetized since he bought it? Oh, what the oh. fuck? Uh, Yo, somebody needs to get their background in for somebody. Who is that? Jack or Lee? Yeah, yeah, somebody's background on him. It ain't me, boy. I'm looking at my, my joint right now. It ain't me. Dog, oh, you've been unmuted the whole my, time. I said, no, I've been I've been unmuted, yeah. And I've been off the side of the room, so. He was talking about your scooter. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, and I was just talking to my brother just now. I'm like, oh, yeah. uh, I said he don't want to hear about your scooter. I actually have siblings. I'm like, some of you. <laughs> what the fuck? You have siblings now? Goddamn. <laughs> I don't think like the changes are going to be like as radical as people think. That's radical. I like the freedom of speech, man. Like, yeah, let people say the N word so I can say the F word. You know. The main thing I've oh. seen Elon say about what he wants for Twitter, he wants to limit, um, like accounts getting banned and suspended for like their their views. You oh, know, sure. yeah, right wing or left wing. Expecting people on Twitter not get in trouble. I, can say I got suspended for telling BG to lock to lock get locked up because he, he didn't like what I put in. Deserve it. That's what I'm saying. There's just too much. There's too much inconsistency. There's just too much inconsistency. Clearly, the last people. I feel like Twitter is ran a lot like Twitch, where it, it, they're yeah. so one sided. They're willing to completely overlook anything else. And like you know, I don't. I rarely get political on anything. But it's just like if you're running a social media on that, it's okay to keep the people saying some nonsense off the social media. But it's well, like. Yeah. Where do you draw the line? And I feel like Twitter was erasing that line and redrawing it over and over again. Yeah, see, 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 the thing is, the- see what's going to happen is so, somebody's going to say something on Twitter, and a lot of people will get killed for it, and the tourists will be blamed for it because they ain't no. nothing about it. The only like, thing that should be ban- the only thing that should be banned on Twitter is oh, racial geez. slurs. You're a big Google head called- going to kill you. What do you mean? Oh, man, <laughs> the only thing that should, be, the only thing that should get, get you. you banned on Twitter what is, is racial time, slurs guy. and people like or. Organizing yeah, violence. No, yeah, no. Yeah. I agree with that. Stay, all that can stay. It's freedom of speech, man. I'm with that. I don't have a problem. Okay, okay so t- so take one. Freedom of speech. So many freedom times. Freedom of speech is about, about government. Tick, 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 tick. You heard of consequences, right? Like freedom of con. You know, you're not free from that. Want, no, I don't care about none of that. But well, yeah, that's what? That, that, that's part of it. Weird, man. The hell? I don't say whatever they want. Tick is man. accepting. Tick is accepting whatever comes with him saying whatever he says. Right. right. I think. I think I'm mainly just referring to like being soft, man. Like like no, basic it's not that, conversations. It's not that. Tick is not that. Is that okay? You're okay with it, but the victims that get the you know the oh, call me that. a word. Oh my god, I'm so hurt. Bro, you man, ain't talking about that. Ain't talking about like normal shit, physical it's, shit. Tick is stupid, dude. Like, one one they should get porn on here too. You heard the things you say about women. Don't do that. Yeah, you, you hear the things you say about women? Thirty dollars is as much as I'll spend on a date. Don't talk to me. I don't I don't that. That. So anyway, anyway, I spent two hundred dollars to go to Dave and Buster's stupid nah. little female dummy. What are you talking about? Two hundred dollars? Yeah, that wasn't girl. that wasn't me, that's, dummy. That's, that's, that's it, a, That's a girl. Anyway. Hey, duck man, that wasn't me. So say I apologize. <laughs> Next question. Nah. You, hey, somebody anyway, my, my, my whole question point is question, acts of violence, racist. They need to get porn off of Twitter too. Why? People yeah, saying, oh, get him out here. Who cares about feelings? You gotta understand the minimum age of Twitter is 13. Oh, wow. Oh, my like, God. It, like, if, I, if I could change Twitter to filter just, out, like, all this anime, anime hentai, 
nude sh Yo, I hate looking at Twitter at work when I'm trying to, like, find, like, something on sports, and I fucking see, like, big-ass tits or some cartoon porn or some shit. Well, you you know, just to me, it's like, no one has an issue with that, but there's a place for everything, and that's not right. the places on Twitter. You don't like being horny? You got a point there, Eddie. You can block that horny. stuff, you know that, right? Next question. Hey, you know, that great. Some people got problems with certain things, and some people got problems with other things. Look, cool, I just, I'm like, hey, it all can be there. It's cool. Stop being sensitive. If you don't like it, block it. Get rid of it. Koopa, one gotta yeah. go. Hold on. I have a problem with a girl with pretty feet and they not on my face. Like, what are you talking about? We need to be moving away right, from right, Jigga. Jigga. <laughs> having a degenerate society. That's what we need. Pack it up, Jigga. <laughs> one, oh, one... Your whole YouTube channel is based oh off of being a degenerate. No, it's not. <laughs> they said they not on my face. people for being bald. Take you having a like, no. Okay, hold on. First of all, Mon, Mon, I'm gonna stop this nonsense right now. You stop it. The bald <laughs> people <laughs> attacked. The bald people attacked me first. No, they didn't. Just yes, Trey. They did. Please, <laughs> the bald so people. That you just Trey. Bald, bald just K, just Trey. Just K Meg. Uh, yo, hold on. I got. Let me open up. I'm gonna attack my bald people. I don't care. Nah, I, I got a whole like. Hey, Mon, I'm short. I get called a midget all the time by tall people. Cool. I don't have a problem with tall people. I, I, I got an Excel list of bald people. I, I heard you want to exterminate like, all tall know. people. Tall genocide. I, know. I, don't oh, shit. I don't have a problem with any tall people. Well, it tall. would be dumb to want to exterminate tall people because we literally make up two percent of the population. How much do the bald people make up? You guys must your legs probably a lot too. more. And then who would Take reach it. on top of the refrigerator? You know what? You know what? That's actually a good point. <laughs> be, be, be talking to real shit. No, no, you say Tick calls his neighbor to get his cereal up the <laughs> Right. I'm like, hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Cereal, hey you love you, Miss Conley. Can you come get my God. Reese's Pits? Oh, 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 my God. There. Hey, Jack, she's like, Tick, right. four in the morning. Y'all fucking suck. The Warriors fucking suck. Oh, my God. BG, I literally just looked at the fucking Pistons. Y'all suck. BG, it says forty percent of people have either lost their hair or are on their way of going bald. That's now, how about twelve Ooh. people in their kneecaps? Forty percent. That's a lot, bro. You, know you know what I would do if I. You know what I would do if I had it. I wouldn't even call it the death note. I call it the bald note. Yo, something... <laughs> All right, I next would call it the bald note. Next question. Uh, okay. Koopa, one gotta go. Mike Flanagan All edition. Um, the haunt, the haunting of Hill House, the haunting of Bly Manor, Midnight Mass, and the Midnight Club. I've only watched one of those. I oh, think. The Midnight Club. Gotta go. Watch the Midnight it's, Club. It's is that good? good? No, it's not good. It's it's all right, bro. Midnight it's Mass is fire though. I watch Bly so, Manor. So, That's all I know. I don't know nothing that else. It ends horribly. It ends That's horribly. Though. Midnight Club trash. It ends so like it starts off good, but then like as it goes on, it ends horribly because they trying to rush it uh, in the season. But they're trying to get a season two. Haunted on Hill Housing. I watched that and I watch um, Midnight Mass. No, Midnight Mass is really good. What did we yeah, like good, Mass but Haunted on Hill Housing. Yeah, Midnight Mass is good. Is it Haunted on Hill Housing was the Haunted on Hill Housing was the only one that was even remotely kind of creepy. You dyslexic. Right. <laughs> Right. Does he keep saying it backwards? Like the uh, haunting of Hill Housing. Right. That's the name of it. Oh no, he's right. It, right. Is, it is Hill Housing. Okay, you still oh, do yeah. dyslexic though. Bro, it's called the haunting of Hill Housing. <laughs> you right? Yeah, but yes. you still do. The haunting right. of Hill House or whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah Hill, Hill House. House. Y'all niggas okay? Are you? Yeah, no. Y'all you like Hill House? Hill House. We got to talk about. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm putting some sauce. I'm putting the secret sauce. Yeah, he, you know what's crazy though? That, the guy who he, he made those shows, he made the movie uh, Ouija. That movie fucking sucks. That oh, yeah, Ouija is. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Jack, who was that last week that was talking about the secret cut? Was that a uh, black boy? What? <laughs> yeah, you talking about Mark. someone to call it was a secret cut? Not hard. Back corporate. Fuck. He like says it like that. Oh, yeah. you Yeah, bro. Uh, we ain't gotta keep bringing up that nigga's the most homophobic gay guy I've ever like, bro. He'll be like, <laughs> Yo, you over there sucking on that Xbox Sony, the balls on your chin, you balls, balls, but you got the balls on your chin. Like, he'd be the balls. I ain't talking about heartache, you know, me and heartache are cool. He about to come for you. I like heartache. Yeah, I want to do this. Hey, you know, like, balls. Like, he his, his, me? his computer, his computer is out of control. Like, oh, it's fire. Yeah, he got like twenty Power Rangers in that bitch. What? <laughs> yeah, I like all kinds of colors. That nigga definitely homophobic to a fault. Next question: yeah. 
Jay, question for everyone. Who is the greatest white man of all time and why? <laughs> Larry Bird. Hey, see me? I'm born yeah. in the or something. You're still crazy. Wait, y'all gonna skip over Tom Cruise? Y'all gonna skip over Tom Cruise? Might be Bill Burr. Larry Bird, bro. Larry Bird, bro. Sorry. Maybe yeah, I was gonna say Al Gore because he created the internet. Well, he had a hand in creating the internet. He, the, the, a black woman created the internet. Sir. But does he like black people? Right. Yeah. Do you? Yes, mm, <laughs> better question. The better question. Oh, no, it's not. No, no, it's not. I'll play with you, Doc. <laughs> hey, you want to get a fan to hear him take out? Oh, see, have, you ever, have you ever heard me drop it right on, on, on black people? I never call, I don't call black people nigga for a reason. I think hey, Tick, hey, Tick. Up, when is yeah. the, um, what, 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 what age were you when you learned what BBW meant? Um, Probably when I was like 19. That's when I started looking up. Huh? Nineteen. We didn't say nothing. <laughs> he did it wrong, Tick. You got to take Come on, man. <laughs> what? what that, that was a genuine. <laughs> yeah, that nigga did I thought, it. I thought it. Was, I thought it meant big black women until I was like in high school. That's what I thought too. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought that too, but then I was like, no, nah, it's gotta be big, big beautiful women because I saw white white women too, and I was like, that's what? oxymoron. Oh, There's no such thing as a big beautiful woman. That's like a handsome Man, short midget. Mine. It doesn't exist. I'm a handsome Wait. short midget. I'm short. I'm pretty handsome. Yeah. Wait, how tall are you? Look at that. Yes, sir. The Wait, short how tall kings are standing, how tall kings are standing up. Problem. You can I'm still looking short. I'm seven. Midget, but what does the market say? The market. Uh, my wife. Uh, my my <laughs> wife. The market. He's off the fucking market, buddy. I'm there. You go. This nigga see all. Hey, did you, ask him, what, did you ask him what his Diablo three market rating is? No, I'm just saying, like when when wet, when men and women are like, oh, I'm so attractive. It's like, as a man, what you say doesn't matter. As a woman, what you say doesn't matter. It's what the opposite sex says about you that matters. That's true. Fine. What would I you mean, rate yourself on a ten? Out of one out of ten, what would you rate yourself? And can't you probably, say probably a six? I see what you did there. You gotta give yourself a little bit more credit than that, bro. What, what makes you a six and not like an eight? I mean, I'm or just a nine. Fucking, I mean, I'm just a regular dude. I'm not an athlete. Dude. I'm not like some corporate mogul. I'm just an average guy. Average so, would you average. date a girl that's a six? Or, average to be average. Would you date a girl that's a six? Oh, yeah, it's an average oh, girl. Yeah. You trying to bag me? No, no, no. Mine is a abnormal, as they would say. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's crazy in this world, right? I, I think men are more accepting of being average, but like women will say, oh, average men are trash. Why do women date average men? I'll be like, well, because most women are also, oh, they're not. every woman's a 10. I'm like, well, some, oh. like, statistically speaking, most people are average, everyday, normal people. I don't know that either. I mean, like, you're not, Bond, you didn't answer that correctly. If they say everyone's a 10, and it's like, okay, well, then that means everyone's average if they all attend. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but my average. whole point is, like, if I was higher than a six or something, I'd probably, like, on a cover of a magazine or, like, be able to model. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm just okay, like, so I'm, I'm just an above average man? dude. What's a ten man for you in your in your eyes? What's I mean, team? I would guess somebody like Tom Brady, Leonardo DiCaprio, oh, Beckham. No, I'm just some... trying to see who he thinks is cute. Wait, 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 yeah, my, you heard my, him. He cinched, my, he cinched his uh, smoker jacket just now. I will well, say my, 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 overall, my, overall, my overall point, though, is, like, the opposite sex determines your rating. You don't. Like, if I was pulling, like, four bitches a weekend, like, easy, like, no effort, then, yeah, I'd probably think I'd be higher than a six, but, but don't I, I don't do got it like that. You don't. Do we having like two or three sex sex capades once a week? You tell us about it. Every now and again, but you know, I'm, I'm good, you know. I mean, but again, these girls aren't like eights, nines, and tens. They're like mainly six, sevens, and eights. I don't know what that mm. average. Yeah, average average, average, average in the any day. Average so you like, average you like the so you like the Tim Duncan of getting women. Mm. I, I mean, that's a like good one. I mean, that, let's be serious. I'm not I'm not walking around with a model on my arm or anything. Yeah, we've seen them. Next I mean, question. I mean, I've, I mean, I've been up there, but like those, those are no. <laughs> not What would you rate yourself? And you can't use a seven. Who, me? Height, yeah, weight, and dress size. Oh, uh, 
dress size. I got what dress size? My dress size. I'm a 29 in the waist. <laughs> oh, you can't get a high value man. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know what? You were 29 for real. Well, remember we did our measurements and everyone in the Discord got the same pants length, <laughs> even though yeah, we're like, yeah, but you're waist twenty nine. You're a little petite, little snack. I told. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Call another nigga. I told you, you snack. You know, hey. you delectable nigga. That nigga. Hey, wants a, a hey. window right now. I'm putting it on Instagram and Twitter oh, when they God. post this. I'm putting it on Instagram. <laughs> nigga, what? He said you nigga. a petite little snack. Said, hey. I thought he said delectable. Hey. That's great. That's funny, dog. Uh, Yo, uh, that next question. Funny. Freezy Tuesday, man. <laughs> look at me starting the rap bar trends in the comments. Uh, shout out to Flea. Shout out to Flea anyway. What? Shout out to Flea huh? anyway. I had the a who, is, who the hell is Flea? Did they send some rap comments, BG? Please. Oh, keep, uh... oh okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I had a question Is it too far if I make a bar like I would slam SB so hard he start throwing gang signs like Tua? Who's SB? Oh, else no. read that, man. You read that like you were retarded, BJ. Yeah, yeah. I was read that. Because I, I actually thought this was a rap bar. Alex, <laughs> it, 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 it was. I think he wants it to be casual. I think he wanted you to read it like a question, then you realize, oh my god, that was a bar. Like, so you gotta start over. <laughs> yeah. But I can't rap. I'm not a rapper. All right, Jake, can you pull over and read this one, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why do you always think he's driving? <laughs> I'm off to actually a little bit. <laughs> He, he he's right the now. He's yes, sir. Jay got sleeping like a race car man. Yeah, you think? Oh. Nah, he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I drive him into my dream. But who's SB? <laughs> who's SB? SB is, is um Soldier Boy. I don't know. Ooh, I, that's the only SB I can think of. No, oh, Scary Brash. Hey. Wait, I don't know who the SB is. Scary Brash. Oh, I don't know. Scary um, one the community name SB. There's no one in the community named SB. And what? And he said, and what did Jack say about my Jiggy League offer last week? Mm. I'm with it, man. If the people with it, I'm with it, bro. I don't know. BG acted scary, though, man. Oh, the, me battling who? What? The BG dude that be leaving the Patreon comments. Right, yeah. right, right. BG, I'll, I'll ghost right for you. We just got to uh, get you delivery. Oh, I'm not, I'm not rap battling anybody, but I'm, I'm oh, just curious about who he said. Do it for the community, <laughs> man. I'm not a rapper. Guy. Super I'm gonna go fire. He ain't a reader. You want to make a rap the fuck? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all wrong. Uh, you want to keep it PG? It's BG. You still working micro center? Got the weapon oh, wheel. Walmart. Walmart, 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 okay. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. All right. I'm going to come shit on the couch. That's why he don't like Hard Aid because Hard Aid always in there buying and returning shit. Nah, take like Hard Aid. We all like Hard Aid. Yeah, I like Hard Aid. Yeah. He's just like built like a gummy bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. see, I pick a size. Oh, that's the come from me. Oh, no, I'm friends with everybody, bro. Hey, I'm like Paris in here, man. Oh, I hate that nigga. Oh, fake ass nigga. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Paris and Tony Polanco, good boy. Like, I, I can't understand yeah. how you, as a journalist, can say that integrity isn't important. What is it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, integrity is important, man. Like, I tell everybody, oh, I'll give you my word. Apparently, hair ain't really important. Hold on, Jacob. Are you in a are you in a mob, nigga? What do you mean? I I tell everyone I give you my word and my boat. Like who you talking like? Hey, man. What comment you be having? It's real out here. Harris is just a fake ass Debo. You know what? Um, I know. Is he black? Like the all them black. You got like you got like the Xbox executive people that like get endorsed by Xbox and get like opportunities. I feel like. The Nintendo ones are way worse. Like it feels like the Nintendo <laughs> keeps them on such a leash. They're scared to do anything negative on that on Nintendo. Nintendo's like even smart. remotely. Are you close scared to me when you said that? Yeah, Game Attic always tell he take, telling a, a scary story at a campfire when he be talking. If I could quote myself, are you afraid 12? of the corporate slave? <laughs> Why are you rubbing your nipples? If I could quote myself in 2012, I, I wish Nintendo don't. would die. The next question. Mass Murderer X. Amazing name, Ooh. by the way. Oh, um, Mass Murderer <laughs> X. Question for Jack. How many how many better in every way low scores do you predict for God of War? <laughs> oh my god. I'ma say I'm a I'ma say over under five on that one. I think it's gonna be around five to say that. I think a little score. Is there a bet with smooth on this? I mean I mean I got a bet with uh do name forward about it. 
Yeah, I feel like some people are gonna say it's the same. It's not much different, which I, I would. I mean, reason, Gene, I, Gene I, Parker I, I, I talking about already said it. I would kind of agree. For almost. some reason, I don't. I don't think it's going getting above a nine. Yeah, I, I mean, should. I don't get hired to be another three. I'll be all right. I don't see enough in there that's changed from the original. Bro, it's gonna be fun. The narrative is gonna be fire, bro. Like, uh, I play yeah. video games for gameplay, not a story. Sorry, so you uh, tell him if you know what you know what you know what you know what I don't believe that you know why I don't like that you know why I don't, like that? You know I don't believe that because the narrative is what help makes that gameplay connect and gives you a reason to want to play it. I hate when y'all say that. That's why I said it was boring. That's why I said it was that's the case. If that's the case, play all y'all games. Play all y'all games with the TV on mute. Don't read exactly. nothing. Just skip cut scenes. Don't Thank ever you. look at nothing other listen. than just to press yeah. the buttons and do the action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I mean, I've done that with games too, though. So you're out of your world. We out of the mind. This is this is what world. control sucks because control <laughs> has a shitty story. A shitty story. You're out of your world. I bet you the gameplay is fun to control. And that that's all I need. No, you know what? Maybe it's maybe it's not having fun playing a video game because you can carry the game for ten plus hours. I will enjoy the game. Hey, the story this isn't definitely Q-Bert. sucks. This isn't Cubert. There are reasons why you do stuff with cutscenes, narrative, and purpose. What do you mean you don't care about the I story? I mean, it was just I'll added to it, you know? It was, that was something added. But again, I came from Nintendo, Genesis. There were per- barely any stories. Uh, you normally just read the manual to understand what was going on. And you, and you, you know, know why you're disappointing me right now? Because Please, you're, sure, you're a movie guy, but you don't care about stories and interactive media. Yeah, Ooh. movies, I uh, care about stories. It's a movie. A video so game you get, is called a game. I'm, I'm playing it to en- enjoy the gameplay. A game could need... That's what I want, yeah. is the gameplay. That's crazy. So why do you get out of the like story? The game? Like, you know, people like that walking simulator, uh, that Death Stranding. BG, what like area simulator. code is 914? I don't care about that. I enjoy the gameplay. Uh, I'm not sure why. That's New York. <laughs> That's New York. It's oh, New York. Okay. New York seven one eight, ain't it? New York got like ten of them, dude. Yeah, hey, that's true. That's true. I'm not familiar with the nine one four one. Is I'm nine used to seven one eight or like um, Manhattan, dude, or some shit like that. Yeah. Smooth, smooth does more about New York. I, I have a, had a use. Manhattan is usually like, like two. It's, uh, um, it's West. Two. It's West Westchester County, New York. Yeah, yeah I had. A, I, had a, I have a YouTuber's name in my my phone i was like who the fuck is this yeah manhattan uh, is 212 so i was like where, uh, where the hell is 914 you talking to npcs oh but um hey, we got jay prince on our phone how about that alex i got drake oh, number and jay prince we were talking about um you know, though, uh, alex i beat metal solid i do got jay prince i beat metal solid, beat metal solid 2 probably about three times yo i could not tell you the story i know i had to do something about the illuminati they were talking about Mental the illuminati like, what's yeah, wrong with your team that, that's all i got What's wrong with you, bro? Hey, man, What's the gameplay was fun. I just had fun killing all the bad guys in crazy ways, hiding them in lockers. Mental so illness. Them off I fell asleep and I, I fell food. asleep and quit that game after trying to freeze bombs on the bottom of a helicopter. Oh, that was fire, Alex. There's Gosh. a there's a rap there's a rap bar uh, a few rap uh, bars coming up soon. You gonna have to read those. You should just do I, it now. I beat Metal Gear Solid three like five times. I couldn't tell you what the story is at all. Okay. I have no idea what. Alex, you there? He just talking, but he ain't there. Yo, San Negro, you there? Oh wow! San Negro. Okay, when he comes back, I guess let me read something else. Um, Elton, what's the worst tweets you've seen from Paris and Tony Polanco? Every other damn tweet. I don't follow them. Yo, when they combine, they make the worst human possible. Oh they're yeah. Black oh, they're like bad, this. bro. They're wow. bad. <laughs> Tony, Tony, you can all act black like and that. no knees. Tony didn't act like that at first, man. I feel like once he linked up with old buddy, he started saying, you know, questionable shit. Though I don't he's know. A, he's, he turned. He definitely turned into some weirdo. No, nah, man. Tony used to be cool. Well, he's still cool. He just. Be but I think you should get Tony Polanco on the podcast. So we can uh, figure this cool shit out, man. man. I'm not, I'm not listening to that. Him and BG not cool no more, man. Because what? Because he he didn't like me being real about stuff. So, hey, man. well, you know he these shells, like the you know these shells don't like people. you being real. He was like, "You're still so mad at Jack." He said, "You're negative, so I'm gonna unfollow you." I'm like, "I'm negative. I'm just stating facts." Why are you mad, bro? What you say one time? I said, "Is Paris still mad at you?" I be in spaces with Paris like every day. I just don't. I haven't said nothing bad about Paris since I found out he was plugged in with Microsoft. I can't. I can't criticize him getting paid for it. 
Great guy. Great guy. Yeah, I don't have a problem with Paris. I just think he's a hypocrite. But, oh, you know, BG, um, E-Rock just texted me and told me to tell you next question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks, 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 Eric. Um, even from the grave, you're helping, huh? Is he, you're, you're alive? Never mind. Uh, uh, we can only hope. Uh, <laughs> fire. Um, you got to read this uh, this rat bar from Flea, um, Alex. Oh my God! Okay, let me pull him up. Yeah, I believe in you. Like, why are you running from nah, your father? I can't. I can't. I, I'm not Don't a rapper. That, dog. All right, I'm I eat my though. dinner. Oh God! Then no, I go to sleep. Here I come. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Yeah, that was a wonton delivery. This nigga Ooh. said I eat my dinner. Hi, 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 tick. Hi. <laughs> you talking about? Uh, hey, yo, Jack, you ready? Alex, yeah, you one. ready? <laughs> I said, yo, BG, since we didn't get the after dark, you know what's funny? He's not from America. He doesn't speak English. Hold on, let me pre-read. Go to the next question. I'm gonna pre-read this because he's gonna mess me up. Okay. Uh, Mac Miller said, "Praise Jack and prenup Dick. Got to get that revenue." My bad. Didn't know I had to sing it. That's an inside joke. Harmonize. <laughs> Only way to say it, man. <laughs> Got to get that revenue. <laughs> said, I like that. I like that. WWP from 2015 to 2019 was the goat era of the Chicago Bills. BG is Phil Jackson. Jack was Jordan. Hard eight, Dennis Rodman. Bond is Pippin. <laughs> Smooth is Steve Kerr. And who was Uncle Jimmy? The towel boy. Uh, oh, what's his name? Jerry Crowther? Uh, Forrest Glenn? Uh, Forrest Glenn? Yeah. Yeah. Jack yeah. yeah. was Jordan. What the fuck? Hey, I didn't know what I that. that <laughs> That's hate. Man. That's hate. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm right. He couldn't wait. I was kind of thinking it. I was like, I don't know. I was put fire. Oh man, put uh, just just Jack put your hate on the table, bro. Put your put the hate, put the hate on the table. You know, it was good pimping. Good pimping. Y'all, y'all hate me. Who was Jordan? Who was Jordan? You know who Jordan? No, he's Jordan, dog. No, 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 no. BG was like. Ron Harper or something. Like, nah, oh. had <laughs> I was already Phil Jackson. See, see you see the, see the hate. You see the hate. Big hate, bro. Big hate. Why y'all so hateful, man? Big hate. <laughs> oh yeah, he he killed Yo, me with bars, bro. Who was right in for me? Was she a? Right in me was a chili. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's Texas. Yeah, very yeah, Texas. Yeah, that was. She was Lisa Broken Leslie. Game. She actually, she that actually was a big part of the show, though. Uh, yes, Blaze. How may I help you, my Italian brother? I took a picture, my first thumbnail with my mouth open. I wanted you to, if you, if you can, if you can look at it and see how I. First of all, why are you sounding like you calling from Rikers? That's number one. He probably I'm been, what I'm the shit he just said. Yo, Blaze, spit a uh, jail freestyle right now. Blaze, first day out. Let's get it. Yeah, that'd be. <laughs> um, I'll I'll check out your picture, Blaze. Um, Alex, you you ready to spit this? <clears throat> Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa. And I hate that I just cleared my throat for that. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I make so, everything gay. That wasn't there's no way you could say, Are you ready to make are you ready to spit this gay? You it's gay. I said spit this. <laughs> yeah, gay. You tell the man to spit on it, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Hello, I'll just do it. So flee flee uh when once you hear this. If you can take them spaces out of your bars, it would make more sense when we read it. Because we be thinking this we be thinking these sentences that they bars themselves. Anyway, BG, since we didn't get the after dark last week, I should put my hands around your scrawny neck and trust it, crush it, trachea. If it happens again, headshot. Broken games will be streaming in the clouds. You'll go out the same way as Google Stadia. That's a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> yeah, he killing you right now. Matter of fact, hey, yo, Jack. Ain't this supposed to be your right hand? Well, meet me in the middle and take over since you're more well-rounded. If BG objects, we'll surround his Brooklyn home. If he wants to leave, he'll have to fight the last of us on Grounded. Is this, this kid, this kid this dangerous? This killing you right now. <laughs> Is this kid dangerous? Kid okay. dangerous don't got bars like this. Don't you disrespect kid dangerous like that, okay? Yo, he said the right hand will meet hand and meet. Where yeah. the lotion come in between? Yeah. The double, the double entendre. That boy, that boy. Mama, there goes that man. 
Don you know, Marco. They, they threaten. They threaten BG. He he low key has another hand on his uh phone texting the cops. And so threatening me online. <laughs> Came in there and said you a snitch, nigga. That's crazy. That's, That's accurate. BG's already said that he was, he was snitching. I'm a taxpaying. I'm a taxpaying citizen, nigga. I pay way too much in taxes to be. Listen, I pay too much in taxes to be fighting anybody. Calling the cops. Exactly. I press charges. Imagine, PG imagine PG paying PG the cops and not using them. What, what does that look like? PG said, "I pay to be a bitch ass nigga." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Right. Yeah, hey, Jack hey, don't pay taxes, so he look he feel crazy calling the cops hey, for man, anything. Hey, hey, bitch, he fall back, man, fall back. <laughs> you know, I do shrink a Jack in prison. Yeah, yeah what the fuck? I'd rather pay the cops to be dead. Hey, I know so, you're not. Every, matter of fact, every every time you don't call the cops, another the crazy nigga runs hey, for it. Hey, Jack, if your house catch on fire, oh, don't don't call that. don't call the firefighter fighters either, Jack, because yep. that's our tax dollars, not no, yours. No, 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 you bugging, you bugging. Uh, I know you're not familiar, but that would be Dean. Right? Yes, sir. Tap in. Me one day, one day Jack is just gonna disappear from the internet. We know what happened. It's I know I'm gonna be in jail, money. fucking with BG, man. You heard this shit? Nah, because oh, when he was in, when he was in Georgia, he want no parts of him, so. Like, I wonder how many people like this is nothing to do with Jack, but I wonder how many people actually do this YouTube stuff and they're not paying taxes. <clears throat> That's crazy. You'd be surprised, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna oh, snitch God. in case the. Look at BG you know. incriminate himself. <laughs> no, not me. Yeah, it's not me. I, I pay. Amount. Trust me, I pay all of my taxes. Trust me. But uh, I know somebody in this room. I, 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 filed, I filed my taxes and they told me I didn't have to pay anything. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. yeah, one year, <laughs> nigga, that was one time. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I didn't know the point. It was like we just gonna assume you made this much last year. I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you might be for a whole ten years. You don't have to do your taxes every year. You could like skip a year. Wontons yeah, air fryer. Still gonna, gonna get you, Jack. <laughs> no, no, they, they still ask you like how much did you make, but I mean, sure. It was nice knowing you, Jack. W- Wontons okay. air fryer. He said, "Praise Wani." Uh, one time, air fryer made an account. <laughs> All right. And, can we have a discussion on how Wonton been twerking and tap dancing for Kanye all last week? Oh my god! Well, I, I know, I know who that. I know who that is. Definitely, yeah. Hey Roy, what's good, bro? That's Roy. You get the hell out of here. Hey Roy, what's good, dog? So, have you been tap dancing, sir? You sure no, you I haven't. This is this is Roy's problem, right? And Tyrek too. They be posting these clickbait ass articles. Oh my god, look what Kanye did! And all I do is I post the actual receipts of the actual events of what he actually said Listen and they say the, i'm defending him you are bro the dude is posting that's not, not defending him all i'm doing is giving you more information because you like no, to go off a of clickbait said some, oh, nazi, man. Said some nazi shit and then the dude try to walk this man the nigga's a clown i don't want to get into it on the after all all i'm saying him, is this is the time to get into it though him and kyrie are idiots connie's a fucking really oh you're one of those people never mind See, Tyrek, Tyrek, no, one no, of them no, dudes, no, he no, like, no, no, what you no, call no, no, virtual no, signaling? All, That's Tyrek, yeah. Book up. Hey, Wonton, you sound like me, bro, in 2020, bro. Remember, remember when I used to pull more stuff and you were like, yo, yo, you fighting, fighting I mean, for uh, Kanye is definitely a meathead, though. He's definitely this is the, I've never not once have I said. to be canceled, though, the way he getting canceled. Like, well, yeah, uh, why, why are you mad at Kyrie? What Kyrie do? Well, like I don't understand. He said some anti-Semitic stuff. No, nah, he ain't talking. He's very anti-Semitic. He goes to the Amazon leak. He goes to the Amazon leak. That's not even promotion. That's a promotion. Wow, that, that's promotion. Yes, it is. Yes, that's that's he posted, a, he it posted is. the Amazon leak to a, a book. Fuck out of here. It is. It, that's from. That's literally what promotion is, though. Yeah, he literally did it, and it's a, it's a link to a documentary that's not has nothing to do with. Like, it's not real. I, I don't think he's wrong, smooth, but that's promotion. I think Kyrie is trying well, to say is that um, you're gonna shut down Kanye, but Jeff Bezos is selling this shit over here. It, no, if, you can, you it's, it's buy, definitely promotion. On Amazon, does that mean that they're promoting it because they're selling the book that Hitler made? Well, you can I mean, still buy that book. No, I mean they are getting a cut of it, aren't they? No, the as, yeah, as, as an as an you, you, it's the, there, but you can't censor it. Like, okay, I the thing is, the as an NBA cut. player, right? As an NBA player with that many that much following and that much clout, you can't just like put up something like I think they said he tweeted something that. 
from Alex Jones or something like that. You you can't you can't do that because even if it was pre Alex Jones, like what he said about Sandy Hook, when people think about Alex Jones, they think about what he said what he said about the victims of Sandy Hook. So no, you can't put up something about that. Doesn't you, that that looks nuts? Are you guys like pro like cancel um pro cancel and everything? It's not can't bro. I don't believe in, I don't believe in cancel. I, I believe in accountability. Yeah, if you say something or do yeah, something, I there's we, consequences. So, I mean that that's supporting like this whole censorship and and slavery. that's not censorship. That's it's accountability. It is. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not. not. It's accountability. Smooth, smooth. Do you, smooth. What, what do you think if you say something crazy, there should be there should be some accountability for it? No, not on social media. Why not? What is, what, what's what the is, difference? Like, what, like, what, like, why should why That's should people public. lose real life things for things you say on Twitter? Because what's the difference? Forum, it's a public it's, forum. It's, so what? It's, you, I don't care what it is. You talking it's about public 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 It's just digital. What's the difference? It's, it's the same thing you saying in real life. No, you are, so you support enslavement and censorship. It's no, not, it's not, bro, slavery. smooth. It's not you can smooth, you smooth, say, smooth. You can right. say it. You can say it. That's not people, people respond to you when you have to take their response. There's okay, that, you can that's say it, but there's punishment be, for it. No, nobody should be blocked off the century. Nobody no should lose, lose no one. Lose, nobody should be no losing accounts to banks. Nobody should be losing this, that, and the smooth, that don't make no sense. Find smooth. That don't make no sense. I want to come to Sue's defense for one reason. The Taliban's fucking on Twitter. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if the Taliban is on Twitter, Twitter, how are people like Andrew Tate and other people like Trump banned on Twitter? These niggas flew planes into our cities. That's not, that's the, the Taliban is not Al Qaeda. There's two different things. It doesn't that's matter. You know what I'm saying. And, 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 it doesn't matter. Okay, but, matter. but we're talking, but we're, we're talking about inflicting punishment or consequences on people who say certain things there's 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 it's not like the taliban or are employed somewhere in the u.s where they're gonna and oh. in, in put in some type of like ramifications for it we're talking about public people who make statements this listen y'all y- gotta realize y'all y- 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 gotta realize twitter is just a digital extension of saying something in real life y'all yeah, gotta stop looking at twitter like oh it's it's not like it's it's not speaking. Y'all act like Twitter isn't speaking. You're, no, you're it, still it, speaking. It's just words yeah. on a screen. You're still saying it. What's the difference between it's, saying something on Twitter or, or saying it in real life, speaking it? What's isn't, the difference? Isn't what Kanye said proven to be right though? Because he said you can only talk about Absolutely. certain races. That's what I'm saying. No, so what but, but, no about because a lie, I know because black people did not take a stand with Kanye when he said that shit. Guess what, bro? You say the shit about Jewish people, they're gonna they're gonna get you out of here, and that's why I'm like, yo, if you say this shit about Asian people, they're gonna he's gonna, they're gonna get out of there. Black people say, oh, I'm gonna still buy Kanye shit. So what? Nothing's gonna happen if, if people didn't give a fuck. And the thing is, Kanye yeah, we can't buy it. Con- if they keep taking the shit off the stores. They can't take, buy they just it. Off stores now, but when he said when he said about George Floyd months ago, no one gave that a fuck. Bullshit. Black that was people bullshit didn't care. Right and that's, that's the thing. He he can be right about certain things, but he's still he's still wrong about others. It does listen. Does is Kanye right about J- Jewish people having a lot of power? Yeah, no duh. No, nobody did not. Nobody denies that. But is he still wrong about what he said about George Floyd and the other anti-Semitic things? Yeah, he's still wrong, yes. and he should yeah, suffer he consequences can, for that. Canceled for the Jewish shit, not for the completely like, canceled. Like, completely canceled. Because black people didn't give a fuck. That's why. Exactly, but that's fucked up. Like, how do you that's how do you not, not that's not, that's not, that's not, not that's Tyree, because he said way worse people. shit about black people. He, he said he, way worse no, shit about black Lantan. people. He said no, Lanta. No, he didn't. I'm trying to tell you the shit he said about Jewish people in that interview is some Joseph Gobble shit. Like, he, no, I don't care who said it. Black people not in the position to cancel him. No, that's another thing. We not. Did he say something about slavery last like two years ago? Yes, but no one black people didn't care. Tyree. Tyrek, Even if on. we did care, it wasn't nothing we could do about it. it wasn't not invite him to the BET Bro, Awards. Nigga, Tyrek, I got a question. Nigga. I got a question. Yeah. Hold up. So <laughs> what what did he what did he actually say about them other than saying there are Jewish people in these big places of influence and they they control this and control that? He didn't say anything to their no, character. Plan, hey, no, he said Jewish people control Planned Parenthood. And that do they? Still, yeah, no, they don't. Are the people know. that are ahead of you know who control people? Planned Parenthood then? And he said, I'm yeah, going DEF CON, I'm about to go DEF CON 5 no, no, on he, Jewish people or whatever. Smooth, uh, smooth I got a question. He, cleared it up, though. he said it was a typo and he didn't mean it in that way. Smooth, I got, I got, a, I got a question, I want to know what you think. So we, we, we hear about how women complaining about how dangerous men are and how many women die, right? Who kills the most people in America? Women. People. 
how they get men killed over the shit that men do for them. He's, whether he's it's saying abortion. Uh, abortion. That's, not how, that's not how women kill the most people. Abortion. Oh, oh, it is. Women okay, kill okay. okay. We're, what, yeah, we're talking like what, that. And yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, yeah, Smooth, yeah, let me yeah, ask you something. Smooth, what's the difference between yeah. saying something on Twitter and saying something in real life? What's the difference? I can say you something right now and that ain't gonna happen. Huh? No, smooth. That's not the point. What is the okay? If Kyrie said, if Kyrie says, let's say hypothetically, let okay, me. Let's say hypothetically, I say I hate Jews in real life, and I hate Jews. I say I hate Jews on Twitter. What's the difference? Hey. What's the People difference? Cry oh, my thing is, none of them actually said anything that extreme. But, but what? Just, but smooth. You know, but smooth. You said you you said what you say on Twitter shouldn't shouldn't matter. Yeah, because my bad. I'm muted myself. The, the problem is, is that we're. How is, uh, is Twitter able to govern like life? I don't. I, I don't understand. Exactly. Well, no, 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 like, they're, they're not. They're not. Though. Let me respond to that. Let me respond to that. Twitter's, Twitter's not, not, Twitter's not, not the one punishing them. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Twitter is also not some God-given country right. This is a social. This is a privately owned company. Um, they can do whatever they want. Oh, okay. If, if, if you say something on Twitter, oh, and 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 the and the powers that be, whether that be your employer or somebody else sees it. They are the ones who decide what's going to happen. Twitter, Twitter isn't like, hey, it's like going on a go, TV show. You, you think the you think the president, the the, the CEO of, of Twitter, I guess it's Elon now, is like, oh, punish this dude? No, it's the people who can punish you who are doing it. It's not Twitter. Yeah, but how are you guys with canceling anything? Like, bro, it's not, bro. Y'all gotta stop this cancel nonsense. It's not cancel. If you say something crazy, it's not being canceled. It's accountability. Cancel. Okay, listen. But, okay, but if he said something about, if he made a statement about Jewish, uh, Jewish people, he got literally deleted off fucking because so many platforms. People, Andrew, all people these people get deleted. The Jewish community said we're not gonna cry babies, bro. No more. You should be able to say what the fuck you want. You tell me, I can go in the middle of the street. You can. And scream at the top. You of can. Like, oh, Please, bro, go on, I can go in the middle of the street. I can go to door to door and say what the fuck I want. But as soon as I say something on bro. fucking Twitter, I'm done. Because, bro, my, my you are not entitled to Twitter. Why do y'all think? Why do y'all think? Why do y'all think, why do you, why do y'all, think y'all are obligated to use Twitter? I don't oh, understand. Delete like, me from Twitter, bro, BG. But that's not the point. Delete me from Twitter. Everything, but not, though, he didn't just get canceled. Not, 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 he doesn't follow you. Hold on, hold on. 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 He did this in an interview, and then an interview hit Twitter, and his Twitter got deleted because of the interview, because they're like, yo, we're not going to have someone supporting that. Alex Jones got canceled when he said all that shit about signing. They took him off everything. What do y'all talk like? Y'all don't own something it, worse it, than it, 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 If you don't own the platform, you can be taken off of it. It's that simple. Yeah, but Andrew Tate didn't even say anything substantial, and he got deleted one by one. Bro, off you don't own the platform. You don't own the platform. Yeah, you know, and, you know, it's crazy. You're right, because Andrew Tate ain't say nothing that Drew Buffalo and Cynthia G ain't say a hundred times worse. And, and y'all exactly. keep saying, and y'all keep saying, y'all should have the right to say it, bro. You do. You, you. He, he said it. What came? Y'all acting like y'all are being stopped from saying it. No, you said it, and then you got you got the consequences. Okay, you still PG, said it. Why, if you say something on Twitter, why should it roll over to other platforms? Why should PG, it roll there, over to why, Uber? Why should like issue, it? Their issue is the is the bandwagoning of what cancel culture is. Right, like, it's not cancel. It. not you're not getting it's accountability. You said something on a public forum. Not everyone knows what you said and know what your beliefs are, and they don't want to do business with you anymore. That's it. They can there's, do no, that. There's a disconnect. There's a, hold on, hold on. Bro, there's a disconnect. Y'all are, are missing the point, Watson, bro. there's a disconnect. Y'all are seeing, BG and Tyrek are seeing cancellation. Y'all are seeing that as this isn't something that's bestowed upon you. This is something that you did to yourself. Blaze right. and Blaze and Kid Smooth are saying, okay, yeah, you can say what you want and people can react how they want, but they're speaking about the companies that are just, had, or, like, you had Jason's Deli talking about we cut ties with Kanye West. Like, what the they're fuck? Talk, they're they talking, deal, they they're talking deal about, deal with him. they're talking about when somebody does something, then everyone follows suit and says, okay, yeah, so is this the person we're not, okay, cool. Everyone is not going to mess with him anymore. That's what they're speaking about. Yeah, they're not saying yeah, yeah, they're not saying you, there's like, no I mean, if, if Buying into this new method of life, y'all going to usher in the social credit score. Oh, Dudes brother. ain't going to be able to oh, buy houses. Conspiracy or cars theories. They have a bad opinion. That's the truth. It's the truth. They say that every ten and, uh, years, man, it yeah, exists in China today. China, China, it exists. All it needs to do is actually exist. It exists, doesn't it? In China. China, China. Who's oh, okay, a okay, okay. How many I'm things China country. started that that made its way over? China, here? China has been a communist country for how long? Has the U.S. been communist yet? 
I mean, yeah. we ain't far behind. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Come on, y'all. This is exactly my, why my Twitter auto-deletes any tweet after two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got to stop this, bro. Y'all got to stop this. You can't even be a Republican on Twitter. You can, I mean, BG, you could be can, BG, you could be canceled tomorrow. There was a period for a good two years. You were telling people, I hope you and her family die of cancer. Yeah. Ooh. But here's the thing. I wasn't mad. I, that's the thing. When I say stuff like that, I'm not mad that I that, that I should that I, I mean, get removed or banned. Livelihood, they I'm not mad, mad at that. But if, here's if the thing. If they took away if, your YouTube, if bro, they took away your YouTube and everything you worked hard for, you'd be fucking livid and pissed no, off. It's, and let, let's, let's bro, go bro. That. But let's I can. Go, hold, that's hold, different because that. I would be able to still. I would be able to still look at that stuff and hold myself accountable. I'm like, I brought this on myself. I'm I'm sorry, I got a cap. Like, you're you're capping. I have a feeling if you said some off-the-wall shit, which you have, you said some crazy shit on YouTube and Twitter. And then then, you you say some crazy, and then before you know it, you go into work, they'll let you go there because of how you've acted on Twitter. You would have a completely different mindset than than you are having Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me, me, okay, let me ask you something right now. Have you, have, when, when, when I've said any of these things, have you ever heard me say it wasn't my fault? Or I didn't deserve it. You but never heard me say that, right? If you, if, you got, if you got fired from your job for something you said on a podcast, you would be pissed off about that. Hold on, I see, you y'all are talking about two different things. Being pissed no, off so is very different from, from me thinking I'm innocent or different. That's two different things. You could, I could be mad. Of course, I'm gonna be mad. I lost money, but am I gonna say, oh, I didn't deserve this? That's two different things. Oh, 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 oh it's me. Like no one. Like, I brought I'm it. Really I brought really it on really? myself. Did I not by saying those things? Yes or no? Y'all niggas just want to say shit without consequences. I think y'all just want y'all want to make excuses and not hold yourselves accountable. Yeah. I would be mad, but I brought it on myself. Said. It's no different than when, than bad choices I've I've made I've made in school. Yeah, I'm mad. Okay, I messed around. I got I got I got kicked out of uh, college because because I had a wild drinking party. Yeah, I'm mad. I got kicked out. But whose fault Did is it? It's mine. Out? It's mine. You I got suspended for, yeah, for a BG, week. BG, BG, you got suspended. Who's, who's, did you lose your job? Bro, did I got... Lose, did you lose all your... Did you lose, like, tuition? Or would you charge double or two? Did, like, what else did you lose? Or they didn't, didn't refund their money. smooth, smooth. I, I got the equivalent punishment for what I did. Right, but oh, not... Wow. Well, okay, 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 wow. okay, 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 okay. BG, you got the equivalent punishment for that particular situation, but what we're saying is these people are getting punished past their typical situation. They're getting past everything. They're banged to everything. So who? Ba- ba- based on, based on what? You're not the afflicted party, Blaze. You based on what? You, you, he said the whole shit about a whole group of people, about a religious sect of people, and the people who do... Okay, so what? Jewish people control... Po- so guess what? You're going to make... You're going to say some crazy shit about them, and then they're going to attack you back. That's the prize you get for playing fucking stupid. He's a fucking idiot for saying but, that shit. But my thing, yeah, get old boy, old slave. Who banned him? What was that? Why did you say a good old slave? slave? Take my life savings. Who banned him? Not looking at the problem. Like. If if you can say something about one group of people and they can get you off every platform, yeah, is that, that not a problem? Crazy. Is that no, not because, a fucking problem? Because, 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 because y'all see, no, y'all be, come on, y'all, come on. No, bro. because no. if, if you said it about Asian people, people, you would never, it would never happen to somebody that was shitting on black people. No, but that's but that's that's a different issue. The reason the reason the reason that would never happen to black people is wrong. Hold on, 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 Black people do not did not give a fuck what Kanye said. No, no, oh, Tyrek, Tyrek, Tyrek. 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 Black people did. Black people did. But, um, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna take away your wrong, Tyrek. Hold on. Let me tell you. I was like, you fucking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, one mind, one mind. Black people can't. Black people don't have the power to get mad. Well, what are that's we a different do? issue. No man should have all that power. Man. Then, then, and that's so, why Tyrek is wrong. Tyrek so is trying to make this seem like who? Who? Which one of our black leaders said, "Oh fuck, Kanye"? I thought in unison came together and was like, "Oh shit." All no, lives you're, matter. You're, you're not understanding something, Tyra. You're, you're clearly hey. missing that's, that's going no, on. No, Let me Juan, explain no, to you. Juan, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Juan Tom, because Ooh, Let me talk. You can't talk. Let him finish his ball first before he gets to finish. And you kept saying, no, it's not that bad. I'm telling you why it's bad in the historical context. If you think that, that's fine, but that's not my argument. Let me tell you why you're wrong. You keep saying, Oh, he says something to offend Jewish people. Now Jewish people are fighting back. Wrong. Let me tell you why you're wrong. These corporations, you got Adidas, Balenciaga, uh, Spotify talking about taking his music down. All of those companies are not owned by Jewish people. 
but they what, are doing this because they don't want they don't want the backlash to fall onto them. Yes, but guess what? Right. Guess what? But guess what? Well, guess guess what? When, when people Tiger say Wood, when people say you, terrible you, things about black you people, finish. you don't. When people say terrible things about black people, you don't have corporations jumping up to defend us. They don't no, do that because yeah. that's the difference. No power because to we do don't. It. Yes. See, they have too much power. See, no, no. See, but it's not just Jewish have. I don't. I don't view this. You have that power, though. That's what I'm trying to tell. The way how Kanye framed his message. And I was trying to watch out why specifically the way he framed the message. You're Jewish saying people, it's, it's the same rhetoric that neo Nazi Jews, and and that's that's fine. Yes. I, I'm not just I'm yeah, not disputing that's, that's that. The, that's the point. I'm saying he said about Asian people. Not every company would have probably got out of there, but Asian people were like, "Yo, we're not buying this shit no more." And certain Asian companies like Alibaba are probably like, "We're not fucking with Connie no more." The problem with Adidas. Guess what Adidas was back in the day. Guess who? Guess where they're from? Guess their country. I know, from. I know, I know. Okay, history. so why do you think Nazis. Adidas, whose owner was a Nazi, Balenciaga is an Italian company? company. What they gonna do with that shit? What? What about Goodwill? Uh, Adidas not Yeezy no more. Adidas, no. So Adidas is a German company. Their 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 own their former owners used to like manufacture shit for Nazis and shit in the forties and shit. Uh, a lot uh, of companies did, did like man. BMW, Mercedes. So a lot of these companies, especially Ford, they were like. Nazi supporters and shit like that. So a lot of companies know that, yo, once you start making sort of things about Jewish people, fuck, we got to back away because now you got corporate ties going back 50, 60, 70 years ago. You got to worry about. So if Adidas did not cut them off, they went, well, guess what? It makes sense because they were Nazi supporters 60, 70 years ago. So it makes sense to why they cut them off because people are going, like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? You didn't yeah. learn from your lesson. Question. Like, I got a question. I got a question before y'all do another spiel. Where the cook, brother? Uh, I'm not even about to cook. I'm about to ask y'all if y'all feel like, like this is correct. So if he's been in the music industry for X amount of years, right, since he was like late teens, early 20s, right? Mm -hmm. If all he has seen is the specific people that run these because what he was saying, he wasn't saying the Jewish run the entire world. Every time he would bring it back to say in the music industry, there are specific group of people that run all the music. They run all the contracts. They run all of this. These are Jewish men or women. These men or women are making money, creating contracts that cripple the artists, primarily a black space, rap music, where we can't own anything. If we try to buy back, they give us a hard time. We, we're, we're thrust into this. And Alex, Kanye's been up, preaching this forever, bro. That's facts. Right, He's right. been preaching this so forever. His original point, his original point is there is an, it'd be different if, it'd be different if it was like, oh, that one Jewish exec over there. He's saying, listen, all of these record labels talk, all of these people have been in the industry for just as long as I've been here. They're all Jewish. He's not saying that he was like, an, another thing in his interview, he said, when it comes to Jewish people, what do we do? We brag about how we have Jewish lawyers and Jewish bankers. We brag about how, man, look at the Jewish. They stay together. They get money, stuff like that. Same thing what they did with Donald Trump. Uh, rap and hip-hop or whatever, they idolize yeah. him because it was just about – they just saw him as that's a white nigga that get money. He don't care. He he brash or whatever until he started being racist and showing how he truly feel, right? Racist, yeah. He's been saying this whole yeah, time – Yeah, he is. Hold up. Down, He's been saying in this whole, in this whole career – this is what he's, he's seen more than we have will ever see in the music industry, right? Yeah. People he's done business with, people that have signed their life away with these people. He's been saying this whole time, these group of people, the you, only thing that relates to them is the fact that they're Jewish. You know who else the, used to say what, that? Michael what? Jackson used to say that too. Now, where yeah. he messed up, where he messed up is instead, he should have just, if he truly felt this strong about it, he literally should have had a list of like five or ten names and say, hey, these people are the reason why we feel like this is a 360 uh, do or die. The music industry is so corrupt and evil. They've been wicked since the 1930s. You know, if he would have gave exact names, cool. Where he fucked, where he messed up was he made it about race. Now people that don't even listen to rap, people that don't listen to Kanye, random niggas in Montana, random people in another Yugoslavia country, all they hear is Jewish people said, what? Now I'm a fit. That's where he messed up. And so his original point is it. And, and of course, with his sporadic bipolarism, he's going to relate how we separate ourselves, our, us black people that identify as Israelites or Jews. We identify as this, but the world and white Jews don't view us as Jews. They don't view us as Jewish people. So but, he was interweaving relational uh, relations with Jewish being black, coming from Africa, the historical context in that, his, his main stake in the record label. Of course, the nigga is bipolar. 
He's his his mind flow, his workflow in his mind doesn't operate in the same way that we have in this conversation. So that's what he's speaking about. He's not saying I hate Jewish people and stuff like that. He just don't know. He's not an order. He's an entertainer. But, but, he makes music. Alex, Alex, he's not an order. The way, no. So this is the thing. The way he framed the question. So when you started saying, all right, Jewish people are in control of this shit, I'm trying to tell the, the very, I'm not saying that that's not true. A lot of them do own a lot of the music stuff. But to say there's a concerted effort that Jewish people are doing this for, like, are control, exploiting the industry, I'm telling you, that's like Joseph Goebbels type of shit where he was like, oh, there's a concerted effort in Jewish people in Germany to do something like that are fucking our economy up. So the way he's frames it, and he's, he says he's it. packaging his statement. It. He's packaging his statement. How people always package statement about Jews going back six seven, eight years ago. Tyreek, okay, would we be wrong to sit on a sit on a stoop in front of our our neighborhood Congress, wherever, wherever city you stay in, and you sat in front of that Congress and said, "Hey guys, guess what? The niggas we appointed as officials and presidents and whatnot, these are laws and and policies they put in to keep black people in shackles. This yeah. was a planned pair. Okay, so what is the difference from saying anything with a government if if you're just because if you're, you're just looking, out, if you're a religious group? That's of, and this is what I'm saying. What he's saying isn't incorrect. It's that it's about how he put the wrong no, headline he on it. That's literally what he what, did. He put the wrong headline on it. He's putting no. He's what he said. He said there's a basic concerted unified effort that Jewish people in, in the industry are doing this. But I'm they telling are. you, he's pushing. If he had named, that's the thing. Maybe if he did name some specific people, but he did it. That's that's and that's what I'm saying. But he, his but that's his the, fight. That's the, that's the problem, though. When you start saying it's like, all right, I, I, I'm I'm I live this because post 9 11, when the people that say Arabs and shit, they're like, yo, I know how that's like when they just group people together. Like, oh, I walk in the airport and shit like that, and they say, oh, you're Arab, and they look at you a different way. It's the same type of thing. I'm trying to say, like, I'm trying to like. Like draw Nigga, the it, bro, bro, and, and this, and this is the same. No, the way how you're they're framing it, that in itself is it's the way he packaged it was completely fucking wrong. Yeah, we all agree. Like hold on, hold on. Acting like he's a regular thinking person, he's man. We he has a tweet real quick. Can I tweet real quick at Patanglis? As the lady says, it's even bigger than Kanye for real. Now they're coming for Kyrie. They can't enslave us physically outside of prison. But they want total and complete control over our, ourselves, our minds, and our money. So, and to to piggyback off of that, the the reason why everyone is making such a hoopla about Jewish people in general is because it's the same way. What's the difference from y'all niggas making comments about the uh, the Alphabet Mafia? If you play with one person in that group, then everything, all L, every every single letter are coming down on you. They're yeah, literally just cool. moving this. It's about. It's not about Jewish people. It's about a group of of any person, race, creed, religion, sex, whatever. It's the fact that hey, here is yet another group of people that can at a drop of a hat cut your water off that's what the convo is about because this is the thing those people that are jewish and or uh gay they can edit at today they can say that oh i'm not that you can't take away skin color so you have a bunch of people that are black and gay or black and jewish and they're like bro yeah. where are people that have been de where are people that have been shackled since the inception I, of uh i don't like triangular trade what i don't so like is is yeah, like there's there's like a know. whole bunch of like low level like aside from the um, Kanye West and like Kyrie type shit, right? There's a whole bunch of low level niggas with like their petty arguments where they just want to say any dumb and rec reckless shit. And then when the, when they get punished for saying dumb and reckless shit, they try to like use Kanye and Kyrie as their champions. When you could right. even argue that's a whole different, whole different type of shit. Like, like I'm gonna give you an example, right? Niggas, niggas be like, Oh, uh, they'll say like, you know, Oh, you, 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 uh, bundle of sticks ass, bitch ass, and it all like just go off on something. And then when they get, when they get shut down, they'll be like, oh, they suppressing me. I'm like, nigga, that is that you're not being suppressed. You're not being censored. You cannot just say that. And that's coming from somebody who used to drop all them bombs. I knew I couldn't just say, I knew what, what would happen, but I didn't care. I, I knew it would come with it. But you didn't see me get mad like, oh, they, the man trying to hold me down. No, nigga, you can't say that. Stop trying you know to make it I mean? seem like the man is trying to hold you down with every little thing. No, you can't just say anything without something happening, bro. So that that's what I'm saying. Stop trying to group y'all little petty arguments 
into into like everything else. That's not the same thing. Eugene, I agree with you. And you know, you know what messes people up? They confuse the fact they conflate the fact that this is social media and act like this isn't a business first. They act like real uh companies and twitter themselves as their own company don't represent something if if twitter suddenly became the wild wild west 4chan of social media there's going to be people that navigate to facebook or navigate to it like they don't want to lose their own mind hive of 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 usage i know y'all remember the fact that twitter even blew up before uh but when it was the wild wild west twitter blew up because of greece was burning Literally, Twitter was the only place that we were able to see through VPN. Literally, Greece was on fire, and they cut the internet off. We had no idea what was going on on that side of the world like, other than Twitter. Some people literally don't, don't understand the concept of freedom of speech, but that's all. I'm being, I'm being it's suppressed. It's like the government, but you just, you get everything else, public or like a private forum, you can get consequences. I'm like, that's, I, do, I do agree that some people be saying some off-the-wall stuff. But I do be seeing, you know, public forums, especially when a lot of these individuals that love to to go this route started realizing that corporations and stuff was bending to these and they were, you know, banning people, they 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 were canceling people in general. Like I do feel like it's been weaponized to a way it wasn't originally supposed to be used for. Like if like, I if I went from Walmart home cool. office, if I were for Walmart home office and I got my I got my shirt yeah, on, I just got off work. And then I go on news, and I go on the news, and I say, hey, black people deserve to be enslaved. I can't stand black monkeys. And I got a Walmart t-shirt on. Walmart's going to cut ties with me. We don't work for Twitter, but if we say like, something crazy on Twitter, they're going to get it off of their platform. Like, look, like, like, look let me read this real quick, right? Freedom, is, freedom of speech, right, is not absolute. And common limitations are things such as libel, slander, hate speech, sedition, in uh incitement fighting words classi yep. classified information copyright violations trade sequels and, and a whole bunch of long list of stuff and pe mm -hmm. people don't realize that there's a whole you know, there's a whole bunch of you limits you funny? can't say you anything funny, BG? none of these niggas in the kkk canceled that's a whole Man. that's a whole different issue that's sure yeah. <laughs> we're not saying that's okay but you once again they aren't freedom even, they of aren't speech even listed as a terrorist organization, and that's exactly. a problem. But once again, freedom of speech, literally by the definition and how and how they d d describe it, does not mean you could just say anything you want. That's what these niggas think freedom yeah, of speech it's means. Not free it doesn't. Of consequence. It's not free consequence. It's not yeah, like I'm, like I'm, hate I'm, speech I'm, is I'm, literally I'm, right there as an exception. The consequences make sense, BG. It's for me the energy not being equal across the board. Yeah, on who who who's black in power is gonna stop is gonna do anything to Kanye. You're and not you, understanding. You it shouldn't take a black person for it. It, it shouldn't take that Nigga, if, because if, but, if the head we, if the head of Adidas see somebody they work with say some racist shit they should keep the same energy that's all Bro, i'm saying you, it, it shouldn't take... say, you see black people say oh i don't give a fuck what kanye says i'm gonna buy your shit anyway why the fuck you gonna you think we're the minority they call us minorities for a reason it's not about they it shouldn't take a black leader for hey, guess, guess somebody what? to do something okay, they should do that off, I'm, off I'm the strength up. i'm gonna tell you straight up if he says something about asian people who's also a super minority country and guess what asian people would have been like started talking shit to the companies and the companies would have canceled him you know what black people did? They didn't do fucking shit. Okay, Tyreek, let's let's keep it on Asians, right? Let's keep it on the uh, Korea. Let's keep it on them. Remember when niggas was running in nail shops and clapping niggas, and they got a law passed in a, in a week? Oh, yeah, really quick. But yeah, yeah. Lynching, I, point, lynching yeah. just became a federal uh, whatever federal, crime yeah. it was yeah, in yeah, the yeah, past exactly. two yes. or three years. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so, so you get how people and you and you, you expect us to believe that black people weren't making enough noise about lynching? They, they right. Just, I'm not saying that they won't, but I'm saying when shit happens to black, black people, we look, about, even Jordan said it about his shoes, about the Republican bro, thing. It's not you, about everyone, who, you. Everyone's it's not so about. Go ahead, make it well, let me say something real quick. It's not about who makes the most noise. It's about how many people in that individual group have people in power making noise. Exactly. We can say whatever we exactly. want. It's, it's the people on Twitter with three million followers that matter. Like man, f bro, right? forget Twitter, forget social media. There is obviously a disconnect between what some people can do and what some other people can't do. It don't matter if we got 10 million black people saying, hey, guys, stop killing us. It doesn't matter. 
That's that's the bigger combo. The, the problem every, is every a, every it minority it group, it every, help, every, minority every minority group, every minority group gets to be able to have their stronghold and say, "Hey, we're it's standing and fighting." Alex, against it them. doesn't it doesn't hurt it doesn't help us when you have people like Kanye, who's one of the richest black people in the world, saying shit about us, like say that. That's the problem. Kanye is actually one of those people that actually has a, the resources to help fight against that shit. A nigga is talking like that. Bro, can y'all? Hold on, hold on, Tyrone. Tyrek, can y'all stop making Kanye seem like the richest white uh, black not, savior? Not, from not, okay, not, hold on, hold on. You better make me pause my game. You better make me pause my game. Better flash out. You better make me pause my game. Kanye <laughs> is <laughs> Kanye's net worth. He kept saying I'm the richest this and rich in that not, because of his not, stock and what he was getting from Adidas. I know, stop making I, his thing. I, I know like what the net worth is. Alex, I know what the net worth is. Okay, so why are you making Kanye the I'm saying that he's actually one of the people who has enough money to actually do some influence, and he doesn't do it. So when you have people who actually that's my issue. It's like, all right, you have these people that are in power. Who else that was black that has actually has like capital? Oh, Oprah, all these that, that are built are worth actual billions. What do they say to Kanye? Nothing. That's because they play ball with the people that's in power. Well, guess that's guess what? That's the exact issue. So that's so guess what? The people that are Jewish or Asian don't put the when they're not playing ball. They're like, fuck. Yes, that, they nigga. do, huh? They're no, their people are gonna gonna attack them if they don't do anything why do you think when they that, the asian hate thing went up you think they were just sitting there like asian like celebrities were just sitting there doing nothing no right. they you, you're black right shit. you're black yes. right yes you do know that people don't mess you know black people don't mess with oprah you know that right i but i know that but I'm pro- that's my that's your argument is black. wrong to hold hold because black. that's my issue hold on, hold on. Black. These people people don't black fuck men. men bro Black people do not mess with bro. Okay, oh, with, black, and, uh, okay let's, let's take it off. Mess with Oprah. Let's take it off. Let's take it off of this. Why is it that all of our biggest and this is this is a whole other topic and we can switch after this, BG? I'm gonna just end it with this. There's a there's something to be said about all of our where are black figures and black prominent people? They're all in entertainment, nigga. So what do you want? You want Thank you want you. Kanye? You want Kanye to oh, also have, be a you, hold, have, up, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not fair yeah. as a black man who wants to be a creative with music and shoes and fashion. That's that nigga's passion. He's not the one that has to put every black America, oh. black African American on his back and be a politician and savior for rights. If that nigga wants to do music and shoes, let him do that. But but he's also Stop involved. To... In po- he was also involved in politics. He was a MAGA for like three or four years. He's also involved bro, in politics. The, same the time. nigga, bro, the nigga ran for yeah. president. So a nigga in my city ran for president. He was I a stripper. Not, what that I'm, mean? I'm talking about him promoting Trump for four or five years. Bro, that's not bro. Racist. bro. You the same the, the president that what, also the president what, that also what, called what, all black they called Congress all Mexicans man. rapists and, and terrorists. I mean, and, well, the consuls came out like, come on, bro. Ninety just came out like a month ago. Well, what happens to all our, our black congressmen? I mean, that do exist. It, it, oh, it, shout it, out to Condoleezza Rice. Let's go get her again. They like, also oh. they also said the Mexican gang Mexican gang members were the rapists. All right. Uh, nah, I don't even I mean, know how we got here. Oh yeah, the question. Teddy, bro. Yeah. I understand um, you. You saw all that with Kanye, but you, you because I don't because I don't Trump. I don't like I don't like even that take, though. I don't like when we take these specific people that didn't they since day one he, they haven't been sitting there. He's champion. doing what you do with Trump. You with bro, Kanye. Y'all put yeah, y'all pick specific y'all pick specific, y'all pick well, so I understand specific both of them people the and put you know. the weight of all responsibility of black people on them, and that's not fair to them. I, I'm not doing that. It's like I, that's why I'm not I doing that. Like Kanye, but that I agree with what he said. But that's said. not fair. The people who are in power that are black don't say shit to him, or so to, or don't speak out about this shit. Even the day. BLM, the organization, they stole money for fucking years and they don't really do shit for people. So what's the, what's the point? Of, of, like what, what what do we really have? There is no power for us at all because the people we do put in power don't do shit. So glad That's you said that. Deal. I'm so glad you said that. We don't have power and the people in power don't do anything, right? Yes. Oh, so it's so weird that uh, Kanye says, hey, I do music and I do shoes. Hey, guys, by the way, I've been here for about 20 years. It seems like all the people that are in power of the music industry that give us these terrible contracts that don't really let us breathe and make our own money for generations to come, uh, they, they happen to all be white Jewish men who also employ but all their white Jewish not, lawyers. It's also like, not true, though. I'm, bro. Hey, Tom, that's what I'm to say. The, the very fact that he made that statement, like, that's also the point. Oh, like, how you saying black, black, I mean, sorry, Jewish people are killing black kids in a like, Planned Parenthood. That's not fucking okay, true. Just because he said one wrong thing doesn't mean that's everything not, else he said that's, that's wrong. That's a horrible thing to fucking say. What are you talking about? I'm not saying he's not wrong. 
I'm saying it, but yeah, what he's saying. Can we uh, move to another topic and come oh back to this? Yeah. Uh, uh, my truck nuts. We agree oh, yeah. with you Next that he should. Question, we agree man, he should. People. Okay, we agree that he shouldn't people. have made it about Jewish people, but his messaging on what they're doing wasn't bad. He shouldn't have included their religion, but other than the religion, the nigga well, wasn't what he's saying. My, the very people he's saying. My truck nuts. Shout out to Jack Move, the only dude who can pass a BBW and a Memphis Memphis. And a Memphis menace. Jack. He'll be a BBM. <laughs> hey, truck nuts, you see you? Oh, he said you can pass. Oh, my bad. He said you could pass as a BBW and the Memphis menace. Oh, BG. Memphis no. menace. You need hooked on phonics, I need, to, I need sir, you to BG? pass a reading exam, motherfucker. Yeah, no, what the <laughs> fuck? How it's you, not, how you first of all, college like this? first of all, I... Yeah, I thought I didn't see the as, sir. First of all, <laughs> first of all, y'all not gonna do this. I get paid mad money for for, for my career. Know, okay, I don't play with me. There. Don't play with me. <laughs> don't. I, yes, I got my degree, and yeah, I get paid mad good. money so for that degree. Way to get that. <laughs> right, you ain't got to. You ain't got to flex on us, BG. Right. We get it. All right. Who assignment did you copy off of? BG the hiring. Send me the link. Don't worry about it. You'll never get where I'm at, sir. Stay in your place. Wow. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. I'm better than you because I can read. So I yeah. Hey, BG, how much, imagine how much money you can make if you knew how to yeah. read. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. I'm tired. I'm tired. See, y'all, y'all be real. Excuse, excuse. Y'all be real. It's every week. It, it's, it's, yeah, but yeah, nigga, I'm tired every week after the podcast. <laughs> That's BG's I'm high. Like I'm tired, bro. Like, like I'm tired. I'm, I'm looking at this screen. Like, oh, man, be like, I'm, high shit right now. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at this screen. I got to read all these questions. I'm tired. I'm a morning he person. Right, I've been up right since here. like six, six, six o'clock this morning, and now I'm tired. It's it's 11 p.m. and y'all want me to read everything perfectly with energy. E Rock is here. You ain't right, got to read no more. Nah, imagine, imagine how much more money you can make if Kanye uh, wins your freedom. <laughs> That's what y'all don't get. <laughs> what time y'all woke up this morning? Uh, uh, like six or seven. Five, Ele- 11 p.m. o'clock. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all, y'all hear this? 10, 11. Why, like, nigga. Why, why would you, you say six, six or seven a.m. or p.m., Jack? Uh, that was a.m. It was an okay. NFL game on. Wait, uh, why'd you wake up at six a.m. on a Sunday, BG? Yeah, yeah. I wake up six a.m. every single day. What? That's your pro- why? Yeah, some of us are at Halloween parties. I'm a morning. I'm a morning person. So by the time, bro, by the time seven o'clock rolls around, early every morning. He trying to see what he could, t- what dumbass hot take he could tweet out to get people angry. That's really. not true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a morning person, so yeah, yeah. By the time like six, seven, eight o'clock roll around, I'm tired. I'm way tired than anybody. So, so if you know that you've been doing this for three or four years now, Sunday is what you do. Why not sleep till like eleven, I can't. twelve p.m. I, bro, I literally cannot sleep. I can't stay in oh, bed. It, my body won't let me. Come wake you up, nigga. No, bro, bro, my my, my body alarm, will. Baby. My body will literally not let me lay in bed. I can't do it. I just, I'll just sit there like his body like, on a schedule, man. It, hold on. Do you sleep? Do you sleep on your stomach? That's how you uh, oh, wake God. up. Or you sleep on your... I don't think it matters. All real, real niggas sleep on their stomach. Tap in. Fire, fire. Definitely, I, I definitely don't because that that feels weird. Fuck, um, you sleep upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I, sl- I sleep on my side. Sli- side sleepers are the elites hey, of the Jack, world. He go, he go hop in that coffin in the corner of the room. Hey, you, know? <laughs> you sleep on your back, motherfucker, with your arms crossed. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Sleep in that. Anyway, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, all oh, fuck all y'all. Spell it. <laughs> what you said? <laughs> Tyreek, I know you. Y'all think he's gonna mess up the next uh, question? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, nigga, I'm tired. I'm a pur- pur- purposely uh. mess it up now. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. I'm thirsty. All that. You can't. I mean, your wife ain't cooked tonight. Nigga, I've been on this podcast. Wait, let me tap it I didn't even get up. Oh, I didn't get up in the hey, last like two hours. First, 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 meal, man. first time Brady and Giselle, now BG and the Mrs. Mm, God damn. Never. No more shrimp plates for you, nigga. Never that. that. Wars for no reason. Yeah. Nine, nine yeah, dollar shrimp plate. Speaking of which, that's just wild. Um, you, I can't go to the club. That's controlling. But nigga, want to play football and you get divorced. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not. I'm not going to argue this nonsense. I'm, uh, this is absolute. I'm not doing it, Comrade X Regin. Y'all willing? No, y'all willing no, no, to? No, 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 BG, you said it wrong. It's Comrade. Mm, All right. Who was that that messed that up? Got to put the extra Mexican on it. 
What? Whoa, whoa. I forgot what he said. Was that Jigga? He was like colloquial camaraderie. No, 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 I wasn't smooth. even here. I wasn't even here. Smooth. Oh, yeah, that was smooth. Smooth called it camarades. Yeah. And plus, I don't, I don't even be wearing my glasses when I be reading these joints. Y'all don't, don't even know. Y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all don't even know. And plus, it's not even a full moon outside today. Y'all so, you know, don't, don't even know. know. When I was reading it, bro, it was just, you know what I'm saying? I don't even have my favorite paint. Like, so y'all realize, see, I'm not, I'm not Jack. Y'all realize, like, Jack never takes his glasses off. I think he wear them in the shower. He wear them to bed. I, bro, I don't. <laughs> he got pictures with you. When he washes his hair, he got them off. Oh, that's the only time. I'd be, cu- be, cu- be cute too. Yeah, he never does, take yeah. his glasses off. I'm like, God, this. Yeah, I'm not like that. <laughs> I only wear my glasses when I absolutely need to. Oh, you, you wake up at six a.m. on the dot every day when you ain't got nothing to do. But now you upset because I wear my glasses. I got plenty of shit to do. See, real niggas like me who's getting to it, Jack. Oh, we wake up early and get to it. Question, we get to it, nigga. Tonight. What are you talking about? We ain't gonna better wake up at six a.m., nigga. We still gonna be yeah. going. Yeah, yeah. I, I, ac- <laughs> I accomplish more before breakfast than you before you wake up. Oh Hell, you talking? About? What you got to do, Jack? You ain't got nothing to do. You just gonna wake man, up at twelve and do nothing. Tonight, man. <laughs> you gonna wake up at twelve tomorrow, and and, oh and then he's still, he's still here's here's what you gonna do, Jack. You gonna wake up at twelve tomorrow, Listeners, right? Please. You gonna do a whole Listeners. lot of nothing. You gonna hop in a Twitter space and fall asleep after you did nothing. <laughs> and that's and that's and that's, and that's my pr- uh, prerogative, sir. I yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, Next question, uh, Comrade X Regin. Y'all willing I'm to play right Warhammer in. 40 uh 40k martyr for game night? No. Is this even Damn, I even Bob said no, goddamn well, huh? <laughs> Warrior 3. Nigga Bob said no, you know it's a rap on that shit. I and mean, what, as far as I'm I am far as I know about Warhammer, it used to be a great series of great lore and tabletop, and the irregulars got to it. So now mm. the main uh audience yeah. of it's like fuck this game. Tabletop. I mean, the irregulars take over, man. Like, the, you know, they might as well be the Jews of gaming. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, no, no. I love them to take over and cancel everybody. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's funny. Oh, Tyrek, you're not going to fire him up? Okay. Wait, what happened? No. Look at him, look at him. Oh, my God. Oh, so when a black yeah, man, so when a black on. man, when a black man make a comment, me is something, but when a white man say something, you don't want to say nothing to him. But hold on, am I am I wrong? Where these are regular communities come in here and just destroy gaming? Twenty first century, it's so man. I mean, gaming got the wrong end. Game, game, once the game hit mainstream, it's, it was. It's, it's, I mean, they, they they tried to make Bayonetta gay or like. Yeah, that's what that done, dog. I don't, I don't like that. Job. Hold up, I thought Bayonetta was bought by Naughty Dog. Or... Uh, yeah, it's great as straight can be. Mafia Quad, back in the PS3, Xbox 360 era, when you could say whatever you wanted online, what was the funniest disrespectful thing you heard someone say? I don't know, man. Oh, I can't I'm even say it. Stand on here, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even say it on here. I'm like, yeah. it canceled. I mean, it's a billion were, things. I mean, it wasn't racist. They had a color TV. That was like one of the first things I've heard. Probably. All I know is I, I remember one time somebody called me a nigger in Halo, and I went on a 31 kill streak in Halo <laughs> with dual <laughs> pistols, aces. Hey, hey, That's your nigger right there. Uh, let me, wait, you did it. You did it with what? You, did it with what you uh, with? unleash some indiscriminate justice. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. sir. Well, you heard a lot of stuff. You heard a lot of stuff. Game, you like? That's Mr. Halo to you. Dudes used to be. Back in Halo 2, you could, they had proximity chat. You could talk to the other teams like during the game and like after the game, and yeah. yeah. Oh, Dude, dudes always used to threaten to drop dick off and niggas' mothers and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 you was like, you was like, what about me? You always talking about my mom. Oh, my I'm gay. <laughs> so when it was like, yeah. <laughs> that was so the gay. On PSN, they would call him like a zipper head or some shit like that. She was crazy. Fine. Oh, I mean, I the, you the worst that's insult that's back that's in the that's day that's is when that's dudes that's would be like. Get graped with a G R A P E D minus the G. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, they was playing word games, huh? They was getting radical, yeah. Man, I, 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 that was the most common insult on Xbox Live. That nigger, make me a sandwich. Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your account banned. With me, everybody got it. Though, if you was white, Hispanic, it didn't matter. Everybody got it. Oh, so you're a racist? Hell yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I don't know nice. the toxic online. I think racist ain't retarded. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Double R. To- yes, Tony sir. plays games. What would be the best side hustle for making money legally? Tony Dick. Uh, on YouTube, if you can make it. Uh, do, you have, do, you, do you have a <laughs> trade? I mean, we, we need to know some other information. Uh, photography. I mean, I guess the most popular joint is uh, Ubers. I guess that's the most popular side hustle, I guess, is like Uber. It depends on, it depends on your budget. You could um, get a bowler hat, sit down for side in front of a mall and paint yourself gold and just stay still. You <laughs> drop some money in your hat. That works. That works. <laughs> no, no. Paint handling is the number Actually, one. No, 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 no. We're all wrong. The most popular side hustle is OnlyFans. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely. But you got to be a female. Uh, photographer. Mean, nah, you ain't got me. I mean, I mean Tony, hey, Dick, you know how to suck dick. You'll be, hey, listen. Tony, Tony, you could probably dress up like that Dolvin dude. And I'll fucking murder you for shit like that, Jack. Mm. <laughs> who's that one dude? That, who's that one dude that that one a regular that went to the White House recently? I'm sure Tony could pull that He's off. Talking about that Dylan person. Yeah, Tony could pull it off. It's some person. I seen it on Twitter. It's some uh, transgender person that Joe Biden had an interview with. A nigga phone? He's like parroting <laughs> women. It's kind of strange. What do you say to Biden? He's like, yes, thank you for having me. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Yeah. Christian, what's your favorite piece of Jiggy merch? Damn. Uh, no, me, no. I got it. I got it tatted on my back. I'm having the there, hold on. Man, I got there was, was a wrestler that had it. some Jiggy merch on. Oh, no, that lip chain is just a logo <laughs> that everybody uses. The the I bloody mean. female mouth lip thing. I wish Jack would bring back the Jiggy what, Fantastic what shirt. Just or that wasn't me. That was Africa. Yeah. 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 That was ooh, that. That nigga. Did you say that was tattoo. Africa? Like the entire that was, continent? That was African. <laughs> That's a hard. T- that might be my next tattoo. The Jiggy ski mask. I need that. Ooh. Hey, that'd be a hard test. Oh, like, oh hold up. What you could doing? do? Put a Jiggy mask tattoo. A Jiggy mask over the Krusty the Clown and just keep his eyes. Ooh. Out. Yeah. Hey, tap in. Uh, I, Ain't no bad idea, man. That might be the next tat, dog. Yeah. Fire, fire. Look like oh, you like, uh, you like, Ed, oh, you like Eddie Raja. Get Eddie Raja with a ski mask, with Jiggy ski mask. Ooh, nobody's gonna know who he is, but that's, that's he. Well, he don't have a mask on, yeah. I'm gonna show you the hardest ski mask tattoo. Well, this ain't the hardest ski mask tattoo I've ever seen. It's a hard one, though. All right, E-Rock, next who question. Who won that fight between uh, Logan Paul and Logan uh, Paul? Won. Logan Paul won. He not, and, who, any knockdowns or what? It was a decision. I thought it was Jake Paul. Has, he, won. Won. has, any, has he fought any actual real boxers yet? Silva, yes, but no. Silva's old. But well, Silva, Silva, isn't Silva an uh, MMA fighter? MMA. Yep. With the boxing research. I'm talking about an actual boxer boxer. Has he fought any? Oh, no, no, no. But no, Silva did no, box okay. so back before he was your, you know, your sea fighter. Like he's we, we talking. We talking about a. We talking about a, a young. His age. His weight class. His. You know. He ain't fought nobody. That's an actual. He, he knows what he's doing. All right. Yeah. He 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 playing in our face. And not he the gonna, way he was boxing again. He, he gonna keep having 14, 13, 12 year olds ask mom and dad for the pay per view. You know, like as he should. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Them fights be entertaining. Well, that's because we wait on him to get knocked out. Yeah, he's Ooh, going to Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. He's not even, and it's the thing, he's not even entertaining to watch. Like, nothing he does is spectacular or good. He's literally just able to hang in there long the enough tape. until they. The uh, I, that's not hate. I'm sitting here the watching tape. him. Okay. All right, Jack. E-Rock, Could you imagine how much money BG would make if, like, he like told random YouTubers that would, like, bums to come fight him? <laughs> so he get knocked out. They're going to beat the dog shit. No, no, no. And <laughs> BG was just, was just mopping him, like. That's hate. Like, like, imagine, like, Mr. 100 or, like, We Lover is somebody trying to fight BG. That's why BG BG just kept mopping him. BG gonna try to be, like, Sifu and actually kill somebody. Oh, I missed that game. I might replay that. I'm actually playing that right now. Hold up. Our conversation. Get on on, uh, Call of Duty, Tyrek. All right. I need somebody got to take over. There's only, like, five. Well, maybe. Six, well, I'll be right. just yeah, running for these multiplayer games, though, man. Oh, my God. Get off my bitch. dick! Why do you say that like hard eight? Even if that was the case, it ain't much nah, to do. Nah, he, he almost made Jack do the intro. Hey, yo. Yo. BG, can you at least try the third-person mode on Call of Duty? Can you at least try it? It's already nice. uninstalled. Can't do it. Hey, this man <laughs> running from everybody. Yeah. My, my, you, might my like religion, gotta, you might like it. My religion says I can't reinstall games. That's, you oh. can't move now? 
Uh, Anybody who is religious, I, I find that uh, thing offensive. So I need you to apologize. Well, DJ, make sure there ain't no more questions for yourself, brother. What religion do you have, uh, Jigga? I'm a, uh, this nigga said church is chicken in his head. <laughs> what religion? Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, Jigga, don't leave. No, Jigga, don't leave. Don't leave. Uh, Jigga, this will be close. Oh, Cock Carousel says. Uh, oh, imp- oh my God. Shout out to, <laughs> Shout out to him. Impersonate Angry Jack move and Angry Jack move and BG crying on multiplayers. That's See, people, right, people be forgetting it's Jack move will go off. Jack move be, oh, be, Jack move be going this, off this on a, multiplayers. This is Alex. Like, this is Alex. Like, moment, Alex. Dog, it was a disaster. <laughs> Didn't BG yeah. try to snap a disc and couldn't snap it? Oh, yes, yes, sir. I can probably pull BG off. I've never tried it, though. So Alex, 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 can do, Alex, Alex, get to Laser that. can do BG. Alex, just act like you had a podcast to go to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck, that... oh, man. I can tell I can't do it. I'm about to laugh. <laughs> Cause, oh my, I just woke up Jack, tired, cause Jack move can low key be, be worse than me, way worse than me when it comes to multiplayer yeah. rage. Nah, you you've uh, had some. That's only when I play sports games. When I don't play sports games, I'll be alright. Nah, uh, Jack Jack screaming Nikki on any game is annoying. I can't. I can't yo, that sucker is hilarious. Nikki, so we we got some drama going on in the community. Apparently, Fratanga is responding to a rich of review tech <laughs> USA stream. Oh, fire, fire. The white, yeah. the white yeah. fire. Review yeah, tech is not fight. even review tech anymore. He's in so much drama now. That's what well, bring in money, man. As far as impersonating me, I think people do made do fun of the fact that uh, when I play multiplayer games, I insult people for doing everything that is right. in the multiplayer game, like running, breathing, sliding, yeah. Why jumping. Why are you moving? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's very funny. No, people, That's very funny. People but... that run in games where your blip show up on the map, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah nah, but like the stuff I be complaining about, it, it be petty, but it, it's meaningful. That's the thing. Like it it might sound stupid to you. Like, yo, why are you getting mad at this man for for running or jumping or shooting? It's like, it's not the time, bro. You're doing it wrong or something. It's, it, you know. All right, hold on. I got a serious question since we're talking about this. What do you guys think about this giant you know, argument over um over skilled based matchmaking. If you have a problem with really skilled matchmaking, you are trash. It's almost look, look there, there is a lot of people be based, based, all right. What's... My skills shouldn't be based. What's the argument again? Because you are based matchmaking. Skill based matchmaking you being sweaty. It's trying to hear Attic. Who else is I know everybody's talking. God. That's good. That it's <laughs> ruining. Oh, oh. It's ruining. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Add a talk for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn, let him talk. You know what I'm mean? talking. Yeah. Hey, man, the black oh. is holy dynamite is spoken, man. Y'all fall back. <laughs> okay. It is. That, that skilled based matchmaking is ruining. Bro, let him talk. Bro. Yo, I'm about to start booting niggas. Just shut up. <laughs> Hey, shut are up, you guys ha- are you done? About that. Are you guys had your fun? <laughs> but people think that skilled based matchmaking is ruining gaming, like PC gaming, or not PC gaming, but multiplayer gaming in general. Don't you want skill based matchmaking? <laughs> right. You want? I mean, play I, I, I don't think. I guess the argument is I don't. I don't know because I haven't really played a multiplayer They're game really that uses it like that. I think the <laughs> argument is that. It, it doesn't work as intended. I think some people say that, oh, skill based ma- matchmaking puts me in a match full of like tryhards. But it'll, but if if I'm if I'm playing by myself, and it's a whole bunch of randos, it'll put me in a party. Uh, it'll put me against a party with uh, a whole bunch of dudes playing together based on their skill level. I don't know. I think I hear stuff like that. I don't really know. I, I mostly hear about they they run they get uh, they run into tryhards and get like run over. Either yeah, that, it, like, okay, so, so so they say they think they run into tryhards. Well, maybe they suck. <laughs> no, it's like is what it is. Is that, is that not a thing? Make you it's play like if you suck or like me, one at a time. You have one good game, then they throw you against tryhards, and it's like, bro, I'm I'm trash. Let me like play against the bums where I belong. Yeah, because like like for me, like as you guys know, I I just all I do is sim race, but like in the the private league I'm in, they have a system where it does match make you with other people within your skill level. But if you play later in the day, like our time, then, you know, uh, 
you you, know, you get matched with less people. So the, the less people you're matched with, then the skill level is all over the place, kind of. But you know, uh, the whole the old saying goes: get good. If you don't, if you suck, you think you can get fucking trampled on. Get better. Then I mean, well, well, I won't hear that from you, Kiss Move. That's all I'm saying. That's not Kiss Move. <laughs> Right. I thought that was, I thought that was kiss move, my bad. Who are you talking to? Like kiss move. Wow. Hey, you didn't mention all these. You thought that was kiss move? I definitely I did, my bad, bro. I my bad, kiss move. I can understand. Yeah. That pork must be bad. It's good, though. I mean, I don't know why people be against it. Well, see, I think the reason is because people feel like if they perform well, every game is going to be like a sweaty game and they're not going to be able to like relax. It's like, but so you want to get placed with the bums so you can oh, overperform oh. every match. Yeah, that, that's Cause that's like, what I feel like. Yeah. Cause like, like, yeah, like it's, back it's, in here. If, if you're playing good in like five matches and then the sixth match, you get you know, well, murdered. I mean, like I mean, maybe, maybe they want, maybe they want a combination. Maybe they want some games where you could tell people, you know, they might be newer at the game. Then some games you playing against more skilled people. But if it, every single match you get in is just a, a sweat fest like that, ain't fun. I don't know. But what are I mean, supposed to match you with people in your skill range? Yeah. So like, if you're mobbing but people, for five, people for five, I mean, if you're mobbing people for five for five but, matches, don't be surprised if you get mopped at it, six. It, it, it's also it also depends on how many people play the game too though, right? Like you said, if it ain't that many people on the server and then like it's, hey, it's gonna fuck up the matchmaking. What's up? Get uh get Alex back in here. Well wow. ah, he was talking too much. I didn't see how quickly and better the, the conversation flows without him. He'd be oh, laughing and interrupting. Oh, he Alex, man. <laughs> he can come back tomorrow. He on timeout. Oh, come oh, on. <laughs> <laughs> I've warned him like five times the addict talk, and he just keeps talking and talking. I just boop, and now people can actually talk. Ah, oh, come on. So how you get that revenue then? Yeah, Jack, get him back in here. <laughs> but uh, Man, yeah, cool. I'm, I've always looked forward to playing people that was either on my skills, so that way I can say I'm better than you. I know like, how to I, play. Even I when I was too heavy, and I wanted good gameplay, like I didn't care. Like if I could dominate a good team, like there were times I uploaded yeah. videos. And I expressed like, hey man, we were playing against some dudes that were beasts, and they were showing us uh, for like three games. And this game, I went the fuck in. And I, I can, that as a video. I can understand some degree their their arguments, but the biggest portion, he's like, look, some of you might not <sighs> enjoy being like played against people that's on your level twenty four seven, but at the same time, it's like I feel like skill based matchmaking is actually improving. The overall landscaping of gaming because you don't have people coming off the streets playing against like ma like match rank level in, in these multiplayer games. Like imagine playing Apex and going against like like uh you know their higher ranking systems like right off the bat. Right. Well, not to mention, but how you gonna get better? If you don't if you don't, if you don't play against somebody better than you, you'll never improve. Man, people need to stop playing. It's a lot of crop babies in gaming nowadays. Yeah, everything is fine, easier. People still find a reason. All right, let's ask these last couple of questions before I forget, though. All right, so Crumbside Cheekbuster says, What's the best way to stay up on upcoming Black Friday video game deals? I would say, um, I would say follow Wario 64 on Twitter. Yeah, Wario 64, that's all you need. You don't need nothing yeah. else. Like... Low, key, low, low key, low key. Wario, oh, wait, he said sales or? Yeah, he said Black oh. Friday sales, yeah. Okay, yeah, warrior bro. Uh all right. BG four six nine eight says to anyone who watches sports, if you can only watch one, which one would you would it be? Oh yeah, we did answer that last week. Right? That last week. Yeah, yeah, he got it got corrupted. Yeah, but he didn't hear it. Oh yeah, it's definitely I'm basketball. Gonna I'm gonna say it again, uh on my perviness, uh female beach volleyball. I'm torn between basketball and football, man. Yeah, I am too. Basketball is like more football games. More. I feel like football more entertaining to watch, but basketball. I feel yeah, like Jack watches more football than you watch more football than you watch basketball. I feel like Jack. It's you know what it is. It's easier for me to watch football teams that I don't follow than it is to watch basketball. Like I can't right. really watch like random basketball. It, that should be boring as hell. All right. I do love football. Okay, lingerie football league. I watch that. You just you just horny, bro. Like oh, yeah. you know you know porn still exists. Tick. You you ain't got the yeah, but you know this is like a <laughs> what's wrong to do, man. <laughs> All right. We got blessed. It says, for all my homies from the 90s, what are some creative ways you got off in the pre-internet era? Assuming you 
didn't access. Hold on, let me see. Oh, we oh, answered. Yeah, we we didn't hear this right. last week. I'm trying to make sure. I'm trying to make sure I'm on the right week because these there was a lot of repeat questions what last week. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is this the current one. Yeah, so a lot of people it got corrupted, so a lot of people resent in their questions. So this is a new question. Well, from last week. Um, all right. It says, assuming you didn't have access to porn, for example, I used to watch WWE Diva intro videos on my PS2 or watch movies like American Pie, PS, PS3 Internet Browser, changed the game. And so oh. before you ask, somebody responded and said, GCPD needs to lock you up. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what. All right. So uh, like I said last week, um, you had Skinamax. So, you know, Cinemax back in the day, you look for a movie at the t- 11 o'clock if it had rated MA on it. It was gonna be fire. Red Shoe Diaries. Jack, it's it's eleven fifteen. Next question. Stop trying to really yeah. Answer that. Let him answer the man's question. All right, man. If we were talking about like relationships, you'd be all over this one. But the um, next one, well, well, the next one. Well, they the ask question this question week. every week. No, this was last week, but it got corrupted. We didn't get the answer. Serve the people, boy. Serve the people. Yeah, blame BG. Yeah. Well, I got well, but if you got to leave, I, it is one more comment for Bond, and then I think that's it for him. It says uh, we can skip that comment. Oh, you don't get want to read it. Too important things. Man, right. it, man. But her is the next one. The next one. A question from last week too, though. Nobody got the answer. The only one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't got the answer, Sway. Go ahead. Who Who else, y'all? What What is y'all doing in the nineties? Uh, I was uh, a good little boy. Same Same shit. Watch HBO Cinemax shit like that. Yeah, yeah y'all. Go ahead. Man, WWE. Oh, you know, oh yeah. Hey. Same old nigga, hey. Trish Stratus. Miss Kitty, you know. Listen, Jacqueline. Nigga? Corey, what are we talking sir, about? Sir, yes, sir. I am. Paint no more. The nigga dude, just served man, a bid. Cool what the? Nigga just served a 10 minute bid. You back, Please, bro? My dog, my boy. Nigga, kick me out of the Discord. Did you keep talking talk when you were trying to answer, man? I wasn't yeah, talking. <laughs> I wasn't even talking. Yeah, Alex, was, Alex wasn't talking, though. When, when Game no. Day was talking, nobody else was really talking. I don't know why. Like, uh, I wasn't Alex. talking. I wasn't talking. What, where is he getting this from? It was yeah, mad was quiet cool. after you were gone. <laughs> that's a logical argument it must have been you alex that's pretty logical nah, I, ain't that was, I, I ain't gonna snitch it was somebody else talking but well who uh, was it i'm not snitching nigga what? well then you know what happens when you don't snitch we get rid of the people that don't snitch that's how it works in the suburbs no, hey, we not free, about- free me free me man I, that's, I how, the, that's how suburban savages work if you have information you don't snitch you you, you get you get the quick encounter I'm not throwing my man under the bus, man. I'm solid. I'm solid. Let's play a game of um, Among Us. Banned from Discord style. Let's get it. (laughs) Uh, Well, I was by electrical, so I don't know what y'all was doing. We not we not reading a weekly bond plan. Are we skipping over this one? All right, yeah, we can skip it. over that. Is this uh, actually yeah, Diddy in the in the uh, Joker outfit? <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, it is. I'm not gonna lie. He, he, he enjoying he enjoying this a little bit too much. Nah, this is the problem, here. though. I get I don't like when celebrities flex. They co- it's like, bro, you have endless resources, bro. Yeah, you can literally buy the costume from the fucking movie. Like that's not impressive. Well, man. He's enjoying this a lot. No, but the, what made it impressive? He acting like him. It was real cool. Yeah. I didn't see the video. Yeah, I didn't see the video. Cool. Yeah, he. He pulled up on uh, Tyler the Creator, and I was like, "Hold oh, up, this is actually I'm not saying that he's Believe a good it. actor, but I was, yeah, I was like, this is actually kind of hard." Like oh, he had to send the video. Oh, I watched the video. It's on oh. Instagram. I have to go find. So it. this a better, video, a better version of King Batches. No, yeah, King Bat. King, <laughs> King Bach wasn't funny at all, though. That's the problem with him. King Bach. No, nah, nah, he acted like a joker. It's pretty good. Oh, good. I see. I need to check that out. Oh, King, King Batch Jr. Trash. says, "My previous question: When I was a kid, I was getting off the bus, and a girl." Snuck behind me and stuck her index finger up my oh. ass and went. Did that? Did that just happen to you too? Watch you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I got off the bus, I had the biggest boner in the world. Do anybody have a kink that gives them an erection? I think everybody has a kink, brother. Yeah, I don't know. That's normal. I don't know if they want to disclose it on the podcast, though. Yeah, I don't um, know if they want to get those. Uh, I don't know. Touch my booty, bro. Well, let's not ruin the out, Tick. <laughs> uh, honest, uh, anytime, anytime, shop uh, is a word that starts with S. I get a little tingling sensation. Huh? To be fair, Chop yes. does moan after every sentence because he's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yo, look at these. Look at these. Uh, I didn't see some of these pictures. Look at these pictures, Alex. Huh? Uh, did he get his costume? I gotta find that video. He had a flamethrower. He had a these MP4. pictures is fire. Look. Did y'all read the question about Korea on Halloween? What? Yeah, it's in general. Let me look at it real quick. 
So ain't nobody on Call of Duty. That's crazy. No. Did y'all hear about what happened in Korea on Halloween? Do you think no. you survived? Yeah, they got they had like people up. getting a stampede, people getting trampled or some shit. Jeez. Yeah, that ain't on Halloween yet. How'd that happen? Well, year? they're a date. They're a date. They're a time is ahead of us too. Oh. Uh, what a terrible school system. All right, we got we got our last question is from it's Jay. It said. It's a shout out to WP. Y'all literally helped me get through my third shift at the bank. Question Does anyone on the panel think that their favorite game genre is based? For example, my dad and mom would only buy my brother and I fighting games because it's an automatic two player game. Never had to worry about taking turns or complain that I wouldn't let them play at all. And because of that, today fighting games are my favorite genre. Because it brings my uh brings me back to my childhood. P.S. Y'all need to do a WWP tournament with a fighting game of your choice. I remember that question. All right. So, um, so I just so no. can't believe BG said that fighters this generation are the best of all time. I'm going yeah, to bed. Uh, I, I, I didn't say that, but I'm going to bed. <laughs> like, like that. That literally is getting a clap face video. Like seriously. Well. <laughs> If I if I could have if I could have reached through the screen, I would have hit him. No, I don't know. You trying to get banned for this? Hey, you would have hit him over that. Lord have mercy. Wow, but um, that's, you know, that's I, like saying LeBron is better than Jordan. I mean, uh, this man, Brian, let me talk about that. Arguable. <laughs> my score, man. Tekken, Tekken Seven, Dragon Ball Fighters, Marvel Three, Mortal Kombat Eleven. How those are all those, those are those are all great, great, Fighters, great games and great lineups according to the FGC. Guilty Gear. I'm just telling you what the FGC says. That's all. I mean, Tekken's always considered good, but versus Tekken Six um, and even Tekken Tag Two, it's not great. I'm listening to the FGC. And now the, okay. the current Guilty Gears are, are good. Don't get me wrong, but they're not as good as the older Guilty Gears. So I'll tell you why Tekken Seven isn't good because you know I do play Tekken. King so of Fighters, I, I Skull get... Girls. I'm just oh, gonna gonna off? going to bed though. Oh, you want? Yeah, all right, run, bitch. Quick. Take your ass to mm. bed. Good night, good night, brother. Good night, brother. <laughs> but uh, yeah, back I'll, to that. Question. I'll be up at six o'clock. Back to that question though. Um, no, I don't think <laughs> at the six o'clock. I don't think that dictates what game you play. You know, from what you played as a kid, because like I said. Last week when it got, you know, before it got corrupted, start off on Nintendo, play Super Mario Brothers, um, and played a lot of um, platformers. But my preferred games are shooters. I didn't really get heavy into shooters until, I want to say, PS2 era. Um, and at that point, I was already like 14. Somebody watch anime? Yes. Um, mm-hmm. But I also play fighting games, and um, but I did get into fighting games on my Sega Genesis uh, with Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. And then Eternal Champions, and then Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. So I do play those as well. So. Oh, this is the childhood game and dictating your taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what well, I said if uh, anybody else about to go. Um, last week I said <clears throat> I started on the Nintendo sixty four, so I had a uh, Wave Racer. Born in three D game. I, I yeah, yeah. This is exactly how this combo went last week. He said that same thing last week too. <laughs> um. <laughs> So I had a Wave Racer, Tom Clancy. Um, Where does the er and Wave Race come from? A Wave Race sixty four. Uh, <laughs> Tom Clancy. Your ass. On your ass. Yeah, I, he he he. Listen, Wave Race was the first N sixty four game I got. Oh, you got one more time, so on I had to boot you for the Discord, bro. Cutting him off. Let him finish. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, but the, stuff like that, racing games, stuff like that, that dictates why I. Stry- oh, and a bunch of co, a bunch of multiplayer games. So, I had siblings and a lot of cousins. So when we got video games, every video game we got, we had to double oh, think. Yeah, is this, this name, have- name each cousin. <laughs> I got to name each that. cousin. Yeah, we got Jamin, Caleb, Chris, Amelie, Tamia, Talana. So, you like to- woman, man. Name each cousin. So I, uh, I grew up with cooperative play being at the forefront and um and strategic gameplay. So that that definitely dictates what games I appeal to or what games appeal to me rather. Um, yeah, I played a lot of single player games growing up. I I think that probably dictated why well, I like like action adventure games. Yeah, they did though. Yeah, they did. That makes sense. That makes sense. I did too, but now I'm into multiplayer. I think because of me playing a lot of single player games in the past, once I got a taste of multiplayer and online. Now I prefer online games over two. You no, know, that's crazy. If that makes sense, that makes sense. What about you, Jim? Yeah. Wait, I don't even know the question. 
Oh, I was going to say that. I said that last week, too. I, I was like, I think the fact that people didn't play multiplayer games and stuff like that is why they either suck at multiplayer games now or they don't have that competitive bone in them. Like, some people, I got some friends that just don't play multi competitive games. Like, they only play Assassin's Creed, UFC, and, like, the most random assortment of games, but they suck at any multiplayer competitive space. I feel like y'all had to grow up with just single player I'm games. I'm not going to let you talk about Jigga while he in here. Hey, Jigga, defend yourself, bro. Jigga not bad at multiplayer games, I don't think. Yeah, I, I hardly play much single player games. I think it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, somebody hop on Call of Duty, man. I'm sitting there bored. Tap in. Tap in. Well, that was all the After Dark question, people. I want to I wanna personally apologize for BG's, uh, what would I say, incompetence when it comes to recording these After Darks, man. You know, it's not our fault. We try for y'all boys every week. You know what I mean? So if your question don't get answered, also just repost it the next week. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Yes, sir. Any more questions? Why is Jason Todd so damn big in the Scott and Mike game? Who knows? Great question. Don't worry uh, about you. Yeah, like uh, but my, my whole argument against BG is like we literally had an era of gaming where we had fucking arcades everywhere to play these games. And now they're gone, but BG says it's a better era. Right. Well, you know, BG ain't rap too tight. That's all it is, man. Respectfully. Like, there was literally a time where they could not make enough quarters for us to play these damn games. And, uh, and to your PC statement, I heard you ask him, yeah, he definitely didn't play PC back then because there was a time period where developers made two different versions of games. PC version. Wait, wait. The, good, the, good old, the good old days? Those were yeah. the good old days. Because yep. the PC Ooh. version was way ahead of the console version. PC version didn't matter. Skip, well, they didn't have to skip anything or keep it console parity. It was just much better experience. I might just watch all the Gotham Knight like, cutscenes because I have no desire to play that game, but... I sometimes watch uh, video games that have, like, the whole cutscene movies. Like, there's a couple channels that do that. Don't play it. it you'll... Damn, the, the Nuggets lose it to the Lakers? What? Your brain will turn to mush. Didn't the Nuggets beat the Lakers last week? My bugger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. This guy, his name is Game Clips. He already uploaded Gotham Knights, all cutscenes, mm -hmm. full story, three and a half hours. So games I don't want to play that have decent stories, I can just watch the whole thing in three and a half hours. The fact that the cutscenes go to three hours is crazy. No, they do gameplay story and stuff. But here's the difference. People will watch that movie and make a review on it. And be like, oh, this game's oh, trash. Oh, 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 of course. <laughs> this is exactly why achievements are important. Man, I want some what trophies. Can you say that? But there's, there's, a, there's a few games I've even come in contact with where I beat the game and I... The game won't give me multiple trophies that were milestones in the story. Dying Light 2 for 1, uh, Returnal when it first came out. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, he must have retired. His time, his time is over. He should have went to another team or retired. Team is ass. I mean, the fact that they spent the first round pick on his place on a player that can't play. Yeah, he sucks. God. What it do, what it is, what's up? Twitter is fire right now. Well, Twitter is going crazy right now. JD from NYC, that wrestling dude is getting destroyed by a bunch of female wrestlers. Where's BG at? He left. He just got in a sleeping bag. He gone. I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna ask him why he's not playing Call of Duty. Uh... He cranked that coffin up. What you say, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you think you pull it from under his bed and stack it against the wall? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hop up in there. Yeah, Yo, they speaking of which, you, you know what the best feature of YouTube actually is? I found myself no. wasting a lot of time watching YouTube videos or catching up. If you watch everything at 1.5 speed, you can pretty much watch the video and save so Bro, much. Bond, you've been, you just figured this out. Like, these dudes been doing this shit with anime shows, you know, going through the dialogue. Like, that's what they yeah. tell me. They watch it through 1.5 speed. Oh, oh shit. I don't do that. But, like, I, I've been doing it for a couple months now. But I'm saying, like, like a podcast or something. You can watch that 1.5. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I let like the, the podcast play out. Fox, absolutely. I, I let the podcast play out because I'd be listening to them at work, bro. I'd be like, these are time. Oh, that's different. 
Yeah, if it's a time killer, I'll, I'll watch the rest of it. If I'm trying to like consume a lot and I don't exactly want to spend a lot of time. So for the people that's in their thirties and up, um, do y'all work remote at all? Yeah. yeah. Do y'all, so do y'all love this new atmosphere of work culture? Yeah, not exactly. Sometimes I feel late. Sometimes I feel lazy if I I stay home. That's a you call. I got I got people that I work with, and I think they genuinely feel like, you know, they they so quick to say this generation of workers, but they genuinely feel like people my age and below or around just don't deserve any opportunities because they'd rather have a different experience with work life balance than they had growing up. Right, they haters. Like they, like they people cringed complain the idea. about. They cringed at the idea of working from uh, working remote, or they'll legit they'll send an email, "Hey, I'm going to work remote today." Like they're letting people down that they're going to be at the house working. I'm like, nigga, just do yeah, your it's work. Hard. Well, it's, it's really weird. It's a, it's but the thing is, is like it's, it's if if you can do your job at home, why why drive to work? You know what I mean? It depends exactly. what you're doing though. Like, if, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said if you can. Oh, if yeah, you, it, if you put like, yeah, on day, you put, like meetings and such like that, there's no point of you being in an actual yeah. building. Facts. Somebody's like, "Yo, come in today so we can work on this." You're like, "Nah, I'm gonna be at home." Like, "Yo, what the fuck?" That's different if you actually need to be in physically, or or even if you don't need to physically touch something and put together. I get that camaraderie yeah. of just being in the office yeah, and talking. Exactly. That's yeah, different I'm, than that's different than also, feeling like I need to get up and be at my desk to oh, bro. I can sit in bed and do the same job. It's like like but see, honestly, I get I get lazy if I do that sometimes. Like see, if I'm just chilling in bed. Also, also, I mean. If you have kids, it's even better. It's, it's more of a sentence for you to work at home because you can worry yeah. about daycare. You can go get your kid from school, things like that. It makes uh, I think that part of the life like more more easy. The couple, the couple times that I've worked home, uh, worked remote, I felt like I got stuff done way quicker because I'm just like, oh, I just got to do this, 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 and that. Bet, and then I mm-hmm. then I put it down. And I, when because I get it, another task or somebody emails me to do something, I'll go do that. I'm done within minutes because I'm like. I'm ch- I'm not I'm not in the back of my mind thinking five o'clock five o'clock five o'clock I can already just do it do it at you. Right. Right. Even at work, yeah. like I bullshit at work sometimes. Like, yeah, because bro, with. that and they they, <laughs> they did a time, but... they did a study on that. They was like people actually uh, were less productive at work because like they're dragging it out so they have something to do. Otherwise, they just gonna be at the office looking at stuff. Like, right. bro. That just depends on what job you got, bro. I'm literally exactly. streaming. Of course, of course. I'm streaming. I, I was bond last, last, bro, two days ago. I brought my Series X to work, and I was literally streaming on Twitch from work. Like you just gotta choose and pick you your jobs. You're, you're wild for that one. Like, it, I'm surprised you ain't get fired, bro. My boss don't care, bro. As long as I'm productive, he don't care. So I'm productive for the yeah, first boss, hour and a half. Your boss care. recommended you find something to like do in your in your right. downtime. Because I was I was like tripping over this like oh my god the ghost thing he's like dude you're fine just go find the TV go go in your room and just relax as long as your job's done bro ain't nobody gonna bother you I'm not at least you know so he kept he kept instilling that in my head I'm like all right bro like why don't you get a Steam Deck I got one I <laughs> I brought it to work right now oh, I true. have it this uh, all on it by the way oh my god let go my dog in what do you think bro my dog. My dog, yo, that's the yo. But that thing Kanye, ever. that Kanye yeah. thing was really ir- irking me. Y- y'all, y'all were definitely out of pocket for that, bro. Like, you guys should not be with none of that shit at all, bro. You in know which, what? But in which like, way? Some of it. But what hold, Kanye on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In which way, please? Oh, here we go. Listen, listen. I usually always agree with Tyreek. Like, he has like a great mind. Like, honestly, I'm not even trying to like <laughs> cap. Him. You know what I mean? I just I think, think he cared away here, brother. No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, dog. Like, I'm just saying, like, yo, what Kanye does, some of the shit he does is, is like boneheaded and fucking ignorant as fuck. Like, I'm not, I don't agree with all the shit he does. I like, I like Kanye, but I agree. Right, yeah, I but, Kanye, though, but, but, but hold Kanye. on, but hold on. But let me I'm finish. sorry. But at the, at the same, at the same point, at the same point, like, that man should be able to say what the fuck he wants to say. If he says something on Twitter. And he got canceled off Twitter. You know what? Fine, he said it. Like VG said, you got to be, you know, take accountability. Okay, but. Why? Why is it spilling over to the other platforms? It just—it's a bunch of bandwagon shit, bro. You are doing so good. Kanye, can, can Kanye, uh, Kanye Kanye right? Irving is about to happen to him too. So, like, so the thing is, is that it's like almost being guilt by association. Like, do you, do you want what somebody said to be associated with you? Same thing happened with Tiger Woods. Someone, 
Tiger. You, you, uh, real quick, you had someone. I'm gonna cut some blazes, though, but you know what I'm saying? Hold it real quick. No, I get you it. I talk. Get... You, you had someone over the, the Andrew Tate thing that literally just showed pi- uh, like pictures of him hanging out with Andrew Tate on his birthday, and he got kicked out of his company for it because of Twitter. Yeah, that that is wow. stupid. That right there is could be a lawsuit. Yeah, but I don't... Like, Connie's the free to know. Connie said some comments on an interview, said this on Twitter, and like, yo. People was like, yo, you said it publicly. Everyone knows what you saw. And then they got choose and move forward to the business or not. Now, here's listen, my let's, question. Here's can my I question. just say this one real quick? Like, let's exclude color completely out of the, out of the situation. Yeah, when, when I can't it, ignore that. Like, like, I can't ignore that guy's like, No, 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 no. I, no, I'm talking about, I'm just talking about something different now. I'm talking about okay. Andrew Tate. Like, let's, let's take his color. Let's say he was black, whatever. We'll, we'll say whatever he, he is. He is black. Well, he is, okay. he is black. But go ahead. Okay, but, Andrew you know, Tate is black? I'm yeah, saying his black. dad is the first well, black grandmaster in chess. What are you talking I about? I thought I thought he was a white man. He's Armenian. No, he's, he's, I, he's half black. His, I didn't his know dad that. is you literally the old, his dad okay. is literally the first black grandmaster in chess. Okay, okay. So my thing is why, like, if if you're a man, some of the shit that he be saying should absolutely motivate you, and you should absolutely be agreeing right. with a lot of the shit he be saying. Like I don't understand. Like if you if you feel offended by what he says, then you're fucking insecure, bro. I'm sorry. Me and my uh, one boy were talking about this. Oh. Because he was saying that the rest of our friends are kind of simp in <laughs> nature because he's bald. Back. And people were saying he looks like Andrew Tate, and he's like, I take that as a compliment. And everybody exactly. else is like, you shouldn't take that as a compliment. He's like, why? And you know, Andrew Tate, like Andrew Tate, literally said, listen. I got no, you don't got to be rich. He's like, the only type of people I don't like is people that are sex deprived and the people that are just bums. Like, I respect the working man that, you know, goes to work every day or that's a street sweeper or whatever type of work he does. I respect that. But Kevin like Samuel somebody... said. Yeah, Kevin Samuel. Yeah, you notice that the people that they try to get out the way the most actually has respect for the average everyday man. Yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> crazy. Bro, he literally doesn't. He will say, oh, I respect you. He's calling him a brokey. You brokey, I can steal your girl. It's like, bro, you can't say two things. And, and no, that's no, not what that's not doing, what he's bro. saying. He be saying all the time, bro. He's nah, he brokeys. He be saying, you're brokeys, bro. Get out of here. Who are you talking about? Andrew Tate. Jigga, he only uh-huh. says that to the people that want to, like, the, the, you know, the cl- oh, shit club. The club, yeah, the club dwellers that just go to the club with, a, with like, 50 bucks borrowed from their girl Trying to move around and trying no, to act no, like no. that. Okay, so if if I say like I say, uh, one time I just say to a woman, "Hey, women belong in the kitchen." Then I can't go around just saying, "Well, I, I respect all women, and women can do whatever they want." Bro. It's like you can't say two I things. Understand you know, where he's coming you know, from. Thing. If you if you make three hundred million dollars, you don't want a fucking corporate woman. You want a woman in the kitchen. Right, the but you bills are but paid. Certain, right. No, no. See, y'all ignore what I'm saying. You can't say certain things to say you respect. The hardworking man when you call him a brokey. Like, but no. He's calling yeah. people a brokey for attacking him and he's saying, Look, I have three hundred million. If I wanted to fuck your girl, I could. What That's is- what he's saying. So you're disrespecting a broke person. Everyone's okay. broke. Okay. Here, here's here, okay, here's the okay, problem. Then, so you don't respect broke people then just here's the problem. No, 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 no. Here's the problem. He's a fighter. And you're and a broke person, why is a broke person no, 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 talking no. to a guy worth no, three hundred million? But Bon, he don't re- so, so money. He don't respect did. yo, Jigga, 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 bro. He doesn't bro. respect broke people. That's okay. I don't respect any broke bro, person. If you're broke, bro, if you're broke, that's on you. If you're broke, that's on you. Get your ass up and go to work. He he's not yep. saying that you have to be rich. I'm, I'm, he's I'm not saying you have to be rich, bro. Jigga, Jigga. But he's not saying you got to be rich. Broke, that's yeah, not what he's saying. He wasn't born rich. He wasn't born rich. Said his father was a. Chess man. Yeah, what are you talking about? That nigga was eating. That, he I was mean, eating I, I'm sorry, rice. guys. I, I didn't know you guys watched chess championships. I thought bro, you, know, you made money. He was a lot of money. His brother was, like, taking, his brother was oh, yeah. taking chicken bones and leftovers from dumpsters and KFC, and they were mixing it with rice to be able to eat something and go to fights. Since there's a drama about the last tournament that happened. So what did didn't he get his money? That. Didn't he get his money through casinos or what? Uh webcams. So you know it's fun. I watched his first he, original video. Got... It's so funny, uh, Attic. He has hair, he's skinny, 
he has glasses and he looks like a nerd. And in this video, Bond, I girl, seen it in the his girl's girlfriend. Like, yeah, his oh. girlfriend dumps him, and he's like, "Why?" And she's like. Because you don't have money, you're small, you're skinny, and nerdy. That's what she told him. He, and from he that got, day, he, he got motivated. Yep. He got his... Um, every day. He got a There's little actually bit of footage money. of this. That, yeah, he, he little, does look like a geek, too. He got Wait, a little so bit... I, I, I read something that said he got his money from investing into casinos. Well, no, hold up. He, he, no, he, he, he did that, too. He, he did, did that, too. That he area. got a little bit of money when he left uh, left fighting. He used that money and invested it into the webcam thing, and then he took that money and invested it into Bitcoin, and then he took that money and invested it in casinos, and then he took that money. <laughs> like it, it's 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 like the, the, there's levels to it. <laughs> hey, gaming act, how we doing, brother? He still hate broke. I heard it was also uh, ripping off. But hold on, who doesn't hate broke people? First of all, men hate broke people. Women hate right, broke why, why people. Would you, why would you hate somebody? Nobody likes. I, like, I, mean, like, I, I don't hate people. Why would you hate somebody? Because broke people love talking shit to people. I don't hate. And then they complain when people talk shit. I don't hate broke people. Bro, I don't want you around me because no. If you're broke, it's listen. If you're broke because you know your wife just left you. And you're going through a t like you don't. If you stay broke, then you're a loser to me. Like if you if you get up and leave, I'm not saying I'm not rich. That's lame shit, bro. That's lame bro. Shit. No, Jigga, it's bro, not, bro. It's not bro, lame bro. shit, bro. You, you, Listen, you can't bro. just fucking act like just because Jigga, somebody I'm doesn't not have rich. the same mindset as you. No, but you're shitting on people. You don't know. Yeah, that. I, if you don't have the mindset right, to not bro. be broke, you should be shit on. Jigga, bro. Jigga, I think not. You don't understand what people went through. Y'all like y'all bitch ass niggas, bro. Hello, Jigga. Jigga's in the Jigga's missing the whole point. We don't know. No, 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 I, I get what you're the saying. The world doesn't owe you understanding. We don't and care. I'm not saying you should owe the understanding, but you shouldn't shit on them because of their situation. But Jigga, here's the issue. Jigga, but here's the issue. A broke dude Jigga, that's shit on him first. You think Andrew Tate went around the internet looking for a broke dude? No, the broke dude shit on him first. I'm not, talk, I'm not talking about them, dude. Bro, I'm not talking about Jigga is talking about Jigga is talking about the idea of poverty and having your situation. Right. Y'all right. are y'all are talking about the mind state of somebody uh, that lady, doesn't have anything. It doesn't have the drive to do anything about right. it. Y'all yeah, yeah, talking about two lady. different people. Right. Yeah, lady, exactly. Exactly. They, they're putting they put in context to what he said, which is what. Jig is not getting the context of the the comment in the first place. No, no, I said I said ignore that person. I'm not talking about them. But if you say that statement out there, just calling people brokies, you can't. Yeah, do that. I, I, I was talking about that specific right. person. You you the biggest issue with this You're a man. Nobody's coming to save you. You're offended by being called a brokey, then get out there and work. Let me explain what I'm trying to say. If somebody, if a woman talks shit about me, and I just say, "Hey, all women belong in the kitchen," I can't just. Turn around and be like, "Oh no, I was only talking to that one woman." That makes no fucking sense. Yeah, no. but what you're saying but is, you, somebody took what you one. said out of context and then used it as a blanket statement. That's exactly right. what happened with him. Is that a, a, he made a statement with context? It was clipped and taken out of context, and it sounds like what you heard. Right, on top of that, on top of that, bro, bro, bro. Hold up, but the difference, the difference, Jigga. All women, whether you're no matter what it is, if you're female, you're a woman, you can fit, be offended by that. Being broke is not only that's that's subjective. You could have right. nothing to your name, but if you have a place to stay and food to eat, and you might not good. consider yourself broke. But somebody who good, makes right? somebody who makes a hundred thousand compared to somebody that makes fifty million might feel broke. Like that's that's right. not something that's just like clear cut and dry. And then we just need context that you know we're referring to Jigga love everybody. Jigga is not a hate. That's what I'm saying. I think y'all need to just say like y'all hate people that's lazy. I mean it's, it's what it is. Like y'all niggas yeah, being so late, being reason. late, being broke is a byproduct of being lazy. Facts. That's what I'm saying. So I disagree with that. I mean, I mean it. just like meet the nigga halfway, man. Y'all need to try to try to this more. They might be broke. Yes, they're yeah. lazy. Almost people listen, are lazy. Listen, I mean Jay, people Jay, might not be give them. You know, they might not be in a position. Veterans that are homeless. Yeah, yeah they, they, they're lazy, bro. They're about lazy. They shouldn't serve the country, about a person bro. That's, they, they, they shouldn't they're lazy, lazy bro. Yeah. That's, that's Serving right. the country is lazy, bro. Hey, look, what's wrong with you? Yeah, some people want oh, you to get the Hold on. See, here's, here's the issue. You're right. You guys are right. You're acting like a woman right now. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you, and, you, and you a bitch, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Hear me out. Your, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like you, bro. You a bitch, bro. You don't need to like me. Because you're <laughs> because because what, 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 nigga. what you just did Fuck was you, duck, you took a... Bitch. Hey, I was, I was here. No, 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 no. You're gonna let me get, you're gonna let me get this. 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 You're gonna let me the, p- the bottom line is, bringing up military people and veterans is stupid. That's yeah, a minority stupid, exception of people. No, no, you no, can't it's not, take it's the... Yeah, no, that is. Bro, there's 300 million men in the, in the country. How many people are in the military? Right. I'm saying the majority, exactly. a lot of homeless people are are veterans, though. That's the part. We're, we're, we're not talking about all million. men in general, though. We're not talking about a subset that's such a minute minority. The no, average exactly. person, oh, yeah. if you're broke not and lazy, you. is not a military person. Oh, I don't know if this is true, but I watched a bit. This is what I first found out on Andrew Tate. Apparently, he was making like, uh, like GoFundMe's and stuff and ripping people off too, or trying to sell people something. And didn't no, he's not. Product. You know, I don't think that's, that's true. His thing is, people post all of his videos and they get paid to do it. Yeah, go. apparently, some people um, like he was doing something where he was like selling selling something to people and they never got it. Y'all seen that movie like, 300? Big, like, thing that, that yeah. About it. And you tell him he needs a big defensive budget, man. Like, come on, bro. So so someone that has, someone that has 25 Marcia Lagos don't need to, don't yeah, need to no. scam you into $25, bro. Right, right. <laughs> oh, we, we, we have 80,000 men in I mean, the I mean, army. Make, make, make a church is our I mean, why couldn't, why, why couldn't that be true? Like, scamming people is definitely a good way to make money. Yeah. No, it is. Look at the old old thing, nigga. Come on, man. Bro, why would you risk scamming people when they're worth so much money? That's how you make more money. Right, Bernie, 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 Aunt passed two days after my my um mom. Tough. All That's kind. Tough. All, I mean, my aunt passed two days after my dad. All kinds of crazy shits happen. Legal bullshit. Stepmom Step bullshit. Mama. Step Bro, mama I, I I work four nights a week at night at Walmart despite working my full time job. Man, see, really? and you I see? don't. And and I am not ashamed to say that I do that. That I'm going out and I'm busting
You know, American shit. Was that a shot? No, I'm, just Jack. Oh, I'm playing, Jack. Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh I love God, you, though. You know I love yeah, you. I'll suck that for you, too. Hey. <laughs> you still on that shit, boy? All right, Jack. Did too much, brother. You did too much part three. You're on, like, part seven right now, Jack. You did too <laughs> much part seven, dick. bro. Hey, Blaze, what, what are we really talking about, bro? Because I'm interested. Bro, but that's different. You can't compare that to, you know. I remember I told Jack about the story. I'm like, yo, when I was when I was on pills and shit, like these women would do anything for these pills. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he's like, where where all those women uh all cracks all crackheads and high? Like, damn, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, damn, bad, bro. Were they? Couple. Oh, Which one? Did they, did they have teeth? Green. I need to. Yeah, you know, they they were like just lost teenagers. You know, at the time they were just Wait, lost. How old were you? I was a teenager. I knew it. I knew oh it. boy, I was about to say, hold up, bro. Oh boy, they were just adolescents, nigga. What? Bro, what, what, what's wait? Hold on. What's wrong if I said they're a teenager and I'm in my thirties? What's wrong with that? I guess they huh? be ni- I guess they huh? be eighteen and nineteen. Oh, well, they were still... nineteen, eighteen, or something. Yeah. 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 I mean, what's I, the I, issue? I still raise eyebrows when niggas in their late twenties, thirties are talking to nineteen. They're still no, kids. no, it's I not do. weird. I, that's it's me. Weird. That's me. That's yeah. Me. That's you. And that's Play why you know, he's uh, he good at home, uh, brother. No, 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 that's that's when, he that's turns, when he turns, when he turns that age, when he turns thirty, he probably thinks. I thought that's no, weird. Nigga, huh? No, no, like, hey, yo, no, like, that's yo, weird, bro. That's, that's even weird. in college, even in college, bro, I felt weird dealing with like freshmen, and I'm 22. I'm like, bro, she's 18. That's too young. Right, like we don't got nothing in common, though. Like you know what I mean? Too young. I'm talking that. Top that there's an obvious difference in not only maturity, but even what things you. Well, responsibilities, that I agree with. responsibilities of what you got going on, uh, experiences, uh, what expectations are, where you're headed in life. Like, that there's I agree a lot with. of different. Hold it down, Alex. Uh, I'll down, talk Alex. to a girl that's like 26. 26 Hold it down, y'all niggas I'll horny, talk. bro. Y'all got it. Hold it down, brother. <laughs> Nigga, yeah, niggas just don't want to. Niggas don't want to admit that there's a power dynamic when it comes to dating there's someone. There's a power dynamic of, for women and men. If the, if the girl's more hot than you, she's gonna take more advantage of you. If exactly. you get more status of her, the man, thing, Bond, like, I don't understand why everybody always thinks that only men can take advantage I didn't, of women. No, 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 hold women on. Make I didn't. Three point oh, whoa, whoa. five billion you, on OnlyFans. I just hold on, hold on, exactly, hold on. exactly. Hold talk about it. Okay, Bond, when you when you take his dick, when you take his dick out your hands, I'll say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, of course. Yes, it's sir. A, it's, Go ahead. <laughs> that relationship obviously she's with that older guy because of what he can take care of her and or he and does he's for the, with her because she's good looking I and she's know, gonna I'm take not, care of him this is the thing this is the thing y'all are arguing about what the transactional what? nature of it is i wasn't i just said it's weird for a nigga to go seek that young woman out that's weird to me oh so is it weird for a younger woman to seek out an older man instead of a guy her age right exactly no, I, you, see, no, I you see what i'm saying i think it's oh, you know, it, it, I, it, you I, know it's you funny ask me a question, like, you want me to answer. Right. Let me let me elaborate real yeah, quick. Both are weird. It's Absolutely. funny how weird. when when I was 21, none of these hoes were checking for me. That why would they want to come to my dorm and watch movies and eat fucking oodles and noodles and pizza on a 12 inch television? With, yeah, when right. they can go out with a guy that's a grad student or 30 years old that's got his own car and yeah. his own place. Fast forward to when that 21 year old is 30 and I'm 30. Oh, you're a loser. You're talking uh, to girls that are 21 now. Yeah. Why are you messing with young girls? I'm like, bitch, you were fucking doing it when you were 21. One, now the roles have changed. Yeah, now the roles one, have changed. For one, brother. you had a bowl cut back then. Secondly, <laughs> I think I think it's just a shallow, I think it's just a shallow for them to to look at that man just for what he can do for them. But, but like I society said, society finds it acceptable for them to do it. No, I think it's weird. I think it's weird both ways. Alex, I, I know, know you, you do. You I, do I, know y'all are speaking, I know y'all are speaking. I know y'all are speaking it for societal influences. I get right. that. It's not right. societal. Just, it's been this way forever. Most people think it's weird bro. these days. So, so women, now we just men now we want, just in, men want wanna, beauty and less damage, Kiso. and women want security. Kiso, if right. a, yes, a nineteen-year-old cool. bad female looked like Ice Spice oh. came over, bent over in front of you, Nick, and said, "Take Ice you Spice is ugly as fuck." You want to do it, Kiso? Nah, bro, it's just too much of an age difference. Oh, no, I just. Ice Spice looks like freaking. Ice Spice looks like Chucky. Kiso, Kiso, everybody be saying shit until it until that opportunity. No, the problem is, don't even talk about no morals, bro. That's the problem, bro. So what? No morals. 
Y'all don't got no morals. I don't know what I'm saying. Right <laughs> morals for yeah, what? Like, y'all spell Merle. Yeah, 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 we're not breaking any rules a lot. Yo, yo, if she comes willingly and she's in the correct you, 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 I don't see no issue, bro. bro my right, last, girlfriend, my last yeah. girlfriend was 22. My current girlfriend is 24. What morals? And that's on you, but to me, that's weird. No, that's when people... Bro, he's my girl. My girl is 26 years old, bro. I'm 34, bro. It's not oh weird. Oh my at all. god! I mean, that's kind of pushing it, bro. Like it's almost. It's not ago. pushing it. So, hey, let, me, let, me get, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put him on. I'm gonna put him on game. Real five, bro. She's grown as hell. That's not the same. Please, I'm gonna put him on game real quick. It's almost a decade difference. Oh, that's no, it's insane, not, bro. bro it no, don't not. matter, bro. So l- let me yeah. put you on game. Let me put you all on game real quick. Right? So the only game you can put me on is, you, is a video you game. Can, you can be, as, an eight, <laughs> as an 18-year-old I, man, you can sign up to go overseas to the Middle East, play in the dirt, and die. As an yeah. 18-year-old woman, woman, as society, we're telling women it's okay to sexualize yourself to show your ass on OnlyFans. Oh, um, d- don't control her. She can do what she wants. She's a grown ass woman. Uh, pro sex a, work. Sex work women. is real work. So yeah, we can promote women showing their assholes online, but twenty one is too young to date. Get the fuck out of here. That's a exactly. Strong, bro. So exactly. It's, 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 so do you want to do it or you want to tag me? And you got it. Let me tell you what, y'all niggas keep. I'm racing that line and watch what happens. That's what I'm saying. What line? And we're not breaking any rules. The line line. was worse well into the past. Bro, you had six six years old to 40 year old. There's nothing wrong with. What do you have in common with the law? What line are you talking about? What do you have in common with women, period? What do you have? What do you mean, though? Like, what do you mean? I'm sure a 19 year old watched SpongeBob when it was little, and I watched SpongeBob when I was little. You, no, oh my God. God. <laughs> Yo, you, you, you really think, <laughs> you my, but I you really think my, my girl, girl. <laughs> but, like, you really think I my girl y'all ain't get no pig going up. Cause this is weird. Yeah, like, y'all so got no let me know when you're ready to tag me in. Yo, you hey, really think ahead, my y'all. girl I'm called bad, me up and is like, oh my God, Bond, I can't wait till the next Weapon Wheel podcast. Your girl call you Bond? Mm. There's, there's definitely something to be said with Kiso. I agree with you. Niggas that get older and strive for the women that are way younger than them, it does tell me. It does tell me something. What is it? You know what it tells you know me. Tells you know what it tells you. Know what tells you? Alex, you know what it tells, tells you. It tells me they got money. The it tells you they got money in game. That's what it I tells mean, some, you. People it, have preferences, though. People do have it, preferences. It tells me a couple things. So, what does it tell you about Leonardo DiCaprio? He's that he got money in game, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people prefer yeah. older people. Some people prefer younger people. Always no, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't I really, hey, look. Alex, I'm not. Alex, you be older. Not one, Alex, not one, Alex. Not one you, time, Alex? if I, Alex. not one time. Go ahead. I did not pursue my girlfriend. It's not like. Oh my God! Like that's the one. Like, yeah, they, come to yeah, she, they they swiped up on y'all on Christian Mingle. I get it, y'all. Y'all. Uh, uh, but Alex, one, but one, met me at, Alex, one met me at a bar. One met me on a boat party. The they Alex want to be all serious and then throw jokes in. He, like pick a cho- choose one side. Out. Which one is it? Are you trying like, to tag you, you in? You taking you taking this to heart? Look at this. No, it's dude. not. It's not hard. Uh, but I'm just trying to. I'm just trying. What to you doing, yeah? You're being very disingenuous, Alex. I I understand. I understand your Indian bro. Alex, Indian morals are different. I understand. Hey, okay, oh, Blaze, it makes sense. He's yeah, 25. Exactly. That's We're fucking the girls in his age bracket. That's okay, right. let's go. Let's 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 that was a good one, Bond. Alex, I know where you're at. I felt exactly like you at your age. I was exactly. like, why are all the girls my age? Why are all the girls my age ignoring me and going for the dumb older than me? This is my thing. This is my thing. Hold up, hold up. This is my thing. I'm not y'all niggas. I've never been annoyed ignored in my life. You see what I'm saying? Alex, exactly. I've never, I've never had a woman Alex, 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 like, we need to like feminine type okay. shaming tactics. I gotta chill out with that. Let's, yeah. let's, That's what I'm saying, dog. Let's do some. Yeah, let's I, do, I, I didn't come into my. I probably didn't come into age where I could really pull girls. Probably until I was twenty-seven. Oh, you're, oh, you're that's you. Hold up, hold up. Really? That, that, no, that's you. Uh, I didn't have that let's, problem. Bob. Let's I'm have sorry. some. Let's have some. No, open I mean, like, like room, literally, man. like no issues. Like I let's had have some game figured body, out man. by twenty-seven. Let's have right. some open. Let's have some open convo, right? When you was twenty-seven, were in twenty-eight. Were you talking to women twenty-seven and twenty-eight, or were you looking at talking the to everybody? I'm honestly, I'm asking. I'll you, I, hey, if, Alex, I, I'll tell you. One of my girlfriends when I was twenty-two, she was nineteen. 
That's not that bad. Then okay. I then I had this, one after that. What was eighteen? This is what I'm th- and this what I'm about to say isn't some you know I'm not making my point. This isn't my defining argument, but just just something to keep in mind when women uh, your age also see that. When they see Who a thirty-five, what their old asses say. They care what they say. I know. Right. Why are you kidding me? Yeah, 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 they had all forget. the time in the world when they were at their prime to settle exactly. down. They didn't want to. Fuck right. out of here, bro. Right. So oh, yeah, now that they can't yeah, compete, yeah, I can't even get my point. Y'all see that, right? I was trying to make a point. They just said, "Fuck out of here." All right, Alex, make your point, brother. There has to be some commentary had, or just it, this doesn't have to deter you from dating younger women. I was in the same position. I could do that now. When I was in college, I'm engineering. I'm in a fraternity. I'm a handsome nigga. I could play and dabble in the 18, 19 bracket range if I want to. I didn't want to emotionally, mentally deal with a That's woman different. that has. You don't can't even right. drink. That's completely. Let him, let him finish. Let him let finish. Him finish. Let, him finish. Let, him finish. let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. If you want to bring that into it, okay, so you, you're dealing with women that you can't even rent a car until a certain age. You can't drink to a certain age. Fuck, you, women don't pay for this anyway. Oh, my God. I, can't, I don't want to make my point no more. Y'all got it. Y'all Alex, got it. Alex, can I just say something to you, though? Y'all you're, niggas you're, don't. I, I can't even make my point without y'all picking apart every sentence. Your points are retarded. Like, no, Who but Alex, Alex, Alex I agree with that. Alex, rent a car? With that wasn't I my point. Alex. Oh, my no, God. You, you got to let him cook. Yo, Bond, you got to let him cook. Let him finish. Y'all got it, bro. Y'all got it. I'm not trying to make my point. Go ahead, bro. Talking like Russell Wilson. Alex, I want to hear your point, bro. Alex, I want to hear your point. Please finish. Please, seriously. All I'm saying is they're like I said, I'm not deterring you from doing what y'all want to do. Niggas have dated up and down. Women date up and down. That's just the nature of attraction. I get that. I fucked with women that were in their 30s as well because it was like, oh man, okay, cool, a mature woman. Cool. I'm just saying there's something to be said about dabbling and playing at a certain different, I don't even use the word park. A different age range because you're aware and you play on the power dynamic you have as opposed to that younger person. That's something that you have to admit that is one of the things that attracts you to them. You you're have to admit that you can manipulate them. That's what that you can manipulate. That's, uh, that's all I'm Alex. saying. Okay, I'm gonna call you retarded for this. I'm gonna call you retarded for this reason because when younger women manipulate all these older men, we don't say shit. Exactly Han, for the Han, money. Here's I was the difference. Just about Han, to say that. Here's, here's the difference. It's not been. It's not manipulation. Those well, how, grown, how isn't it? Okay. So I'm gonna make my point, and I'm gonna just go hope ahead, that you don't interrupt. Let me make my point. Go ahead. From from I'm gonna and I'm gonna do it from two standpoints. From the woman. Damn! All right. <laughs> like, Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, like, okay. So I need to be honest, you got to land a plane. Like, make it concise. I, nigga, have you not heard them trying to do perimeter no, defense? Like, you're, you're, right, you're right in that regard, but just condense what you're saying. You sound I'm like a feast. Just condense it. I sound like a feast. Okay. For the woman's aspect. <laughs> The young, the <laughs> this is I heard that before, but right. the younger, I the said younger, fees from the roommates continue. Oh, oh the shit. young, the younger woman, right? She sees the older man as not only comfort, security. She sees that as a as a voice that is seen more, done more, wants her best interest. She's gonna attract herself to the older nigga, right? That makes sense. That's the argument y'all niggas keep making. For the man that's older, messing with the young girl, he knows that she got options. He knows that she's only there for what he can provide for her. He knows that as long as she gives me X, Y, Z as a girl, I'm satisfied. We can't equate those two. What I'm saying is that that power dynamic as a man, because I'm a man and you're a man, we have to accept the fact that there is a weird silver lining in that that you know you can do stuff that you get away with that a woman your age and go deal with that's all i'm saying you know, you know why that's because good. women that women are that, that are older have already been damaged right they've, why already, have, why are we back in the damage? they've already experienced everything why are you talking about they want they more them? things aren't new to them like and here's a different and here's a different different thing power dynamic if the thing that who are the richest women in the world? Oh wait, the young women that divorce these old guys. So don't tell me about the power dynamic. The I women have practically more power in this situation. Do this, do this. Because if the situation goes wrong, they are the primary benefactors. Here's here's a, I, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me respond directly. Let me respond directly. Yeah. How about when yeah, we talk sure. about this? Stop already putting past traumas on these women. Let's have a blank slate. Thirty-five year old black bond. Thirty-five year old woman. Hold up, Blake. Hold up, Blake. Hold up. Hold up. Woman has way more Bro, trauma than a thirty-five-year-old man. Up. Oh my God! Stop trying to put all these random factors and statistics. I'm seeing a thirty-five-year-old oh man and a thirty-five-year-old woman. Some little game and a little, it doesn't even have to be a lie. Something you can tell that thirty-five-year-old woman. She like nigga, I'm as old as you are. 
I've seen just as much as you have as far as social interactions. A uh, 19, 21, 22 wait. year old girl, they just go hear what you're saying and believe it. Bro, you I can get away from this. Stuff. I cannot have this conversation for you for this reason. What's the difference between a 35 year old man and a 35 year old woman? Tell me now. The gametes. You're an idiot. The difference, is simply, <laughs> the, 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 the difference is simply this. An, eight, an 18 to 21 year old woman is literally at their peak. An 18 to 21 year old man is literally the lowest point of your human existence as a man. Are you have you, nothing maybe? to offer. Are we only saying no physical ass- characteristics? Bro, Are we doing physical no characteristics? Assets? You have no career. You have no, Are, you have no job. You have nothing. And you just answer 20- my question. A, you just answer my no, question. no, no. Hear, hear, hear me out. A man at 35 is in his prime. A woman at 35 <laughs> is past her prime. Prime that in what? Physical? Word. What? In, phys- in physical in nature? Everything in regards okay. to the dating market and the sexual no, market. No, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. What is better at her age, at 18, than at 35? Her physical appearance? Is that all you're going off of? Uh, pretty yeah, much it's... everything. That men value. Hold on. Black her fine. physical experience, her ability to give you a family, her she ability to kids. learn, yeah. her she ability to be she's so cooperative. Ability to have kids is worse than she started Let's make lists. Let's make lists. Let's make lists. No, no, you got to get my points. Okay. Oh no. Here, name me anything better at 35. That's better than 21 and a woman. Go. Um, let's see. When I was messing with that one girl, the actual person, not only just knowing who she is, I'm thinking of an actual relationship with this woman before I'm sitting here looking at, dang, I bet when you was 18, you didn't have a stress Just part. tell me. Stop dancing. Okay, I'm, I'm, for you, for you, you said the younger she is, the better she is at making no, babies. Oh, bro, and that's not what I asked. I said, what I'm, is a woman better at 35 than 21 outside of being a mother? Crickets. What is she better at? Crickets, go ahead. Tell them, crickets. Blaze, you're in a bathroom right now. Uh, Personality, uh, no. relate relatability. Okay, so these are the type of niggas I'm talking about. Personality, okay, so talking about. Talking personality is way yeah, more difficult. Alex, you talking about Yeah, that's yeah. like a feminine way to We're talk. Like, don't you care about no personality, personality like that? Exactly. Relatability, yeah. relatability, like her, her no. actual experience is a part of it. Don't relate to women. I'm a fucking man. Basically, your whole premise girls. is based off of you couldn't bag girls at 18 to 21, not because... Literally! That's, that, that's your whole premise. So you were just a dork at that bro, time. Please, yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. Y'all niggas sound like y'all missed the bus. Y'all niggas sound like y'all missed the bus. 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 Let's flip that then. What about the girls that are 35 that aren't married? Oh, wait, they missed the boat and they're mad. Oh, y'all niggas... So y'all niggas like, missed okay. the bus no. and y'all trying to y'all trying to double yeah, the third yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. I get hold the on. conversation going on, but like leave the shame and language out of it. Like it ain't necessary. Just have the dialogue. You can have your debates, but leave like the ad hominems out of it, because it sounds like effeminate to me. What do you think? What? what no, you your whole <laughs> argument is basically on the ad hominems put a in the back, brother. Anyway, your whole uh, argument is he based in shaming language. Anyway, I, oh, I you missed out. Out. oh, you were a dork. Oh my god, you didn't get anything in high let's, school let's and college. Okay, let's, 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 Alex, can I say something to Alex? Oh, please, can I, I, I just I, finish what I gotta say to Alex? Please, go ahead. I, go ahead. Bro, this is you, crazy. you, you gotta understand. You said I had no trouble pulling girls. Okay, first of all, you live in Arkansas, bro. Your whole farm. Fucking market is totally different from our market. Blaze, have you seen me and seen you? What are you talking about? I've seen you, bro. You look like an Indian that came off the fucking train with a camera. What are you talking about? Fire, I seen you, bro. Fire. There's nothing special about you. What are you talking about? Okay, you okay. okay. Long I'll long tell long. you shit. What are you talking I, about? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Put me and you in the same room with a... We'll see who can work a room and, like, actually have a conversation with a woman without pulling Alex, a fart. You know, no, How old are you? Oh, you're, you're bro, most girls right. going to disqualify you based on your age. Exactly. Fuck out of here, bro. This is... This is how I know that y'all niggas really don't be around women, bro. This is how I know y'all really don't interact, bro. Girls that are looking to marry and stuff aren't looking at 25-year-olds. I'm not looking to get married at 25. What are you talking about? Exactly. So then you just proved the point. So why are y'all talking to 24, 25, 26-year-old women? Because these are the girls that are looking to settle down. 
Did no, I, they're, they're, not. Not. they're not. Bro, no one gets married in their twenties no more. No, I've been over here for nine years, bro. But you've been over here. Bro, see, here's, 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 here's the issue. You've been with your twenty-six-year-old right? girlfriend for nine bro, years. Here, exactly. Nine here's years. the issue. Y'all, y'all whoa, are picking up people whoa, off the scrap heap rather than getting them when they're young and building with them. What, 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 what's 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 hey, what's hey, that's what they're saying. Well, from someone who's been dating since their teens. Do you um, think it's maybe. weird if a thirty-five year old man dates a twenty-two year old? I'm going. Oh no, I don't. Asking? That that's Jesus crazy. Christ. Uh, that's what happened? What was that she's a man, they grown woman. woman. She's like, out of college. She's if she's done all her things. Yeah, what, 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 like, what else is it in a twenty-two-year-old's life like, after college? Like, she's like, done like, it all. Like, me like, personally, I can't date. I can't date a girl that's you know. the same age as my niece, my oldest niece. I can't. You know okay, I'll date girls younger than my younger sister. She gets mad about it. Big deal. That's your sister. I'm talking about my niece. This is a big age. Please, talk to me. So my oldest niece is like 29, so or 28. I was just wondering what age you felt like was weird. There's a reason why people don't understand. Like Blaze, I'll never forget this. One time I'm at a bar in Philly, right? Me and my boy approached these two girls. Women think I'm way younger than I am. So she thought I was 23 instead of 30, so she wouldn't talk to me. I had to mm-hmm. literally tell her how old I was. Because girl, when you're like a certain it. age as a guy, girls don't take you really serious Yo, Bond, if they're you know trying to say? be serious. Bon, you know what girls say to young guys? I'm not even wasting my time with you. You don't know what you want. You know, like, they're yep. undecisive. Like, that's what, that's what they treat young guys, bro. They just treat them like... Just like but, Alex says, they're treated like meat sticks. Okay. I had an Congratulations. issue. Congratulations. I never had the issue. I never had the issue. Listen, listen, listen. You guys are talking about. I'm, I'm not saying I had that issue. I'm not saying a struggle coming up. I'm just telling you if you put a 19 year old in a room with a 30 year old woman or a 28 year old woman, it's going to there's gonna be different views. Yeah, why would that, you do that? So, and, and here's another thing. Why is it appropriate when I was 24? But why is it appropriate for women to want older men, but it's not appropriate for men to want younger that. women? I don't think I God, bro. Like, keep the same energy. Stop making excuses. Yeah. We, we I, can give, I, I, we I, can I give women what they want, that. but just, we can't just, get what we I love, want. I love how every every example y'all give, the men in the situation is just this perfect 35 year old man that can do whatever, but the women have to come damaged and trauma ridden. If you were right. I mean, that's why I was trying to, I was trying to, you, 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 I'll, I'll explain to you why, Alex. I'll explain to you why. As a man, you don't become, you don't come into your prime until your 30s and 40s. The things that women are looking for earning potential, maturity, leadership. You don't have those things in your young 20s. You want to know why a lot of... Hold on, let me finish. And even if you do, you have them more in your later years. When you're a woman, when you're a woman, if I'm going to say this, if you're 35 and a woman, I'm simply going to ask, why were you not married in your prime years? Because you were fucking around with fuckboys. That's the only reason. Did you want to get married? Why couldn't you? Why couldn't you land the bon, guy you, know you wanted to? Bon, bon, hold on, hold on, bon, hold on, Alex. I agree with you on one aspect, but again, what I see, say I were, I don't, I'm not looking for young. Listen, I'm not, well, I'm content where I'm at. But let's just say I was around as a young girl. Be like, oh, you know, what you can get away with. You can be manipulative and all that shit. Like, listen, bro. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to wife her. That's the difference. Like, I'm not. I'm not trying to get a long term relationship. If that's what she's looking for that night, she can get it. That's it. Bro, that's bro. It yeah, that was Alex's point. Yeah, that's my point. My point is that y'all, y'all have this like. Y'all approach relationships, and of course, you're a man. You're gonna see it from your what you can get from the situation. I get that. So are but women. Y'all, 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 but y'all also wonder why divorce is so common because what are y'all putting first before you even have a no. conversation with a woman? You looking at her <laughs> age and what she look like. But like, Alex, here's, you don't think, you don't think a woman's looking Alex, at you Alex, what's, the right up, up. Up. what's the number one cause of the hold up, hold up, Alex? What's the number one cause of divorce today? Let, let me right, go watch right, a Kevin Samuels video real quick. No, no, no. Sorry. What's the number one cause of divorce today? Uh, I would imagine you're gonna say women. No, no, I said what is the cause? What is the cause? I don't know. I don't know. So how can how can you make the claim this is why there's so many divorces if you don't even know the cause? Exactly. I'm saying, and you wonder why a lot of divorces happen when they don't get married. And then I'm asking you, what is the number one cause if you're gonna make that statement? 
It's uh, what oh, I, I, I don't know. Let him answer. Let him no, answer. I know the answer yeah, too, but go ahead. I don't, I don't have a definite answer. I'm saying, this it, how of, can you bring up no, that? Is okay, okay, okay. This, okay, so answer. now you're about to piss me off. I'm saying, this is one of the factors, nigga, from my own no, experience it's watching it. Like, what no, are you talking it's not. So, one the of the factors, get the number one, one yeah. reason in divorce is finances. I never said what the number one reason was. Oh, I just said no, it. Oh, no, no, no. You said you were alluding to this is why the divorce rate is so high. I never the said that. The divorce rate is so high. Yeah, you didn't say it. I, I didn't say, didn't say that. I just said, and y'all wonder why divorce. You alluded to that. You are putting words in my mouth. I said, and y'all wonder That's why divorces did. happen. Oh. Meaning this is one and of the reasons. Y'all get with niggas no, for the wrong reasons. Divorces happen because of finances. Bond, if yeah. I said if I said this is the number one reason why divorces happen, then this conversation would make sense. You're putting words in my mouth. No, you're saying this is why divorces happen. And I'm All telling right, you why divorces happen is finance. Number, number it's one. the number one oh, reason. And you when are you more financially viable and stable as a man? In the later years of life. Not at 20 to not at 25. All I, all I said, and that's and that is a reality. People are going to date up and down in age. I get that. Whether where, what you're doing as a career, your social circles, oh, well, that's going to happen. I'm all at, I said, all I said, all I said, really. all, all I said at the end of the day was there is something to be said about the power dynamic, mentally, emotionally, whatever you want to say when there's an age demographic. And y'all want to y'all want to say, but that's part of the game. That's what you want. You want somebody. Alex, that's, you think that's baby. Alex, Alex, who, who has a bigger power dynamic in relationships, men or women? Depends. No, it doesn't. It's one person ha- overwhelmingly has it. Who has it? Yo, yo Alex. No, no, let him answer. I, this is gonna be funny. Yeah, bro, who has, bro, the, bro, most, who has the bigger actually, power dynamic? <sighs> who has the bigger power dynamic in relationships, men or women? I, it's like I'm not gonna I, go ahead. Answer. You have your it's answer. Fucking go ahead. women. Who dominates divorce court? Who dominates child custody? Who do the laws favor? Women, 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 women. women. Actually, if, 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 I'm, if I'm married to if I'm married to a woman, right, and I cheat on her, she divorces me and takes half. If I'm married to a woman and she cheats on me, and you pay for a kid, I'm either, I'm either a cuck and take it, or I divorce her <laughs> and she takes half. Okay, so women my, have my, every single piece of power in a relationship, okay. not only re- socially because people like you say so, but legally, people like women me, have nigga. the power. I, okay, I, I got a question. question. If, you, if, you, Alex, if you're going to do, I mean, for divorce is not finance it's incompatibility. I pulled the stats up. Well, Matter yeah. Right. The, Inc- incompatibility is a wash, though. That's no, a, no, oh, no, so it's a wash now. Come on. Uh, no, it's it's not it's not a wash when it don't win it. And then number two, number two is infidelity, and number three is finance. Bond is Thank right. you. Thank no, you, Tyrek. No, 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 Thank you, Tyrek. No, 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 no. Here's why I don't say cheating. Thank you, Tyrek. Cheating is a wash because men and women cheat. No, it's not a wash. It's a reason. So fuck. You can't say it's a wash. Wrong is not a wash, bro. It's not Here, a lot. We're wrong. No. Thank you, you Men and women, it's women cheat at the wash. same rate. It does, but it's not a wash. You said the number one reason was finance. You're wrong, no. my nigga. It's not a wash. Thank you. Thank you. You're, 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 you're not even listening. If no, both of you are like women right now, bro. To Alex. Alex, the whole time your whole shit's based on finance. Did you did you did you, did you not just hear what I said? You just said it was a wash. It's not a wash. No, you just, just ignore the I, I'm about to I'm about to mute you, dumbass. I literally yeah, just yeah. said it. I literally just said <laughs> if you're a man, yeah. I literally just said if you're a man and your wife cheats, you divorce her, you lose half. That's not if what you she said cheats. Of. She divorces you. That's why it's a wash. Because in that, in that si- you let me speak. Wrong. Hold You're on. Because in that situation, if a man gets cheated on, he has to take it. If no, a woman doesn't. gets cheated, yes, he does, or he loses his kids okay, and half his got- shit. If a woman know. gets cheated on, it's not something. Happiness, irreconcilable differences. Oh, uh, the moon is in retrograde. That's not a legitimate reason. Anybody can make up anything and say they want to get divorced. The only real concrete reason, because men and women cheat at a, at a actually now the new stats say women cheat more. So that the only real reason is number three, which is an actual concrete fiscal number. Because if women well, cheat because, more, because we can't not, say that women no, divorce more when women qu- cheat more. Quantity, because something's not quantitative does not mean it counts. It could be qualitative too. That doesn't oh make any sense. God. Bro, yeah, this whole this whole if if he cheats, she takes half, it whatever. Does, it easily, that's the truth. Uh, it's, it's easily, true, easily, 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 easily,
Okay, Ow. okay. Y'all, y'all niggas made your mind up. I'm not about to have a convo with yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. It's so absolute long. It's, it's, it's true, true though. Man. Is it not it's it's solved with, pre- yeah. with a prenup, nigga. What are you talking about? No, it's not. Alex, you told you that shit too. Alex, you, you, you think you think you think a prenup is gonna save you? That's it. You just get a prenup, really? Oh. Dr. Dre had a prenup, and how did that work for him? <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, I, I, you know what I love about y'all average, average niggas? Y'all bring up millionaires, billionaires to name y'all a relationship advice off of and oh, put y'all... That's a good point you made because if a, if, a, if a billionaire can't win with a prenup, what chance an average nigga has? Exactly. It's like Johnny Depp. Oh, you're talking about relationship power? Look what Amber Heard did. If Johnny Depp was an average guy, you think he would have won? Fuck no. Nope. Bro, yeah, I got it, bro. I'm, 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 this is the thing. This is the thing. You're too young for and, this conversation. It's, it's not that I'm too young. It's because I'm more no, aware. No, you're way of, too young. No, you're not you're more not, aware. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. When niggas, when niggas aware. go back, when niggas go back and listen, I wish we had women here. I really wish we had some women here. Yeah, so that y'all really because when me, Attic, and Mocha had this conversation. Me and Attic were saying what me and Blaze were saying, and Mocha was agreeing with Mocha us. Mocha agreed with us a thousand percent. Yeah, Mocha what agrees part, with us. What part? About the Asian? The about whole the Asian. part. The yes. whole part. This started. The this whole part. part. The only, you know what? The yeah, whole it. part. Yeah, it. It's not worth Close, it, It's not worth it. So it's not only it. that, but uh, the other black girl that used to come in here, she agreed with it too when I was with my last girlfriend. You, you know you know what, Bond? The not reason the why I dis- the reason why I discount the majority of your opinion specifically, you're the same nigga that sit here and says, I'm done with black women. So there's certain things that build up to oh, your point. And, and, and you know what's you know funny? You know what's funny? When two black women agree with me, you know I'm right. They agree with yeah, the nigga that uh, yeah. they agree with the no, nigga who fights on say. black women no, and dating with right? me. They you agree. Know ag- I'm right. Agreeing no. with the nigga that writes off black women as dating material. Yeah, I really care about those women's opinion. Oh, Are you serious? Cool. The fu- bro, you about to make me? No, you, you, also, you also know that I wrote off all American women too, right? That includes <laughs> black, yeah, Alex, white, Asian, everybody. So get your facts straight. I'm gonna keep it gaming. I'm gonna keep it gaming. I'm gonna keep it gaming. Exactly. Bro. It doesn't matter what color race yeah, they are. Know, women are women. You know what's annoying about what y'all do in these arguments? We have a point, and then y'all hear a comment or statement, and now you talk about that, and now you think that's what the convo's about. Like, y'all bro, pick you and change it to black you women, not you us. Nigga, I, bro, I you literally changed was- it. Fuck out of here. I, I, I gotta be in a Twilight Zone. I gotta be in a Twilight Zone. Y'all got it. Yo, Alex, Y'all got no it. offense, bro. You just changed the subject, bro. You can't. Exactly. Blaze, you get what you... All right, I'm, I'm not about to get personal. Y'all got it. Bro, you can get per- Alex. It's all nah, personal. Yeah, we don't give a fuck. Y'all not about to get off my square. I'm not about to get off my square. Y'all got it. I'm good in life. I'm not saying you're not good. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. But you know, it's weird to me. You said you were fucking around with older women. Where was the power dynamic then? There was one. <laughs> but apparently it wasn't an issue. Otherwise, no, you wouldn't I, have no, participated. I wasn't, no, I, wasn't, I wasn't dating that woman. You were I wasn't, I wasn't Yeah. That's a, power, that's a power dynamic. You're dating these women. And so, fuck. So, wait. Dating isn't a power dynamic, but I mean, dating is a power dynamic, but fucking isn't? I believe I, okay, fucking okay, is so more so intimate than dating. So I can break this apart and then we can move topics of what? We were talking about me. That is a transactional thing. Me and what that woman had. Y'all are uh, having dating this. Dating is transactional. Okay, okay. Bro, bro. Bro. Let's go. No, Blaze that's not. He no, was trying to date the girl. He, she bro, I'm saying, I'm saying we, that is a one layer uh, agreement of what we are doing in this moment. Y'all are dating these people talking about body, uh, uh, birthing capabilities, uh, longevity. Yes, some like, people want to have families, so stop, dummy. So stop, so stop trying to compare that to a one-night hookup, nigga. What are you talking about? No, it's it's still the same thing. You think I care about how much money she had in the bank when I was... Come on, bro. Dude, <laughs> come hold, on. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, stop. You think, and you think men as a whole care about how much money women have, period? I think I think a oh, regular answer person. that question. Answer that yes. question. Yes. No, yes. we don't. Yes. You know, yes. 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 Wow. Yes. Uh, I can't I, use the money. You're crazy. <laughs> you're, he, you're, 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 from a, you're from a new generation. That's that just confirmed okay. it right there. Okay. We don't give a fuck how hey. much women make because some here's us, the here's the here's the truth. Clothes, some of us wear ass costume. Bed. You're no, no. Here, the, here's here's the truth. As the man, you're responsible. Women don't pay for dates or pay for shit. My money is my money. And you did. My, my money is her money. Her oh, money is her so money. Well, That's how it's always so been. Women, so you can't go do that shit. <laughs> That's different. Like, get out of here. Bro, bro, if, if, bro, 
Hey, when a woman if likes things, you do that shit for me. If I'm dating, exactly. I'm Asian. If, 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 if I'm, but he's talking, he, no, Bla Blaze, he's talking about transactional relationships, right? If, how long are a girl gonna be with you if you stop paying them bills? If I'm, you know what's so funny? If I'm dating, I don't understand a woman, what the issue is, bro. As long as you guys are good in your bro, relationship, exactly. Y'all got like, it. Y'all got it. This is no. This is this is Generation DX going on. Y'all got it, bro. Bond, listen, my girl's my girl. What? She's 27. I'm I'm 34. Like, is it is that is that crazy to you? No, it's not. But but let me ask you a question, Blaze. That age gap isn't crazy. Blaze, since he's Blaze, since he's talking about trans. Transactional relationships, please. Seven years. Thirty, bro. Thirty-five. Since he's talking about, since he's talking about transactional relationships, please. If you stop paying the bills for the next three months, is your girl gonna stay with you? No. Oh, I got a question. Exactly. I got a question. Where, where would she go? That's, that's so would different. She, go? she would go find somebody else. And so, find somebody else. so, so you, you, think, you, you see how shallow? So you see how shallow it was for her anyway. Uh, Nigga, no, we bro, just looked up the no, one of the top reasons of breaking up is finances. But Alex, yeah, so let me let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give you a real world. Let me give you a real world. girl that doesn't work. And she's let me give you a real world scenario. If I'm dating right. a girl, right, and we talking about we talking about you know what things we have aspiring to be, you know life, this and that, how we want to live, where we want to live, type of you know all that stuff. The woman's finances are gonna be play a factor. No, they're not. Okay, you, that's why girls are out here saying, I mean, that's why girls are out here buying like houses and yeah, this, 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 this is why this is why girls are out here saying I need a nigga that makes six figures. They aren't saying how much they need that's to make. They're saying how much you need to make. You know what's home. funny? That's the difference between the longevity of my relationship and yours. The woman I'm talking to, they see it as a unit and a team thing, and say, okay, yeah, we're both going to contribute to to get that lifestyle. Hey, Alex, and congratulations. You're talking to women that want to hold your pocket. Don't don't want don't want don't. Don't work or pay bills for you. See what happens. That's extreme. Y'all niggas just want this treatment. That, 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 that's not how it works. Don't, 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 don't pay for dates. Oh my god. That's a don't pay for dates. Don't pay for any dates. See what happens. Bro, my girl is annoyed that I don't let her pay for dates. What are you talking about? My girl pay for dates. He hates that I don't let her pay for stuff. Like, bro, if something, bro, like something, you. if you're living with somebody, um, you and her, you and her have an arrangement of what is going to be expected to be paid on whose account. If I only say, if I only make sixty thousand dollars, say if I only make six thousand dollars, right? That means, uh, roughly every two weeks, I'm bringing it around twenty two, twenty five hundred, right? 22. Say if the rent, say if the rent is, we living in a condo somewhere downtown, the rent is thirteen hundred a month. So that means that. Damn. Okay, cool, babe. I can I can play. I can pay rent, babe. Yeah, I got that. I'll handle that. You know, don't worry about that. Say we got the Wi-Fi, the light, whatever bills you may have on top of credit cards or on top of food, or on top of you wanting to do stuff. You think that you aren't going to have a conversation with her and say, okay, bet. Let's uh split this and split that. That way you and I both have a nice size of money that we can split. What was that, what was that word you used? Split? There you go. The majority of women these days, I'm sorry to say, I'm happy Ron, you found the unicorn, don't look, Ron, don't but the majority of women are not splitting shit. No, but that is not, that is not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not reality. The women are not reality. But the thing is, but the thing is, Vaughn, if you get in a relationship and you're with somebody for, for a long time, that, that shows that there's stability and you guys are willing to work things out. And, oh, and yeah, have like, but you I'm know, saying agreement. right off the rip, they split. You can't just, they, stop, they you can't, you can't. I can't just throw everything in like a circle and say that's how it is. Like I'm clearly, dead, I'm still with my girl because she she's a good girl. And she's gonna hold it down. But her head is before y'all actually you come together and do that. If you do that, <sighs> then it makes a little more sense. But if you don't make establish any ground yeah, and y'all don't have anything where you yo, vet her, then I, it's I, clearly I'm it's not, not gonna work. Minutes ago, he literally said that I, thirty minutes ago. He just said you. that shit. Thank what you. you. You all listening? No, they're not. They've been I'm not, this whole listen, time. Hold on a second. I'm not. I'm not making. Point. I'm letting them make their points. I'm just. I'm basically know, like I, a mediator in a regard. I'm a bond and bleed. He, Alex, yeah. that word for word. No, no, nobody's <laughs> saying that you shouldn't vet or anything. But we're going. The majority of women these days do not act, act like that. That, no, the woman you talk to don't act. No, 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 no. no. no the woman, if you, if you, no, the if you look up any statistic, women nah, will date a guy that makes thirty percent more than them. Oh, a lot of women are like that, bro. Women want to date. They want to statistically date men that make thirty percent. I'm not going off your word, Bond, because you already said two things in this podcast. It was wrong already. Blaze and Bond. Blaze and Bond. Blaze and Bond. Y'all gotta realize that the women, the women that are trying to. The women that are trying to talk to y'all 30, they're in their early 20s and they're trying to talk to y'all 30 niggas. Hey, 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 
Hold up, bro. bro that was just hold a up, video on Abba and preaching at a college up. campus. Girls were saying they wanted guys to make three, four, five hundred thousand. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish my sentence. Let's see if you can strap your seatbelt and let me finish my sentence. The women that y'all are talking to, y'all are in your mid thirties. You're talking to these uh, early twenty year old women. Yes, you're interacting with women that see you as a lick, nigga. They see you as a transactional dude that can take care of them. That's why you exp- mm. you think all women think like this because you're you're seeking out the women that want a nigga to take care of them, not a Alex, real woman that's more you're not out out it because Alex, older Alex, women I'm have even artist. higher standards. Stupid. You would have that statement, Alex. But oh no, and that right now, that older video, women have even higher standards than young. You want a woman? You want a woman? You, with said, standards. you said it yourself. You said it yourself because you said older men go for younger women because they have less standards. So did you go for younger woman because they got less standards? No, no, that's I do. Alex Alex said. Said. Is that what you do? Know? Alex said. Is that what you do? No, no that's okay. what you I'm said. Asked, so it I'm can, asked, no. Hold on, I'm going to do you I answer my younger question. Women. I go for younger women because they're easier to get along with and they're more quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, easier. Yeah. Younger yeah, women yeah, are yeah. definitely easier to get along with than older women. You want to know I mean, what they are easier to get along with? Because they have less trauma. Oh my, oh my God! So you don't have no type of trauma. This conversation could have ended a while ago. I don't care what yeah. anybody says. Yeah, I, I mean, shit. Okay, you know what? Hey, uh, girls, girls, that, right. girls that are younger right. haven't gone through enough to say niggas ain't shit and all men are trash yet. That is true too. Right. They are normal. Right. 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 Let's not if let's I, not even pretend like that's not the case. All right, all right. If I, yeah, yeah. if I was if I was a twenty five year old guy and a thirty six year old woman asked me, "Hey, you free next weekend? Let's go out." If someone's taking care of me, I'm. I might be I might be easy to get along with too. Nigga yeah, taking exactly. me on first to pay for everything I want to do. I yeah, know. I'm gonna be very you know, valuable in that relationship. Those, those girls are looking at you as a, as they're preying on you. You're this a lit, yeah. bro. Yeah. They're preying saying. on you too. Okay. They know. Talk, here, 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 here's the here's the difference. Men men date younger younger women. Older women won't date younger men. You're just like you said, you're just there for a lick. Bro, every woman I've dated was was my age. Like, what are you talking about? But I was every single one. I had women that were 32, 33 with kids trying to come after me. That's a lot of girls are just 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 looking at you long term. Stop. They're just trying to fuck. You just couldn't pull them. That's it. Of course, they're looking at you. I did it a single girl when I was 24. You really think a mid 30s woman with two kids is looking at a 20 something year old guy? She just wanted to get out of here. Hey, Bon, when you get married, please let me speak at your wedding and I'll speak at your wedding and say, hey, Bon, I don't want you to speak in this Discord. Let alone my wedding. <laughs> wow. Wow. Fire, fire, that's fire. It, that's it, that's it. And the thing with that video with the 18, 19 years answers the questions, they're fucking stupid. They're, they don't know shit about money. Well, well, that's why welcome they're welcome to reality. Exactly. And reality but, hit us. But guess reality, what? If, if, reality but will hit guess us. What? If, you, if you watch um, many of these women on YouTube with girl, like, girls going on, they have even higher requirements and okay. more kids reality. to boot. Okay, but Alex, can I know. Bro, we 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 oh, literally watched be, Kevin be, Samuels be, interview women for four years, and we've seen this shit in Alex, real fucking time. I've been dealing with right low there. quality women. That's all you're doing. Oh, really? Because like Kevin Samuels said, he only oh, deals with college educated women. I'm talking about Kevin Samuels, bro. All right, but do you, bro? You know what I mean, no, I'm not sure. Million, we, we, we had a four year sample size of older and younger women from all these different. What is a couple hundred people? That's great. Bro, that's not the biggest I, I problem. Just, have have niggas out of million, out of three hundred million, p five hundred million people in this country, that's a great. Well, to, to, to be fair, to, well, hold on a second. To be fair, that's how that's how surveys work. You get a small sample no, size no, and you no, try no, to manipulate. No, 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 that's, 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 that's he doesn't that's, know how stats work. That's how they no, work, Trey. That's all how it's been. Okay, and I'm using census data. I want some census data. That's not just work. I just wish y'all were. The census data on dating says women want men that make at minimum thirty percent more than them. I wish, I wish y'all, when y'all grew up, the women in y'all family, y'all lives held y'all longer. I wish they talked to y'all more. Alex makes a good point. Out, you make a great point. You know what my mom says? My mom said, "Don't bring her back home, and she can't use a comb." Right? The same woman that said that, right? No, my mom. My mom says, "Don't ever date a woman older than twenty-eight." I asked her why. I said, "Do you want a?" F-? She said, "Do you want a family?" I said, "Of course." You meet a girl at twenty-eight. What's th- what's the fast track ideal time frame you can marry a woman at if you meet her at twenty-eight? We'll say roughly thirty, thirty-one. Right? That sounds reasonable. Who's making these rules? That that sounds reasonable, right? 
Two I mean, yeah, America, yeah, brother, the same brother. woman that said, if she can't use a comb, don't bring her home. I'm not listening yep. to your mom. I'm sorry. Exactly. But, but you just said, listen to your parents. No, I said I wish. I said I wish. This is this is what women that were in your life. This is grew up in a house. Listen, mom, this this is what the women in my family said. Did you grow up with a household with just your mom? No. You had both parents there. Yes, and a family full of and a family full of women and men that knew how to respect. Alex, I'm I'm telling you what my American family and my let me finish the point, Alex, and you can hop in because he asked the question. I'm not not talking American family. Talk to Alex, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alex is going. Alex is going sour about this, bro. Like Alex, I I listen. I don't fully disagree with a lot of stuff you're saying, bro. Don't get it twisted. I got respect for women, dude. I really do. But I'm just saying, like. When we look at the the bigger picture, what's going on with women nowadays in the dating scene now, it's a fucking mess, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, women are just, they're, they're fucking, they're, 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 they're like the new dudes out here. I'm going to let yeah. Blaze, I'm going to let Bond finish his point, and then I'm going to respond to you. All right, all right so the, the women in my family, both the American and from the islands, say do not date women over 28. If you want to start a family, they need to be younger. Because if you meet them at 28, Chances are you're not going to marry him until 30, 31. 90% of eggs are gone by 30. If you're trying to start a family, which are probably two to three kids, you need a younger woman. That is what the women in my family say, and that's a biological fact. They also say if you're dating older, it'll be hard, not only for them to be harder to have kids, but they've gone through more relationships, more experience. You can't, there's nothing, look, the relationships... When you're younger, hypothetically, if you were to meet somebody at 21 and stick to them the whole life, they'll always see you as 21, no matter how old you are. It's one thing to grow with people, especially as a woman, and you're showing her all these new, she's experiencing life new with you, as opposed to her going through all this, all this other crap, and then, oh yeah, I'll just settle with him. It's completely different. You know what? And this, and I'll lead a convo with this unless y'all want to talk about some other stuff. No, no, we can move on bro. after okay, this. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I did not bring up this topic after dark. I want to let y'all know, so I don't want to hear no shit yeah, about y'all. That was all Alex. That was all I'll say this. Alex. I'll say this. Oh, it was all me? All right, babe. We got yep. it. We got it. No, you can. You might as well wrap it up now. No, it's fine. You wrapped it up with a bow. You got it. So, no. are, are, are the women in my are the women in my family wrong? Remember, my my family is Caribbean royalty. Look, I, I understand it. I understand it's your last name. You write it in italic. I don't care about that. I'm just saying no, that we don't write. At, it's in French, at, not italics. At the, at, at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, I truly feel, and this is from the bottom of my heart, if we had a, a just a group, a parlay of me, you, Blaze, whoever up in here was talking about it, and we had a genuine conversation with women who didn't need for nothing, who were. In a sense, like, I, I I don't need a man to take care of me and pay my bills for me to feel satisfied or feel uh, uh, taken care yeah. of in a sense I could do it with my own. You guys would be out of your league. I truly feel like you guys would have a oh, real cool. sense of how regular women move and operate. Y'all oh, talk, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot talk, of talk to Mocha. Like, and, no, Alex, 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 tell you otherwise. I got some. I got some. Alex, so where I work at, I work in manufacturing, right? And there are some older ladies that I work with. A lot of them, when I talk to them, they're ready to go, like they're ready to retire, and they're and a lot of them are in their late forties and mid fifties. I know dudes that are older than them that are still working. Like, hey, this is what they got to do. So some women check out around that age, the age, the age, uh, age range. So saying that, hey, you don't need a man to pay for the bills. So if they retire, who's paying the bills? Question: Do y'all think at the same time? Do y'all think answer this any- question before you ask one. What was your question? What was your question? You he didn't even listen to you. I mean, I listened to the, I listened to the, I listened to the question, but you're literally saying, if the woman retires, who's going to take care of herself? Nigga, I'm not imagining that she just has some random, uh, are they married? Oh, you said, they have you a said, you said, you know, you get women that say, I don't need a man, but like, hey, God, I mean, hey, God, do they have dude, a man? Hold up. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Okay. On a singular individual level, you die alone, nigga. If you retire and you don't have any support system, then you just retire and you don't pay your bills. I don't give a f- I don't care about that. I'm okay. saying 
is there anything to be said about men who made it to the age of 36, 37, 38, 40, and never had or just didn't have a relationship where they found a woman that they could either build with or experience with? You just got to start at the age of 24. Come on, bro. There's something to be said about also, that. And, and there's just, nothing to be said about that. Right, right. 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 There's nothing to be said about what you did. It's, it's been literally, it's been literally, it's been literally this way since women. the dawn of time. Yeah, Y'all niggas so... Yeah, it's been this way since the dawn of time. I'm going to get to this. The last thing I'm going to say is like, I'm I'm in pharmacy school right now, and I'm I mean, people are dating holy pharmacy students. They don't think the same way. Like, they got their own shit going on. They got to make their own money. They're not dependent on whatever comes out of a relationship, they're not dependent on somebody else taking care of them. Y'all just talk to broke women or women who don't want to work. That's what I'm, bro, that's what I'm that's saying. Y'all, y'all, past, bro, the y'all, past y'all, past y'all, y'all not talking to women who actually oh, have the not, It's that's not what it is. Bro, the majority, the majority of women are like, broke. No, oh, my no, God. No, 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 there we go. <laughs> you like saying something. You do know. I don't agree with that. Who holds two-thirds of the student debt? Women Bond. spend 80% Bond, like on. all you these stats show who them. pays he just, more. He, he always yeah. says this thing without fucking posting them. And then he'd be wrong about it. Oh my God. But, this but this is true, absolutely though. nuts. But this is true. Okay, hear me out. Do you know, do you know, hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Do you know how it's possible that women spend more than they make? Mm-hmm. Take a guess. What, most credit people, cards? Most people in no. America do. No, 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 tell me. <laughs> most women are in debt and women hold most of the student loan debt. Women spend 80% of the purchases. Women have the least amount of savings. Do you know how women are able to spend more than they make? What the guy it's, it's, it's called it's daddy it's and other men. Yeah, there, give it a head in the car, maybe, yes. Uh, is there a uh, like, 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 like this is, is like there, the is economy and stuff like is what, stat- what, stat- what is going on and, and another and another yeah, thing about about him saying um women want to retire early i kind of agree to that um my mom she works at dow jones right you know, you've heard of dow jones right of course yeah. no my no. mom literally says these girls will come in they'll work at dow jones by 26 they're ready to have kids and stop working these like the the black women they'll work till thirty five, but my mom says these white girls by twenty six they're done. Why? They're trying to have kids and sit at okay, home. So really, see, no one's retiring at that age. Oh, 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 oh. And this is my question. This is my question. Try to be uh, good. Right. I, I, still, I still stand by. I know Bond, and we don't have to get too deep in the weeds if y'all don't want to. You did say your last girlfriend Please was don't. a nurse. What are the actual occupations of these women that y'all date at this age? You know what's funny about her being a nurse? She was always she broke. Baggers. She was always broke? <laughs> always broke. And every nurse I've ever dated has always been broke. Because nurses don't make that much money. money. Oh, 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 so oh, nurses make a lot of money. Just tell me, just tell me the occupations of, of these women. They nurses, don't make a lot of money. Either. Nurses and teachers. Okay. Teachers don't make shit. So, so yeah, nurses, they don't, unfortunately. So, Y'all are y'all are dealing with women yeah, that enough. apparently, you know, whether they are passionate about their work, whether they got a, a degree in STEM or they just got a really nice paying job for them to support themselves. It seems like y'all are dealing with women that are young, not making much money. A 35, 36 year old wants to come in and, and treat me like a princess. Great. Like, this is what y'all are telling uh, me. Right uh, nurses and teachers make more than the average income. What are you talking about? And what? Well, you also teachers, live. Like, teachers make forty three thousand a year. And yeah, that's that's some, that's more. Yeah, yeah. both average, those occupations the make above the average. The what are you talking average. about? The average is working at McDonald's, and nigga, like that's not. That's no, not. No, no, the average, average is. That's, what are you talking about? Forty three thousand. The average is like forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand is not a lot of money. But that's the average. So, no, so teachers, so teachers make three thousand dollars. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, hold on. This is crazy. I got. We gotta rewind this. You said McDonald's is the average <sighs> when the the financial I think average is forty. I think no, no, I mean, no, right I, 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 like I really man. hope he was because no, 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 because if if you're if you're calling women that are in professions that make more than the average broke, then you're proving my point where the majority of women are broke. Are we talking about positions that are salary, hourly? Nigga, like money is money. It don't matter if it's no, salary there, no, or, a, or hourly. There's, there's 40, 000, 40, 50, there's 000 is above there's average. A there's a difference between making X amount of money in a year hourly and X amount of uh, money yeah, in a year. Okay, hourly. look. So the median salary in the U.S. is forty-two thousand. Teachers make forty-four. 
So they're making exactly. it so they're, they're so above average. average. That's that's in the standard deviation. You're not really saying much. Yeah, you can make more. But they're target. still really above much. average. That's, it's in the standard. It's, it's, it's within one standard right, deviation. Hold on, hold on, right, 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 I just right, said I was on, a six out of ten right, above right. average. If you if you if the average dick size is five and a half, and your dick is six inches, you can tell me what average you got a small dick. And median, and median is not average. Also, the median. Are you talking? The median. Are are you talking about women? What's the median no, for women? Sick. Don't do that, brother. <laughs> What's the median for women? Median women's. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna be surprised here. What's the median for women? You you tell I'm looking it up. I'm, so, I'm like a phenomenal. Oh, okay. I'm so it was like 37, I think. Cause why? Because I know the median oh, salary for black oh, women is like 30,000. Oh my god. Sorry, women, after dark, if y'all, if women if, earn the median salary don't, of don't, don't try to mark like, like you're a oh, I got it. How much? Much? statement now. It's only no. it, bro. Blaze, all I'm saying is that if there was a hold on, what was the median for women? In, in the West I know what you're gonna say, Alex. If there was a girl here, then they would agree with you, but we already had girls in here. We already had these about. conversations, they didn't. I had one woman here, here that got married at 18. I'm not listening to that. What's up? Who got married at 18? Mocha got married at like he's 18. He's my Mocha. Oh, that's sort of my mom. <laughs> married my dad. So why did you go, okay, but Alex, but why did you bring well, okay, so men, men I can't even hear the you. The median mic. salary for women is 43,000. The median salary for men is 53. So for, that's a 43,000 teacher. That's a, that's an average woman. And we're average men. But so average, what's wrong with that? No, because the average pay does not mean that they're they're actually doing well. Because the the Thank you. living living expenses yeah, and shit like that is way potentially going. No, there you go. No, that's, a, that's a whole different argument. No, it's not. Oh, it's not, it's not, about, it's not no, no, no. no. Hold on, hold on. Your hold on. argument was about how much women made. What yes. is the teachers and nurses no, make the, the average and more? And so, so how are you gonna talk about salary and then not and not talk about how that money is applied? You can't just have a number and you just have a number. I literally just told you that women spend more than they make it. Because they're making it's not true. It's not true. Oh my god. No. You just keep you just keep contradicting no. your own argument. No, you can't. Oh, no. 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 My argument was no. women spend more than they make. I'm right. Because my argument was these women are making more than average salary. That's also fact. No, it's not oh, median. It's yes. not the same as average. Oh my it's not God. the same. That's okay, well, they're making more than the median. They're, they're making more than the median. All right, the, right. Right. All right. the better <laughs> question the better <laughs> is this all a different change in your All right, y'all go. All right, all right. Bro, you just said I got the bro. Bro, I don't see you. I'm over the topic. I'm over the topic. I just, yeah, I don't yeah. know how you come back, Come back in five years and talk. Oh, oh my God. Come back in five years. Okay, yeah. Five and we'll years. See, I'm 30. We'll I can tell what the dude is going wrong. In five I'm 30, years. Alex. These niggas we'll is wrong. We'll yeah, see in five years if you molded that baby yeah. that you're dating to see if y'all had a kid yeah, and married right now. We'll see that. Um, that was a very, misog that was long very long. misogynistic, as you said. I'm sorry, mold? Are, are you implying that a 24-year-old woman can't think for themselves? I'm about, I'm about to get you right real quick because you're the same and man that, that, that you're the said? same... Hold, yes, because you're the same man that said that you mold yeah, right. women at a young age and their dad should be thanking oh, no, you. No, I said they're more. I yes, said they're more did. cooperative. Yes, you did. Yes, you I did. I said they're you more were, cooperative. You I said mold no, them. Aunt, you are the same man that said that you mold these young women. Are to you from no, the man? Wait, so I you mold them to the man? Yes, you did. You hard head. Is that just another word for grooming? You cannot yeah, change. Yeah. You cannot change a person. Bond, I have been women will do what they want. Okay. Okay. And no, so I said, everybody, they, everybody, I said everybody, they are more cooperative. So everybody that's in this after dark every Sunday and before then, before any of us was really even coming in here, y'all gonna sit here and let this nigga say that he he Blaze, that the word that mold. Blaze, have I ever before. said I wanted to mold a woman? You, you literally it. bragged about these women's you been you been I have never said I wanted to. Why right. would I want to waste time and energy molding somebody? You, said you, want, you, you broke up with a woman because she didn't know how to cut your sandwich right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay. That's that not bitch. saying that's not molding though. You said the uh, and bro, that's it not why I broke gonna, up with her. I told you guys. I told you guys I broke up with her because my dad was dying. 
All my dad was good. dying, and she didn't give a fuck about it. Oh, yeah, 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 broke up. Too, yeah. So get the fuck out of here with your bullshit in your life. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. There's nothing uh, about molding. <laughs> no, he said, no, he said <laughs> was, my dad was literally dying, and she, my dad was literally dying, on, Alex. Please. She did not give a fuck, so we had to break up. That oh, had nothing bitch. to do with molding anybody. On. Keep in mind... Bef that you told us all of that because we were inquiring. Oh, is everything good and all that? That the reason why I brought that up is because in that same convo and or the week before or after whatever it was, I'm tying that conversation because that's when you said the word mold. That's when we were talking Bro, about. No, you don't and have. Another, and, and, and another thing is, obviously, oh, I didn't want to on. talk about my. I didn't. I was off YouTube for like a good two or three months and didn't even let anybody know about my father probably until three or four months after he passed. Yeah, so I'm not we, trying we, to we, hear we, about we, this strange time clock about me and my ex. It has nothing to do with molding. Mm -hmm. You cannot control a woman. You cannot change her. She's going to be whoever she's going to be. You cannot stop them from doing what they want to do. The it, whole point I've made is younger women are more cooperative and easier to get along with. Period. Really? Okay, if, if everyone in this after dark is gonna be quiet and, and make it seem like I made this up, cool. No, I, I no, said I don't care about nobody. I just, I just, I'm the silence. The silence is resounding because y'all are the same niggas that was in here when he said that, but don't nobody remember when he said it. Okay, in your example, in your example, why would I want to mold a hoe to a housewife? She, a woman, is who she is. You can't mold them. Because a 25-year-old is the woman Who that she's going to be at 30, right? Right. No. And a 25-year-old man is going to be the same he's at 30, 50, Whoa. 60, 70? No. People change. And, and, what do you, and what do you think your 36-year-old hand is doing to a 24-year-old by the time she gets to 30? Molding, nigga. Why, that, does that ha why, did, why, why do I have to mold her? <laughs> Look, the only mold right, I know right. is on my well, brain. This, this is a stupid let's conversation. Talk, talk I, I don't have, the, I don't have the time or the energy to want to mold somebody. I call it. That's a right, I don't know why I could just so find why, why somebody is, that fits so in why, with what I want. One time that would be that. What you're saying right now is to go go date a three hundred pound fat here. chick and mold her into a one hundred and twenty pound girl. I don't got time for that shit. You are crazy. I really hope this audio doesn't corrupt so that people can hear this. And I and I will. If people think, if people think people, people can I'm a, people can time stamp it if, if it's I'm gonna, yeah, people I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go read it. I'm gonna read the comments, and if people saying I'm crazy, cool. Then I'm just on a I'm on an island by myself. But I genuinely want to remember the conversation. But I don't know if you used the term mold or not. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna get um well, younger women are cooperative, more easy. Yeah, I'm just trying to look for if you if y'all find it and you talking about it and you. Blaze, we can't hear you. If y'all yeah, find it in the word he used, another room, Blaze. If y'all find it and he used a different word other than mold, then I'll apologize. And, and, I, can, and, and, I, can, get, and I can one hundred percent guarantee I've never used the word bloom. I, what I'm saying is, if he didn't use the word mold, I can apologize and say, okay, then I'm putting that sauce on it. But you definitely said that you want to have a hand in how they and how they're kind of maturing into that relationship. You definitely spoke on it. Yeah, a woman wants to do the same thing. They want to have a hand in how you're maturing to them. Oh, okay. You're 30, he's not, he's not, you're, 30, you're, you're trying you're trying to grow together. You're both learning each other. You're both You're a grown man. What the grown man trying to grow as much It doesn't matter how old you are. Pensions. It doesn't matter how old you are. Both people are maturing into a relationship together. Been She's you're maturing. You're, 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 you're not just 36 and say, hey, babe, I know everything about you. I'm older. No, you have not, to it's learn not, people. It's not about, it's not about learn. She's still learning herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this is a wild conversation right it's here. It's not wild. It's not wild. <laughs> no, like you re you really think that because a man is older, he just goes into a relationship. Oh, everything's done. I'm older. I'm good. No, you still have to learn. Everybody's always learning. I really I really wish we had like cuz the the, well, the all, 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 I got, all I got to say is this. The, the girl, every girl that's ever been in here, as Blaze will tell you, has agreed with me. So that's all it's Mocha and who else? Who was that other girl that was in here late night with oh, us at dude, one time a while about, back? Haley Cagle, girl? Is, who? Is Attic still here? <sighs> at the end of the day, y'all are going to discredit what I'm saying. Y'all are going to discredit what I'm saying because I'm uh, 25 and that's okay and that's cool. But what I've I mean, seen... Like we said, you're 11 years younger. We have more experience.
it, like I said, and not all the time. Just because somebody older don't mean they got more. Exactly. So hold on, hold on. Okay, I agree. So because somebody's older, they have more experience. So why is somebody younger have less? Bond, you fully disagree with everything I have Exactly. Exactly. Like, exactly. What if they're younger, why does it mean they have less? You, you can't just confuse yourself and said exactly what you said. No, is no, no, no. You, you just contradicted yourself. You literally just said because somebody is older doesn't mean they have more experience. So then why would they have less? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said that doesn't mean it's good experience. So then why would it be less bad experience? Bro, that's funny that you could just make this said exactly. Doesn't make any sense. Precisely. Like, hey, but mean, hey, when you when when you could you come back in five years and have this conversation. Uh hopefully y'all ain't going to be Alex, I'm I'm where you at in five years, trust me. Why, right. why? What's wrong with doing right. YouTube in five more years? What are you trying to say? I don't think any of them gonna really, I don't think any of them are gonna have time to do YouTube in five years. BG's married. BG's married. Kid Smooth has two kids. He's married. Kofi's oh, having a kid. He's married. Hold on, hold on. Let's 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 pick those apart. BG said that once he gets married to have kids, it's probably gonna be a once maybe a once a show. Two, Kid Smooth is barely here. Kid Smooth is barely here. It is. Kid Smooth streams two three hours a week. On his Xbox Live podcast, and he has a um, Al- Alex is streaming for four or five hours every Sunday on his salt. Cast. I thought we weren't going to talk about Sol- that. Nate t-shirt Solid, Solid, Solid Rev has a family and a kid. He uploads regularly. What are you talking about? Review was, Tech why USA. Are they, why are y'all taking that personal? That I said. I review, don't, I, review, review Tech oh USA is divorced God. and has two baby mamas and three kids. Why he still makes content. Review Tech got two baby mamas. What the hell? He's got kids. He makes I can't get a baby mama. I didn't get Do a not bitch. talk That's about crazy. us content creators, okay? Hey, y'all niggas saying the personal. I just said I don't. I I said I I wouldn't be surprised if in five years y'all got stuff going on and y'all not. No, I, I, I hey. agree with Alex on that. You know what? There's a reason why y'all was uploading videos once every two days or once every day, and y'all do y'all just do the podcast mainly right now. There's a reason exactly, for that, right? Because we got older and more. Okay, so in five years days. you might be older, right? What the fuck? Are you assuming I'm that I'm going to get older within the next five years? What's wrong? What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but to say that, but you, said, you, said we, you said we won't be doing this. I said you, I said you probably won't. We don't. Who's to say? Who's to say? Like, most, people that are, the, the most people that are the bigger creators here are married. Bro. Well, most, of the bigger, most of the bigger creators here on YouTube are married. Man, what a Facts. Well, married or not. I, listen, man, man you know, I got it. I've, I've had, this was a fun argument. I'm glad y'all made me raise my voice in my parents' house. We're having a great night. This is for great. Oh, Love Lord. It. Love it for everyone. This motherfucker's at his parents' house arguing about relationships. I just graduated from college. What you want me to do? Get uh, a school. story mansion? Bro, when uh, I graduated I, I mean, from college, I had a Ferrari and a flying I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're broke, you Blaze, know. Blaze, didn't, didn't I say earlier that when you're young and just coming out of college, you don't have much? Yeah, and now he's saying, "Oh, what do you expect me to do? I just got out of college. I'm 25." Uh, he just you, proved your point. Yeah, I didn't you. You. Hold on, hold on. I didn't do it. I did not prove your point. That's not preventing Alex from. That's not preventing my point. That's not proving your point. That's not proving your point. You literally just said what I said earlier at the very beginning. That's not preventing him from dealing with it. You didn't say that. I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend that's going on three years. I have a girlfriend that's going on three years. Why don't Why don't she got a ring, nigga? I'm. I got, what are you talking about? I got other things to pay. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just got out of college. Why, would, why would I get a financial birth? Why would I get married and I can't even support myself and my woman at the same Why would I do that? Blaze, 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 didn't I just say this? You too young to have a thing with Alex. And this is exactly why I say women go for older guys. Alex, the my question leader. is between those two, who has a stable relationship? Alex, between Bond and Alex? Okay, so what's the point? We both have stable relationships. What's your point? Yeah, Bond Bond you know, how long are you in the relationship you're in right now? How I've been dating the girl since May. Okay, I've been with my girl for almost three years. That's cool. Okay. If okay. I wanted okay. to marry my girl tomorrow, I could. You Why would can. you marry a girl that you've known since May? I'm just yeah, saying, if I wanted to, I can. You can't. 
He, 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 I can. Get I, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I can get married. I can go to the courthouse and get married right now. Oh, well, why would stop. I do that? That's... <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, that's a joke. Oh, oh, like, no, no, I can't, 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 i can not i can not i can not i can not i can I said because in my position, I don't want to be walking in circles. I'm not no, talking about bro. You he's asked me. You asked me. You asked me. You asked me. me. You asked 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 me why I'm not married. I said I have a vision in my mind where I'm going to be financially, all of that stuff before I get married. That doesn't mean I can't get married right now. Oh, what, a- what, what age is that vision? Come to the I don't know. I, in my mind, in my mind no, no. If you have a vision, you have a time frame. What's mm, the time frame? Yeah, by the time I'm making a certain salary, yeah. And what would that be? Can you get that new DSLR? Uh, probably rough se- estimate. Probably se- where I'm living, probably seventy five, eighty thousand. No, I said the time frame when you're going to make it. You don't know. Oh, I, I I don't know that. I'm looking for I'm looking for other jobs. So don't you know. don't you don't even know, which further proves know. my point. Well, you doesn't, don't know. Doesn't this nigga right year, here. You can get the job. I, yeah, I don't I don't know what y'all are proving right now. He's an engineer, but he can get the job. Will, what are you talking about? I really don't know what y'all talking. I don't know what y'all are. We were literally just yeah. saying that no, older, just, when, no, older just, men just, because they have what we're trying to figure out, figured out. That does not mean he has to wait the thirty to do that. He can get that yeah. shit next year. He literally said he wanted. It. Oh my god, y'all are just never, y'all are just arguing to argue at this point. Let's say okay, Bond. Let's say if I get that. Let's say if I get an eighty thousand dollar job next year, that means I got it next year, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm not saying time frame. What's I I don't know. What what is you get the job tomorrow? What's the time frame? Then tomorrow, then tomorrow, nigga. Like what? So then tomorrow you get married. If I wanted to, yes. We want to see that ring better. Yeah, we want to see it. I'm rooting. I'm rooting for you to get this job. We want to see it. Yeah, I hope so. I'll I'll send you a a a picture of it. I'm I'm gonna blur it out. I'm gonna blur it out like Jimmy's chain though. What about people? People. Y'all niggas are crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. I ain't even, bro. I ain't even <laughs> knowing that. Y'all niggas be on that, like, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Blaze is the one. Hold on. Are you Blaze, talking about, Jacob? Blaze Blaze is the one that has a family and kids here, and you're discrediting his words. I'm not trying to I, hear I that. Never, I never discredited any That's of y'all. That's one words. person. I'm glad he speaks to everyone. I, I, I never extrapolated his data and, and applied to everyone here. I never, and you know, Mo- Mo- Mocha is married and she has kids. So the two that's, people that's, have, that's, that have kids, families, and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, I, I don't know what they're talking about. I never discredited what y'all said. I just said, be realistic. They've been saying what I have been saying. I said, I never discredited. I just said, I have commentary on why that is that y'all feel that way. That's all I've been saying. Well, then why do, why do, why do women feel the same? If, so here's the funny thing. If women, did, if, if women didn't feel the same way, they wouldn't want to date older. Y'all got it. She's Bro, I, I want to talk about games or something. Or let's just, let's play outros. I mean, I'm playing games. I don't know what y'all are doing. I'm playing farm. I'm playing games right now. I want to agree with everything you said. That's all. I wish y'all happiness, and you know, I hope you get the. We're the, happy, dog. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh my I mean, we're, we're, we're just trying to tell you. I mean, you didn't even know about the marriage laws in the game and the divorce courts and everything like that. <sighs> I'm gonna set up a boxing match between y'all two, bro. Y'all have- the marriage oh, battle league boxing. Yes, sir. You, talk, you, talk, you, talk, you, about just, you talking about just get a prenup? Like it's that easy? Jiggy well, B. Yeah, his name oh, is prenup, bro. Dick. You don't know that, right? I wish y'all both happy. Just, bro, it's just. I, I, wish me I don't want to talk about everybody no else, bro. I mean, you'd be right in an ideological world, but we don't live in a perfect world. That's what Tyrek and I have been saying this whole time. Mm. Yeah, well, congratulations. We live in a oh, world where there's racism, oh, anti oh, semitism, oh, oh, and everything. Got you got five lives. Tom, uh, huh? Not Tom Brady. I'm That's dead. all I hear right now. I heard that. I'm dead. Yeah, okay, yeah. not Tom Brady. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like Brady. Five lives. Brady, Bezos, just Bill, whatever. don't matter. They don't say keep a bitch, nigga. It's over with. Divorce on three. Yeah, if you're if you're Brady, you're Bill, or you're Bezos, you still can't keep him. Brady, oh, Brady could have kept or he just chose to nah, get he, 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 he had already had a contract on Fox Sports. That was done. It, it was done. 
Nigga, give, he's nigga. already got a three hundred and fifty five million dollar contract he, on Fox he, Sports. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 How can we if he, 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 he could have his marriage up? Oh my god, they're spending it. Just, these he niggas didn't want to keep her. These niggas live in a vacuum and that's just what it is. Man. He didn't want to keep her. That's a problem. I told you. I mean women women uh divorce eighty percent of the time, ninety percent of college educated, so Y'all, she really gave him an ultimatum. If he leave football, they'd be together. He Yo, didn't want to leave. Blaise, he didn't want to be you, with her. Boys, could you imagine a man giving a woman an ultimatum to quit her job? They're not Tom oh, Brady or Giselle. You know, that you, work you out. Can. Yeah, that you would can. never happen. You can. Nah, it ain't gonna work out in no, your you favor, can't. but you can. Yes, you can. Oh, be, look, look, you like, 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 like y'all was saying earlier, you can do what you want to. You just gotta deal with the consequences of it. Uh, and that, those consequences are given half a shit. Hey, it is what it is. Look, you know my like, that, That's why. That's why it was bullshit. Those girls. At one time, there was a Twitter post where um, guys hated the PS5 for making that beep when you turn it on. And girls are like, oh, uh, these pussies need to stand up to their wives. I'm like, what you talk about? You play the PlayStation, they walk out with the kids. You got no, once you're married, you ain't got no leverage. That's what I, I, I mean, to be fair, she can't walk out with the kids. I'm broke. I'm so, so, good, I'm, I'm so happy. Well, and I, listen, me and my girl got to understand that we help each other out, shit like that. But Which like, is she good. Don't ever tell me, she don't ever tell me, like, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. We have a conversation about it. That's I'm glad y'all. I'm glad. Hey, you know what, Blaze? And I'm glad y'all treat each other like adults. That's great. I'm, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, I'm saying for those girls that don't, the dudes can't do anything. See, that's that's your problem in the first place. You you should have seen the signs. Why you should have seen the signs in the beginning, bro? Uh, and that's why yeah, I say yeah, Alex, the number one, the, you know, the most you know, important you know, decision you can make as a man in your entire life is who you marry. Alex, you don't think women are, are like? Different nowadays with uh, the OnlyFans and just the dating scenes all fucked up. You think it, or you think it? Just, no, because people people are, going, going. people are looking for women in the wrong places. You go to a bar and shit all the time, expecting to meet like your one of your dreams. I'm sorry, you're not going to meet. Not talking about that, but, <laughs> but, but you, you, you make a good point. Even then, girls will be in relationships and still want to go out to the bars and clubs and think that's normal. Came for right. a little circle, bro. You see that shit? Oh my god. <laughs> And we were just talking about that earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> full circle with the jerk. It's the world yeah. what it is. Girls, girls in full on relationships talk about why can't I go to the bar? Why do you want to do single things when you're not single? Where's the house? My girl won't even have to go to the bar. She can go to the Not Tom Brady. Like I don't, I don't blaze. I don't mind if my girl goes out right now, only because she's 24. So I feel like you know it'd be kind of messed up to not allow her to do something like that. But like her friends are still doing it right now. Listen, no, she got a bad time, right? Because she's got a curfew. Bro, my girl, my girl would have to go to the bar, and go to like a like a sushi bar. She well, a restaurant can't. in a bar, that's different, but not a club club for what? Exactly. Yeah, but right she never rarely goes out anyway. She'll go out like she'll go out like once or once a month, if that. Well, going out with your friends and enjoying having dinner, having some drinks. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. Then I have no friends fucking with me. <laughs> I don't right. I'll never get it why girl girls want to go out to clubs when they're in relationships. Oh, no. It's the craziest thing. To get attention, nigga. What? Exactly. Well, we know. We know. They say they say it's what? not to, but we know. Now we, then now they get mad. We go to the strip club. Who said that? I wouldn't go to strip club. That shit lame. Lame yeah, yeah, strip clubs are speak lame. For you, speak for yourself. I ran into that myself. Strip clubs are lame. Strip clubs are lame. I've been to a strip club. Nah, I mean, like oh, strip clubs are lame. Yeah, I've been once. I wasn't. Well, I well see, Jigga, my hard, bro- Jigga. brother wanted to take me there. Jigga, Jigga don't know strip clubs got the best food. Nigga, nigga, I will go to somewhere else, nigga. I'm not going no strip club. No fire chicken wings, though. I don't even care. All right, would not go there. Give me a plate and then leave, nigga. I'm out. Exactly, bro. Get you a little plate. Yeah. You ain't all you're doing tonight, nigga. Thirty five dollars for five wings. Go ahead. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> if if it's good, it's worth it, bro. And they better be full like wings. I, they might like come my wings up and sell me separate pieces, bro. Like I said, man, yeah. this is a male dominated space right now. We are. uh giving commentary and expectations from only men. So that, all I said from the beginning was that I feel like if there was some more women in this conversation, it would have went a little bit different. Oh, Alex, why, hold on, Alex. No. The woman, Aged woman. Aged a successful woman. Well, who said that, bro? Who said that? What are you talking about? We're men here. We're talking about what's, what's the issue? 
Wait, What's SpongeBob saying now that we're men? Yo, this dude like, oh, there's some more women in this person, but there's not. So why do you think Blaze, hold it down, but it's okay. Yeah, your audio sounds crazy right now. I'm sorry, but hold it down is the new funniest thing to me. That is so funny. Hold it down. Because people get mad when you say it to them, too. You see how mad he gets? Oh, Jack, because you're the last one. Shut up, you little fat bitch. No matter what you say, Blaze, I'm gonna tell you to hold it down. <laughs> what, what are you trying to hold down? Oh Jack? my Jack, god! Hold down your bed before it breaks. Oh wait, oh, it already broke. It already broke. Emotional, <laughs> hold it down, nigga. <laughs> emotional, like a, never mind, I can you say that, huh? Mmm. Read y'all the room, Jigga. Y'all know the vibe, so you know Jigga can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I read better than you. Nigga, you read at a fucking. Semen level, nigga. Hey, semen level. Level. Semen level. What does that even mean? That means that you, that means that you got mush. Like you were, you were sperm. Nigga, didn't yeah, you go to the fourteenth grade? Nigga, hold on, I'm confused. <laughs> Fuck you. Right. Nigga, don't let him talk to you like that, bro. <laughs> Not Tom. <laughs> Speaking of Tom Brady, man, say. Wait, what happened, bro? Yo, Alex, why you keep bringing that up, bro? You back to paper, crayon? No. Why the you way that you, the way that you talking to me right now, up, exact, the way that you talking is the exact tone and volume you said that quote. Yo, <laughs> Alex, know, they're going to have, gonna have go your ass up. To me. I'm like, dude, not Tom Brady. <laughs> they're they going to have your ass up out of here next week. <laughs> you said what, up, on? I mean, they're going to have your ass up out of here next week because they said no relationship talk and you brought this mess up in there? I know, Alex talks all the time. You know why? Because Alex... He's a great man that I'm not going to say much more. Like, listen, man, I I was on my I was on my trial run for new podcast member. Oh, grand yeah, man, 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 you blew, you're blew it, you blew it, Bucko. Grand yeah. opening, grand opening. Have you on here? You blew it, clown. Let's get right. it. <laughs> somehow, somehow, I still feel like next week they're gonna blame Bond. I know they you are. are. They are. <sighs> you already know that. Fine. No, they might ride with it. They might ride with it. <laughs> God damn, these bosses and trails of rise are no it's fucking coming. jokes. Yeah, Alex. Tales of Arise? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Alex, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, boy, you can beat it. Oh, love. You know that, right? Well, I'm playing on like the second highest level, and oh. I'm like very I, under leveled. Hey, well, Jack, you know what I heard, though? I, I beat what the game on normal. I heard uh, the Ice Spice is way better than uh, Pop Smoke was. Like, you know I'm saying, like, she better than he ever was. That's what I heard. Shot. From who? <laughs> In terms of what? <laughs> I do enjoy like, like, like one single. Uh, you can tell when she could just feel mischievous. He's like, let me start something. And he just starts saying, like, she can't stop giggling. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, real quick. Why does she keep wearing that curl, bro? That shit looks stupid. I like her afro. I think it's cute. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, at least, at least it's, it's, it's her own hair, man. That's a weave. Dude, I'll get rid of that. I'd rather have weave in this. Yo, Jack. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't stand weave and fake hair. Fuck Jack that shit. What's good, Blaze? What's good, good, brother? Are you okay? Bro, there. Yo, you know I made a bet with Grimy yesterday about the Patriots versus the Jets, right? Well, I saw right. it in the Discord today. Yo, he yeah, paid what? right away. I was shocked. You, you, you had him blocked on Cash App? Yeah, Blaze, why did you block Grimy on Cash App? You could block him on Cash App? Yeah, I blocked him. Dog, because he kept requesting a thousand dollars, like fifty dollars. And one time, I accidentally sent him. He requested twenty five dollars. Oh, uh, so I, I was pissed. I'm like, you leave him on my shit at one point. Yeah, he was on it on my shit. Block me, dog. Because I'm gonna send you some. That's funny. That's fire. Some money, bro. That is funny. You can block somebody because somebody, if you if you have an interaction with somebody on Cash App, and then they could continuously ask you for something, they could request money from you, and, and you could just block them and just dead it. Oh, Grimey oh, would do that shit once a day, bro. That shit was so aggravating. <laughs> That's How much you saying, Blaze? I sent him 25 bucks on accident once. <laughs> That's funny. He blocked you so you couldn't get it back. No, I blocked, no, blocked him. him. No, Blaze blocked him. Because then the next week, it was like 1000 1200 You know what this is for, question mark. Like, what? Hey, Grimey, it's a Grimey... Listen, he's been with too many coaches, so his brain is totally washed. What are you saying? Oh. From St. Louis. Uh, 
Well, you know what Jurassic Park when the niggas outside making a phone call? That's what yeah. right now. Oh, come on, Ma. Yo, Bond, you know what they said about it? They said that I've been with more black queens than you. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they said. You've definitely probably been with more black girls than I have. But I bet you have more Jewish girls than you have. He said black oh, 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 that's a good point, Alex. Most of the girls I date are Jewish, so they come from wealthy, affluent families. So, so that's why he was right. That's why he was the right. You, 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 can't, you can't say, pull that bro card on me. I never called you broke. You, no, not people. me, but the girls I date. He's rich as in spirit. <laughs> I, I, I really don't like dating girls that don't have like any, come from any kind of culture. Um, as long as the girl got that dick culture, from the <laughs> 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 You know what? I just realized with that information that you told us that it was Jewish chicks, so that makes sense why you got bad knees because one of them was giving you head and her nose hit you and tore your ACL. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Did I match my views at all? Whoever that was that said you know, that? Oh, this hey, tick? I don't know. With that setup, that was a high risk, high reward. I applaud that. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I didn't know where he was going. That was good. You said her nose towards ACL. Oh. Okay, Jack. What's good, brother? The neck, would you... So you would never actually go to an, uh, like a game show, would you? They don't do them anymore, really, but if they yeah, start doing... Three... Jeopardy's still on? No, 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 like uh, E3 type stuff. Game War show. Oh, game War, yeah. Not, so not, oh, even, not, even, okay. not even Game Awards, but like if they had a game... Like or something. Would you go? Like that's not coming to see. I mean, it's a possibility I would, yeah. I, I want to I wanna see if Niggas from the Discord would actually pull up to an actual game That'd be lit. I don't want to see Jack on some machine. It's, it's expensive, party. though, man. Oh, Jeopardy is fun as hell, man. Well, I wouldn't go because I'll probably do Wheel of Fortune before. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said there's going to be quick encounters at the next Can game. Like, Jack, no, there's a Comic Con in Memphis next week, remember? Alex, Ooh, Alex, you trying to go? Trying to go? I, go though. I mean, if you pull up, I'll go. Who trying Alex. to go? To the, huh? I'm, I'm Alex, a six dollar if, if I say, Alex, if I send you to Family Feud right now, you can pick three other people to go with you in this in this call. Who you pick it to get the call? I need people nice. that I need people that have um. What's the answers? No, no, no. Like, isn't Family Feud the one that uh? Steve Harvey. Harvey? Yeah, yeah, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Oh, I was thinking of Jeopardy. I needed people that know like random tidbits and facts. Um, no, I need some like proper answers. Well, you can know the same just like actually. niggas who know general knowledge. Mm. I'd probably, I don't know, because that, that game show, it could be like, what do you eat the most with? The answer could either be fork or your toes. Like, you know, never... it's like, it's like, we, we asked a hundred people. Gotta, yeah, you got to assume what everybody else wants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, but do you oh, want to win or do you want to have a fun time, bro? I'm I don't know. I want to win. The fuck? No, yeah. 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 Money is the fuck. What are you talking about? That's $20,000 if you win. Right. You know that, right? That's you know, niggas, you're speaking on there. You're not going to see that money instantly, though. You get that back maybe in Texas. How do you know? Did you win, Tick? No, I've had people that no, won those shows and won. I know if you win a car on a on a game, you, you like gotta half. pay the tax on them before they give it to you. I know that. Yeah, you gotta pay half. You get paid like half generally, and then the rest you get in taxes. It's not any bad though. Yeah, if you can survive that long. I almost lost. Of- <laughs> Wait, who said they beat Tales from Her Eyes or Tales Her Eyes? I beat it. I beat the game. Wow. Um, did you, those you two. Game, you lying. All Denzy beasts. Jesus Christ. There you go. Those, when you have to fight those two beasts back to back, when the one jumps down after you get the first one down halfway. Oh, you ain't talking about oh, you. Like, I, I can't remember, though, man. I, I, I think I'm like hard, hard, too. Come on. What, what difficulty did you play it on? I played it on normal. <laughs> oh, I'm playing it on hard. That's why. But, like, now, yeah. now hard, like, my, my characters are maxed out, so I'm playing on chaos. So I'm like, this. Wait, wait. Is that Jay got talking about playing other, other games other than a racing game? Oh wow! Right, right. Hey, hey, hey. Play, play, play. I'm about to go race right now. Actually, <laughs> can you live stream it? You never live stream. All right, all right, kick this minute about the Discord. Oh, live oh, my God, I need it. Live stream. Hold up, is that is that Comic Con on a weekend or a weekday? It's probably a four day job. Hey, you yeah, don't matter to Jack. They can't get on the weekend. Uh, game, Alex, Friday, Alex, Saturday, and Sunday. On, on this game, Alex. Mm. Three day event. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, dang! Yeah, I wonder how expensive. Yeah, I would actually go to that. I've never. I sent Jack the link. It's like twenty. It's like twenty five dollars a ticket or the something. The thing is, though, Alex, it's like a small or joint at like a hotel, ain't it? Oh, it's not like a. They not getting a fair. Yeah, they, 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 they had a big one. They had a big one a few weeks ago, but y'all missed it, Alex. 
Ah, uh, they probably, it's probably, be, it's probably vendor booths and shit. Like, yeah, they probably gonna, they thing, gonna be in the, the lobby of the hotel stuff. The type shit, Alex, yeah. Do you, yeah. Alex, do you watch? No, just the one, the one not like Shoe Jack was at a convention center. What oh, you say? I do. Do you yeah. watch Just Parley things? No, nah, what's that? You I'll, should watch her. I watch her channel, but like, I gotta what watch it. Gotta, I gotta watch it. I can't watch it every day. She uploads because, it much. Because if you really want a woman's perspective and a bunch of women's perspective, you'll fucking see. Is she Alex? What's her, what's her race? I mean, Bond. what's her what? What's her race? She's white. She's, She's white. white. Oh, okay. Also, I see Alex. You know what's gonna piss me off, Alex? Why are you gonna discredit that person because he's he white? I didn't discredit him. Yeah, you were right. Like, like, he, didn't, he, didn't ask if, he didn't ask if she was married, how old she was. Right. He said, what is she is white? She? No, what, no, what I, fuck no. That that's matter? crazy, Alex. I I only asked that because. We're gonna we gonna sit here and lie and act like depending on the race, the culture, and her idea of what a relationship and looks like. But, like but, 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 well, I, hold on, Alex, let's, let's, let's be thing, real. The she talks about on her show has nothing to do with race. They no, no, I no y'all are, y'all are missing my point. A black woman's opinion on what a relationship looks yeah, like. Yeah, dating dynamics would be different. It's depending rooted. On it's rooted in her experience growing up as the race that she is. My girlfriend. Uh, hold up, hold really? up. My, Go ahead. my girlfriend is Mexican and black. There's things that her mom, as a Mexican woman, deems as like that's a cultural thing to do. That her that her dad's side of the family wouldn't really be. Wait, well, that's what I'm asking. Good. She's she's got primarily black people on there, so you're good to go. But um, no offense, but I don't think we should be talking to the most divorced and least statistically married group on the primary people cause people of what makes a good people. marriage. And people, what talking about? Oh, black people? Oh, He's talking about black women, yeah. Oh. Uh, I think I did a study in college one time that showed black families were like. Hey, uh, like, never studied in college. Let's stop this. Niggas love seeing no black women, bro. That's crazy. Nah, man. They want to keep fucking poking your 70% of our kids out of wedlock, that's on them. Everything he says is specific. This nigga crazy. All he do is just... Her. <laughs> I feel like I find that paper. I feel like you... Uh, oh, are you funny, I feel like I, I found mean, that, that know, white family is the most broken up. But how do you funny. judge it other than that, uh, Hardy? Exactly. You can't judge anything but by statistics. But we know it's funny how women want to call men all predators for a minority of men perpetrating crimes. But when a majority of the kids come out of wedlock, we can't say shit. What what the hell kind of comparison was that? I'm just saying when when stats are women use the apex fallacy. They judge they judge all men on a minority of men, whereas men judge whereas men judge most women based on most women. We're talking most statistics, not real life experiences. That's what you're saying. Well, real life experiences. he's 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 saying he's saying women preference. And experience, oh, game. they experience. They take a one-off and make that the status quo, rather than uh, using statistics the way men look at. And there's know. a lot of men that do that too. How you? No, think but, it, but, but here, here's the difference: the majority of men are invisible <sighs> to women. I don't so know. The, it's the, a lot the, of incels. The, the men they're the men they're complaining about represent you, you, a small but, subset of men. Harhead, did you hear what you just said? Like. No, I understand. I completely understand. You, you know, you know the reason why they're in sales because women ways. don't look at them. So now, yeah. is, it, is it the woman's yeah, fault? Exactly. Sometimes? No, it's not the woman's fault. Sometimes some of them are just weird, but at the same time, <laughs> they don't they don't count them. Like, for for example, like I could I could see like cute girls at like a Starbucks or like a McDonald's or like or anything. Like, wait, you eat McDonald's? I'm just saying, yeah. if I get a coffee oh, there. Bond exposed, let's go. If I get Bond, a coffee there or something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Bond. That's a Starbucks with Bond. Bond. Aren't you doing the coffee. same thing with black women that you complaining about women doing to men in general? Bro, <laughs> when you go out there and you see it every day with the fuck shit that's coming on, the, the fucking single parent households, single mothers, oh, you all know, this white crazy people shit. Have so, so here's the, the, here's really the thing, thing, right? See, you, you talk about statistics, but if you want to talk about that statistic, it's not a black woman statistic. That's a white woman yeah, statistic. We, we, we have the lowest marriage rate. Look, there's a lot of repairing that we need to Where do as black exactly? You just give up on the single parent there, household? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Actually, 30, so, 30, so, 30, 35 years in, I'm done. There's a lot of repairing that needs to be done in the black community. No, bro, you do know and I, and I realized when, one, when Kevin Samuels came around and he wanted to bring black families together and bring black people together and, you know, have average people with average people instead of, you know, below average people shooting for high value men, you know, appreciate blue collar oh, workers, bro. regular people. 
And when that nigga died and every woman celebrated, that's how I was like, they're canceled. They're done. There's no hope for them. They're done. It's a rat. No, black women are the white ones, which is all on period. Like, it's a rat. Well, first of all, it's not just a rat for black women. It's a rat for all American women. All American women, okay. All of yep. America. The Western world is fucked. They really are. You, 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 little, if you're going to find a girl, you bet, like, uh, Alex said his girl is what, Mexican black? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. You got somebody that's got multiple cultures and it's cultured. If, if you like, shit, like, the only time I would, like, date an American chick, she's got to be, like, multiple cultures or first generation. She get out of that pussy, bro. Just non American as much as possible. Exactly. Like, the, the, the whole culture of America, especially with women and dating, is fucked. Because women are only targeting like the top t- ten, mostly 10, 20 percent of people. Oh, but this and... is what I'm saying to Alex. Like, can you agree that the fucking dating scene is a fucking joke and it's all fucked up? And you didn't say anything. But, but like, what you plays, we, 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 play. we, 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 game. I love these games. That's what oh, we, we, game? we, oh, oh. <laughs> we literally have women, Blaze, that are in committed relationships asking, why is it disrespectful that I go to the club with my girls? Like, huh? All right, like, so, like yeah. you know, you know why men go out to the club. We're going out to find girls to fuck, but you want to go. You, but you want to go there, even though you know that. When me and Jack went to the club, we just like played footsie and ate pizza. Right, yeah. that's so cute. That's so cute. So, so Blaze, let me read this text my uh, friend sent me from his girl. Hey, how you doing? Can I bring you? So, um, she lives in Mon- <laughs> she she lives in Montreal. She lives in Montreal. Blaze, you following? Mm-hmm. Got Very herself a nice her. little French bargain <laughs> board. <laughs> so she wanted she wanted to go out to the club with her girls, and my boy is like, I really, you know, I don't. Are you in a you're in a relationship, right? Like, why do you want to act single? Well, I oh, should be able to go and have fun, blah blah blah. So he he texted her this. Mm-hmm. If I went out to the club and I told you for a fact every time I go out, I have to reject around 20 women who are trying to take me home, offer me drinks, offer me sex, push up on me, accidentally touch me, and get mad when I reject them, how would you feel? She said, I would be very unhappy and I wouldn't want you to go out. And he tells her, that's women's experience, not ours. Oh, bye. Uh, that's bars. the truth. If I go out, to, if I go out to a bar to watch a game and grab a drink, no girl's gonna approach me. I might be lucky if one does, but you know, if you're a girl and you go out to a bar or a club, especially if you're getting dressed up with a bunch of girls, you know, you know why niggas are out there. Girl I, me, niggas, so, I mean, like it, it's a shitty double standard, but it's one that exists. So, look, the clubs are for single people. If you're in a, I don't go anymore. If you're in a relationship, you don't need to be there unless you're there with your girl. I'm not going to a club with my girl, period. Exactly. I, I, I agree with that, too. I, I, much, yeah, prefer, we are, uh, I much prefer the rooftop lounges. Fun, fun <laughs> combo, man. Had a great time. I wouldn't buy with Saturday. Oh, this game and- but blaze blaze i find it crazy it's like oh i want to have fun like it's like is the club all y'all hoes know what to do y'all y'all can't like go to brunch or like go to oh, dinner or like have on like on oh, the truth is they want to be looked at they want to be oh i know i know they want to have a this man pd almost got a fight with michael j ferguson i don't want to get closer like they want to he was really mad he knows did it Bro, Blaze, when I, last time I was in Miami. Oh, then, yo, Bond, and then they come home. They come home and what? And he just fall in a hole? What you happened? You got quiet. Did your wife walk in? <laughs> no, I'm at work. I'm at work. You uh, can't hear me? No, you, you cut out for a second. Oh, I'm at work, bro. But yeah, you're 100% right. They go for attention. And then when they get bad attention, they complain. It's like you knew what that, you knew what it was. It just went down. Yeah, nobody over. tell me, man. I wasn't. Nah, it just happened. Uh, I am speed is seventeen. And there's an OnlyFans model that sucks dick on camera. That's near him in his in his uh, stream. And there was strippers. What is what point are you? Uh, you you know, let's talk about a real imbalance of power. How come when uh nah. male teachers violate students, they get a much harsher penalty than female teachers? 
Well, hey, Bond, it's not that though, but the male teachers they call them rapists, teachers they say it was a sexual encounter. Yep. Oh, this game. Damn, it wasn't a quick one. This game. Well, this game. You know what I mean. <laughs> it wasn't a quick shot. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Nice setup. Nice setup in the world. Oh, oh, are we getting this game at this date? So, uh, Alex, <laughs> hey, Alex, here's another one. Yo, Tick, you got that shit. Yo, Tick, hold it down. So, uh, Alex, here's another hold one. Just go out in the balance of power. <laughs> I, I want Blaze. I want, I want you guys to all hear this. If a man, if a woman is drunk. And a man isn't have sex. What is it called? I'm going for you. Again? If the man, woman is drunk and the man isn't, they have sex. What is it called? Oh, they're probably it's called rape. If the woman and the man are both drunk and they have sex, what is it called? It's called rape. Drunk sex or rape still? Exactly. Oh, see, see how that's bullshit. Even though they know both, they both know what's going on. No, I'm even though they're both, even though they're both drunk. Oh yeah, the yeah, man yeah. is in trouble. Yeah, I've made it a point too. Like when I was when I was dealing with women in the dating scene, if they were like drunk and they wanted to like progress with me, I tell them like, "No, nah, I'm not doing that." Like because oh, I don't even drink. Like I don't drink and I don't smoke, so I'm clean all the time. I'm always sober. So if I deal with women that that drink or smoke, I don't. Yeah, you good. Have a good night. Like I want you to get home safe. That's about it. Oh, oh, oh so Alex, another another funny story. This Friday, Bond or uh, yeah, Friday, Bond tales. I was out watching the Phillies game. <laughs> this girl was with her boyfriend and she was taught wanted to suck my dick in my car and wanted huh? me to take her home mm-hmm. and she was out with her boyfriend so uh she's like give me her phone and she gave me her instagram and i look at her instagram for shits and giggles and that day was her fucking anniversary so on her anniversary she was out at a bar with, without her boyfriend mm-hmm. and she was trying to go home with me and suck my dick in her in my car Mm-hmm. Did, you Did you hit him? No. Why not? I got a, I got a girl. But why oh, was I ain't gonna lie. I probably would have did it. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna do what? Real quick. <laughs> you would have done what though? She, <laughs> looked, she, looked, like, she looked like. She looked like. What's that? You know what? What's the girl in Death Note? Bon, can Mikasa? I just say? Can I just say the most... Misa? Misa. Yeah, she looked like a tattooed, right. deranged Misa. I don't like tattoo hmm. bitches. Hmm. I don't you mind dating a tattoo girl, as long as she got tattoos on her face and neck. And yeah. like all over her arms. I, I, had, I, had, I had a big issue with that. that. If, 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 you're, if you're a man and you're going to work a, a somewhat decent job, you do not want your girl covered in tattoos. That's yeah. yeah. true. You got to, you know. I don't know. That's a good girl. That's a woman doesn't reflect my job. That's controlling. Yeah, yeah you got to play the game. But the thing is, is like, I got to present this girl to my parents. You know what I mean? That too. Want, but, but hoes don't care. I do what I want. Yeah, because but because I, I, I don't mean, want my mom to look at me like tattoo on her face, like really? Yeah, so we 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 control who we date. So obviously, you, if you don't want to pick a chick with tattoos, and you're not gonna pick a chick with tattoos. Yeah, but y'all got old school parents, so it's yeah. different generation. Oh, Alex, you want to know? Alex, I mean, I have know. tattoos myself, and not like all over my body like that. Here's a good way to know the, to learn the dynamic of a uh, balance of power in relationships. Like, you're a little young, people. so take notes. I want take you to notes. go online and watch a show. I, I want you to go online and watch a show called Married with Children. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> I, want you to watch Bundy, Married, I want you to watch Married with Children and tell me that men are in the power dynamic in relationships. Dude, that show would not even survive today at no. all. It'll get canceled after the first two episodes, probably. Talk about it. Yeah. Man, great night of topics, man. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Yes, sir. Right, they are cool. they are they are not they're, 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 they're gonna bl- Alex, they're gonna blame me for tonight. Well, they are not gonna let and, your ass be a regular. And one night and one night I got jumped, I got kicked out the Discord. This was a lit night. Let's hey, go. Ooh, it's better than last week though. You, you uh, lost your you lost your spot. You lost your spot on the pod. Yeah, they ain't gonna want you to be a regular. <laughs> hey, to, hey, tonight was <laughs> lit. <laughs> He said, "What? You done? Well, I already got you out the pay, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, 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 they gonna bl- they gonna blame me for it, but they ain't gonna want you back. Nah, <laughs> la- last night was know, yeah. last weekend was definitely funnier, but um, man, yeah, but it was pretty good. The best come lost though. Oh, so, oh, speaking I mean, of which, I, I also told Mocha she should go back to her husband, and she ended up doing so too. Did she end up catching you for that advice? 
Bond, no, but I, I definitely didn't get a thank you, Bond, either, Jack. Thank you, thank you, Bond. <laughs> thank you, Bond. Yeah, why are they only able to fight in hockey? I feel like in football and basketball, they should be able to. Because them oh, niggas Jack, in football and basketball got guns in their locker room, nigga. Jack, <laughs> uh, Jack, can't can't fucking bust that. What's up? He randomly texts Mo and tell her, like, you're good, don't worry about it. And just have it about. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about, Jack? Just be like, just, just carry on. I got you. Took care of it. <laughs> you text to hold it down. I got a question. Did anybody talk about the Witcher show? Anybody talk about that? Yeah. Yeah, they did. They did in the box. I don't care. Cancel their fast forward to Siri only. To me, to me, uh, after season three, I'm not going to watch it because me either. Yeah. I haven't even finished season one yet. It, like, like, like the show. The, the show is pretty good. It's not like you know all badass or anything, but it's it's good. Oh, yeah, especially good yeah. because of Henry Cavill. Well, yeah, like, what, what, what thing with uh, from what I understand, Henry Henry Cavill, like he obviously played the game and read the books and whatnot. But after season one, they said with season two, the writing was like not even like close to anything. So like, uh, I guess he was starting to lose interest in being, being the character, and then I guess yeah. he got the movie deal with Superman or whatever. So mm-hmm. yeah. that's got the that real DC reason. money. Got that oh, dick. Oh, oh, got that oh, oh, dick oh. cock money. What? Oh, oh, wow. What's on your, I know it's yeah, 1 a.m., but chill please, out. Please, Hold, please, it down, bro. Hold it down. Hold it down. He said, come on. Come on, dog. But, I mean, The Rock came in hard and gave him the cash. Oh, what? You, know what? you know what's crazy? What? Uh, is, is, he, is he the one that moved it or what? Come yeah, on, the, the Rock, the rock was pretty that? much the one that, that put it together. Bro, yeah. I heard I heard something crazy on AGS today before I came into uh, the Discord. Uh, this dude, you know how they say the PC gamers, uh, not they, you know how hard it is they have the gay wrists on the PC yeah. gamers. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, even though even though you know Hardy's the guy that grabs somebody's dick and balls, right? But go ahead, bro, bro, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> go, go ahead, okay. go ahead. This is poetry. This is, this is poetry in motion. <laughs> one, 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 one of his callers uh, said. And you know what's crazy? Because if you're holding a controller, it's like you're holding cock and balls, and everybody was quiet. <laughs> oh wow! I respect yeah. that. And then and one, uh-huh. dude, one dude said, uh, "He said, he said, let me look at my controller. Because how are you getting that you holding that you holding cock and balls with a controller?" And everybody was just you, quiet, and, and they just went to the next topic. <laughs> they they, they had to realize that, yeah. I was like, bro, why would you say that? What was that on your mind? That's actually. Uh-huh. Crazy. Nobody That's asked funny. anything. He was like, he's like, speaking of gay wrist, when you hold it, when you hold it, dual shock. I'm like, nah, bro, nah, that ain't it. That wasn't it. <laughs> that ain't it, <laughs> player. Nobody, nobody said no. He just read the next super chat. <laughs> 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 Boy, I was dying, bro. That's funny. I would die like. I, I do like going on AGS when I get a chance. Mm-hmm. Make you happy. Well done, man. Uh, that's what I was saying. People want me to go back. I was like, you don't have to tell Hard Eight to, to get me on the payroll. That's right. Mm. Oh, don't worry, y'all. You ain't got nothing to worry about, damn bud. You want to hear something funny? Um, no, if you get paid, Bond, Bond, yeah, that's why we never got the Jiggy Shoes. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean hard, eight's a, hard Eight's a real Jew. Yo, I hate Jack, oh, bro. A few months ago, Yo. bro, a few months ago, uh, one of the callers said, hey, when we going to get a piece of that Super Chat money? And he kicked him out the call. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just gonna chill. I was taking a drink. I was drinking on my, my bottle almost spit everywhere, bro. Come on, man. That's funny. Bro, he said, we don't get that super chat. Oh, they said, yeah. And then he kept going. He kept going. <laughs> Yo, you ever, you ever hear Hardy drinking his drink? Like, you ever hear that gulp he got? Yeah, that yeah, nigga, bro. that nigga got an albatross mouth. That nigga, I got him going on. Like a seagull. He just opened that, opened that lower jaw. <laughs> He said he got a gullet? Come on, bro. No, he yeah, put the yeah, cup in his mouth. He, gullet, bro. he on, just bro. put the cup in his mouth and eat it. He just... Yo, you can't hear it. He <laughs> hey, yo. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? That's, why, that's, all why, he be, my lap, that's why he be saying cool. baby dial because he got all the cups. <laughs> and he got a hard swallow. And he got an extended bottom chin. He just put it. Come on. <laughs> he got a hard swallow. Oh, oh, oh. Can't make the best like a seagull, bro. Don't do oh, that. That's why he laughed like that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, y'all get the most listen on y'all niggas next week, man. Y'all. <laughs> Why? Today I want to smoke, run and tell. 
We about to see a, str- a stragglers get roasted too video in the yes, morning. Sir, I, I, need, I, need, I, need. <laughs> Yo, I know if you get one hard day, son, Jack. One of the most listened. Yeah, to man, that was, was that was that was That was He's talking about me. the one where he said, "When I see you," when he remixed Fantasia song. Yeah, sure. Said, bro, the chorus was niggas like to talk a lot of shit, but when they, they know walk around it, dip, when I see you, Woo! that was hard. That was hard. But yeah, then he was in the background. Chip. Fire, fire. No, that's a funny nigga, man. Yeah, that dude definitely. Dang, that's crazy. I've been watching the nigga since the Jesus Bynum video. That's crazy. Yeah. You're, you're a fan, nigga. Yeah, I, definitely, I definitely, yeah, yeah, I definitely do. What's up? The thing with the thing with Hardy is like me and Jack stopped talking for a point and I joined Hardy. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna start this podcast. So I'm like, all right, cool. But at that point I wasn't talking to Jack and Jack wasn't talking to Hardy. So every time I show up, he's like, yo, where's that? Where's that fool with Jack? You seen the fool? I said, No, I haven't seen him. Then I'll come up the next show, yo. Where's where's the police? Where's some of the guys at? You talk to him? Like he would always take little pop shots. I'm like, yo, God damn, can you take it? Yo, he kept taking it. Fire, fire. It's just, it's just war tactics. The power of war, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Art of war. Art of war, yeah. Uh, I just combined sir, two different sir. books, yeah. You did. Well, we know you're all a little special, so. Yeah. I'm a, little, I'm a little special, and I'm going to be single for the rest of my life, and I'm going to end up marrying a woman with three with three kids and bad credit. No, At least you no, 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 no. I was telling you, bitch, nigga. I'm trying, bro. Alex, sing it. I'm single again. And all she do is fix you low, low, um, low original plates. The only song oh, I know is it is what it is. It is. Well, overcooked macaroni too. Ruin your night. Right. No vibration, exactly. bro. Ain't nothing worse than when you make macaroni and cheese and you ain't put enough milk and cheese in it. So now you just got hard shells and. Yo, 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 you yo, keep talking about like that. You gonna catch some more right hard now. shells, nigga? Macaroni and cheese. Fucking counter can. Yeah, oh, sir. Macaroni and cheese is fire. Can we admit that? Move some over the hard shells. Overcooked macaroni, hard shells. Bro, you guys never had a cheese? You know what to do. Cheeto huh? macaroni, no? Nobody what did you said, You said what? The Cheeto macaroni cheese. Ugh, oh, I ain't about eating that nigga shit. Bro, I had a hot one. The hot one. The hot one. <laughs> the hot one. Oh, geez, bro. Nah, I'm not uh, eating either one of those. You get those from the college. That shit nasty, Blaze. That shit look nasty. Respect yourself, man. You guys don't eat either one of those. Blaze eating like a fucking 12-year-old Mexican girl. He's sick. He's sick, man. That's funny. That nigga at 7 a.m. in the morning. What did he say? He took a a bite and went ding, 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 (laughs) ding. Jack, I'm hood. I'm hood because I'm hood, Jack. You're hood because you got no choice. Don't forget that. Mm, what? what? I, mean, nigga, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> yeah, what? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that sounded racist somehow. We finna have a problem, it, nigga. That sounded racist. So he literally just, he said, I'm black because I want to be. You black as you got. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Said, bro, that's a 50 black. cent line, bro. Hello. You not him, nigga. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> not Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Brady said, I'm him, nigga. Yeah. So here's a good question. It's not gonna be Once Tom Brady and Giselle break up, do you think he's gonna care. go for a forty-four-year-old or end up with a twenty-year-old you know, you know brother? On, on. You know what I love about Weapon Wheel? They'll come around and be like, "Yo, Blaze, I was low-key racist." Like when y'all literally mad racist all the fucking time. Oh, look, 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 he mad, he mad. Look, ah, we got him. Let's go. <laughs> no, it's the Blaze. truth. It's Blaze, not at all. Blaze, what's your boy gonna do once Giselle's gone? Is he gonna go for a forty-four-year-old or a twenty-year-old? Listen, he needs funny, to get man. a young girl to get him right. Period. I don't That's think crazy. he's in public with it because he it's gonna look crazy with his right. going no, from his not. He's gonna, gonna, be, he gonna be right up there with Leo on the beach. Wait, wait. <laughs> he's not gonna come public, not gonna come out public with his girlfriend. It's gonna look crazy. No, you you might be right. He might not come public, but you don't think his girl's like the reason why she's leaving him because she wants to spend time, like she wants that affection. So she's gonna go find that somewhere else. So yeah, gonna, I, I, she ain't gonna I, find I, it. I doubt, I doubt him or her are gonna be public with their next thing. It's not like, yeah, yeah, it's not sure. like Kim and Kanye, where uh, Kim's business is having things to talk about with what she does. Right. Like her getting a boyfriend just was a business move. Giselle, right. ain't, Giselle ain't gonna say this is my new boyfriend. That yeah. that this is gonna make all the blogs talk and it's gonna bring attention to me and my kids. They about to be low key with it. So no, you're right, Alex. You're right. Alex, who do you think's gonna have an easier time finding somebody, Giselle or Tom? Bro, uh, she's like a she's a millionaire too, bro. God, dog, it doesn't matter. 
No, no, it's a legitimate question. Who do you think? It, it should, it I, should I be, it question, should be I, Giselle. It should. Hold on, hold on. I think, I think your question. If you asked me, who do you think is going to take longer to find somebody, or who's going to be more picky? G- like Giselle's going to be more picky, I would imagine. Exactly. So Tom, yeah. it would be easier for Tom because for you to be out of, for you out to of date, his own volition, out of his own volition. For, I'm saying if they you, want to. For you to date Giselle, you at minimum, it'll probably have to be worth like fifty million. But you do understand Tom that Tom Brady will date any hot chick from freaking Starbucks. But they can both have anybody they want. Uh, no, no. They both can. Giselle is not no, dating some no. dude. From hold on, Bond. Hold on, Bond. Maybe Giselle don't need to do that, bro. She's so rich that she don't need to go find another man. She's like she's so saying, rich like, that she can find somebody else that got old. Well, then, then that then that would defeat the. If she don't need to find another man, that would defeat the purpose of divorcing in the first place. No, no. He's, he's saying no. making an item. He's saying making it an item. All right. right. You can you can have attention and affection from somebody that you don't make official and only call. Yeah, if, if Giselle went from Tom Brady just to get being a just being a jump off pipe down, that would be the most disgraceful thing in her like career. Pipe down. Yeah, but she's looking for attention in the exactly. She's looking for for an actual mom, relationship. Or maybe or maybe she's just heartbroken that you know the love of her life chose sports over her and her children. I'm about to go to bed. Oh, her, uh, bro, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Alex, you don't even know anything, bro, because the children came home and said that they want his dad to play football. Well, yeah, the, even... the kids are, I could definitely see the kids um, finding pride that their dad is literally one of the greatest athletes of all time. No, but they wanted to, like, when they had, That's like, a little, school. when Tom Brady took 11 days off in training camp, the, the kids agreed that dad should continue to play football. They don't have a problem. Probably because probably they tried to, hu- tried to hug him and he pushed him off of him because he's like, I'd rather be in practice. <laughs> No, he might cut his soles on the lip. He's trying to pick up his daughter and spiral her across the field. But the crazy (laughs) thing is... You know what's crazy, Alex? Tom Brady's never missed any training camp. And for him to miss 11 days shows you how much he cared about his family. He tried to go... 11 days. Bro, but he never did that in his career. So to say that he don't care about his family is crazy. How old is he? The crazy thing is this. Most men aren't going to retire at age 46. And yet oh, yeah. Brady's going to retire at age 46 after this year. He has worked and in she, that position, yeah. But I'm saying, like, most men have to work to Bro, age and, and yo, and yo, 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 Bond, He's you know what the funny thing is, Bond? And complaining. Yeah, no, Bond, Bond, do you know what the funny thing is? He's going to be a TV analyst, and, bro, they travel all over the fucking country. That's what I say. He has the so what's the difference, Giselle? What's the difference? He's not going to be there three well, days. Well, his body's not going to be at risk, though. He's not going to be going retarded from commentating on games, <laughs> Thing, this is the thing. I think y'all got me confused. I see both sides. I see his side and her side. I don't have. I don't have a dog in the race as far as the relationship. Hey, he, he but you looking like a raw wild out here, bro. Hey, Ooh, yeah, so, hey, so bad. Hey, don't poke no bear, bro. You might get bit. Shout out, Jack. No, just no, no, adds no. to the statistic, though, that women file eighty percent of the time. <sighs> Wait, yeah. Why did you think a bear would bite? Usually, a bear swipes. Jack, what made you go with bear? Can you leave me alone? Bro, you know he like he liked the Grizzlies. That's why he liked the Grizzlies. Duh. Fire. Don't poke no more. Jack is a bear. He's cuddly. Oh, he is. He actually held. He actually picked me up and held me. I can't believe that happened. He wanted to dip you in some sauce, nigga. <laughs> he was looking very <laughs> nuggetish that night. I ain't gonna hold that you. That was funny. That was funny. Yeah, that was funny. Wanted to dip you in sauce. Well, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If I had some sweet and sour by my side, nigga, I would have been in trouble that night. <laughs> I mean, he already sweet enough for you. Give me some secret sauce. Some sauce. <laughs> I got a homegirl of mine saying that now. What secret sauce? Yeah, every every time I see her, she be like, "You got your secret sauce." Let, let her know. What's your, I girl, what's your, what's know your girlfriend think about that? Oh, uh, my beautiful queen does not have an opinion on that. She doesn't know. It's not. It's nothing. It's a friend. Uh, what you do? What you tell her? Uh, it's, a, it's, a friend, it's a friend of mine. Man, it's a look at look at this man. It's a platonic Ooh. friend. What the world? Um, so when you date women, friend, um, when you date when you date women, you don't have women friends. Hell no. Oh, Hell no. We're different. Oh, what, 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 what? I'm not. What? I'm not cutting off a friendship. Alex, does your girl get bothered by that at all, or no? Listen, his was... girl will never admit it, but his girl's bothered by Alex going to take pictures at random times of the nights, taking fucking pictures of bitches. You know his what? You know what? Never admit... Because I'm not gonna talk about it in here, but you and I, maybe not you and I, I've talked about this in the Discord before. We've all talked about this before. All right, we have, we have, I'm not. Have. I'm not about to say it on Patreon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold hold it it. Hold it. Hold it. He's not even in here, bro. First of all, but hey, play, yeah, place. Hold it down, nigga. What? 
Right. All right. Well, You're possessing. I, 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 I will say this, Alex. I have many girls that I've been <laughs> friends with that I used to date one way or another. Mm-hmm. Once they get one married, way. it's understood that we do not follow each other on social media. We don't talk anymore. I think that's weird. But now you can't even follow them. Damn. No, hey, hell no. The temptation is there, brother. W- 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 would you would you want your wife still following her her ex that dicked her down? Uh yeah, you got a point, I guess. I mean, a... I mean, how would you know? I think you can't. Like, so for me, like, y'all know, y'all know Cassie. Like, that's my like Boricua sister. But like, I would right, never, right. I never saw her as like a like that. So that's kind of oh, like oh, yeah. that. Your your friend's sisters. Can oh be yeah, cult. That's yeah, cult yeah. classic cave. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that she's the she's right, the right. goat, baby. Shout out to yeah, that's my people. That's the goat. Oh, you know her yeah. and Katie used to date. Yeah. I saw the so <laughs> Blaze. She told me she was like, "Yeah, you, you uh." She said she was like, "You should know him." I was like, "I don't know KD, but I, I've heard of him." And I said, he was like, "If you ever need somebody, well, no, nah, I can't do that, bro." Why, why'd you put in good word for him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. yo, 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 yo Alex, <clears throat> hold on. So what happened? Listen, I gotta tell you the story about KD and and Cassie, right? <laughs> so, KD, you know how K- yo, hundred percent. I'm gonna ask you this, right? Does has KD ever messaged you saying, "Hey, if you ever get depressed, if you ever need help, here's my number." Blah blah blah. To go to what he, you mean, he's, bro? That's what he. That's what he writes to everybody. That's what I was saying. Okay. So, like, right. They were all like yeah. taking shots at KD, like, "Yo, I'm like, yo, yo, Cassie." I said, "Listen, don't listen to these idiots in the Discord right now. They don't even know KD." Oh, that's weird, Blaze. I said, "It's only weird if you didn't know KD." But K- I was like, "Look it, I'll even share my screen." What, he said the same exact thing to me two days ago. I'm like, yeah, "I don't know KD. He's harmless, bro." I said, "Yeah, he's, he's good." To me Good news. Sending me too. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, have any, I didn't have anything good or bad to say when she sent it. I was like, I don't know him, but I was like, that's. I mean, it's... that's why. That's why I don't like. Oh, Cassie around. understood. Nah, Cassie understood. She's like, nah, I get it, Blaze. I tr- I trust your uh, trust your uh, opinion. And if you say that's what it is, then that's what it is. I'm like, don't, you don't even got to worry about it. I told her. That, that's a that's a good point because I always hear all the time. It's like, oh, I don't like what my boyfriend says or like what he says to do. I'm like, then why are you with him? Like, if you're with a man, you should trust his judgment and say, look, maybe wearing that's not the best idea, or going here is not the smartest thing, or doing this or doing that. Like, if you're combative against that, then you need to break up with that man because you don't respect him enough or value his opinion enough. Yeah, there's a, there's a difference between having a conversation about comfort levels and stuff like that. There's a difference between that and controlling someone in a certain manner. That's just, that's just a matter of communication. I mean, it's not, it's not controlling. No, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's making a suggestion. I'm saying the conversation can go. You can have the same conversation, and one person walk away with saying you're trying to control me, and then you or you. Well, can... Women are always going to say you're trying to control me. That just is what it is. If, if they, if you want to do something, they want to do something you don't want them to do. They're always going to pull the control card. Oh please, that's what I was going to say. That's why I don't like them battle rap dudes he be around with because they be taking advantage of them. Wait, wait, yeah, say yeah. it again. Say it again. That's why I don't respect. That's why anytime he brings those battle rap dudes to judge the battles, I already don't like them because a lot yeah. of them are taking advantage of them or. They like, I th- no lie. I think they only come over here because Jack has an audience, and for them, they just like, all right, that puts me in front of more people. I I, I don't like how they be. Oh, but yes, you're right, Alex. Hey, you're a thousand percent right. But also, I like, got no fucking audience to be. Honest. Nah, but uh, they, they nah, try. but but Alex, but Alex, yo, but KD's persistent, bro. Like he'll listen. I've seen DMs by certain people. Like he'll stay on. Like he'll ask him a thousand fucking times, and then offer him payment on top of it. So. Like, damn, all right, so they end up coming. Bro, you don't think people in the Discord take advantage of him mentally, playing games with his mind, disconnecting him, talking about shit, and then acting like it was somebody else? Really? Are we going to pretend that Chop don't do that? There's a difference. Wow, why are you going to tell him? There's a difference between what? him coming in here and laughing and joking, arguing, playing. Bro, it's not laughing and joking when he's actually upset about it. He's legit told me he's upset about it. Blaze, he'll... He'll sit here and argue with you and say he's going to kill. Just a few days ago, he threatened to kill somebody and then say, you know, I love you, fam. Like, he knows it. In absolutely. Day. Absolutely. I, I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying we're over here, like, the I'm over here giving KD the win for a battle when he didn't deserve it. No, yeah. that, that's playing with him. Is, the difference is those people take money from him. That's the difference. That's what I don't like. That's why I don't. That's you're why you're right. You're right. You're right. Like I'm not. I, mean, I'm, no, you're right. I don't kind of the same coin, but one is just to no, me but, slightly but, more egregious. I can't, I can't even say what it, I want to say. No. There's a difference between be okay. We talk to KD damn near every day. There's a difference between us riling him up and playing with him, but also knowing that this ain't a place to 
don't nobody actually, you know, don't wish the best for him and stuff like that. There's a difference between that and him only, I'm only interacting with him when he hit my cash app. I come in here for 10 minutes, say some BS, and then I leave until he hit me up with another 30 or 40 now, That's true. That's true. That's what I'm saying. We actually talking with him or I've had conversations with him on the phone outside of Discord. Like, there's a difference. Me too. Me too. I just don't like when they take, I don't like when people take advantage of him. Some of that stuff he put on himself. Like, some of that stuff he do too much and niggas should be like, all right, bro, you're doing a lot. I've even said that to him before. I've had a conversation with him about he needs to, like, chill out on certain stuff, but he you know, but, him, but, 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 I'm not going to lie. I, I, I unfriended that nigga after he did that. That, that shit he did where he just sent everybody a message and it's like, I'm like, all right, bro, you just, you being weird. So I just unfriended that nigga when he did that shit. <laughs> The reason why I didn't is because I know that we know oh, that take off. I'm not taking why did I say take off? We know that uh KD views us as like a little safe space or whatever. So right. that's why I don't be like I guess that's I don't have kid gloves with him, but I, I approach him in the manner that I know that he can handle type stuff. If that makes sense. Kid gloves, nigga. Just say I mean, yeah, you know, I don't treat he a grown man. I don't treat him with kid gloves, but I understand how he perceives it stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know how we yeah. all treat him. You said what? How we all treat him. That's what I'm saying, but yeah, I and and knowing that, that's why I don't like them battle rap dudes. They come over here and I'm just like, Y'all niggas like take money from this nigga. Like that's weird. Hey man, so the Jack. That's good. I mean, I mean, hey. I that, mean, that, I'd rather different. me get that's the money different. than so severe. I mean, no, that's different. Jack is actually spending time hosting stuff for him. He's that's a service. And I talk to KD like every day for like literal hours. Like, that, there's a difference between. See, that's the thing. Jack makes money from this. Jack, anytime he goes streaming, that's an opportunity to make money. So if he's gonna spend two, yeah, and a dirt half, three, if he's spending two and a half, three, four hours, and he has to host for him, that's working. That makes sense. These niggas are just coming over here and not listening to the rounds on their phone, talking See, about stuff. And nah, just, you're right, bro. Nah, Jack, I give you credit, bro. Pushing you know, you know, you know them flyers when they have like tough, bro. You know when we had like such and such versus such and such on the flyer. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell y'all who, but he told me somebody he know charged a hundred dollars per picture, like hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I think Tony said you. he would do it for cheaper, <laughs> or or maybe it's Tony now that's doing it for him. No, no, no. Bobby Bean to be making them down charge that much. They might say like ten, fifteen dollars, but somebody was like really finessing is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but Jack, let me ask you something. What What do you say to the people that that say to you that Jack, you don't really do shit other than hit a timer and the judges and the battle rappers do all the work? He's the host. I take time out and make sure, and I, I got to make sure everybody there and all this other extra shit. On top of that, it's his platform. No, it's KD. He owns it. No, it, okay, so Bro, I'm joking. I'm joking, obviously. Oh, Come on, don't do, that. don't do that, King. Don't do that, King. Concocted. All I'm saying is, bro, we know what it is. When them, that's why I don't like them niggas off rip. That's why I be giving them spice as soon as they get in there. I'm just like, nigga, I don't know. Alex, I play devil's advocate. I've Go never ahead. heard you, I never heard you uh, express that you hate the battle rap guys until they picked you to lose the match. I'm just being real. Some dudes, I think they, they do it out of the kindness, <laughs> but yeah, some of them niggas be exploiting. <laughs> No, no, I, I only, I only started saying comments when I peeped it. Now, keep in mind, months, months before that even happened, KD kept saying that he has a whole different community of battle rap people that he with. I didn't have a problem. I, I don't care who you hang out with or talk with. It wasn't until that we were introduced to some of them that I realized, oh, these niggas really don't fuck with you. Yeah, bro, because like even yeah, you know, they, they, like, yeah, he won like because he just had better flow or something like. All right. Actually, we'll call the lyric. They want no shit, bro. It's, like, All right, bro. it's not even that. It's not even that. Blaze, I would, I would go to these channels. I'm, I don't know if y'all actually cared to go watch, but KD would send me links of videos of other channels that he was on and doing interviews. These niggas yeah. were making fun of him. Niggas was calling him a pedophile. Niggas was calling him a transsexual. Oh, that's, cool. that's what I'm saying. Like they were actually. No, no, no. You're right, Alex. Yo, when he called in on on, on bro, Norbs is a dick sucker too. You don't even know Norbs and Hollow like. Yo, and he's like, yo, Hollow's like this, and Norb's like, yo, yo, this is the last time I'm doing this, bro. I'm sick. I don't feel good. This yeah, I that. yeah, I watched bro, that. And, and Norb's is like, come on, man. You know he ain't, you know, you know, you know, he's not all there, man. The dude's a fucking, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, damn, bro. He, that's live on radio. Like, and, it's, that's and, and, and that's Norb's. Hey, hey, send me that. I need, to, I need to see but that. The judges, the judges that he be bringing, I went to their channel. Niggas literally had like, I mean, I stopped watching because they weren't entertaining, but 
for a good 15, 20 minutes, they was talking about how this, they was talking crazy about KD, but he was no, like, it's a certain dude, I don't know the dude name, I was trying to tell KD, like, bro, that dude don't fuck with you for real, bro. At all, but they, but they quick to take money and say, yeah, man, I, I, I'm a big fan of KD, like, bro, I just saw your channel with four other random niggas in their basement, like, literally spitting, like, I, I didn't like that. I just don't like, that's why I don't like them. I'm like, bro, I don't yeah. like that. Because all of y'all talk, all of y'all hang out, all of y'all are part of this quote-unquote battle rap community. Y'all niggas want to be Jay Black. Y'all niggas want to be all these other niggas. Y'all corny to me. Well, if any of y'all got some of those videos, say them to me. I'd have to so go on my like H, H2N2. I, mean, I think it's a video. Video. Really awesome. These are, This was like almost a year ago when I was watching. That's, what, that's oh, why okay. I've been watching so long. As soon as I saw the videos, I was like, you know what? Y'all niggas lame. And it's like, yeah. you can't really say shit to him because when you do it, just... Because he... Well, well, I, 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 I don't know, know him before, but he no, you, and what, yeah, he, yeah, it's like, you, you can't really do much because, like, he don't, he don't get it. Of course. And that, that see, and at that point, that would make me hands off, like, because I get it. Like, I mean, he, 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 he had, he had way get the shit, but he don't be wanting to believe. It's like if you, if you, if you got a sister and your, her boyfriend beating her, and you trying to hate like you need to leave this nigga for you, but you, and it's like ain't shit you can do, but just like just let shit happen. But you would never be able to tell him nothing about like a nigga like Norm, right? Like, what you gonna say, like? You know no, what like mean? that's like, what I'm saying though. You can't. So it's like at I'm that not, point, I would just get hands off. Like I don't even want to deal with the shit. And shit, that, that it's that gonna piss me it's off. It's gonna piss me off, and I'm ready to go off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of us have done that, but it's, uh, there's also an element of it's kind of like one of the things where, like, okay, I not saying I can pick on. It's kind of like when you have somebody that you can joke with, you can mess with, but I, that's because I have built that rapport with him. He knows that this ain't come from a place of malicious intent. We right. can play with him a certain way that I, I don't like when I see other niggas play with him like that because he's not seeing it as jokes. He's seeing it as. These niggas support me, uplift me. They believe in me. Fuck. No, and they being genuine, right? That's what I'm saying. Like it's 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 one of them things. And I guess I'm a hypocrite with that, but yeah, I feel like I could play with KD. I don't think you could play with KD like that. And I don't think that you actually don't give a fuck about him. Like, yeah, because we actually care about KD. Like we don't want him doing stupid shit. But they don't care as long as he keeps sending them money. That's all they care about, right? Bro, I spoke to KD on the phone for at least two two and a half hours. Like. A week ago, like uh, he just he was all fucked. He was like talking about why. Oh, what the fuck? All this I thought I beat this nigga. He's back. Yeah. Are yeah. you playing Shadow Mordor? No, I'm playing Tales of Arise. Oh, Vern Yo, y'all hear me? Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, Yo, my mic sound better. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, why well, I do that? Well, I'm saying, yeah, I, I, I can't deal with that shit, bro. Y'all, no, no, I'm using the Steam Deck online, baby. Oh, this mic sound. Really? You put it on the Steam Deck. Here's what you have. Yo, but Alex, about that whole talk today, bro, like, you know, I, honestly, when Bond is, like, going in his bag, like, you know, you know when you just start, you get a sugar rush, I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, but, like, I agree with some of the shit you're saying, bro, but, like, it's, it's just a difference of opinion, bro. It's like, it's, yeah. No, no, I'm not, I'm not taking that nuts hard. At the end of the day, it's just a human experience. You can take what you want, you can take what you want from any situation, statistic, and apply it to yourself. It's It's all about, you know, at the end of the day, whatever, not... relationship, whatever relationship you get into, that's the one you get into for the reasons you're in it. Not for that's not for me to you know dictate if that's bad or if it's rooted in. Yo, this dude <laughs> just fucked my balls. Yeah, Why? My, my girl be substantiating a lot of those statistics too, because she works in she's a lawyer, so she works in family yeah, like you gotta. family and law. And, yeah, and I'm not I'm not above like there's been times when my girl has I mean in the past three years you know you. I'm, I met this woman when she was 22. That's 22 years of living experiences, ways of thinking, friends telling her this, family, familial experiences that she came into the relationship with that there were times where I, was, I had to nip that in the bud. Like, there was conversations I had with her. I'm just like, look, we're not going to be having this rhetoric where you just feel like this is a status quo or because I'm a man, I'm at, I'm at the drop of a hat willing to cheat already. Like, so th these are real conversations that I'm not saying I'm perfect and my relationship is perfect because I date someone my age. Like it comes with it. Um, I just, it's, it's funny because women cheat more now and <laughs> especially younger women too. Like I said, like, like I said, it, no relationship is going to be textbook by the book. This is how it should be. You know, see, no relationship should be textbook. Cause it's like, ah. no, no, not two, no two people are the same. So it's like, you can't base your relationship off of other people cause they're not you. 
that's and, that's, and that's, that's what I said. No matter how old you are, you still have to learn the relationship, whether they're older or younger. The um, that's why the after dark people hate the relationship talk because they just like nigga, this don't apply to me. This is a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I agree. I agree. Don't nobody. I mean, I used to watch Kevin Samuels because I thought he was funny, but I agree. Oh, yeah. No, I don't nobody, like, nobody want to hear I mean, about how, what you think a good relationship is. They'd be like, nigga, talk about some friends. Well, well, once, you, once you've watched Ted and Kevin Samuels shows or 10 Fresh and Fit shows, it just becomes entertainment after that. Yeah, yeah. I no, mean, like, it, I was, it becomes I was, annoying to me. It's not entertaining because these women are stupid. He nah, likes, it's like, sometimes, sometimes they say stupid shit and it's like, mm. all right, that's stupid. But when they're giving you facts and like real shit, and it's like you just ignore well, it and just act like it don't apply to you, it's like all right, then at this point you want to well, be single and unhappy for the rest of your life. Well, the point of them being stupid is this: that's the modern woman. That like all these shows represent. Like it's no coincidence that a nigga in Atlanta, niggas in New York, and niggas in Florida, Miami, the girls are all saying the same things. That's the whole purpose of it. This is the modern woman, and this is what men have to navigate around. Jigga, Hence, I've said, fuck, fuck American women. I'm good with the foreigners. Jigga, I actually got to a point where um, when I was working at uh, Kohl's part-time, I was back there in the Amazon by myself. So mm-hmm. I just had my earbuds in listening to, I'd be oh, up for hours, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. so I started at the bottom of Kevin Samuel's YouTube channel and just Man, worked. that's an overdose. No, but I, by that time I was already watching him, um, and I because I wanted to see. I was like, man, what was he talking about before he got this influx? Of, you know, so of course that's why I'm just trying to, to help men. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm able to. Oh, that's why I was God. able to have that lens of like I understand, you know, how we came to this. But I got to where I was skipping the interview part. I would hear the monologue and then go to the next video because oh, by yeah, that time yeah. the, the conversation with the women they're just redundant. Like once you've heard one, once you've heard one talk with five or six mm-hmm. guest callers, you've heard them all. So that's why I listen to the monologue, get my entertainment out of it, and then move to the next video. I do agree. More men need to listen to Andrew Tate, bro. Start working out, bro. That's the first thing. I agree. We as men should be, I don't Jacob? know, bro. You just ready for, in case anything happens. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm saying the that. The so thing that people are upset about Andrew Tate is, again. No, it's fucking it, fire, it's, Jack. It's the apex fallacy. Yeah, I heard one, that. One nigga that makes three hundred million, and now every woman thinks that every man's gonna be Andrew Tate. I'm like, no. Hey, Jack, shut your fat ass up, you like me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Yo, I'm back, brother. Yeah, my bad, Jigga. Man, I definitely felt better. Like, in terms of, so I can't even blame the pandemic. It was on me. I gained the weight, and I said. All right. Oh, nobody gonna... put the weight on you? Like, nobody put yeah, the weight like, on you? Yeah, like, that was my fault. Like, we take accountability over here. So, I, right, once, I, once, I realized, once I realized my eating habits was bad, I was like, okay, I'm going to eat less because that was my biggest issue was portion control. Change my portion control, and I'm also going to do intermittent fasting. I've already lost, like, at least maybe 20 pounds, something yeah, like that. Yeah, can you listen to this or Every day. You know what I'm saying? That fat shit don't work for me. I have to actually go and work out to lose the weight. Yeah, can you paying attention to what he said? Intermittent fasting is so easy to do now. Like, I don't even think about it. Like, I don't eat after 7 o'clock. After 7 o'clock, I don't even get hunger pains anymore. Like, that's how easy it is for me. That's what you got to do, bro. No, I say the best thing to do is just work out. You you only eat two meals a day, uh, TJ? You said what? Two meals a day or what? What No, I eat three meals a day. But, I like, so before, I would eat, like, Three meals a day plus like six snacks throughout the day. Like I was oh, wild. Snacks. Yeah, yeah I was you fucking. Bodybuilder. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I see what fucking. you're saying. So yeah, I, 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 eat, I, I eat mad snacks during the day, bro. You know where I eat the most at nighttime, dog. I'm up yeah. all night. That was and my I'm biggest hungry. issue. You know what? Boy? I my biggest issue. Staying up That's eating my... late. Like it's kind of wild. Discord is the reason why I be eating it late at night because I be talking and we just like I'm just drinking sodas, eating snacks. I mean, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here looking at some like some snacks right in front of me right now. I haven't touched this since uh, uh, seven o'clock hit. Like I don't have to. Like I'm good. Like I don't even think about it. Like I just see is it. Is there like a voice in your mind saying like eat, nigga, eat? Nah, it's just hunger pains will come because after yeah, like yeah. after seven o'clock, my that, my body was just used to like eating. Jack. That's because it's, your it's body not even. Your body, it's, it's not even hunger eating pain. at certain spots. Oh, but, but it's not hunger pains. If to me, it's fucking just you crave. You just be craving yeah, like a yeah, chocolate yeah. bar, bro. It's habitual. Your body just get used to it. Yeah, your body's body acclimated always. to it. Oh, so, yeah. so once like it got used to me not eating after a certain time, it was like, okay, I know what's going on. So now no. I don't get that. 
I'm like that right now. Like I weigh 150. Oh, this, this, this is, I'm only five six. This is the heaviest I've been since 2018. But I I don't look big. Like I'm. I, that's why I don't know if it's half of it. I don't know if it's muscle or. But I'm just used to being around like 135, 136. So now I've gotten back to where I'm like, because I'll run two or three miles a day. Damn. Or like I'll do you know push up. You really get on the elliptical. I, I, no, I, I need to start running. Do you start running, bro? Oh, all right. I, 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 I really do. need to start running, bro. I'm getting like do cardio, bro. I feel like I'm so out of. Oh, I feel no, bad. Yeah, I, bro. I do. I do that because I I, I never want to be in a situation where I'm just like winded or something. So I've always ran, but I need cardio more than anything. Bro. I'm getting to where I'm. I'm getting to where I'm trying to eat maybe max twice a day as well. Because my issue is that I just eat because I'm bored. I just right. go, I'll just go get right. food or get some candy or some drinks because I'm just chilling. Right. And I limit I limit the amount of calories I eat. So the max calories that I might eat throughout the day might be like fifteen hundred at best. See, I don't need I don't see how y'all keep track of that. I just go off of how I feel. Yeah, I'm not doing calorie counting. Fuck all that, bro. Yeah, but like I, I used to have like, like a light. Breakfast. I mean, you pretty you, y'all pretty healthy. You and uh, Blaze, Alex, y'all pretty healthy. Nigga, bro. niggas count their breaths like oh, I just took a big breath. That had to be about. I'm that. not healthy, bro. I feel unhealthy. You know what it is? My cardio. I feel like. Yo, I be having, like, I'll pound my girl out for, like, a good 10, 15 minutes. Like, like, like my hardest, bro. Pound my and after, girl. after I know, I'm like, I'm like, bro, after I be nothing, I'm like, God damn, I'm, out. I'm like, I'm like fucking out of breath, bro. I'm like, oh my gosh. not out of breath, but I can feel my fucking, I don't know, bro. I should work out for the day. Hey, did y'all see, uh, did y'all see, uh, Russell Westbrook have a good game? I heard. Yeah, yeah, ain't honestly, no way. Yeah. Ain't no way he had a good game. The for Lakers, real? Bro, they tonight. got a whole compilation. Did they win? They won. They got their first one. Oh, thank God. Fire, what's their, fire, what's their record fire. now? They, they are one in five. five. God! I don't need them to convey their pick to the to the uh, old buddies. I just, the I, old just hope, buddies. I just hope he keeps it up because if he's making a layup and he's dancing after a layup, I know his confidence is shot, boy. Imagine you in the NBA and you dance because you made a layup. That's crazy. Now you know it's bad when he yeah, tried to shoot nice a mid. He, he, got the, the, he goes nice layup. <laughs> you know it's bad when he tried to shoot a mid range and don't nobody try to cover him. That's how it was like oh, yeah. And I like I like Russell Westbrook. I I do hate that this is kind of like his how his legacy is winding up though. Bro, isn't it funny his name was Russell Westbrook? Mm, you put like Leave six. That's a hey, Chuck was whooping your ass, boy. Yeah, he said Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, 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 was, that was a signal, bro. That was Blaise, definitely the signal, bro. Not me. Please, that was your that was your one H dog moment for the night, <laughs> bro. That was a that signal, was, my dude. That, that, that was your BG moment of the night. Yeah, man. Apparently, Russell Apparently. Westbrook has bought <laughs> Naughty Dog. Or... Apparently, oh, that's the heat, man. Fuck. The apparently part is the best part. Yeah, uh, H-Dog never know, never has confidence in what he's reporting. He, <laughs> I know. He's, like, wondering, what am I, what is my video about? Or... <laughs> so when they call him wrong, he'd be like, I told you. He just, he just be wrong it. as hell sometimes, but be so opinionated. <laughs> and why does he keep tagging me in everything related to fraternities on Twitter? Like, he'll randomly be like, I don't see you out there stepping. I'm like, nigga, that's not my fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, like, randomly tag me in some noop or q dog stuff i'm like bro i'm an alpha bro i set up self-promotion in my discord uh, literally the only person that uses that because bg if he posts a video he just posted in my general this dude h dog flooded that self-promotion where like nobody else wants to post shit in that shit yeah, yeah, but i watch his videos because i want to support um i don't support that i'm subscribed to him yeah me too you just i'm just sub i'm sub to h dog bro but i, I don't watch this shit i'm not gonna he lie he just needs to back <laughs> up like his camera his camera is like sitting on his lap like you need to back up Did y'all he needs a haircut he needs a haircut too i told him that. i got him right with the haircut i don't know if he's still be getting it though i told him that he was like yeah that's something to think about i'm like no nigga do it don't think about it move no, the camera nigga, back do it. About it. now apparently he's got no <laughs> Man, you, 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 did, you didn't get him right. That nigga look like a used sponge. Right. <laughs> man, One thing man, about Ace Dog, he gonna make some. Uh, he gonna make some commentary on some black news. Yes, sir. I remember when the Will Smith and Chris Rock said. He said, "Now, how does this make black people look in the Hollywood space?" So, <laughs> and then he tried <laughs> to get into it. <laughs> Hell no, bro. You want to know how Ace Dog is like? 
a fiend for like anything black media, right? So we set him up in my Discord in the NSFW, bro. We had a fake link where I think it's still. Let me see if it's still up. Fake we link. put <laughs> it was like a Twitter post, and it was like, "Look at this amazing black queen." He put a fire emoji. Like there was mad other posts, he didn't touch it, but we put just like a, you know, you know when you leave a link and it says like what a description of what it is. Like we just put. Let me see if it's it's in there. That shit is so hilarious, bro. Watch. You know, on his Instagram, he used to post, like, um, Chocolate Woman Wednesday. Like, he used to post stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. No, but the fact is he liked the post just because of what it said. But if he would have clicked it, it was just a picture of a hot dog. That's all it was. <laughs> he just oh, left wow. the fire emoji on. <laughs> hey, maybe he wanted a glizzy. You never know. That is Isn't hard. Is it, that? A, it was a picture of a hot dog. That's all it was, but it said Black Queen at its finest, and yeah. it's just a picture of a hot dog, but we set him up just because we knew he was going to put a fire emoji like he did always does. Did y'all see that picture of Hardy's PC? They got a naked woman inside of his PC? I yeah, see that. Yeah. That is hilarious. <laughs> the Bro, that's, the, uh, that's the AIO. Yeah, that's... You yeah. Know, he probably just figured that out, but them shits have been around, but that shit's fire. I definitely want He that. is so funny for that, bro. Look, I know he said... If you got friends coming, look in the case. You're going to see a whore. I got a whole whore in there. Yeah. <laughs> got a whole whore. Imagine yeah, you put oh Jack in that shit. Got this a guy better whore. not have a third. This guy better not have a third form. A third leg? Oh. oh, yeah. Got a whole whore. It's a uh, fake-ass Sephiroth in this game. Oh, you're talking Yo, about... You oh, want to see my setup, Alex? Look at this. You, you find the crazy dude? Bull arm or whatever. Yeah, Alex, look at this, brother. So if you take your camera on, you yeah. got clothes on. should be like five or six by then, right? Hold up. What's up? Is that how many people have in your party? Oh, number one. I have the whole hey, party. Go to uh, HBO channel. No. I'm watching the highlights, my guy. Mm -hmm. So I got my Steam Deck hooked up. Boom, HDMI. You see? Yeah, I had to oh, charge yeah, my it. Steam Deck, man. That shit. That's a list set up, bro. Bro, it's not bad. Just for my work. Fuck it. So that's, so that's why you're not playing Call of Duty with me. That's, that's cool. I'm not. I'm not. I'm the yo, Alex. Watch, Alex. Watch this video on the Discord. Oh no! Oh my God! The, these are the, these are what my, my friend says. What, what we're dealing with is super villains these days. Super villains. Damn. Watch it be a watch it be a Brazilian woman with a BBL. Fuck man! Uh, you posted it in a game in uh, Bond. Uh, That's whatever. Let me go see. Uh, everybody can see it. Men try to play the game. Oh, let's see. Let me see. Oh my god, why is her lips so crusty? Hold up. And she <laughs> smoked. Or or oh you're in Blaze's uh Discord? Who did I post it to? Uh, I don't, I don't see it in Lovin' Will. No, he posted in the game in the gaming, in the gaming uh, section. It's... Yo, I'm so ill that I'm on my Discord on on uh Steam Deck. Just with a mouse, a little bootleg mouse. It's just lit, bro. Oh, this chick? Oh, I remember that one. Oh, no. But she's got to be playing. No, girls are really serious these, these days. Like I said, yeah, women women, women in college are demanding like two, three, four hundred thousand. Women that are older, 35, 40, with like three kids are like demanding even more. Like, this is why most women, they, they project, um, by 2030, more than 50% of women will be single, childless, and unmarried. The thing is, is like, why are those coming down to money all the time? Because that's what women want. They I mean, want the, thing the things I'm hearing online, like, real broke ass in person, is not like that where I'm it's, at. It's, it's not. It's not it, about the it, money. It's, it's the, the lifestyle. lifestyle. That they want. Yep. What Here's they want a lifestyle. lifestyle. Before women wanted the money to secure the family. Now they want it for the bags, the lifestyle, the Instagram, the clout. But what That's lifestyle? What I, I keep hearing that phrase, but what lifestyle? They, they want the internet. They want the internet. They want to be able to stay at home job and not work and spend yeah. money on shit that they want. That's it. So, yeah, they, they want, want to be able to have Balenciaga shirts and bags. Yeah, and yeah that's, that's all they want. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. Yeah. that. <laughs> I, I've, I've had they get girls. Because when you say that, they get offended. Yeah, but I've you, had you, girls not like me, but since their friends like me, the girls change their mind. I've had friends like, I've had girls like me, but their friends didn't like me. It's like girls literally like go with what their girlfriends say. Oh, so like like I, I remember when I was growing up, being a gold digger was like frowned upon. And I was like, oh yeah, frowned. now there's like YouTube <laughs> channels how to do it. Well, saying that you want to date somebody with six figures just means you're a gold digger. You know, you know where the disconnect came in, Jacob. I think, um, 
obviously with social media, people see things. Yep. See like, girls. They, not, okay, not, a, not a good way that. to put it. A, a lot of a lot of people. It's like keeping up with the Joneses mentality. They see people that they follow who have a certain lifestyle. They're like, damn, I want that. They like that but right? they don't understand the fact that you don't have the same you're resources the as that person you're following. You're not in that same category as the person you're following. Like, that's not realistic. Exactly. And also what makes it worse is the fucking reality shows. Yeah. That don't help either. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Flavor, Fla- Flavor of Love was the best reality show of all time, but it opened the floodgates for fuckery. Yeah, I'll never forget where that one girl hottie tried to microwave the chicken. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that shit might have been scripted, though. I mean, it was, it was it was people tell her all the time she was like Beyonce. The thing yeah, is, like, is nah, that nobody tells people, you that. The thing is, people need to realize not everybody can make like a hundred thousand a year, even like eighty thousand. That's not that's not real life. You know what I mean? Money is not floating around like that. I think niggas realize like we. I, I, I think a lot of us here understand that. Bro, yes, you have to have. I mean, I don't want to speak for all uh, Say disciplines it. and stuff like that, but yeah. I just know at least in Arkansas, nigga, for me it's to not... make for me to make seventy five, eighty, ninety, a hundred thousand as an engineer, they're only giving that to senior level, maybe mid level niggas that have five, ten, fifteen years in the industry. Starting <laughs> out, nigga, I'm in starting out engineering. You not making more. You'd be lucky to have a job sixty five thousand straight out of college, yeah. no experience in Arkansas. Like they did pretty you, much put you at fifty five to sixty. Did you do any internship? Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I, before, I wait, wait before, before you answer that one, what what's your degree in though? Like mechanical. What type of mechanical? Gee, you come down where I work at, man. <laughs> I, I interned at NASA, but they don't care about internships. They want to see, okay, where were you at that you were employed and made money for somebody? What can you do? Like like um, um, my job, uh, we we'll call them co-ops. They, yeah. from what I understand, they get paid, and at the end of their internship, they can uh, get a job. That's if they want to keep them. Yeah. Well, the majority of them come. You yeah, know I mean, because what, I mean? Cause what, the, what they're trying to do is uh, get you indoctrinated into their system to where it's just a transition of okay, now you're just a full employee and we pay you salary. You already know yeah. what to do. Now, I, now, 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 I don't know how much they get paid off off rip. I, that's I never really inquired on it though. But that's my to, thing. They don't get paid a lot. The co ops they don't get paid a lot. Well, yeah, because like 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 at my job, you know, it's it's you know, you got to earn, you know, you got to earn it. You know what I mean? You can put an offer up, but it's kind of like they have a whole bunch of engineers there. You, you ain't the only one. So like, not to mention, you know, you got a growing wage. You know, you can't be getting paid top salary when you just started. You know what I mean? So I have no problem with it. I have no. Yeah, so my, yeah. I wouldn't even look in that. My thing, I got a job. I had a job uh, as soon as I got out of college. I don't even like what I do. That's why I'm looking at other jobs. But my whole goal was I need to have a job to get some type of experience to make my resume competitive. Like, yeah. I can't I can't just not have a job and just keep applying and be like, hire me, hire me. They're going to be like, nigga, what have you done? Your internship in 2018 is not going to cut it here. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, like, like oh. I, I know what you mean. Cause like, even at my job, I can make, I mean, I, I make I make pretty pretty good money. I'll I'll put it that way. But if I wanted to make even more, I'd have put in more time. And I, honestly, I ain't trying to be there more than uh, than eleven to ten eleven hours already. You know what I mean? So honestly, honestly, and I wouldn't even really nowadays, bro. I'm really not trying to be at a company for more than four to five years. I might I might want to move around and you know. That's the best option you can do is move around. Like that's yeah. how you make more money. Yeah, because that yeah, way. Yeah, yes and no, though. But like, if it is, I, 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 after a while, you got to settle somewhere, and then like, I mean, start, start look at retirement. You know what I mean? If you like where you at, yeah. But, yeah, but like, I, like for me, like for me, like I've been, I've been where I work at for next year. We said next Wait, year. That was the final boss. No, nah, there's more bosses, man. I don't know how many hours you have in the game, but anyways, um, special bosses are next. Oh yeah, well I beat everybody in that game, but like. uh I've been hold on, like, hold on. We, oh, not to interrupt the conversation, but Foreign, the fake ass Sephiroth is the final boss. I don't think so. Wait, wait, wait. Was was he was he in in, in that, that 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 sky area, that sky base? Yeah, he was the dude that like kidnapped the chick. I remember, man. Like you went you went to that other world, right? It's like outer space. Yeah. Take yeah. I think so. Yeah. Like, like when when you fight him, he's like in the back room, right? He's in the back of the room. Well, damn, that's a weird way to end the oh, game. 
Is there gonna be a, is there gonna be a direct sequel to this game? Uh, watch the credits and the credits kind of like close it all up. I guess you would say. I said I'm playing, but, I'm playing house builder. But, but like I was saying, Alex, um, or just anyway. Everybody... I, and I thought there were seven sovereigns. We only beat five. Well, then you're not done yet, though, because I, I don't know where you're at exactly. I gotta see it. Like, yeah, I'm on oh, IGN. It says he's the final boss. Well, like I, said, I beat everybody, even all the special bosses. So. But like I was saying, like come January, I'll be where I'm at for 17 years. So God, what do you do? Uh, I want. I don't want to say because I don't want you guys trying to go to my job or anything like that. And like, what I is your like, work like, field? You know, I, work, I work. I work in manufacturing. Put it that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, weird, so like, like, like I, can't, I can't afford to travel to your job. No, <laughs> I can't. But the thing is, is like, like I'm ready to set up for like, re- like come retirement. I can retire at 20 years, but I'm not. I, I go to 25. You know what, big guy? Now you're gonna make. Really fine with you on that, just because it's getting. Huh? Better. I mean, yeah. If that if that makes sense for you, like, you know. I started when I was twenty three. I'm glad. I'm glad you found a company that you found worthy a while for that long. Yeah, as I'm saying, like, like for me, it's like, like, it doesn't, but like, like you say, you you gotta shop around to you find something for that me, you like. For me, yeah, like, like where I'm at, I like where I'm at. I like what I do. You know, and I can move up, but the thing is, uh, I don't want to deal with bullshit, so I don't want to move up. That's pretty much what, what, what where I'm at. Like I have the, all the opportunities to get go to the next promotion level and while, whatnot, but the next promotion level just means I spend more time there and be more stressed out just to make more money. And it sounds all well and good, but at the same time, I don't want to be stressed. You know what I mean? So I don't want to deal with all the bullshit. My issue Even is that right I, I huh? my issue is that I'm in a sector of the industry that I don't really care for. Like I'm in sales. I'm not a sales. I don't make commission. I'm not a sales engineer. But I'm like project. I'm a project engineer, so I just help the sales guys make their sales with like, you know, selections, you know, HVAC systems, design protocols. I'll, I'll go out to the field and, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, it just doesn't, I'd rather do something in design. Like I want to be more creative with my work. This whole, like I, that whole buttering <laughs> up niggas and, 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 you know, working hard just to get a sale. And I don't care. I'm, nigga, I'm, this ain't pursuit of happiness. I don't care. Like I want to. What's, what's, what's big in Arkansas? Like, like, is there like any big manufacturer there? No. They got H. You said what, Jack? I don't know. They got H back. <laughs> they got the freeway. And that's the thing. If I wanted to say, huh? So, do you think we a civil a civil engineer? Yeah, yeah, if I, yeah. If I wanted to make a lot of money or have a lot of job opportunities, I'd I would have been a civil engineer if I wanted to stay in Arkansas. For my position, bro, I gotta move, bro. I gotta move to a bigger city to get more money and more opportunities okay, so, so would, would you would you would you be opposed to maybe working remote no i'm definitely down for that because like, like the reason the reason why i say that because a good friend of mine um he he's an engineer i, I don't know what which exactly feel but uh he was working remote and he couldn't do it like he's, he was like i'd rather be in the office that's that's just him though but i could reach out to, i could ask him who the business is and then maybe i can give you the contact and look into it you yeah, know what i mean sure. Yeah, I mean, and on top of that, I'm also not looking at my next job to be my end all be all career. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. yeah. The, the reason why I have a struggle, not struggle, the reason why I'm struggling of like wanting to stay at this company is because if I stay in this position, I'm going to be staying in a sales oriented job. Like I need to go somewhere where even if it's entry, if I'm learning, I mean, I've used 3D modeling programs before, but yeah. I need to be somewhere where I can walk off and say, hey, I know oh, how to use oh, this product. Oh, guys, I got to go with that, man. No, All right, I'm on. I got I got to go to a job where I can say, "Hey, I know how to use these programs and or, you know, this or that." If yeah. I just if I just stay in this position, oh, oh that was the second person that left. Oh, yeah. Claire Bondley. But isn't somebody else recording this or no? No. Nah, no, it's just him. He he had uh, two different things recording at one time. I don't want to get lined up. <laughs> I don't want to jinx us, but usually in my mind, when I be feeling like it was a good after dark, I be like it's gonna get corrupted. Yeah. yeah last like... week was real good. He had a little break, movie good. breakdown and all that, and then I nothing. know, man. What movie but, was it though? No, nah, we were breaking down Halloween. Well, we broke down a few oh. movies, but Halloween Ends was the main one. Oh, oh yeah, Black Adam. Yeah. No wait, no, we didn't break that down. You might see that movie yet, or no? I did. Not yet. I haven't Is seen it. I, saw this. I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. Well, shit, better than Shazam or what? You know, um, yeah, I feel like Shazam might have had a better story, but this one had a better, had way better action. 
Well, yes, yeah, because of the rocks in it. Is that why? All right. But no, they just did a really good job with like the action scenes. The CGI looks amazing. The visual effects in general. Just, they did a really good job with this movie. Guys, a week and a half until God of War. Let's go. Uh, let's talk about it, brother. Y'all looking for that piece of crap game? I mean, that game? <laughs> yo, hold on, yo. Oh, uh, Jake, how you doing so good, brother? What happened? You're not, well, pl- I- not going to play when it hit PC, Jake? Nah, because like to me, God of War ended on three. Ascension, Ascension, I played that, and I had to return it because the whole story threw me off. And so three to me is the best one. Me too. You're real close. Don't get Ascension. Yes, sir. Do y'all and, uh, I never played eight to twenty eighteen. I didn't like the layout. I didn't care for it. The whole over the shoulder thing. I didn't care for it. I could have sworn that Call of Duty just said it's selling my game info as it was loading up. Hold on, let me screen record this. <laughs> I, I swear it just said <laughs> selling game info. Accident. Hold up, let me say the last five minutes. You playing on PC China. or what? China. Oh my God, I probably missed it. Let's see. Well, China. Yeah. If you, if, if you have G Force experience China. on the Shadow Play, you should be able to get the playback. Hit Alt F10. Oh, I didn't save it. It got it right before it said it. He hit Alt. Um, um, you have Shadow Play running or no? He's on console, bro. Oh, never yeah. mind. Well, I just see. Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, on console. Nah, man. Uh, so is I that? Swear it says selling game game inform- <laughs> selling information. I swear it said that. I mean, so is that the last game coming out this year, God of War, or no? Nah, Callisto Protocol is the last one. Ooh, I'm oh, ready for this. Yeah. Am I streaming those games? Evil West ain't coming out this year? I know it got delayed. No, nah, it does. Yeah, Evil West comes out in November, too. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that one. Yeah. I need to see more games. It's going to be on Game Pass. That's the only way I'll play it. I think, I think it might be. It's a flying wild hog game. It might be. I think the Volvo Digital publishes it, so it might be on there. It look, it look cool, but I need to see a little more gameplay of it, though. It was a little more, because it seemed like it was kind of gimmicky. I was like, okay, so what's what's going on? It says it'll be on Xbox. Let me go check. Oh, no, it's not. It's a Focus Entertainment published game. It might not hit a Game Pass. Dang, I wish the best for Oh, maybe we should do outros until, uh, just in case he drop out again. Catch me in the fast lane. I don't know that ain't, that ain't me. Yeah, you want to hear me say that. <laughs> All right, this is a uh, hashtag free me. Uh, you know what I always say, man. Rag them and tag them. Fire. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Uh, this is Jay Got. Catch you in the fast lane. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Bro, I really like that one. I think you should like lean into it, man. You're going crazy. I'm, 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 I might. I might. I need, I need some sound effects, though. Oh, you, know, you make, need some tire screeching before you. Now, that would be hard. That's screw. I just need to um, do this. I mean, is the soundboard key download that or no? Yeah, you can. You can get free ones. I got, yeah, I'm sure you I got, can. Uh, oh, Blaze is the same one, I'm pretty sure. Blaze, can you do your soundboard and just have a, a screech tire sound when he pull off? You do whatever you want. Or until well, we get that. Oh, you need to do it, though, brother. Until we get that, you could just be like a uh, putter, 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 like your car is running off or something, or I don't know. <laughs> no, I ain't doing all that. Man. <laughs> 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 all right, yeah, well, there you have it, boys. After Dark Cast, three people, yes, sir. Oh, uh, you really uh, doing outros? I thought that was a joke. No, because he got he to gotta end this at some point. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so, yeah, it's TJ Combo X, man. Catch me on two Real Fulfills podcast. That's about it. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you do sub to the channel, I think she does have a short where she talks about the God of War giveaway. I am the one giving away God of War Ragnarok. So just sub to the channel and comment on that short, and you're good to go. Hold up. Y'all doing a Blaze 4K Jack New Stimulus package? You see yeah. that, right? I ain't even know nothing about all that. Okay, TJ, yeah. when you do it, can you just say verbatim? And I and I don't even do this. I don't even do this. You know, I, giveaways, it's nothing to me. It's nothing. <laughs> That's basically, I kind of said that, like, when they, because the chat was like, oh, you're too nice, and you got money. I said, I ain't got no money, man. I'm just doing this just because, you know. Blaze so. really set the blueprint. You, love you know, I won one of those money. giveaways from Blaze and Jack. I never got my uh, gift. No, don't do that. Oh, man. <laughs> I never got it, bro. I DM Blaze. He blocked me in my old account. I never got it. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. 
Nah, but I'm really giving away God of War Ragnarok. So it'll like whether <laughs> you got PS4, PS5, yeah, we doing that. TJ said, oh. I hate that it happened for you. We are, we do good business over here, King. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> just, yeah, Puerto Ricans, we do right by people, man. Don't worry about it. I'll sign up for that giveaway so I can just bury the game when I get it. Ooh. Damn. If I see your name, I'm making sure that you get skipped. I ain't going to hold you. You'll yeah, probably that, God. <laughs> Should I have a video of me burying uh, Battlefield 4 and Destiny in my backyard? You have a video? Can you please share that? Please get it Do right you mean close. burying it as in you're talking shit on it or burying it as in you took it out back and... I buried it. Wow. And it's in the ground right now, still. Nah, I'm not giving away the physical copy. It's gonna be a Wait, code. This nigga gonna be stomping on a piece of paper like it's the uh, what's the movie Office Space? But it was like beating up the fax machine. Which battlefield is that? Uh, uh Battlefield Four. Is it still in the plastic wrap? Uh, no. Hold on. If one I second. pay you, can you send that to me? Hold on. <laughs> I'll send somebody Battlefield I'll, I'll 5 and PS4 for uh, free right now. I'll pay for the labor and I'm dead. I'll pay for the labor of uh, digging it out too. Pause. How many views Pause. did that video get? People like shit like that. No, I, I, added another view. View. I just added another view to it. My channel, my channel's not even that big, man. Nah, but people gravitate towards shit like that. He threw that. Battlefield 4 and Destiny in the in a grave. Oh, you Listen, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to that notion. It was like Man. Battlefield 4 was like so broken. I was disappointed with Destiny. It, it, Battlefield 4 works perfectly now. Destiny got a for what Battlefield did. They do legit bury some games. Yeah, Battlefield 4 works very well now. Like even then, like they have Bro. fixed it within a few months. Please, please send me this game. Battlefield? Whoa, whoa, this game? No, <laughs> game. I want this game and that game. Oh! <laughs> Do you still have a PS4, Jacob? Yeah, it's in. It's, I put it back in the box. Oh damn! You don't even touch it no more. My PS3 like still out there. Frog. My my PS3 is like legendary to me because it it's it's like the old one that has the all bag, the got, you have the fatty. Can it run got, PS2 games? Is it that, that version? Yeah, it can be PS2 and PS. Yeah, I got the that one in my garage. One. I got that one in my garage right now. Yep, it's the original one, man. I keep it inside the house. So everything else goes in the shit. <laughs> Even my Dreamcast. Got it on my Dreamcast and my PS3. Yeah, I see well, why he said Hey, uh, Blaze, what, what was the whole thing having uh, Dreamcast guy as a thumbnail on your, on your, on your podcast? He's just lame, just, dude. We don't like him, dude. Really? I was just trolling up with the mouth open and shit. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he does kind of weird uh, thumbnail. He's been getting slandered lately. I actually uh, feel bad. Did for the elbow him. drop. I did an elbow <laughs> drop on that nigga too. That <laughs> thumbnail, by the way. Got it on my PC and my hands were all. I don't understand why people do the weird ass thumbnails with their mouth open, like they're getting something stuck in their butt or something. Uh, yeah, when yeah. I see that, I just hear them going, "Oh, that's what I hear." I don't feel <laughs> like, like, like chop. <laughs> I be making fun of BG for that shit, bro. Yeah, that's why I like BG. Don't be doing that, man. That's like, don't do that. <laughs> Cold feet, all them journals, man. Stop doing that. A lot of dumb shit, right? Yeah, this the new BG. Old BG would never do that. Yeah, yeah no. The, B, the old BG should make fun of people that did that. Yeah, now BG here he is. He moaning his video pictures and stuff. I was like, dude, like, why are you doing that, man? That's on, like, just go out like that, man. Sound like he's singing that Game Pass song. <laughs> hey, that song's dope. Got it on my PC and my Xbox. Need any smooth to drop another hit? What another classic? I need to get a feature for, on smooth, yo. It's about that time. I need to get that. Still waiting for Omega Loser to pop back out with another record, man. Cause I know what time it is. Every time you rhyme, it's just a sign that you about to kill. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Have you ever had somebody sing your bars at you because they believe that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all the time. I know what yeah. time. Oh, look at it. take off. You mad? You mad? Like, Every time he rhymes, it's just a sign that he's about to kill. We be singing take off bars too. I don't know why you. We yeah, be we, shit. Be, we be singing your bars from the mountaintops. Take off. <clears throat> Is that, short is that a fake? Oh, one time, do you have, do you having that? Like you hate hearing your, I hate hearing myself. Uh, like on a song, I hate, I hate hearing that shit. 
Um, I go through phase like when I first started recording, yes, but I go through phases with it. Sometimes I don't mind, but then there's times where I like I'll hear it and I'll be like, ugh. But well, how did, just um, what did you say when you heard yourself go, I'm crazy? <laughs> uh, sir, that's a great song. I did a good job. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, so when you heard that, you was like, yeah, 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 um, yeah, man. I was like, I'm crazy. You, said, you said it with yourself, he's crazy, yeah. <laughs> I need to get back to the recording. I, I, I wonder. Because, like, I have that Reason Studio software. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Yeah. I wonder if... I wonder if it's possible... Let's say, like, one time was like a rap over a beat I made, right? I wonder if it's possible if... You make beats? I used to. Yeah, I used to. Oh, I need to hear that. I need that. Nah, it's, 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 it's like 10 years old. I think he used to make beats, too, but he stopped making beats. But, like, I wonder if it's possible for me to, like, do a, re- do a recording session, like, on, on Discord, like, I can play the play a beat back and can record your voice like live like this. You know what I mean? No, nah, it wouldn't work. There's a it delay. Yeah, really? There's a delay we, with we it. Yeah. Yeah. We can always record this um this audio and send it to you. That's true, that's true. But like it's it's easier to just like you know what I mean, going back and forth. One of the most random things I've ever heard about Tick is that he randomly posted he recreated an Aaliyah song one time. Mm-hmm. I think it was um a, we need a resolution or more than a woman. He's he recreated a beat. I was like, why do you ha- why do you still have this file? Oh, that's he a Timberland fan. He had to he had, he had to do it one time. No, yeah, no. I'm just I'm just was surprised that he still had it. I wish I knew a nigga who can remember beats for me at a moment's notice. I yeah, I thought Red Pick was that guy. But he's I, not that say, guy. Yeah, I wish he's we not know, that guy. <laughs> we know a nigga that can copy and paste a link. <laughs> Come on, brother. Too soon, too soon. Red <laughs> pissed me off because he'll actually make a beat that's like really good, but he was like, Yeah, I wasn't uh, feeling alle- it. Alle- allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, that too. But he'll he'll have something that should like sound good. He was like, I didn't I wasn't feeling that I deleted it. Like, nigga, what like what do you what do you Yeah, we, uh, we, we literally uh, got uh, no help that game. Hey Alex. What's up? God, I ain't know I had that many deaths. <laughs> I had the most kills and the most deaths. God dang. Well, nigga, yeah, I never delete the beats. I, I keep them. Because sometimes the, the ones I think that are bad, my friends like it. I'm like, huh? Exactly. That's why you should always I'm keep like, them. I'm like, what are you seeing? I was like, man, I wasn't even feeling it. Like, no, tap man, in, man, I'm pretty dope. Like, tap okay. in, tap in. Who, me? I did all my yeah, beats. Man, I no, I, 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 well, for me, I got to reinstall the program, which is not a problem, but... It's been a while, man. Like, I don't know, if you're, like, like you know, like uh, rappers get like writer's block. Yeah, 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 so, yeah like, of course. As a producer, I called it producer's block. <laughs> like, yeah, like I, I, I couldn't like, like I wasn't, I wasn't as creative as I used to be. You really, you really fucked up the chance to say beat block. Yeah, <laughs> I was going through that for a while, but my issue now is I, I can't find any good beat. I've been looking on YouTube, Alex. I cannot find no shit that I like, bro. Yeah, I'm I used not... to, bro. I used to be you able to just search Jacoby. Up. I used to be able to look up young nudie type beat and find some fire. Now I can't find none. Right, all the shows I click on lately, they just they just don't be hitting, bro. Be ass. I'm gonna post I don't feel like going through recording. I don't feel like doing that shit. That too. Shit, man. Like 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 in the the room I'm in right now, in the closet, I had it all foam. It still actually still is it's all foamed up. I had a microphone in there. It's like you know, people were actually recording at my house and shit. It was pretty dope. So, wow. But it's been a while, like I said, it's been a while since I've done anything. But my but one of my boys called me, he's like, Yeah, man, you need to start doing it again. It's like, yeah. But one time, what type of, what type of beats do you like? Or you just it all depends. It really doesn't matter. I is is as long as I like what I'm hearing, I can find a way to write something to it. Okay. One time's flow is ambidextrous. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like amphibious. That. He could like bend that. this way, he could bend that way. Like those drill beats or what? He could bend over. No more no more drill beats in twenty twenty two. Oh, I hate the wah, 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 wah. They all sound the same. Like ghosty? Yeah. Uh, no, they uh, just all have the uh, same. All the movies are ass. They got the same cadence. All sound the exact same. Same tempo. And they got a random woman in the background. There's a random a random sample of a random singing and weeble, wah, wah, weeble. <laughs> That's ghosty, man. What are you talking about? I guess that's what it's called. It's just yeah. He makes he makes a, well. He's from UK. This is a UK drill. So 
But well, I, 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 think mean, beat, I, I think the beat sound cool. I mean, like, to me, they do. Really. Yeah, you hear it forty times a week. Yeah, you got a point there. Imagine, yeah. imagine listening to a Fabio Foreign album. You know, what? speaking of Fabio you know? Foreign, you know, like, all right, so like, like this, I think, I think Fabio Foreign put head on Pop Smoke, get him killed. Yo, That's right. what? Right. What, that is, like, what that is? I think that was his mask. Yeah, but like Pop Smoke was bigger than him. He was. Well, I didn't know who the fuck Fabio Foreign was after he died. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. That's what I, was, that's I don't know, man. That's his I, man. I, 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 he do the line with his song. He says, uh, "He Pop. said Pop was the king of New York. Now I'm the now nigga I'm in charge." Here. Yeah. Uh oh. New York niggas like is dirty. Hey, respect TJ. But listen, y'all think that's what's going on? Nah, well, I would like to believe guess. that. But, Ooh, what did Ice Spice yeah. say? You from Philly, so I know that we both from Philly, so I know that you dirty. Who, who the criminals are, are way more ruthless than any any New York nigga would be. Them niggas like he just got caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Unfortunately, like who were criminals don't they don't get along with no gang other than their own people. So yeah, yeah he was just. Yeah, he was just in the wrong place. That's, that's, that's just one of my conspiracy theories. I mean, I mean, you and Nation Dog should, 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 should make a collab video about that. What's this? I hear about a uh, Pop Smoke getting murdered. Yeah. Now, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently oh. there were some crips or tales from the Asian dog will take a whole post from TMZ and make a video with doing no research. <laughs> He's like, yo, this shit is I'm going to be fire, nigga. Now, apparently it was a bunch of crips and they're not handicapped, but <laughs> I feel like here's the thing. <laughs> hey, that nigga need to die to a lightning picture or something, man. Come on, come on, man. No, he just needs to put a sticky note of ideas. He be having free form, free form thought on a recorded video. <laughs> Who's this? Um, Ace Dog. This be all the fire, man. Ace Dog game and tapping. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm nah, sorry. Y'all posted that idiot. one time where he had like the finger guns and he was like biting his lip. I said, I'm never watching. Oh, bro, I got, that, <laughs> I got that saved in my favorites. Hold up, we go find it. I literally have that saved bro, in my uh, gallery. The video where he's reacting to the music and he's throwing up like little gang signs, bro. Yeah, that let me, me go find it. I got it right here. <laughs> what? Yeah, once I saw that, I said I'm never watching this video. Uh, okay. back on, uh, and where's that video? Let's see. The game dog, but it just seems like he's trying to fit in where he can get in. Actually. Yo, Jack, um, how did Malik Willis do today? Uh, we won. He didn't do too well. I'm oh man, like, I'm about to like nine passes. Yeah, he didn't do it. He threw a pick early on and he just kind of fell back. Oh. Derrick Henry won us the game in our defense. Really? Yeah. They Is he score, like, do, they do, he be screw, do he be uh, like scrambling and shit? Is he one of them type of quarterbacks? Like, he hold on to the ball too long, but um, he used to scramble a lot, but I could tell yeah. they be making, they be telling him like, you got to throw it type shit and that's Smith fucking him up. Because he had a couple opportunities where he could have scrambled and got like the first down, but he tried to throw it and he used to like never, bro. The problem never would never take shots. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He always, like, so he used to be like a scramble first, like throw second type quarterback. Ah, two niggas on your right, take off. Now he trying, oh. he trying to throw it first. I messed around. I was shooting at one nigga. He ran off. Tried to shoot the other nigga. I ran out of ammo. All the thing I'm gonna say is, I hope uh, Ryan Tannehill's uh healthy next week. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, bro, we gotta play on Sunday night football next week too. Oh my god, I keep having to reload. How do you get me, man? Need that W, man. I wish I had a sports team to care about. Alex, tap in, brother. You could be a Titans fan. I'm glad I didn't say that while Bond was in there. He would have called me. Or you could be a Cowboys fan. fan. Imagine being a Cowboys fan. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, man, well, you're, you're, you're a man with no learn, favorite team. Stop. Just, just be gay. Stop. Yeah, Cowboys <laughs> don't deserve anything, bro. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not a Cowboys fan at all. You don't have a team for real take off? You don't, you don't support no team? Not no more, no. Come on to the Browns take off, we got you. Hell. <laughs> this is the Browns won. Man, yeah. a man with no Bro, we, 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 got, we got fucking Jacoby Brissett, man. Come on. We. I actually want the Browns to succeed. I don't, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Some of us have to watch the Browns to succeed for some reason. Yikes. Oh, what's called? Come on, Jack. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say soon. It's not soon. He got about three. Think, think about it this way, Jack. We almost beat the Chiefs two years ago with Baker Mayfield. Now we got Deshaun Watson. What you think gonna happen? 
Bro, bro, y'all should have beat the Chiefs in that playoff game. What okay, but still, we we got to shine now. We come on. You just tell Jack to do the math. You do the math. Yeah, that's right. Crazy, bro. No, nah, I think that's when I stopped fucking with the Browns. When y'all had that opportunity, bro, and still lost. We got out coached. Right. Who's that bum ass backup quarterback y'all they had? I don't even know. What you talking about? Oh, you talking about the time? Had, yeah, they had that whack ass nigga at quarterback. Wasn't that Chad Henney? Probably. Yeah. Niggas like hey, uh, hey, Alex. Mm-hmm. Take a wild guess how many hours I have in my racing game. I don't know. Uh, uh fifteen hundred. I'm gonna say twelve. Not, 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 no, not, not, we're not there yet. I'm at oh, nine. Well, not there yet. I'm, I'm at nine hundred ninety-one hours. Wow. I got about I got about a thousand hours in siege. How long do the average race take though that you do? From a qualify about forty-five minutes. God, what uh, the, f- the race, that's yo? Yeah, because like, like, like part of it's qualifying, and then the race is qualifying is like 10 15 minutes, depends. And that's why you be, that's why you be stretching because you're sitting down in that racing seat for so long. Yeah, it get hot, man. <laughs> and then race is like 20 25 minutes if it's not a league race. So, how many laps? Uh, it doesn't go by laps, it goes by time. Like, it's like time, uh, 25 minutes. So, bitch. I can find out. Let me find out how many. How many your PC be good, uh, running hot? Uh, nah, not really. It's it's, a, it's on the other side of the room, so I <laughs> I can't feel. I did it on purpose. I can't feel it, but it still gets hot. But nah, the temp. You talking about the temps? Nah, the temps are fine. Like 50, 60 Celsius. Yeah, that's you should get one of those um vibrating uh vests. That way, like when you feel when you hit a bump or something, like get the you know them like interactive. They, they 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 have a it's called it's called a butt kicker basically oh. like yeah like like you know those <laughs> um base sh- base shakers yeah yeah it's the same thing but like um you can use it for sim racing they have a a program that runs it that'll do all that stuff for you but they got those, those in the movie theaters the uh, W Cinema has yep exact exact same thing but like they're like two hundred or something like that and um I don't want to buy it I don't want to buy it just yet I don't need to. Let's see how many miles I got. I think it tells you. Now that would be interesting if you could see all the mile, your total mileage ever in the game. You could see that. Oh, it's supposed to be somewhere. I'm, I'm looking for it right now. I know it's like I think it's like six figures what I got. Ah, Lee, nigga. It isn't kilometers. That's like, that's like actually having a car for years. So I, I think it is. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, where is it at? Uh, shit, I'm gonna have to add it up. All oh, wrong weapon. Tat, tat, tat it up. I bet she so, tat it up. All this is in kilometers, so... Yo, Jack, or, uh, take off. Have y'all tried them flaming hot Doritos? No, I'm hot. I don't, I don't no, like them. It's hot to me. I don't they way, they way too hot, though. I don't like them. I like them. I like them, actually. Spicy nacho Doritos is, like, the perfect, like, balance. Yeah, Spicy the, nacho the Doritos cool, is fire. The cool, ranch, the cool ranch flaming hot is so ridiculous, yo. Never saw are, those, are those good? Are those good? They, yeah. They're delicious. Man. That's why I got to stay away from them. Those, actually. I got to stay away from them. They're crazy. Hey, Jack, take off somewhere. They got these Cool Ranch flavored Lays. You fuck with them? Never seen them. Yeah, I heard them I, say that. I, 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 I had them earlier. They, uh, well, actually, open more. They, uh, they taste, kind of taste like sour cream and ranch. I mean, sour cream and onion. Mm. Bro, you tried the Cool Ranch uh, Flaming Hots? Fire. What are you just talking about? He just said it, yeah. I haven't tried them, though. Bro, I eat I, all I eat is flaming hot, bro. I'm telling you, I'm. You don't fuck with uh, flaming hot takeoff? Nah, I'm fucking with nothing, nothing. Oh man, flaming hot oh, Cheetos yeah. is the part. Like flaming hot Doritos don't taste right to me. No, they do. What do you? They, they put the wrong. Like they use the exact same shit they put on the Doritos, bro. Bro, like, they put. Don't taste right yeah, but there's so much seasoning I mean, on the Doritos, bitches, Jack. There's so much seasoning, bro. I know that's what they they took them the one Doritos that's over seasoned. You'll never hear me say that about Doritos. They over seasoned bitches, bro. They too fucking hot. Doritos, nah, Doritos, hot. before you open the bag, it make you say please to even have some seasoning on it. They be like, I say, know, say that's please, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> Did you get gone to another game, Alex? Oh, I, I I thought you got off the game. Nah, it kicked me out. Oh, okay, yeah, send me an invite. Oh, shit. Are you guys really in that Call of Duty, aren't you? What, there ain't nothing else to play multiplayer with. Hey, Jay God, you seen no. us the top selling game on Steam, man? How we feeling? Yeah, I saw it. 
I don't think it'll be there next week, though. PC gamers tapped in for the $70. You know, I, I started thinking about that. I was like, you know what? A lot of console gamers did come to PC, so... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, one admit it. That's crazy. Hey, man. I call... I call I, it is what it is. Hey, hey, uh... Oh, take off. Do we need to play the uh, PlayStation Store real quick? Are you... Hey. <laughs> I need to, I need to stay out of there. Fire! I'm gonna steal something. Oh, <laughs> fire! That's a good one. I need to drive with this track more. Here we go. Hey, Bro, I cannot believe it took me. Idiot! What idiot? Did idiot! Did it took me what? seven years to finish. Almost seven years to finish college, bro. That ain't that, that bad. Duty? That shit is depressing. You said what? It took Just my sisters like ten years to fit. Two of my sisters it took ten years to fit. They got college. masters. One of my little sisters do, and she it didn't take her that long. I mean, it don't feel too bad because I mean, mo- my degree usually takes five to. Usually, it's like a five year degree, but when you like drop a class or retake classes, that'll kick you out. It'll be a shame, man. Hey, man, slow and steady one direction, man. <laughs> Nigga, it's about the money, nigga. I was about, I, it was to where like it was like, bro, if you don't graduate this semester, nigga, ain't nothing. We, yeah, but now they, now they, uh, clearing through the loans, man. We good. Only twenty thousand. I got sixty thousand in loans. Yeah, what the fuck? All right, so <laughs> I, I <laughs> sixty thousand, yo. Damn dog. Hey yo, so I driven forty eight thousand one hundred twenty six miles. Jeez, bro, you think that's a lot. My friend and my friend in med school right now, she isn't even done with med school and she's already at like two hundred seven thousand. Oh my god. Yeah. Yo, so when they get out, they're just paying that fucking loan that back. <laughs> that's all they're doing. And now you don't have to accept every loan they offer you, right? If you want to stay in school, you got to. Hey, or unless you get scholarships, but even then it's hey, like... I just like about school because I'm, I'm I've been in and out of college for quite a while, but like it's just the fucking tuition, man. It's like goddamn. Yeah, I seen somebody on Twitter today. They were saying that a lot of people are going to school in Europe now because it's cheaper over there to go to school. Yeah, it's, it's it's almost as if it's designed for you not to go to school because it costs so much. It's like <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a lot of that scam, man. Respectfully, man. I mean, and people don't want like, people don't like community colleges. So a lot of niggas do. don't even get jobs in their fields either that they got the degree and it's like, bro, you. Yeah, not right. Waste some money. I I like community college. Just a few of them near me, actually. I, I, that's what I was going to. I don't see nothing wrong with no community college, but there's there's some people who are you like. You can always transfer to an actual university and finish your shit off. But, you have, you but, like, to but go to school in a university versus community college is almost like doesn't matter. <laughs> well, you have, it depends. You have to it depends. It depends. Sometimes yeah. the community college don't have the classes you need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. that's true. Yeah. It, it does just go there. A lot of people go to community college to get their basics out the way, and then once they get into their actual major, it's like, okay, I got to go to a university because they don't have some radio lab. They don't have all the, you know. Yeah. But they definitely got comp one and comp two, nigga. You can get that done at us. Shit, like, for, for my degree plan, I, um, I didn't have to take any of the basics <laughs> at all. Because really? I was going for uh, cybersecurity. Actually, I still am. The fuck? Yeah, man. I want a job where I could just do it at home if I can. I think he's talking about his game. I don't think. Oh, my bad. I'm playing that Call of Duty. Mm. Yo, Alex, did you think about um, applying to NASA for a job down there? I did. It's it's hard, bro. Like, nigga, it took me. I I applied to. It's just hard to get that job in there, bro. And a lot of that is like, so I tried to do their program. Like he was talking about the co-op where you. Uh, you work for them for six months and they go to school for six months and then you do that for like two years. Um, but I was already graduating. That's that's their way. That's their way of putting new graduates into their system is through the co-op. So if you just fresh out of college, you competing with niggas that's even though they about to graduate or just graduated, they've already been working there for a year or two. So it's like you competing with them on top of the niggas that got masters trying to get entry level positions at NASA. You got to think about it. NASA yeah. is the typical. You could be making sixty thousand dollars, but you tell somebody you work at NASA, it's like, oh my god, you what? Yeah. You know, like you, you know, that don't mean you're rich. That don't mean you're the smartest in the room. But it's a status symbol. Yeah, I was thinking um, the same thing. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of people. You competing with the whole country to work there. That ain't no downtown Dallas company. Like that is a. 
And a lot of people like that because just like the VA, uh, my mom, she works at the VA and there's a sense of security when you work for government jobs as far as like, you know, not randomly getting fired randomly because somebody don't like you. Or... So a lot of people get that. I actually applied, I applied to the state to work for the state before I got my current job. Because mm-hmm. they got, I mean, they got good ass benefits. They got good retirement fund. And I don't know, like you said, it's just, you know, job security. Like my aunt, she she works for the state. She working there like, shit, it's been like 12 years now. Like they got good job security and shit. Mm-hmm. That's what you want. Let's see. Nigga told me I went with that patient. He said what? <laughs> what, what he said you wasn't worth the what? The application. Dang, who told you that? Say it, nigga. <laughs> oh, golly. It's so fucked up because um, when I had my interview with them, uh, mind you, it's a virtual interview because we. Used, it was, this was like last year. Um, every time she would, so she would ask me an interview question. I would give her an answer, like they, you know, the quick, the typical interview. Tell me a time when type shit. I'm giving them answers, and the lady kept saying, like, um, "Do you want me to repeat the question or move on?" And I'm confused. I'm like, what the "Fuck is she?" I'm like, "I'm like, no, you can move on, bro." She asked me that after every question. Do you want me to repeat the question or move on? And I was like, and then, so mind you, the interview ends and uh, they're like, okay, well, we'll let you know. We'll email you, blah, blah, blah. I ended up not getting the job. But the whole time, I'm like, why the fuck did she keep asking me if I want her to repeat the question? Are you muted or something? No, no, no. So look, I tell my aunt this because my aunt works for the state, the job that I'm applying for. She was like, Oh yeah, that means the answer you gave them isn't what they wanted. To, it isn't what they wanted. They wanted you to give answer, a different answer. answer yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Then why did she? Why didn't she just say like, I don't know? It was just weird. Like I'd never had that happen before. This is what she asking you? Like, what's two plus two? Or no, she was asking me like, normal. Time that's what's crazy. Had they had them. They <laughs> had some same dumbass question every every. He time was asking me that. normal questions, bro. Like, tell me a time when or. um have you ever had to work with the team and 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 uh, like typical interview shit? And mind you, mind you, I'm I'm not like this ain't rocket stupid. science. Like usually when it comes to interviews, I do I do pretty well with interviews. The only time I probably not get a job is if I'm not qualified, like I don't have the experience or whatever. But as far as interview questions, I usually do well. So I'm I'm the whole time I'm co- I'm confused. Like what was she expecting me to say? I, I don't I don't know. I don't get it. I don't. Anymore, huh? That's probably one but, of the situations um, where they already knew who they was gonna hire, but they had to go through the process. Well, process, yeah. A chance, yeah. I mean, I'm not tripping because my job I got now is it's good, it pays well. But at the time, I was like, "What the f-? like?" I've never had that happen where somebody was like, "Um, uh, you know, like they, they didn't like they didn't like my answer." Like that's she made, you, she made you feel self conscious when you walked out. <laughs> no, no, I was just confused because I'm like, why did she keep saying? I thought something was wrong with her. I'm like, is she? Is she? Yeah, was wrong with you, like, nigga, so she would. So every. So she would say, "Tell me a time that you felt like uh, pressure at work to do something out of the, whatever." And then she, you would answer, and then she'd be like, "Do you want me to compete, repeat the question, or was she saying it before you answer?" No, she, at, literally. So she'd wait for me to finish, and then she'd be like, "Do you need me to repeat the question, or hey, no, bitch? Are you ready for the next one?" <laughs> <laughs> And so I guess yeah. she she just didn't like she didn't, either she didn't like my answer or she felt like my answer. Oh, um, uh, my, she she felt like my answer didn't actually answer her question. Uh, I would have asked. I would I would have been like I would have been like, am I answering it incorrectly or? See, that's the thing. I wish you. Right. Right. You, wrong answer, you, you, can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. If you're saying that, say? if you're saying that every question, I'm gonna ask. Right. I'm gonna ask. Oh, am I giving like you know? And, uh, See, this is the thing. During the interview, the I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I don't know why I was thinking this, but like, I, I don't honestly, I have no idea. I, I had no idea you why she was being asking. racist because you were albino or what? No, I'm just like, if I would have known that she <laughs> was, if, if I'd have known that she felt like she, uh, like I didn't answer her question correctly, then I would have restructured it. But that's not what she said, and that's not what I got from it. So I was just confused. So she was acting like weird. a robot. It wasn't a conversation. It was like a right. Like, it was a very like weird or something. Yeah, like it was very strange. Because if it was and a like conversation, I said, she would have been. She would have been like, well, you know, I mean, like, you know, can you 
you know, she would have told Mind you, you know, I, bro. You know, I'm 26. You know how many job interviews I've had? I've never had that happen. Like that's weird. Mm-hmm. Very strange. You ever, weird. Had, you ever had them with that? Don't call us. We'll call you. Shit. Back to the trap, nigga. Fuck you. Oh, also, also some shit I learned over the years. Like when I was younger, I used to think when they, when they give you the job right after the interview, that was a good thing. Some, but I learned later on that's that's not a good thing. That means they they was gonna hire you regardless because they need the help. Like, well, so, good point there. Exactly. Like. I like they never des- like, about that. No, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a known thing. Like, if they hire you right after the interview, nigga, that's like, I'm usually really a bad sign. That's crazy. It's usually a bad sign because it means they got high turnover and they need people. Right. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, yeah I, I always ask. Yeah, so, like, I'm an interview. I always ask, uh, what, uh, on what's the turnover rate? Like, why y'all hiring? Like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> You start asking oh, questions. Yeah. You a boss? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause, I mean, I mean, we're going there like you managing. Okay, I see you. I mean, I'm talking about, I mean, to be fair, I, 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 I was, I was told, and I didn't notice when I was, you know, younger, but as I got older, I was told that um, when you're going for job interviews, you should ask at least two questions. Yeah, well, three questions. Ask three questions. Wait, you two, yeah. Say, is there any questions you have? Every, right, every, yeah, every yeah, question I, I got yeah. is money related. I'm not. I don't care about none of those shit. I'm See, that's about. not good. Take off. That's not good. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta ask like, 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 always ask what's the number rate, like, what's the management. I mean, like, what's the like, uh. You, know, the you ask basic shit like, "What's the typical day like?" Or yeah, like, uh, a, good, a good one is like, "What was the person in my role doing previous?" Or something like, exactly. like "What is what is the role to fucking you know, up?" That, what is the role? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, no more. Good like, how is uh, how is how is success measured in this role? You know what I mean? Mm, that's a fire one. I like that, Kisa. Another yeah. one you could you could just ask them. You could inquire about the culture of the workplace. You right. Know, yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. What is it? I'd be like, what does a common everyday you know look like in this role? What is it more of a older demographic, younger? I mean, what is the? Yeah. But uh, I'm not a lot. I, I hate I hate job interviews, but all my interviews turn into conversation because yeah. I that's the that's the best one. Bro, that's the best man, one. Yeah. I be because I be making them laugh and stuff like that. So I be the conversation kind of flows. It, it don't even really be on no. I'm gonna ask you a question and answer. It's just we kind of talk about the job and the hard part right. for me is getting the interview, nigga. You know how many times I apply and just either never hear anything or I get an email Thanks. saying we decided to go with a uh, candidate. That I hate that shit. Or, hate that or that you know that's I hate. Some companies do. They do this shit now where they'll send you a virtual interview where you got to record yeah. yourself answering questions. Hey, no, trash. 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 Give, me, give me with a that's live trash. person, bro. Give me that's a live right, person. I got a virtual interview. I ain't never got that. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. There's you ain't some ain't companies that do that now. You ain't I've never Spark Hire interview. No, I've had a Zoom interview. I've never recorded myself answering questions. Yeah, there's some companies that do virtual. Like you gotta, you literally record yourself answering like pre-written questions. Well, that's because he's he working remote. Like it's most of the remote places they do that. But even still, well, they also did. They was. Well, I'll give you an example. One of the companies that first did it, in my experience, was uh, Chase. You know, the bank. I had applied to them. Back, this is like back in like 2016. Um, oh, that nigga was scared of COVID. That nigga scared. They've been doing them virtual interviews, but I think it's because they get so many applications. They just got to the point where they was like, "All right, we're just gonna you know sift, sift through this with some virtual interviews." But yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I don't like it. I I don't I don't like it. It's it's, it's like it's, it's more like you're taking a test for having an interview. Exactly. <laughs> From my thing, yeah, right. you know, interview is a test, but it, I don't know. My thing is the hardest thing for me is just getting the interview, nigga. Like, I remember, I applied for months before I got my first interview. Months, nigga. Just I heard nothing. Radio silence. Yeah, that's annoying. That shit, like, I think this shit is humbling, bro. Way harder to get interviews for, anyway. You said what? What you're applying for would be way harder to get interviews for. Oh yeah, probably. But I'm also I don't know, nigga. Like. I can apply for a job. I can have a degree. That's cool. And if Nandy, they gonna hire a nigga that ain't got a degree but been doing this for ten years before they hire me. Yeah, that's true. So I mean, I that's just the well, what, their own work experience though. Over you, uh-huh. is that what you mean? Like they got their own? Uh, yeah, like I can't experience. like I can't compete with that. Like they they'd rather have yeah. somebody that can say, oh yeah, I worked for this company, this company, this company, because they just went into the workforce off rip. I'm right out of college, and I'm just like, hi, I went to school. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of jobs they just 
they they don't want to train new people. They rather have somebody come yeah. in and already know the work. And that's yeah. what that's what they fall. That's what they. That's what's kind of what's annoying me about my company right now. Like they don't. They don't train. I learn on the job, but it's not like a training to learn how to. It's just. I don't know. I, that's why I want to go somewhere where I feel like they training me. Like, this is what you need to know now. Once you learn that, we're gonna teach you this. Once you learn that, we're gonna teach you this. Don't just like throw shit at me and be like, "Don't you get it?" No, nigga. What? Do you, what? Y'all ain't telling me nothing. I'm just looking at this. <laughs> I know what you mean, I mean man. I've been doing this shit for decades. I just got here. I'm right out of college. Like, anyway. Hey, one time, just be, uh, I just be MW two five five. Yeah, great campaign. It was really good. Right. Did you, you peep the, uh, the, the the Easter egg at the end? Yeah, that wasn't really an Easter egg though. If you played the game, you like, oh, I just I want I wanted to see them uh, show the face. Come on, ghost face. Yeah, his face and uh, uh, they don't care fuck Macaraw face. You see Macaraw in the last in Modern Warfare, original Modern Warfare two. Thanks for spoiling that big no, boy. No, I thought they were gonna change it or something. They were like. They ain't show it. You freaking Ghost. slobber knocker! Watch it. Spoil that for me. It sounds like this. So this, these games are obviously a different timeline from the originals, but yeah, they keep in similar in aspects of the stories. Yeah. So Shepard's still a bitch. Uh, he's still alive at the end in this game. Never mind. Yeah, he's just, he uh, off the grid, and he looked different. Same voice actor though. Confront and destroy Doctor Nefarious. Man, these fans oh, are... Red Peg, you missed it. I got kicked off the podcast tonight. Fire off the main podcast of As the Dark. Both, I, nigga. Both, yeah. Both. <laughs> bon, oh, bon, bon spoke his, his piece, man. Yeah, man. Oh, you this guy him? talks too much. He did that to Blandrew one time. That shit was hilarious. He pretty much kicked Blandrew off as soon as he got on the podcast. Why did you put start his own podcast? Yeah, we was asking about it in the, in the DMs. What'd he say? <laughs> Nothing. He's like, like, I knew someone's gonna ask me that today. Like, nigga, get to it, bitch. It's kind of unfortunate because I think if if Baron had more free time, him and Blandry, that'd be a great podcast to me. Fuck it, would not. Baron yeah. has a horrible mic. He um, has a horrible voice for anything. Nah, he just needs to learn wrestling. Or, uh, he needs to learn the inside. Well, he's, he's not so screaming, screaming, bro. He, 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 he don't have. Really. He don't have one. That's why it's a problem. Yeah, you from know. wrestling, he just he screams all the time. He theatrical as hell. Yeah. It is kind of crazy. The nigga, the nigga definitely got money to buy a better mic. He he's still rocking that old shit he got. <laughs> so I thought he was using AirPods. Hey, you don't do you don't know podcast. I mean, the nigga you know what he do. He ate the motherfuckers if he wear them shit. Know. You know but don't he, did he used to make YouTube videos? And nigga ain't got a better mic. He did, but the time he was making YouTube videos, niggas didn't care about shit like mic quality. They were barely getting into HD videos back then, like. <laughs> From different era, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas wasn't giving a fuck about the mic quality back then. Niggas was using sign language and making response videos to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube videos was fucking horrible back then. Niggas 480p and all type of shit. Let me see. I'm applying to jobs in California and shit, man. Oh, my God. Don't, hey, leave, don't leave me, Zay. Bro, I'm applying everywhere. Hey, come down to Texas, man. That, I want to, bro. I want to, but it's the thing. A lot of jobs are not posted on link. Like, there's so many jobs out here that you wouldn't even know unless you knew somebody that worked there that knew that they needed a spot. Like, not all these companies going out of their way to make a posting on LinkedIn, Handshake, Indeed. Like, you just got to know people. Let's go, level 10. That's how, like, I told you to ask my friend. <laughs> right, stuff like that, where it's just like, yeah. oh. They... Yeah, like, like, I mean, I know you're an adult. I know you probably heard this before, though, but it's, it's kind of like not what you know, who you know. Mm-hmm. And on top like, of that, that's, uh, that's every aspect of life, though. That's yeah, exactly. So I'll see what I can do. That, man. On top of that, with the way the world ended up, you know, pick, chop, take it on. I know I don't feel like it, but I guess they'll have like a like even at my job, right? A girl, a girl got fired, right? Oh shit! They didn't, they didn't immediately just go on a hunt spree of finding a new position. They just like, all right, well, we got to pick up that slack of work. Now, yeah. I, you would think, oh, let's go make a job posting. Nope, we're just going to pick up the slack. Like, there's a bunch of companies that have positions you can do that they just don't have somebody in HR or higher up doing the processes. I got more games beating you, Rip. Did, uh, Alex, did, did they replace that position? Yet, oh, yeah, they man. replaced it, but that's because one of the girls was like, I got a friend that needs a job, <laughs> and she just graduated. That's a prime example of what I was talking about. <laughs> like, okay, bring her. Is she hot? That's all they got. <laughs> right. 
She's not at all, but she hot. She good looking. <laughs> nah, that's my homie though. Hey, one time that uh that Mexico mission uh, when you're alone, fire. Y'all hopping on Call of Duty? Nigga, when you had the craft shit, that was fire. I actually didn't like. I didn't like that. You didn't like it? That shit was different. That was fine. I didn't like. I didn't. I didn't like the crafting mechanic. It just felt. It's, it was easy. No, it wasn't hard. Just, I didn't like it. I didn't like how they nigga, implemented it. And nigga, that more mission they stole that from Uncharted Four. I don't care what this this whole Man, game from Uncharted Four. Yeah, they in this building. Nigga, this whole game for like Uncharted Four. Oh shit! Bro, so, I'm trying to compare it to Uncharted. I got eleven Bro. kids. Why are you trying to say that only play out there? Everybody using it? Hey man. Hey, one time you can't tell me that that one didn't feel like that Madagascar I just section. get killed by. That shit was heat. I was like, oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It made me think of Last of Us and Uncharted. Yeah, I'm kind of done playing shooters for a little bit. Nah, yeah. play, play the MW it's short too. It's like six hours. Uh COD. I, I stopped playing COD. I only have two copies of COD: uh, Modern Warfare, the original one, and Black oh Black my god. god. I'm saying play play both play 2019 and play this one you're like oh shit oh hell no nah. god is like no, I'm talking about just a, it's just the bottom of the barrel but it ain't nothing else out right now uh, okay so like, like the type of gamer i am i'm like i am i need action like immediate that's why yeah. that's why i like those twitch those twitch shooters like, he's like an overwatch player so uh, I, I, I played it for a while i got like what 40 hours in it oh no first one but like I got, I was getting upset because every time I was like getting the loot boxes, hey man. I never spent any money though. But I was never getting like shit from my character, so I was like, "Fuck this." Y'all don't believe niggas. The the Call of Duty campaign is actually decent. Like, it's here, like, right to the point, nigga. This is a good uh, campaign. IGN giving it, it, giving it a six was kind of crazy. Six is crazy. Oh, no. I give it, like wow. a, I give it a right. seven to eight out of ten, bro. Can you say that again? And I'm a role play as a long game, Larry. Go say ahead. what? The campaign's pretty good. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. You think it's good? There's a lot of people still playing on PC. Like, imagine okay. you said your food tastes good. It tastes good? Do it really, though? Know? I my guy Larry Bear like that, bro. I fuck with Long Tongue Larry. Nah, that nigga, 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 yeah, he's Larry, Larry, Larry just might be bisexual, man. That's all. He said some crazy on EGS today. Now that I remember, I don't remember what it was though. I hate you saying that crazy. That, that nigga, he yeah, don't. Man. I don't know if he know when anybody else is talking, but that that nigga just be. Oh yeah. Constantly. Oh yeah. No way it took them three years to make this six hour campaign. That nigga talked like a New York person. He just he just talked out loud. What were they doing for six years? This game feels Make, very making familiar. a game, motherfucker. Nigga, so, this is, like, is this called like the last one for a couple years, right? For like a year. I thought it was like three years or some shit. Nah. They ain't losing that much. They ain't walking away. They ain't walking away from their money for three years, though. Right. <laughs> do, you think, uh, do you guys think that deals actually go through? It uh, does. I, yeah, I think, I think, I think it why would, would it not go through? I don't know. Sony, Sony crying. That's probably why. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There, it's a lot of people that don't want it to go through, but I think it will. It's not gonna. It's not gonna not. Go it's like like Sony's the only one crying. Nintendo's even care. Well, what's the last time Activision released a game besides like? Then you got kicked again, Tego. Activision come out with a lot of games. I'm talking about on the Switch. I'm talking about on the Switch. Oh, Switch. I'm saying. I land to the menu. Like Nintendo can legit stand on their own. Sony. Well, they still need third party help too. But everybody need third party. Chop. They didn't have third parts. Where them niggas was. That was that. That Wii U. I didn't show you online. I should be looking back. Yeah, I don't show you online either. That's interesting. Shit, the new, uh, the new, uh, what time you playing? Play? The new Switch is a Steam Deck. Uh, uh, are you playing COD? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I get on. I'm playing yeah, Assassin's Creed right now. Come on, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You know what's funny? I liked uh, Valhalla when it first came out, but replaying this, uh, this shit is not that great. It really is. Mm-hmm. It's, the, it's the combat. I'm not a fan of the. the but the, the uh, what's what they get a little grindy, but nah, you know, it's just not it's just not fun to fight. Like the combat it, don't feel as game, fine. The game is just long as fuck. Oh my god! What are you it's doing a, that whole time? His little hatchet, hatchet axe, little whatever the fuck he be having that shit. Try. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't like I don't like this shit. The axe. Not, I don't like this. Shit. And I don't like using the long sword because it just 
awkward. It's heavy. And, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's nice. I need to be on some Witcher shit. Speaking of Witcher, nigga, when that next? That's how the old Assassin's Creed used to be. You had an actual sword you could use. You know, one handed okay. sword. Like, yeah, I think I have to come one of those sword remake? bosses for a cool minute. Then turn the game off. He said, "What? They've been stuck on what?" Because I was stuck on a tutorial boss for a cool minute. Uh, for th- Valhalla? Yeah. <laughs> what what you difficulty was you on though? You was on the hard shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's why. God. I would never. All they do is it's not even hard. It's just all they do is put the health up. That's not that's stupid. I don't see how people still don't understand how playing on the hardest difficulty makes it. That's a not fun. Experience. That's not fun. If you're not making it's not a different experience, I just I don't think I, it, it, I'm not it, even necessarily a better one. I'm nigga, not even out of combo again. I'm nigga, just... if the AI is not smarter, nigga, they just getting more health, nigga. That's not fun. No, it, it depends, on, it depends on the game. Though, that's like, when the game isn't applying it correctly. I agree with that's that's the and most the games don't, and, mo, and, and most games don't apply the hard difficulty right. God of War doesn't. God of War didn't do it right. No, God of War does do it right. God of War scale that shit, bro. You it does ramp it. It does. No. The people, the only people that say it doesn't are people that didn't play it. Like, bro, they, all like, people, I eat you, nigga. You know how many? As you know how many see? Are you all right? You see how many people struggled on the first enemy, nigga, on that game? That's the problem. That they don't realize that once you get two or three hours in the game, it becomes it is way easier. Like niggas give up the first chance, the first sign of difficulty. That's why they're not having fun. If you stick it out till you upgrade like two times, it's cool. Like, nigga, I'm good. saying I'm playing as Kratos to be a god, nigga. I ain't playing as Kratos to hack. Something Kratos is also old as hell and don't want to do none of that shit no He's more. Still a god of war, nigga. Okay, but this is the thing, Red Pick. There were times in that story where he literally looked at them and got annoyed and said, "Okay, let me kick my real strength in." He did that multiple times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, narrative, yeah, narrative, yeah, it's not, yeah. it's not, it's yeah. not, it's not yeah. like it's not like he wasn't strong five minutes ago. The nigga just said, "All right, let me actually try for real now because y'all pissing me off." Point from yeah, that, no, point no, from, apart from apart from that, would be a god, nigga. No, apart from that, you wanted to feel like a god. That the fights will be over in in mere seconds if you really wanted to feel like a god. I mean, the fighting. difference, the difference also, it's like if you see an ant in your living room, right? You can look down and you can you can squish it with your finger and kill it, or what you gonna do? You gonna stomp on it, do the eight town stomp, gotta, and kill it? You gotta remember too, Kratos ain't been out of that life for a minute. He was also <laughs> right back. I'm your daddy type shit. Like yeah. that nigga wasn't fighting he gods. Can, he can kill him all he wants. He's just like bro. I'm not trying to do this in front of my son, for one, because this isn't what I've taught him to, you know, violence. I'm trying to, you know. That's you all refrain from that lifestyle right. until you had to revert back to it. You started the game chopping wood, nigga, in a boat. Hey, he just, yeah, he dealing with his wife just dying. Like, that nigga, no, the like nigga grieving. That no, nigga, grieving. Kind of no, no. It's called narrative and then context. Let me find out you like Tick. Let me find out you like Tick and all you want to do is uh, <laughs> rag him and tag him. I guess. Now, Red Pig don't be paying no fucking attention. That's his problem. I pay more attention than you, nigga. What are you talking about? Kill yourself. I pay mm-hmm. really much, Sound advice. Nigga, you thought you didn't uh, You didn't know that uh, lady in Ayla... Um, that Karaja was because was I didn't do her last uh, text speech, nigga. No, because you didn't pay attention, nigga. No, I didn't go back and do the last text speech. I just went you to the end of the game. No, 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 no. You didn't pay attention. Nigga, I was oh, one you... conversation short. I'm sorry. You find that out from context clues. She's like, me and... Me and uh, what's her name? Nigga, spell contest clues right now, and I will leave Discord forever. You can't okay. do it, bitch. D O N E E. Oh, you are. Uh, you uh, we you really good. We good. We good. Uh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said C O N P. All right, bro. All right. That, that, uh, also, J- J- Jack, you gotta stop saying Aloy is gay, sir. It's not confirmed. Until it's confirmed, we can't be. Saying Nigga, it. she. So, okay, let me get this straight. Let me just ask. Does she exhibit any other qualities that Elizabeth... She can be asexual. She can no. be asexual. You, you, you're trying okay. to say that cause, because she's wait, cloned wait. after a gay person that makes her gay. That's not how that works. No, but Gay people, no, gay but people have children that aren't gay. My, 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 point, my point is, one time, she exhibit. So she just so happens <laughs> they to They have different personalities. Every, okay, are you going to ask my question? Does she exhibit any other qualities that Elizabeth Sobek has? Yes, but not all of them. Okay. Hey, you, you really just let him say gay, ch- gay people have children that aren't gay, nigga? You just yes, they do. <laughs> the you, know, you know, you know, you know, one time, one time they ain't really paid both for no, so like, like, no. There are gay people that right, have straight is Dina, children, is Dina, bro. Is Dina, is Dina, is Dina, is Dina gay or bisexual? Like, what? It, like, 
Yeah, Dina's bisexual. Bro, bro, they're, they're clearly hinting, and the way she act, look, they put this in the game for one specific Jack, reason. Jack, there's dialogue, op- there's, you, you know, there's dialogue time, options listen. in Horizon okay, 2 where you can be time, nice to men. One time, hey, one listen, time. No, we, where are you at? We wait for and Ayla has never shown any listen. interest in a fucking woman in a game. Look, if you go exactly. back, if you go back, one of the big complaints about Horizon 1 was that she was very rude towards men and very nice to women, and she gave all That doesn't all make her gay. gay. <laughs> it does, it doesn't. It doesn't make her famous. They, it doesn't, but they purposely put that other shit in the new game to poke fun. No, at that they, I'm going to tell you why they, they do that. It. In the first game, why they did that? Because at the time when that game came out, oh, like 2017, brother. that's when Twitter was on its whole, like, super, like, feminist shit. And women are like, you know, they're trying to be independent. They don't need men. But they were they were not gay women. They were straight women that were acting like that. So, it's just, so it's they just, put it in there to... to... The they wanted her to be like. A, they wanted her to make her seem like a strong female lead character, and so that's why they. So why did they say the, the person narrative. she was cloned after was literally gay last game? What was the point? Okay, what was the reason that's, that? but you're trying to say that makes Aloy's game. That's not how that works. It, that, no, what I'm saying is that there's a good chance that her personality would lean towards her. Okay, being if there's a good win. chance, but is it confirmed yet, nigga? Why are y'all so offended by this? I'm not yeah, offended, I'm but you, you're spreading a you're spreading a narrative you, like you to create this narrative. Like, like, there's yeah. no definitive because, proof that she's well, okay. Let me just get it straight. She she exhibits every other quality of Elizabeth Sobek except for her liking of the female sex. Is that it? Okay, cool. <laughs> you're exactly like her, except no, you don't like women, even though you're only nice to women. He's not exactly like her, her though. They have bro. Look at look at the uh, what's the other clone? All right, Beta. They all different. They all different, bro. Beta was the most different one, and that was because they was fucking being rude to her when she was born. She was scared oh, of them niggas. <laughs> they all different, man. You different. By different, I mean retarded. <laughs> that, was an, that was anti-Semitic, Jay. Who sent an invite, man, for COD, man? Come on. All right, I got you. When, you know, uh, I, I made him mad at one time, even though he retarded. That's my guy. When the Beta call girl that was in that... Uh... The little fucking room where she was cowering and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not on here. You're not showing up. Hey, Beta was kind of sexy though. Let's talk. About I'm always showing up. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I saying I gotta send you a friend request on Call of Duty. It's so annoying. You got you got a lot going there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you showing up as offline? No. No. Come up on it. Check up on it. I'm gonna need to check up on it. Are you singing Beyonce, brother? Dance on, me, on tonight. me tonight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Ye
He hey, got too much white to add that. that uh, you know. It's like it's just like Adam West, nigga. Did you see uh, did he shit in the uh, group chat, Alex? I don't know what you're saying. What you say? You seen the uh, costume? Dying, bro. Did he? Yeah, it was nice. That shit was fire. <laughs> you see him walk up to Tyler the Creator? Nah. That nigga Tyler was scared. That's funny. He was like, "Oh, he got a gun." But I gotta see that King that new King Bash video where he do the Joker shit. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Link, well, if you had yeah. an Instagram, you could put it in the silly lounge. King Batch. Oh, you, you like a King, King Batch review? No, it's, it's, uh, no, it's it's a really good. I watched some of his shit. Like some of his shit ain't really that good, but that Joker video is good. What is he like acting like Joker or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it not a? Is it not a uh, parody? Yeah. Or is it a skit or is it a costume? Like he had a costume. On. It's a. It's both. It's a skit and a costume. Is he trying? Is he trying to act for real or is he trying to be funny? Uh, oh, only white people think uh, Batch huh? funny. It's both. You have to watch it. It's both. I just noted that nigga had Breonna Taylor and all the people on him and he was spelling their names wrong. Oh, were they spelled <laughs> wrong? Yeah, he had a couple names that were spelled wrong. He was like, say their names. I'm like, See, that's nigga, how shit, did... that, that's corny. I don't know. Yeah, because he's corny. Only the, nigga, people, the nigga was only, the poster child for black comedy for white people. It was that's like what I'm saying. when niggas be like, I feel like he the reason people say Vine was lame. No, he one of the reasons why Vine he, was so big. He, he, was nah. much, he was pretty much Vine. He, yeah, he him and like the nigga Daystorm. Uh, oh, Daystorm. Else? Uh, well, the niggas the, who made the funny shit like um, uh, Dope Island and all the niggas and uh. Mitch yeah, and, a lot uh, of them got dope out. Yeah, they got. That's when he made them you matter hoodies and made a killing off of niggas being depressed. But them, them niggas is actually funny though. They were funny. They they fell off. If you look at if you look at they because they don't make videos like that no more. But if they you make money at, off of hoodies, nigga. If you look at a lot of King Batch old videos, they're not really funny. No, they not, bro. That comedy was never funny. It that's what I'm saying. It's the comedy. It, it was, was new though. It was new for the time. People want bro. Really it was the peak form of short firm short i can't speak short, short form yeah. comedy for people that aren't funny like that's what it is niggas that's not funny find people that's not that funny really funny essentially <laughs> my son, i was never a big king he got his moments like sherlock sherlock homeboy is funny shit who i don't know the sherlock, fact that you know the sherlock fact homeboy. that you know his bits is crazy to it's me it's crazy <laughs> it's on youtube I'm not. It's not a. I mean, it's not a. It's not a bit. A bit. A bit is a vine. Nigga. That's not a bit. That's a I'm video. Talking, you talking about his character developments and you know that, what scenes that, he that person as a character is is a good character. I like good characters. You know who's hey, funnier what? than him? M.K. Slimeball. Maybe because I. My, oh, maybe, bro, his should be having me cracking. That up nigga up is hilarious. Because hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Y'all think this nigga actually Slimeball. retarded? No, you got. Watch his video how niggas act when they uh, I'm not, walk I'm out not, of school. I'm not saying he's not funny, but but most of like generally like seventy five percent of the time he acting like a retarded nigga. No, no, no. That, that's what make him funny. No, no, no. He he got big. <laughs> all right, all right. No, he got big because I used to watch. Nah, I used to watch. I used to skip over the videos when he was just acting like the uh, retarded dude with his hand and the beanie. I never watched those. It wasn't until he was mimicking people that got real funny. He'll be like, "Who the lose divert one, bro? Oh my, bro!" God. He was like, "When niggas get their first strap, or like when girls, when he make it very specific, niggas that be around people like that, you like, bro, that's exactly how they be acting. That's hilarious." I didn't, bro. That was, <laughs> well, like it'll be like, um, when niggas hear how niggas be when they find out they on the news for some. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, there was one. I gotta go find it. I gotta go find it after this match. This nigga, this nigga was like, uh, he got caught for he caught caught for something or whatever, and he he switched his voice up to like how Kodak be like, I'm a suburban dude. He did that, bro, and I didn't expect him to do that. I I was crying for a good five minutes. <laughs> I gotta go find that video though. Nah, Dope Island image, hilarious. Shout Dope Island had a nigga with a birthmark on his cheek. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Do they have UAV up? I couldn't even hear. Oh no, shit! I got I got all of my. Let me use my kill streaks. I never use kill streaks. I think I figure out a couple of lines. Oh yeah, um, didn't they say you could change them to score streaks on here? I'm about to do that in the settings when I go back. No. Let me use only a, right only a few of the vine niggas uh stay relevant after it died. And that's I'm wondering how they even still got an audience because them niggas are not funny. Oh, probably legacy shit. You know, niggas grew up with them and shit. 
Right, right. Is that, is that the dude that was in a uh, um fucking fat Albert? Yeah? Fuck me. Uh, I know you're talking about the nigga with the buck teeth and the flat top. Yes. Uh, with the yellow shirt. I don't. I don't know. One yeah, of them probably have look like grimy. Yeah, I remember when that one nigga crashed out and got tatted all over his body. Hot damn, I rock. Y'all remember him? No. That nigga got like a, a flesh eating disease almost, and um. He started, he got his whole body tatted. He's tatted from his ankle to his, like, neck to cover up the scarring. God damn it. And now he does weird, he makes music, but it's just, like, bowls and him doing random bars and random moans and grunts. He's like a um, Bizarro World Kid Cudi. Oh, my goodness. Damn. That sounds incredibly worse. I can't wait till it's I kind of felt bad for him because he was real depressed. All of his people in his life kept dying around him. Yikes. Remember when BG said he wanted a kick oh, cutting and rod wave song? Yeah. <laughs> that, is that is the most random tip. I'm about to get the FBI on the phone behind that shit. Nigga. He just said <laughs> that like, like, like two weeks ago. He said. invested, bro. I mean, he investigated, nigga. BG, <laughs> BG, listened to, um, crazy, BG listened man. to A Boogie with a hoodie and G Herbo in the mornings. That's why I don't like him. You hate those G Herbo. G Herbo's last album was fire. A Boogie with a hoodie, bro. Bro, how would you tell me like that? I'm a sucker. So you heard what was hard. That last album was hard. No, Jack, I gotta find that video. There was one specific video that had me. F- I know what the, I know what the title is. I gotta go find it. You heard what has like a weird flow. Wait, Red Pit, you're not in, you're not in here with us. I know, I'm not playing. I'm playing Crash. Right fuck, now. I thought you joined us. You playing Bandicoot? No. You trash. Crash 4? Not that we got it back. Not that bad. Come on, one time. Oh, yeah, you yeah. tried it. All right. Fuck. Oh, we got killed, we got killed in the back. Myself. He said a nigga bust you in your back, pause. Hey, hold up. Jack on me tonight. Oh, Jack, you know people thought Slime Ball got killed? What? He didn't post for a month. He didn't post for like a month. And uh, oh niggas was like, they was in his comments saying, rest in peace. They was like, you okay, gang? We need you, gang. <laughs> and then somebody, and then somebody, people was making cryptic stuff, obviously lying, probably. They was making cryptic stuff like, yeah, I know he was really in the streets. They finally got him. Yeah, her word on road, all types of stuff. I'm like, nigga, I don't know nothing. Ooh. This one, oh, I'm about to link it to the wrong place. Hold on. Yeah, Bro, no. I gotta go find I'm that watching, video. I'm watching this uh, King Bot video. Damn, I gotta go find it. Let me see. He got 44,000 views on this video. He be, he be getting views, bro. The hood nigga, niggas be watching. Bear with Fousey too? What is this? <laughs> the hood niggas be watching him. You know Fousey too got a, a, his hairline tattooed on and it actually yeah. looked pretty decent and then he redid and it looked crazy as hell. Then he had to get it. He had to I, get thought, his his name, I thought his name was Fousey. I think that dude looked gay. I like, yeah, like, Fousey. He's like a little Indian looking dude. He's still as hell. <laughs> Bruh, the, the fake hairline looked pretty decent at first. Then he was like, he kept going. Then it's like, some type of way they pushed his shit back, but it was a tattoo. I'm like, how did that even happen? No, did he delete it? I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to go find it on his Instagram. Damn. That video was so funny. Well, I'll catch you guys later, man. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do your outro. What you doing? Uh, I already did. Yeah, but you uh, say he knew. Uh, is, is, uh, BG, okay, he's in here. All right. Peace out, brother. Uh, uh, I'm Jay Got. Catch you in the fast lane. I'm Jay Got, and I got to get the guy. You should Google Got. Let's see what it says. Pauls. What's what it going to say? Something crazy? No. <laughs> uh... Bro, I'm Maybe so scared he deleted this video. It was... that. that is crazy. Hey, good work day. Hey, it's half a work day, man. I need that. Let me see. But, <laughs> All right, somebody said Tony got like video. <laughs> he got what? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't know what it was. He Wait, said, what the hell is Ligma? I'm like, come on, bro. Oh. <laughs> Lig- Ligma? He too old for this. <laughs> Ain't like yeah, Tony Polanco, he said he didn't know hey, what it meant. Somebody, this is, somebody said it said his leg disease was Ligma. Yeah, somebody <laughs> I was about to tell him what it was. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ain't it like some big funk or something? For those, for those that want to know what that means, they're up in the Discord. There you go. You think oh, Tony Flack, uh, Pl- uh, Polanco still get active? No. Nah. Oh, is going, brother. bro. The video, I, I gotta know. find it, but MK Slimeball, he was on the news or something. He's like, that's it, guys. My life's over. It was a funny. I gotta go find it, bro. Dang. 
You told me you you like when we when you find out you uh wanted by the police. That yes, one. bro. Yes. I know which one you're talking about. I have to find. I think I just named. It. He said. He said. Well, that's it, guys. My life's over. <laughs> I was cracking up. <laughs> Oh, when they, how niggas that when they get their GED, bro? Them videos are hilarious, bro. Hey, y'all think um, uh, y'all think Drewski funny still? Who? Who? Yeah, Drewski. Drewski, funny. yeah, Drewski. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, he the funniest social media nigga. Yeah, like. he got this shit on lock right now. Uh, I don't know. Oh, every doing. video he like makes is hilarious, nigga. I like the videos with like he or, or, or like he not pretending to be a girl, but other nigga, videos, I don't, I don't know a video. He might be the most successful funny. dude off of like internet jokes, like. Yeah, him, uh, him, and him, him and DC fly, DC. I don't, I don't know another. Not him and De- him and Desi. Well, I guess right now. Oh, Desi Banks. But Desi not in movies and shit. Juski, Juski in movies and music videos. Desi is a movie. Desi is a lame man. No, no, Desi, no. Desi, no. I'm not Desi, Desi, Desi funny. Yeah, yeah. It's Desi the other funny, nigga. The other fat nigga I don't like. Talking about that killer, killer cam man. No, I got into, I got to him on Twitter. Uh, Queens flip. His name Kyle. No. You talking about that nigga Kyle? That fat nigga. You got a fat ass head, nigga. Uh, you got you mad because he roasted you, bro? Come on, fam. Talking about yeah, BFD to be Pac Man or something. I hate his name. DM. What game mode is this? BFB, BFB fire. No, nah, BFB's right. a rapper. He's a rapper. I hate his name. I never know how to say it. Fuck, B- B- BFB to Pac Man. BFBD. What does it stand for? BFB to Pac Man. BFB to Pac Man. BFBD. BFB da D A Pac Man. What? You made it more confusing. What? Are you retarded? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said like, you B, said right? you said B F B D da bop back like you said the whole B F B da Pac Man B F B da Pac. Oh, see when I read it, I think B F B D A Pac. I don't know, bro. All right, that's a whole man. space. There's a whole space between. Hey, shout like out B G, man. Shout out B G. Yeah, you acting like a word, man. BFB da Pac Man. See, that makes sense. All you. That's all you had to say, brother. I thought his name was B F B D. Why, why are you still saying D? Of, it's duh, yeah? BFB. No, because on Instagram, it's all together. So it's just, to me, I just see BFB, D-A-P-A-C-I. I'm like, bro, what is your name? Bro, what did you going through? Everything. Bob was right about you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how him and uh, Blaze tried to jump me. That was crazy. Yeah, they they'll team up today. Shout out Tyrek. You teamed yeah, up with Tyreek was not what I saw coming. <laughs> so I didn't expect it either, but I wasn't mad at the help. Yeah, nigga, I felt back. I said, I'm done, nigga. Somebody going to find a time step of that conversation you was talking about. Bro, I'm not, bro. Hey, he I remember, but I don't, I don't remember the exact verbiage. I'm like, bro, used, I remember the night he, because we made you fun of him. He said, oh, he said he wanted to mold. I, I, he said that. Bro, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Man. I'm like, bro, I'm not making this up. Why he would definitely I... said that. Yeah, like, I don't know he said, said some shit about having a, having a young girlfriend that he could train to do what he liked. Yes, right. and then and yeah, then he made a comment saying their more, dad yeah. should be thanking me that they got a guy that wants to like. He was he was it was a whole conversation we had. Listen, though, I remember him talking about whatever girl he was dating at the time. He taught her like to clean the house and cook and shit it, for him. Bro, right? that's what I'm saying. He said that. I was Listen, like, I'm not crazy. He said that. He Listen. said that shit. Listen, though, we know he's a hypocrite. Let it rock. That's what I'm saying, though. Like we know he's a hypocrite, but. He was mad. Um, I'm a pistol. What? He said that. He said that shit. T.I. son is so annoying. Absolutely. Now that's a nigga. That's a, instead of these rappers. Never mind. Charles White said he can't wait to uh, Trayvon Martin. That shit had me crying. Yep. What? I didn't see that. Oh, I got shot hey, in the back. Bro, nice. How are you? Your, your dad is T.I. and you want to get a Playboy tattoo, neck tattoo, and go to jail like, nigga. You know he what it is, Alex? Oh, that that nigga Vice is. Lord. Hold on. He got a tattoo of the Playboy bunny on his neck. That's some Vice he, Lord he, shit. You know what it is, Alex? He grew up, obviously, rich as hell. He trying to do the little hood. He, he want to be hood. He want to be a hood nigga. He got a show with just... uh, him, T.I., and Tootie Raw. Got a show he trying to be a hood nigga, but that's not his life. He, he don't come right. from that. Let me guess. The show is the show is on... What's that, that one? Like, that, uh, it's probably VH1 if I had to guess. Nah, not even that. What's that one that they put all the ratchet stuff on there? Caf- not well, caffeine. Oxygen? No, the... the uh, I don't uh, think it's... What is it called? Oh, the one that Black know. China show was on. Doing? Black China show was on there. Yeah, he's talking about... Eat, talking about eating, 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 eating. I don't no. know. No, it's not Eating Network. That's not else. I thought it was on Oxygen. I thought her show was on Oxygen, too. But, was it Bad Girls Club on Oxygen? Maybe. Oh, y'all gonna be looking at again, yes, sir. That was bothering me. Hold up. Fuck. 
They put all the rack because Joe Budden even be talking about how they put you all the rack. there watching shoot me take. That's crazy. I shot him, yo. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, that nigga named Haha Davis. He not funny. That. Yeah, he's yeah, not he funny. funny dog. Yeah, I don't like funny, that nigga. We we ran at it on Twitter. He got like, out real funny. fast. Real fast. I oh, he, 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 uh, he roasted you, Red Pick, because you was talking shit. Yeah, he roasted you. Yeah, yeah. roast me. Yeah, yeah, he got you. He saying? deleted it, though. He deleted it, though. You remember that? How do you remember that? Because you he just reminded me. Cooking you, nigga. Yeah, well, he I think, hell, yeah. I think that, me. I think that, that, was, uh, I think it was your mama think I'm funny. I think that chat, wouldn't it start with a Z or something? Z. The one that Black China had a TV show on, and then they had the... Remember the nigga? Oh, it's my really? Zeus Network. It's my Zeus. Zeus. Yes. What yes. the hell is Zeus Network? Zeus it's, Network. It's, it's uh, it's some new shit. Like a couple years old, they Bro, they started putting TV shows on there. That's the new no, that's what I'm saying. Network, it's, so it's the low rated version of VH1. They literally yeah. put like all the ratchet, all the ra- They had one. Y'all know the nigga that where the money reside is that nigga? Yeah. 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 They had him oh, on a show. There was a, apparently there's a show in there with a bunch of gay men where they just fighting all day. He was on that show fighting niggas. Bro, Why you saying that like you don't know about the show? Huh? Why are you saying that? Like you know that, that right? shame, yeah, Jocelyn had a show in there with her cabaret. Yeah. Nigga, you, know, you don't watch that show. No, I, I saw a shade room clip on it. You definitely, you definitely watch that show. You watch it. You watch the show? Oh, I know you do. We on we on Patreon. I ain't gonna blow the spot up, but come on, dog. You you might have been on the show. And if yeah, I was, I no more, so I ain't been, it ain't and if, I was, if you I was on the show, I would have been mad that you didn't invite me as your plus one. I'm gonna say that. I know. Your plus. You'd have been <laughs> fucking them niggas up, huh? Oh. Bro, highlight of the night, bro. Uh, <laughs> BG sleep paralysis demon being hard eight is. So, I gotta run that. <laughs> Imagine as soon as you lay the sleep, the ether be boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Put this is a sniper in a fucking hill, yo. You know, it's funny, uh, your girl watched that shit, and she was like, you should watch with my girl. Your girl? You talking about my girl? The only, thing, the, only girl? Watched, the only thing I watched with her no that damage. I get through is uh, P-Valley. <sighs> that sniper dude keeps killing me, bro. He's pissing me off. What part of the map? East, South, P-Valley, West, not, Jack, You would like P-Valley. You should try it. All right, UAV up. Go get him. Go get him one time. UAV uh, online. Yeah, you know, I just noticed uh, they put it. Oh, I just noticed that. No, no, I'm only sure that girl, that shit, show that is like full of big booty bitches. And like, I'm playing terribly right now. But it had that gay shit. Look at P Valley got dick on it. You be watching that shit? Huh? What? Yeah, pussy too. No, that niggas is is gay. Nigga, y'all watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> like, Game of Thrones. Yo, that was genuine. Y'all watch Game of Thrones, nigga. Bunch no, of dicks in that. Huh? No, no. I ain't never seen no dick on Game of Thrones, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's that's line. Line. You're lying. So y'all niggas, you literally watched a nigga get his dick cut off and enjoyed it. <laughs> what? I don't remember that. Oh, he talking about he talking about uh. Re- not touch the allegations on you. Look, he's saying he don't remember. He remember. I don't remember that. Who you talking about? Reek did oh, Ramsey yeah. cut off Reek uh, penis. One time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But we didn't actually see it, did we? we no. Did. Yeah. So what the fuck, Ray talking about? We did. No. Did but... you imagine it, Ray Especially if, especially if y'all watch shit like Spartacus. I don't know. Good show. Only BG no, is the one capping for Spartacus. Yeah, Spartacus. No, Spartacus I have heard is good and I saw a couple episodes back in the day but I haven't seen the whole series. Auntie Spartacus used to watch is it. fire. It's Game of Thrones before Game Yo, of Thrones. Yo, look at the score, y'all. Look, look what we doing to these niggas. Well, look at y'all doing. I'm playing terribly. Spartacus is actually one of my favorite shows. Bro, why is this dude got so much fucking health? That's actually... When the fuck... When the, when the stars like I think P Valley the biggest show right now. Nigga, don't they got all them raising canines? They got power and all that shit, yeah. Yeah, what are you talking oh, about? You mean Canaan? Did you just say Canaan? Talk about. I don't watch that bullshit, nigga. I don't either. That nigga, Canaan, Canaan. 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 My mom wrote that. Canaan. 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 Oh, fuck that bitch nigga name, yeah. Yeah, my mom be like, uh, this old. I hate the shape of 50 Cent's head, by the way. I actually think it's a pretty good shaped head, actually. I hate the shape of his head, and I hate the way his hair grows. You sound like you just hating, bro. Oh, I like 50 Cent. I just don't like hey. his head. I don't know why the nigga decided to get so fucking big. You can't hate any... Never mind. He's talking about, like, with his, his weight? His, uh... Upper body. What the fuck? Oh, he ain't got no legs? You uh, saying just like head, right head, I can't get him. I can't get to him, bro. He's in a good spot. Is he still back there bullying you? Alex head be massive when he put his hair in a ponytail. Oh, my head shape. 
Yeah, it's crazy. It's like you've been waiting to say that. Oh, look, nigga, how you like you met me in person? What have I met you? I can see from the camera, nigga. It's like you look crazy. I mean, take off, make me take off. I got a big head. What the fuck? Hey, one time. No. I feel like my head is normal size. I think. I think. That's a sniper I was talking about. Did take, did take off, get out the car when he met you, nigga. He just stayed in the car, nigga. Got to retire to drive all the same. Yeah, nigga, you just like a McDonald's drive through. Nah, take off did like a lap around the parking lot to scope me out. <laughs> I did do that. He want to see if you gonna rob you, nigga. That's what that was. <laughs> take off, take off, take off. Pulled in real slow and it went skrrr, and then did a donut and came back apart next to me. <laughs> that is crazy. You were scared he's gonna set you up, uh, take off. Right. Scared of Alex setting you up. I'll be on point, man. Take off the good, man. I see you, bro. I don't even scare. I don't even scare what I'm at. Chop, nigga. I don't know. Chop would just rape you. You probably would have liked that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Chop just rape you, though. He ain't gonna rob me. He gonna rape you. That's it, guys. Chop not even as fat I as y'all think. Y'all be making fat jokes. Chop is like, he fat, but he not fat. Look, he thinks nigga, we seen fat. the pictures, nigga. Come on. He not fat, but he, no. If you see him in person, he not fat, but he fat. He like burly husky. What, what is it, burly husky? <laughs> burly. He like a hobbit. Oh, nigga, yeah. what? Why would he call me fat? Wait. That nigga say a mythical creature, nigga. What the fuck? You ever seen that hobby look? So you saying he's short and stubby? Well, I'll tell you okay. Are you, are you left? I'm saying short and fat or short and stubby. Uh, uh-huh. I thought I'm I'm not in there. Hold on, I'm about to join y'all. No, like you know how I mean. Like, I'll like, start to. Uh, like, uh, uh, y'all be talking about like. I do not like. It won't let me join stuff. y'all. What the fuck? I was still searching. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, you saw him? You said Chuck ain't fat for real. Not yet. Oh my god. He ain't that big. If you won't, just say that. <laughs> Jack, remember when uh, remember when Slimeball made a video talking about how he the first rapper to get a BBL? <laughs> uh, he said, get y'all weight up, nigga. Stare at the camera. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Yeah, I'm, I'm in here with you. He said, get y'all fucking weight up, nigga. I can't join you, big dog. You gotta invite me, big dog. It says locked. It won't let me invite you. Yeah, what's wrong with this game, man? Taking it back. I'm taking it back to the store. This Crash Bandicoot is a game. Is... Why are you doing See? it yourself? I mean, it's kind of hard. It's See? harder than I thought it would be. Ooh, brother. Happy for you. I should not be up right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna tell my daughter to treat tomorrow. You gonna take an all nighter? I don't want to. I mean, I woke up at like oh, I fell in the oh my god, eleven thirty, but I shouldn't. What you supposed to do tonight? You guys going out tonight? I think I was drove that I was. Monday? Come on, come on. Well, I'm thinking it's Halloween night. That's what I'm saying. Like, they had so many know. fire Halloween parties. I ain't go to Saturday. Most of Halloween parties was this weekend. Oh, okay. I know. There was today and yesterday. What? I got it, bro. What? So to unlock another SMG, I gotta use a assault rifle. Just to, that doesn't make sense. All the other rich people. Uh, yeah, the well, way they did the unlocks this year is I don't I don't get bro, it. Also, also, they got some guns locked behind the campaign. No, 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 you see all the people they went all, rich people they all the rich people spent hella money on their costumes, like that oh, daily yeah. shit, like it's cost them money. Yeah, nigga, you rich. I know. I'm just saying, like all the rich people, shit was fire. Yeah. Oh, well, this gun unlocks when I'm level 38. I'm just waiting for that. I'm not doing all this other stuff. Micah, uh, Micah wanted to be Mario for uh, Halloween, so I bought him Mario. Y'all niggas ain't gonna invite me. That's crazy. No, that's nice. That's nice of you. Yeah. You know why you look fat ass? You fit in as Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you anymore, yeah? He's starting to get a little belly and shit. Well, it might be his time. Where pay you keep calling niggas fat, but you ugly, nigga. Mm. Damn. Wonton, you stink. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna smell it? Wonton did. I thought you said you smell like potpourri. Poop-pourri. Nigga, you uh, every like on, picture y'all. you sit all the pictures you sent of you sitting on the toilet. Did you get that one? I only sent one. <laughs> I know I just I just know you be f- just fucking a bad fella. Oh absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I got that one. I'm about to join it. I know because your diet is crazy, nigga. I already know. I think you said this. It's, 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 My diet is crazy, guy. Rip Pig. You eat chicken fingers and fries every day. What are you saying? No, I don't. No, I don't. That's Alex. My palate is fucking, way. And, 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 How fucking, is that uh, 
My palate is way more diverse than that. Red pig, I see right, the issue had... post. You don't be eating no vegetables. You worse than Jack. Do you know? I, had I, had to, I, had Ziki, I had tazikis today. You gonna be fried fish and man, macaroni green. and cheese and fucking. You don't with eat greens. no healthy shit. With greens. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, greens cooked with neck bones and yeah, okay. <laughs> it's literally greens. I'm posting plenty of shit. I want to talk. All that damn salt. Nigga, I eat vegetables. Oh. I saw a nigga on Facebook named Cassandra. Start posting my plate so y'all can see. Yeah, plate, dog. Jack don't be having no greens on his plate, man. No, Wonton, no tell him how you made that uh, spaghetti in there. Broccoli. Air fryer. Bro, stop playing. <laughs> stop playing on my name, bro. Stop playing <laughs> on my name, bro. Come on. Stop playing. Making spaghetti in the air fryer is crazy. Yeah, what time? It's real or not? He lying. They lying. You know they be lying, man. Nigga, why don't I make cereal in the air fryer like it? Need to make better decisions with that. I literally only use the air fryer for two things. <laughs> I use the air fryer for two things, bro. Like, ever. Totally, bro. you're yeah. lying. You're when lying. I make so, when I, cause I work, I, okay, look, I work from home, Kiso. Yeah, no. For lunch, I have these turkey burgers that I make for lunch. Turkey burgers. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. What the He's fuck? Trying to be healthy. You want, you, the, you want me to take a picture of the freezer? Nigga? Oh, the grand nigga, I make turkey burgers. Get the fuck out of here. Turkey burgers are delicious. What the fuck? Yeah, what's up, man? What's That's one of the eight topics, nigga. Fuck out of here. Right. I said, look, listen, I made turkey burgers. Anyway, uh, I make turkey burgers for lunch for my lunch. Yeah. Um, turkey burgers and french fries, you just put them in the air fryer. They're right. delicious. No, that joint dry as hell. Well, you be reading the, uh, oh, the be great. facts. Uh, anyway, um, and then the other thing I do when I make chicken, because I cook, I cook, uh, I do like a pan f- uh, fried chicken for dinner sometime. There you yeah. go. What I do is I um, cook it in the pan. Mm-hmm. Like maybe about five minutes on each side to get some, you know, get the sear, get the color on it, and right. then I put it in the air fryer for about another six minutes to finish cooking, and that's it. Okay, so that's only two uh, meals. That's only two meals I use air fryer. For. Yeah, look at this. This nigga, this nigga proposed oh at the Walmart God. I used to work at. Look at this. Oh, I put it in the hey, pan. We, 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 we hating? What we doing? We hating? Definitely hating. Proposing at Walmart is crazy. Look at what they wear. <laughs> If you broke one, just say that. Nah, dog. But I'm, 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 nah, dog. But I'm just at a burger and air fryer, though. I'm, oh. I'm gonna try that. Even bro, burgers and air fryer is fire. Yeah, I'm gonna try it, dog. And it don't take long. You just gotta do ten minutes. You gotta do ten minutes each side. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. You do ten minutes, flip it over, do another ten minutes. It's still juicy. Hell yeah. Yeah, you, you, uh, you use oh, a crock, you got a crock pot one time. Yeah, I do, but I don't use it as I use it as much now. Is that a crop top? You be wearing crop tops? I use it for like chili I know and shit. Though. I, got, I used oh, to. I have two crop tops. Too. Don't say you used to. You do. I have two crop tops. I don't wear anymore. You you literally wear that bitch every time you go hike. What are you talking about? Oh, I be seeing the pictures. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a yeah. sniper, bro. I don't know what song you. I don't know what shirt you're talking. The about. hoodie, the hoodie one. Yeah. Oh, you talking about that little colorful sweater? I gave it to my girl. It shrunk. It wasn't even that short when I first wore it. I don't wear that when I go hiking, nigga. That's a sweater. That's a What's crop that crop top hoodie you was wearing in that in that video where you'd be dancing in the parking See, lot? Oh no, that's a that was a sweater that um I gave it to my girl because it shrunk too much. Your belly was hanging out. You looking kind of zesty. Uh, yeah, you I saw was, that tattoo. I was talking. I was uh my mom walked me walked in my room. I was talking to uh y'all in this court, and she was like, Is "That gay nigga." You talk? I'm like, Alex is not gay. You called him gay? <laughs> Yo, no, what? Yeah. Nah, yeah, what? Yeah, does she know what you be doing after dark? Come on. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, my call Alice gay. Come on, yeah. Yeah, how I'm gay? Why she think I'm gay? Even Alice's mom would oh. have suspicions. Why she think yeah. I'm gay? She just did, because your voice. Bro, what? Has she, she talked she talk to you, think... nigga? What? What? I don't sound gay. Red pig. I'm... Yeah. Well, you be like, ugh. Red pig, we would know you, bro. You know that, right? I did that. I did that for your mom, bro. Ugh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> when he go get a plate, Ow. when he go get a plate, ah, uh, macaroni again. Ugh. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Okay, he be like, he be like, this shrimp fries is so good. Ugh. Uh, uh, like you pull the dick out of there. <laughs> yes, I are. Putting your dildos in the dishwasher and stuff. Yeah, the guava. Guava. 
Bro, I'm so mad we didn't record uh, Chop's mom telling him to shut up because it was four in the morning. That joke was so night. funny, bro. Oh, oh what? Benji, Benji got it. Jack, you didn't yeah. hear that? Nah, yeah, Benji, oh, nah, Jack was asleep. Jack was asleep. Benji yo, got it. Asleep. We was playing Call of Duty. Chop kept screaming, suck my dick. His mom said, it is four in the morning. Stop yelling all that yelling. Bro, we was bro, cracking it was so up. Hey, <laughs> 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 nah, hey, uh, Jack hit that joint. It's over for Chop. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really see. I don't really see. So I don't know, I'm like partially. She, I think she was laying down, and I seen her. Nigga, Chop ain't say nothing for the next twenty minutes on the game. <laughs> it was so funny, bro. I got so quiet, and he said, "Blaze, uh, don't record." Blaze. I think oh, Blaze, 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 Blaze got it. Wait, wait, the Blaze got it. Blaze, my guy. No, Bla- he said, Bla- "He said, Blaze, don't." He was like, "I don't care if people hear it, but don't put it on the soundboard." I'm like, "Nah, that nigga." <laughs> like, <laughs> Blaze is going on the soundboard. Ah, Blaze got it. We he awake? But, Somebody at him. Hey, Blaze. Nah, Blaze, Blaze at work though. That nigga yeah. on the same dick. Yeah, he got that shit. He might, he might. That shit was so funny, dog. Chocolate, bro, chocolate was so quiet, but I listen to Mike. Bro, yeah, no more. he said, it is four in the morning. Stop all that yell. <laughs> on his ass. <laughs> he didn't even say yes, ma'am. He just talk. <laughs> he just kept but playing again like... quietly. <laughs> I don't what? Watch how you kill him, y'all. Come on. He had a man. shotgun. He had a shotgun, bro. He yeah, he had a corner. Ah, I, I nigga with a shield. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, he played that game, bro. Yes, sir. I forgot that happened. He wow, says, I just got killed by a mine. Yes, sir. I'm getting fucked. This guy, I'm getting fucked. Why did I remember that? Oh, because I was gonna ask you if you. I was gonna ask you why you didn't meet his mom. If he was a, uh, if he stayed in there all like, weekend. We got there like three, two in the morning. So you took a shower at this man's house and yeah. never even saw his mom to say. Hey. Okay. What are you guys looking for? Oh, Blaze, we need that yeah, sound bite of Chop's mom walking in. Oh my god, bro. Listen, man, I'm telling you right now, he was like, Joe Blaze, don't don't even use that. Don't post that. Because that's something personal, <laughs> you know. That's shit I don't I don't mess around with. I'm like, really? You don't right, mess around with it. Say, worry, say less. He's like begging me, please. Like Bro, do you have it with you or you gotta wait till you get home? No. I gotta wait, bro. I haven't, even, I haven't even I haven't even clipped it. Like I gotta search it. Hey, as long as we got the file. Right, that's all that matters, bro. Bro, he was so. When was this? Was this like the other night, like recently? It was last, last night. night. Yeah. Oh like, man, copy the lungs, calling people on call. I heard it, but I ain't think he was screaming last night before I went to bed. He I think I just got trouble for beating the game, and I didn't beat it. While well, they made me restart the boss fight. Yeah, no, take your egg in the morning. That's why. Yeah. What you playing, dude? Suck my dick. Oh. Yeah. This I, beat, I beat the boss and died the exact same time, and it made me redo the boss. Why you playing it off stream, Jack? Come on, what you doing? He in the plat- get- He already beat it on stream. I'm trying to get closer oh. to platinum. Oh, I yeah. Play into the next. Yeah, you sick play, play into the next, and then replay a uh, Rift Apart. Fire. I don't see how y'all niggas be replaying games over and over in the same like week. What? Oh, you talking once about I beat the game, I'm not touching it for a minute. Well, right, and Clank get a little easier once you beat it because you know new game plus. Right. Shit. Last game I did that was probably Uncharted Two when I went look back how quick I got to the end as opposed to when I was streaming it though. I right. got to the end in one day. You said Uncharted Two. Bruce, do it. I tried it too. I was replaying it just to do like the no gravity mode, the different. I was like playing with all the cheats. They had that on the original. Yes, I tried it too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, damn you, young boy. I think you said the original. Like this was before his time. You was you weren't playing games during that time. I was, but like I was. Oh yeah, I'm I playing. Think, I didn't play the game. Uncharted games until Uncharted Three came up. Damn, I saw that. I saw that Uncharted Two. You really were a game meet when we was playing games. I, I think like one of my eight. trophies glitched though. Oh my God. I was eight when Uncharted Two came out. I think it came out two thousand nine. Yeah. You don't feel self conscious yeah. about that? It's really no. gonna make me rebeat this fucking game, man. Y'all old niggas be trying to shit on like niggas my age because we grew up in a good age. God damn, what's No, it's um, it's when you don't the old niggas grew up you in like bad takes. Your bad takes stem. No, your bad takes stem from you not playing games when they came out. Oh, what? that's real. That's real. No, certain games don't age well, nigga. Y'all need to. You didn't age well, nigga. You peaked in high school. That's too. stupid. Mm. <laughs> games are better now. That was a callback. Y'all remember that? Games play better now, nigga. Yeah. Y'all can go back to y'all inverted controls and act like it was fun. Who the fuck like inverted oh, controls? Nobody likes inverted controls. What are you talking, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> well, then, that's what y'all be acting like. That's what y'all be acting like. Don't nobody like no fucking game. What? The, uh... The only people that like inverted control is a uh, black bond because he play all of his games with a flight stick. And That's not nigga to do that. Kofi like inverted. Right. That nigga's Canadian. It don't count, bro. I'm. That I'm is crazy. crazy. 
I was playing. I was playing Jack, uh, Jack and Dexter, and the uh, camera, the right stick was. Ratchet Clank, you gotta change the control on the first three. They all inverted. And that's why. And that's why I wasn't fuck with. I to cut that shit off. You know you could change it in the options, right? Uh, Jack and Dexter didn't let you change it. Jack and Dexter one. Yeah, I was playing one. Yeah. I cut that shit See, off. You, the fact that you didn't play that when it came out, it's just like, it's crazy. You missed the boat. Okay, yeah, just like with black, blonde, and girls' is age. <laughs> and guess what? Nigga, it's just, it don't age well. Y'all need to... I hate that shit. That's like when niggas... Now, what if we said we hate you? What would you say? Y'all be counting for games like the first Tomb Raider game, and that game is ass. It's ugly. Me 13? No. The he said the first, 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 yeah, Got it on my PC and my ass, my Warriors fire. So I went back Warriors. to a couple games I liked as a kid, and I realized they ass. Agent under fire, fire, fire. fire. <clears throat> ATV off road fury, fire. It's like only a certain, like certain games are timeless. This shit. Damn. This nigga not even on the part. He just sniping in the middle. I guess I'm. I'm gonna cook a hot pot pie for him. Throw a grenade over there. Oh my god! I want I want to go back and try siphon filter and see how ass it. Curious. Jack, can I get a hoorah? What the fuck? Like, what's another what's another game you think that was? Ripper took all this shit, but let Con Mori already talk about you know siphon filter is one of the greatest uh, technical Nigga, you achievements. Told me to go you know, Castlevania. Like, you told me to go play Castlevania, and I didn't like it. But the, but fact the fact, even, fact the, that, yeah, that you even went to go play it, you just said you he talking, told like, me to go play it. Like he told no, you to play no, like, like, it. I trust. I, I trust his game. <laughs> <laughs> I trust his, I trust his Why game are you screaming opinions. in the background? I trust his <laughs> game <laughs> opinions. Oh, and, man. Man. you don't trust no black person opinion. You fucking. Dick I trust your game opinions. I tried some shit. Please. You ain't never played a game on my recommendation before. What what game you recommended that? I did try. I think so. I think oh you should speed. I tried Sanchez. Uh, I tried Sanchez to something mm-hmm. sirens, nigga, and I ain't like it. Seven sirens not that good. Try um Pirates Curse. Okay. See, I, I feel like Black Bond game. tells every. Oh yeah, I I got Overcook because of you, nigga. Overcook is heat. Yeah, Overcook two mean. is heat. Yeah. I like Overcook one. It, it's it's just it's harder. Overcook one was easy. I felt it was way easier. Shit, hell no. Maybe the people I played it with. You couldn't do sir. You couldn't do a lot of shit on Overcook. No, we like ran through over- food. You couldn't throw we, food and shit. We ran through Overcook one in like a day, a day and a half. Nigga, Overcook one is difficult. Yeah, I don't think about replaying them games on PS4, man. I don't know. They yeah, could, oh, you see, nigga, I tried a couple games. You told me to try, nigga. Yeah. Now, if Overcook, you're a better person because of it. You know that, right? If you want to no, do the no. Overcooked one and two, I bought that. We could do that, but or I'll no, do it with you. Need- if well, unless you can get the platinum by yourself, then never mind. You know who never recommended me I mean, a good I, game? I appreciate Wanton that. has never recommend, uh, recommended a good game to me. Oh, Wanton, you never asked me. You never game, asked me, bro. Come I've, on, I've asked you. No, you never have asked me a game to recommend you. I never right, know Wanton played a good game. game Wanton. Respectfully. Yeah, see, rec- yeah, I don't think Wanton has ever recommended. Well, no, y'all lying. Y'all lying. Wanton recommended. Remember that little uh, demo um, for that rock band? Wonton recommended that. What? Remember Nigga. that uh, that demo that released where you just walking around and it was for that promo for that band, that album? Oh, no, I don't remember. Oh, He's talking about Radiohead. He's talking about the Radiohead. Radiohead. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't download it. I heard them talking about that one. A lot of the games I like. A lot of the games I like, Red Pig. Uh, you wouldn't like because they aren't. Yeah. They don't have. They, they don't have set pieces. They're not Unga Bunga. You why you yeah, say that? They when don't I have set pieces like, and why, why do you say that when I play Total War games and Civilization and Sea Oh, you talking about that guy? The same guy that. What? Alex, you play anything, really with me, so I can't. You, really, what? you play anything, so. I'm a. You know what? You know what they call me. My sexuality in the streets, gamer. Bisexual? Oh, 
Yeah. God. I'm a gay mer. A bafag. I, I hate when gay people do that. I'm yeah, gay. They you a baggot. So Wait, I'm, who does I, that? They say they're a gamer. Yeah, G A Y M E R. The one of the that won uh, the tester. Yeah, he was. He was like gamer. <laughs> <laughs> That's corny. <laughs> yeah, I remember that nigga that be uh, winning all the fighting competitions, and he was like dressed up as a furry. Sonic Fox. Yeah. Is he gay? I, I had to stop following him. He was doing too much. He is gay. He's gay. He's like, man, I, I could suck a dick today. It's like, bro, we get it, bro. You're gay, bro. Hey, is he black? Yeah, he yes, he is. You I've know, he, bro, he was winning so many competitions, bro. He was winning and giving his winnings to the person that finished like second, bro. Like, that's like fine. Ten thousand dollars, fifteen. Nah, he's fucking insane. How? Fuck them, hey, fuck them niggas. Hey, they lost. Better than next time. Good. But he's he not spending he money on deodorant, so he got money this way. Uh, I guess so. My uh, friend said he did at everything, like every fighting game. Like, like Fox, he is good. He's good at mostly every fighter, but he is. His, I think his specialty is more to combat, but I could be wrong. I don't really I watch the Yeah, he, 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 he's due to another round fighters, yeah. Ain't another round fighters like considered like the casual shit? A lot of, yeah, a lot of fighting game fans don't fuck with another round fighters like that. Which is crazy because I, I like their games. Probably because they got stories and shit. The graphics. Games, also, the Street Fighter, I don't like games where the back button is the block button. That's so stupid to me. Did, did you try that? Um, What's that fucking fighting game? It Killer cool Instinct? Shit. No, it's, it was a PlayStation exclusive PS5. You know what I'm talking about, Jack? Huh? The PlayStation 5 fighter. Uh... Bro, we was winning. What the fuck happened? Guilty Gear? Yeah, yeah Guilty Gear. We were winning. That's crazy. I played Guilty Gear before. I'm not good at it. Oh. Uh, I was playing a little That's bit. That's a very shit. technical I... fighting game. The animation shit was fire. It looked... Shout out to Soul Bad Guy. Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to try to it get a nap before work. Exclusive. I think it's on... Uh... What you call it now? Hey, where is this nigga? I mean, Redpick, you you've seen the games on my library. You could play any of those games that you haven't played before. Most of the games we have, most of the same game. Exactly. So why would you sit there and say I haven't recommended nothing? We play the same shit, nigga. I know. I recommended you games, but you can't even lie and say we play all. There's games on my on my library that you have not played. There's a lot of them. I mean, the shit like uh, Evil Within, I think. You, you just don't be wanting to play them. Evil Within is a great game, but you don't like scary games. I don't do scary games. Bro, what do I need? Alien like Isolation. Just like I don't do scary movies. Low effort. You're a scary cat, bro. No, I just... Call of Duty, look, he has some... On that... Uh... Call of Duty did have one horror-type section that I feel like they put in because they knew the game was coming out before Halloween. Yeah. I can't. What was it? Was a section where it was like the music had got tense and like it was dark. I mean, that's the the Mexico mission. Might have been it. I'm saying that like the whole game ain't. That mission was cool. I just um. Got it, bitch. Let's go. When you get to, when you get to the uh the last part where you gotta get to the church, that show was pissed me off. I like that because like, they, like they wanted you to use your the shit, package. and I didn't want. I didn't want to use it. I just wanted to have a shootout, but it didn't work out that way. No, you can't have no shootout. Oh my god! Period. Period. This, this uh, crash game is like unusually. Why are you, why are you playing that? It's not a bad game. The movie. I do not trash. Trash. Did you try to Crash Four? I tried the the most recent one when they released for free. Yeah, this is pretty good. You just try. Red Bandicoot is difficult because the game sucks and it's stiff as hell. Yeah. No, is it? It's not a nothing groundbreaking. I didn't even like Red Bandicoot back on PS. Um, the Rock like said today, right later today, they're going to be announcing their the new XFL teams. I think Texas already got one, right, San Antonio. I don't even know. He said he, they're announcing the team names, logos. We need a uh, Memphis team. I'm trying to get some merch, cuz. Hey, we need an Arkansas team. I hope they'd make some, make it like somewhat different from the NFL. Like, you know, they're a developmental league now, though, with the NFL. Oh, so that's how they're doing it. Yeah, they plugged in with them. And I think they got that one quarterback that's a. That's where PJ Washington from. Oh, yeah. I was playing with him on uh, Madden today. He doing pretty decent. I think they might have lost today, though. 
not yeah they PJ not Washington the, from the Charlotte Hornets. No. Oh, that ain't his name. What the fuck is that nigga name? It's something <laughs> Washington. It's something Washington. I was playing PJ, with the Panthers. PJ, PJ Walker. PJ Walker. Walker. Oh That's yeah, Walker. Yeah, you're right. yeah. So the teams they got Arlington, which is basically Dallas, uh, Houston, Las Vegas, Orlando, San Antonio. Damn, three Texas? God damn. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Texas is really yeah, don't want to travel that far. That's why they Not like that, nigga. Texas is football country. Yeah, Texas is a really big football state. I mean, they it got is. C- God damn, they got C- St. Louis and Washington, D.C. Nigga, Texas got three football teams and basketball. Bro, how do you fast travel on this game after you beat it? I'm Wait, confused. They got three. They got three. No, they don't. I'm Texas and Dallas. He was with them. Oh, how do you fast travel this game after you beat it? What the fuck? Okay, I'm confused. LeBron says he wants to own a team in Las Vegas uh, when he retires. Look. You want to tell us what he said he's going to have for breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> look at you. Look at you. you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Crazy. How the fuck do you fast travel? Uh, this game is irritating. Okay. Mm. What's this a crack? And... Yeah, like I, I recommend you. You recommend me what? Go to New York. I've been there before. You should you win. When I was a kid. Now go to now. I'm talking about like with the pictures and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, you would like it. Like when we was there when it was raining and shit, it was New York is pretty when it rain. Shit. Oh what? Bro, so this, this is crap. I've never seen no shit like this. What the fuck? Oh my god, this trophy is glitched. They got a tree made out of basketball hoops. It's literally just like multiple hoops. Nah, that shit look weird, yeah. You see that? I've oh, never yeah. seen no shit like that. Like, what weird. the fuck? Yeah, I mean, they never heard nothing like that. <laughs> Everybody airballing too. <laughs> of course. The no backboard is like a false uh you uh, <laughs> need some Chinese food from the mall, yo. That's what I need. Right now. Yeah. I need Chinese food from the mall in a minute. When you get Chinese food, you only get a... Uh... Is that what you mean by that? Wait, say it again? What? When you get me and you're going to get Chinese food, only get like fried rice or something. <laughs> Hell no. Well, we got a good Chinese spot by me too, Red Pig. You might like it. You might like it. I don't like... I don't like like... The beef sticks and uh, again, what you call it? That's all you get. You don't get your, what you be getting. I don't really eat Chinese food like that. Like I just get what? It on a stick. But but a lot of Chinese places down here fry real good chicken. I like fried man, black people, good. man, listen, man. They got a place down here called Cajuns. They do seafood. They do shrimp fried. There's a lot of I don't know why. So it seems like a common thing. A lot of black people when they get Chinese, they just get wings. <laughs> They don't be getting actual to Chinese I food. Never get, I never get wings when I get Chinese food. What do you get? I've never, never, never had wings. Sweet, sweet and sour with chicken or like orange chicken or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't Honey like Honey chicken. I don't never get wings. Because right. uh, I was watching a video from uh, this dude went to review one of the uh, best reviewed Chinese spots in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And when he was in there waiting for his order, 
Everybody walking in the in the shop was asking for wings, bro. I feel like that's some up north shit. Ask for wings with your Chinese. You the, I will tell you though, Jack, they do make good wings at Chinese spots. At least up here they do. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt it. Yeah, Chinese really people can try to fuck out some chicken. I'm like, oh yeah, the chicken be good. Chicken be good. There's some chicken, that dog, rat, cat, they for everything. <laughs> Right, hey, I man, might say fuck this platinum, bro. I think my trophy's glitched, bro. Nigga, I'm telling you, nigga, this shit is. Uh... Down here, they got this place called Cajun. They got some of the best fucking chicken you ever taste. Wait, is it chicken, though? It don't matter. It's good, nigga. Hey, that's a lot bigger. You don't be worried about that when you're eating good food. Some of the, yes, some Chinese places uh, chicken be they food they chicken be unchewable. I don't know what that shit is. Nah, you that's, that's, that's not you about that rough chicken. That ain't chicken, nigga. That means that it be tasting like uh when they be having gizzard. You can chew on a gizzard for like two hours. I don't understand how people like gizzard. My sister like gizzard. That shit is way too gizzard good. good. Gizzard is like, not like, chewy, dog. I, I think I had gizzard by accident and I did not like that shit. Fried gizzard, gizzard. Is so good. Gotta, it's got a good flavor, but it's way too fucking chewy, bro. You, you gotta eat it with ketchup or something. Huh? No, hot sauce, my nigga. Hot sauce. Have, I don't like okra either. Y'all like okra? Nah. No, I don't like okra. Is good. So when it's fried, yeah. It's okay. Okra, I don't like okra. It's too slimy. Yeah, my people like that shit. Huh? It stink. I can't, I can't do that shit. I don't chitlin, like slimy. Chitlin, chitlin stink. I like bro, chit- stink. Bro, I've only... Bro, it's so traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, walk, walking to my movie. granny house, I'm just like, bro, I can't. That, that, exactly. Because, I, bro, I was at my... um. My dad's house one time, and my stepmom was cooking chitlins, mm. and um, she was actually cooking them for my grandpa because I guess she he said he wanted them some or whatever. Good one. Bro, the way the house smelled, it was offensive. Like I was angry. I was mad at her. <laughs> I was like, "Why would you cook this?" Bro, no, mind you, she knew nobody else was going to eat it except for him. Why would you cook this shit in the house? The whole house smelled like a toilet was overflowed. <laughs> it was terrible, bro. This shit stink. On top of that, on top of that, it getting your walls, it getting your clothes, it getting your hair. Oh my man. god! I was no, so I mad that day, bro. I was pissed. I never had that issue though. I don't really want to always wash them. Like, unless you put vinegar in them. If you wash, she said she cleaned them, but they still stink, bro. Nah, nah. You got you got to clean them. That whole smell, got, that whole smell got to hit the house. It don't matter what. It don't matter what's going. Yeah, on. it's gonna hit the house. That's what I'm saying. Well, well. Well, like, I could be numb to it, but yeah, like normally, like she clean them and then she put vinegar and all that junk. That means y'all ass thing, dude. That's what I that mean. <laughs> it, it could be true. Well, I'm saying good looking niggas, though. Fire. That's some real country mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, your family could mm-hmm. chicken, probably like country nigga. Yeah, nigga, I'm a country nigga, but I don't know what the fuck I, I'm I got, doing. I got, I got out the crib when they started, when they started doing that shit. I got hoop, so. <laughs> Your clothes gonna they got soul food in a. Uh, Oklahoma, Tulsa. They so you gotta go. Decent, so you gotta go to like, uh, like. You talking about barbecue? You talking? About, uh, actually, not, there's a place out here where people be going to for they where like. The fuck. Say it's like so cool. I ain't never been there. Would you be eating? Take? I just be eating McDonald's and shit there. I ain't no damn McDonald's. Well, I do. I do periodically. Not a lot though. Yeah, I usually go to McDonald's. I eat McDonald's like once a day, nigga. I go from place to place. Like I might go, I might go to one place for like a week or two straight, and then I might just go like flip after that. It just it you got just, good Mexican food by you? Uh, I don't eat Mexican food, so I would not know. What? Them, you like Mexican? You like taco right there? Them, bro, them little tacos will be costing like two dollars. I'm not. No, I'm not paying for that. Damn. Yeah, who is this? I, God damn. I definitely got the best spot, bro. Like my shit. Alex, have you ever come down here, nigga? I just don't know, bro. <laughs> I hate to hit the saying, You saying it, but you're gonna eat it and you like them. Oh. So every spot I bring like a little food. Might not look like it. I'll be posting Instagram like but they really Fucking God, this shit pissing me off. The Vela sector. Oh my fucking God. Last. Oh, Jesus. 
I shouldn't even be up right now. I'm trying what? to see if this game fuck me or not. Nigga, this game fuck Shut up. I'm mad I ain't go to the Bronx Zoo when I was down. Oh, it is new planets. Okay. <laughs> I got dead. I should wait to do this shit on stream, but I don't even. I don't even know if I'm gonna stream this game again. Yeah, next game to stream is into the next. Is... Are you playing something I... else before 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 you hear? Uh... I oh actually God, could. I, I actually could beat into the next before that next game comes out. It, gotta get that. Yeah, the next is short. It's like six hours. What the fuck just happened? Oh, I it's probably so... could. I don't know. I don't know. Well, so it's, and the next is slow. I mean, twelve minutes cost too much fucking money, yo. How much that shit like yeah, just want, that shit like twenty five dollars. Got to get that that is, That's gonna that's gonna that is gonna be worth the content. Wait, oh, not, yeah, if I, not if I get not if I get pissed off. You'll get it back in donation. That that that, that, that that's definitely gonna make it worth it then. Hell no. <laughs> I don't get it back in donations. Bro. No, you know I haven't got triggered from a stream in a very long time. I don't know if I want to do that, bro. Even when they were trolling me last stream at the final boss, I ain't even get. You don't think you don't think they can be you on uh, 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 God of War? Nigga, you crazy? Yeah, they will be. I ain't gonna pay attention to them. Oh yeah, you, you don't be doing that shit when you get them new new interest. You actually interested in? Yeah, I just I'm just gonna ignore that shit. And in the back of his mind, he's like, I'm having fun, so. Hmm. I just let niggas say the stupid shit they gonna say. Shit. If you really stream for donations, why are you playing Ratchet and Clank, brother? What's going on here? What? Like, all right, well, you know what your money maker is. Go play a Persona, nigga. Nigga, them Persona stream definitely made a lot of money. That's because niggas be so bored, they just want to send a super chat and make you say something different. <laughs> for Unless... fire. fire. That's your goal. I mean, shit. Yes. You heard it here first, bros. Yes, sir. Jack's the fucking scumbag. One person on the stream, nigga. I 